how about another day of high stakes poker? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the Landing Casino here at Jeju. Shinwa World, the uh, venue playing host to the Triton Super High Roller Series. Ali Najat alongside Nick Shulman for a little bit of day shift here local, although the time zones very scattered, of course, a global audience here breaking records, not just in terms of our field sizes, but also in terms of subscriptions to the Triton uh, YouTube channel and, of course, concurrent viewers. So thank you for that, and we're glad to have you with us as we kick things off here today. We are hot on the heels, Nick, of that record breaker that was taken down by Fedor Holtz, and that was the 20K, no limit. Uh, day one saw, that was the 15K, forgive me. Day one saw our players come back to the money in the 20K, uh, no limit. And you got a chance to round that one out. But before we focus on that, we are going to bring you highlights from it as usual. Talk to me about what you got up to so far. I mean, I haven't had a chance to get outside the walls and kind of taste the island, so to speak. <laughs> Me neither. I, you know, I've been here as well. I've done a lot of pacing around the property. Uh, I've enjoyed it, but I haven't tasted the island per se. I will say this, though, about tasting the island. Known for its citrus fruit, apparently. Supposedly some of the best in the world. Dipped into an orange that was quite phenomenal. I, know I have had a little fruit, by the way, though. The, the real okay. deal. Yeah. So if you want to import something, get on top of yeah. that. Uh, of course, we had plenty of money that we needed to distribute, not just citrus fruit yesterday. Right. And it was uh, a handsome victory for one Roland Rakita in the end. If you missed it, let us flash back to how things shook out once we lost Alex Theologis in 10th place. There is Roland Rakita. It was China's Yu Xiang Yu, though, that was all in with an ace five suited up against him. Rakita decided with king nine, Nick, to jam over the top, and Schweck woke up with two tens, thought he was in a great way, until, of course, the king seven three monotone flop rolled off. Schweck had the club working, plenty of outs with two to come. Then on the turn, the eight, dwindling things a little bit, and a clean run out on the river. That very much propelling Rokita into a massive stack, double elimination, something that had been a bit of the order of the day. So Yu Xiang Yu out of there, 94,000 in ninth. Tobias Schweck, 113,000 out of there in eighth. Demir Zhugralin of Kazakhstan, ace 10 suited, not where you want to be. His pocket 10s popped up once more, this time for Mikita Badziakuski. King, King, eight board. Audacity. No club draw obtained on the turn. And Jugralen demiking with good reason as a lone ace was the only path that was going to keep him intact. Instead, a seventh place finish for him, $154,000 richer for the effort. Then the young German, Leon Sturm, jack seven with just a nub. This was the product of an earlier collision that left him all but vanquished. A7-6 board, he would flop himself second pair here, and the situation looked to be good. The side pot was, of course, active between Kyat Lee and Roland Rakita. Lee laying claim to said side pot, which was larger than the main. On the turn, Jackson sevens for Sturm, but still some issues, and that was one of them. An ace, counterfeiting two pair, and Sturm on the outside. $210,000 for that sixth place finish. Ben Zar Zuboff, who was chip leading in a major way throughout a good bit of the event. Found himself with an ace queen suited up against Rakita. They played for 20 million. This was a humongous pot and a red eight worked its way to the board. Spadeless texture and on the turn, the ace queen drew dead as Rakita again amassing even more chips, Zuboff left to collect $278,000 for the fifth place finish. Now then, Padziakuski, four remaining. Been a long dry spell for Three him. Million. Ace five offsuit, he decided to re-raise the open from Rokita's mm -hmm. ace nine. It was a pot committing situation and you saw Rakita ask for that last 100K dominating and then the 6-5-3 board and you thought to yourself, maybe, just maybe, Makita would be the one to take chips away from Rakita, but instead a nine on the turn and a disgusting feeling in the pit of Bads's stomach as he was left chasing a five alone. It would not appear and that seven and a half million would go to Rakita as 355,000 would go to Makita for fourth. Now then, Kiat Lee, the birthday boy, chasing his 
first Triton title. 8-4 offsuit was the defense from the big against Shirzat Khisu, whose ace-5 was behind on the 9-8-5 board. Rest of it got in. They played for 4.3, and then gnarliness rolling off right away on the turn. Aces up for Khisu. Kiat chasing the eight. Instead, the king on the end would leave him as our bronze medalist. 439,000, though, and he very much slithered into that top three. Didn't really have too many altercations in the process. Heads up, then, between Shirzat Khisu and Roland Rakita. Massive pot of 26.8 million was played as Khisu Got it in there. Deuces against nines. Never looking good. Rakita, one card remaining in the deuce of hearts. Wasn't going to work. For Shirzat, the one outer didn't come in on the end. And the Austrian besting the German there as the GGs were exchanged. $599,000 would go home with Hisu, who was also chasing his first title. Roland Rakita. Picking one up, uh, $904,000 rather for that victory. Looked very impressive, of course, but Nick, the sun shone down on Roland, not just at that final table, but en route. Nothing wrong with it, of course, taking nothing away from the young man's talents, but really it was his day. It was very much his day. He played great, and as you said, the sun was shining. Yeah. Double elimination off the top. and Double then, you elimination know off the top. And uh, as you pointed out, there were quite a few double eliminations, which, you know, it's random, but it's just odd to see that. Were you surprised at all that Tsar Zubov wasn't able to perform a little bit better? This is the name that we called throughout the day as the guy resting at the top of the chip counts. He was the one that the sun appeared to be shining down on. And then, of course, we saw it shift over to Roland. Not too surprised to see that. It's hard to get every chip. You know, you still, you could be chip leader 12 left, 8 left, but things still have to come in. Ace-queen suited versus 8s. Uh, if he wins that one, probably it's Zar Zubov we're showing highlights of. Yeah, no question about it. It was a 20 million chip pot that came together rather quickly. Collisions that we wouldn't have necessarily anticipated given stack distributions at that time. Now then, not to be overlooked, one shares Ahisu. I was out there as he finished second. You could feel a bit of the dejection as he was walking off the stage, and I grabbed him and I said, hey, listen, be proud. And man. then he was more dejected. Yeah, right. Here comes Najat. But it felt like a really apropos moment to kind of let's have a little bit of perspective. You you, you know, you got there, man. Second, I mean, second is sort of a next day type of thing where, where you, you look back and are, and are proud, but in that moment it, it does sting because nobody remembers second. They just don't. Mm -hmm. It's a cold... If you're playing and, you know, looking for the glory a little bit, it just is what it is. We remember first. And no matter how memorable $439,000 in the form of a third place cash is, if we don't remember second, we don't remember third. And that, of course, was the finish for Kiat Lee, the birthday boy Great here. Great run. Happy always, birthday, Kiat. Always has, like, a nice crew with him that he can bounce ideas off of. He runs deep. Runs deep, but hasn't yet gotten to the peak. Obviously, plenty of opportunities still remaining on the docket here. Is there a point for you, like, let's just look back on your career, for example, where you have a bit of a dry spell and you begin to question whether or not the inability to close out, you've made several final tables, has something to do with perhaps a, a fundamental aspect of your game that needs to be examined as opposed to the variance? And how do you parse for which it is? I've had a lot of different pockets of my career playing. So, you know, I, I felt some of that. I also objectively shipped a huge tournament right when I turned 21. So I always kind of felt like I was playing with the house's money. You know, I just kind of got lucky and <laughs> it came in. But yeah, these things can weigh on us when I've, I've had dry spells. I've had seconds, thirds, fourths. You know, it is what it is. It behooves any pro to remain as unemotional as you can. Just, just keep at it. Keep moving forward. Work on the process. Show up and do the best you can. But yeah, you, you think about it. And then sometimes the toughest thing for me is you start marinating on, you know, was I getting a little unlucky out there? Because the sample, it's not that big. It's, it's a game of skill, but it's also like, you know, in these live stops, it's a lot has to go right. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, you talked about shipping that big one on the front end of your tournament. Makita shipped four titles fairly early on in his Triton career. Falling short in fourth, of course. 
suffering from a, a bit of a dry spell. It was all the way back in Madrid in 2022 when both he and Jason Kuhn were level at the most all time. Four titles, been a little bit of dry. But as we talked about him prior here on the desk, you, you were quick to point out that he's going to be all right. Well, he did ship that million dollar buy-in recently over in Vegas. And, and, you know, when it comes to dry spells and things of this nature, we really only talk about it when it's one of the best guys in the world. So it's it's almost a compliment. Nobody yeah. says, you know, Ernest Schmo over here is on a dry spell. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. So it's, it's kind of like, but yeah. I hear you. 2022, I'm sure he wants to grab one. And by the way, you can really put together an illustrious career without necessarily winning a title. In major sport, obviously, we talk about some of the greats of all time who didn't have a trophy to their name. But it's not to say that they didn't leave their mark well, and team, didn't get paid. No. Team sports are a little different. You know, you could say Dan Marino is an all-time great, never had the team. But this is a solo endeavor. So if you're one of the best ever, you do have to nab huge wins. It just is what it is. A little bit different in that sense. Okay, then let's turn the page with the 20K in the books. Event number three, day two. It's the $25,000 silver main. And what do we mean by silver? A little bit of a protracted structure in terms of 40-minute levels for the first 10. Reentry open. Then we kick it down to 35. And, of course, regular final table rules will apply in terms of uh, further reduction for the uh, the level lengths. 298 entries. That's what we uh, picked up from 173. Three uniques. We generated a prize pool of 7.45 million. We're going to start day two with just 63 of those runners. 47 of them going to get paid. I think we got a good bit of runway here before we start to maybe get into that grindy, bubbly part of the program. 42,000 is going to be the min cash. Our first seven figure payout of Jeju is going to be up top. 904 was yesterday, finally breaking that down. Obviously the product of that extra nickel in the buy-in very much. So first place gonna pay 1.45 million and change. The chip leader, none other than, drum roll please, Shaman Steve O'Dwyer. And if you don't know about this little guy here, well, let me see that thing. this is the Buddha that Shaman O'Dwyer, you know, he's known for tchotchkes and trinkets wow, as he goes through his worldwide nice. travels Man. that he picks up. This is from somewhere in is Japan. Is that a gift for you? Yeah. Now, by the way, you must respect. Of course I'm showing thing, a because lot of what respect. Happened, I don't some, rock the boat in these situations. Some people have ma lost the amulet of luck and things have no, gone. No, no, here I'm you go. Saying, it was yeah. a gift for you, so. <laughs> this is, I watched but that I Brady Steve Bunch episode. I love to see him have the chip lead. O'Dwyer's a great guy to watch because he, he has a mix of both styles. You know, he has a lot of theory and and sharps and, and all of this, but he's also old school and he's been around, so, you know. Yeah. Also been around in spite of his nickname, the baby, Joe Chong, who joins us for the first time over here. And I didn't know that was his nickname until just the before baby. we came on. You didn't on. know that? I didn't know. I get it, though. Obviously, he hasn't aged since we met him. Uh, no. He's actually 71 years old, so <laughs> he, he, uh, you know, he really looks great. No, but Joey Chong is another one who's a, just an overall legend. A lot of talent. A lot of... He, he's a great player. Let's let's see what he's got. Uh First Triton stop, 0 for 2 so far. So obviously he's got a little bit of making up to do in terms of uh, his buy-ins. Dan Smith in third. If you want to dive into the app really quickly, we can get a peek at some of these chip counts. There is Shaman O'Dwyer up top, followed by Joe Chong. Smith over there in third, sitting deep, 84 bigs down to 68 bigs. And just a broad, kind of nicely distributed uh, array of stacks through these 63 that we're going to be coming back with. Aram Oganyan, Alex uh, Chikachu, I think, Chikachu, uh, Li Yuan, first-timers, also in the top 10, yet to kind of really break out and make the statement that we thought, just based on sheer volume, the first-timers would make so far. But uh, here they are, and obviously a nice place to find yourself in as we come back. 16 players remaining until we get in the money. Table 2, it is Jason Kuhn battling the Spaniards, as you get a peek there on the left, the red and the blue tables. I can expand on that blue table for us. And uh, there he is, Pardo and Ido, those is, we have to contend with. This is fantastic. Cannot wait, Ali. D. Pete's not to be overlooked. Welcome, Coleman D. Pete. Stateside. In the building Coleman on well. a rip, of course. And by the way, it's always nice to have a little bit of seasoning. South Africa's Fazal Dawood Correct. at his very first Correct. Uh, I remember event. that 7-7 seven, seven hand he played. Yes, he did. What feels like ages ago, but Dawood has flavor, so. No question about it. And over at that other table, very briefly, the red, we do find Shaman O'Dwyer. He is going to be leading in that as a table of, of middling stacks. Keep your eye, of course, on Jonathan Jaffe. Keep your eye on the likes of Ding Bial and Orpin Kisichokoglu directly to his left along with Lazo Boitash. It's not going to be the easiest affair for Sean. Yeah. All right.
Let's go then. About five seconds away from sending you back into the arena. There it is. An abrupt transition. And I think we will walk about the room a little bit, perhaps. Get a shot of some of the outer tables. See what the rest of the fanfare here in event number three is all about. The Silver Main 25K from the Landing Casino here at Jeju Shinwa World. How about Dan DeVorce guiding us in? Taking his seat. Oh, and he's going to have to contend with another one of these Spaniards, Adrian Mateos. I know it's cliche, but everywhere you go, you just see great players who it's, you know, so many good sweats here. It's amazing that we've just sort of started series-wise. It, it really is kind of a distillery of sorts when it comes to the best to ever do it. You know, they're all front and center. And then we sprinkle in some of the unknowns, of course. Dvoris, not among them. 25 bigs he brings to the party here today as he unbags. By the way, Dvoris loves to play tennis. I bring this up because in the lobby on the way down today, I caught Alex Ponikovs and Brian Kim with a couple of rackets in hand like they had just made their way back from swinging. 13 bigs for the boss, Paul Pua. First tourney that Spin it up, I've Paul. seen him in. He's been in the cash game streets. There's the Learjet in the foreground. Looks like the eighth seat for him. Dalman Fu, DMP on his left. Like sweating DMP. DMP can definitely bring some perspiration to the party. Yes. Samuel Jew, Germany GP. Saw Thomas Boyven entering. There's Ike talking to Aram Oganyan. That's, that's strong, all of this. Nine seat is incredible. I mean, look at this guy, Ali. Oh, yeah, I mean... He paid a visit to the shop, scarf, quarter zip, hat, all working. By the way, all stuff that you can get, head over to the Triton website. Grab some of uh, the I flavor. I didn't notice that bar in the middle of the room. That's cool. Is it is it a self-serve sort of deal? No, I, don't, I don't know. You want? Should I head out and grab us around? Or what's it? Valerie early? Pack, there he is, 42 bigs. Good luck, sir. I've had the chance to observe Valerie out there in North Cyprus on a few occasions. Popular destination, of course, for Central Asia. Very easy to get to. How about Dan Smith there rocking the, I think it was the PJ top that he got. You know how Smith Vietnam. gets down. He does. Punat Poonsri, legend. 42 bigs for Punat. Part of the Thai contingent. Kanapong Tanaratakul was out there yesterday at one point. Mikolaitis on... Panat's left there, I think. How about Justin Saliba in company? Ramin Hajiev bookending the baby. There he is. Yes. Looks like Welcome, a K-pop legend, by the way, if I'm being honest. He might be. You know? There could be a little Norebang uh, platinum <laughs> album or something out there. Winfred Yu. Roman Hrabets. Kaihan Mokri. All part of the party. 63 left, 298 remain. Well, how many did you say it paid, Ali? Is it 49? 47. 47? Yeah. So it's getting down there. I mean, it's, as you said, it's not the stone bubble, but it, it is the nitty gritty. 298 to start, 63 left, 47 pays. So Smith yeah. rocking that nervy atmosphere. When do you start thinking about adjustments associated with the bubble? Is there like a kind of when I'm five away, it's ten essentially away? essentially just split. Uh, X percentage of the tournament remains and, and we adjust. There's mm -hmm. always little adjustments. Saliba, 23 bigs to start the day. Let's flip it around and get a look at Phil on, Ivy, Phil. the absolute legend. By the way, on the topic of legends, a couple of clicks over. Ole Shemion, also a man that's been at it for not just minutes, well, as you said, legend. Yeah. Oh, look at Sears out. There he is. Now maybe soaking up the smiles with that right. second place The next win. day, it it's, looks a little better than right in the moment. 22 bigs for Ole. The confidence is a real thing, you know, coming off that second place, you're out there. And people take note. Everybody in the room it, keeping it an is. eye. And, and just in general in poker, it, it is important to kind of play with vigor. Like that. Vigor. Vigor. It's good. Word. Initiative. Yeah, a little. Sure. little. As we see the, the tables here, Ali. Yep. O'Dwyer, mayor of Redville, Blueville, helmed by Pardo. He's got considerably less than Shaman, but the big drop off to Orpin, 84 bigs, and then the cluster. 
and then a little bit of a dangler in terms of uh, Laszlo sub 20, but uh, a nice setup, dare I say? For uh, a nice setup in both of these tables are phenomenal sweats. I suppose we'll be a broken record a bit with that, but it's just true. 15, 30, and 30. Every orbit will cost you 75K. Chip Counts brought to you by betacr.eu. And the excitement that is to come is going to be brought to you by those 15 faces spread across our two feature tables here at the Triton Super High Roller Series. So without further ado, let's get some cards in the air. Saddle up. There is the most decorated Triton champion it's of all time. beautiful shirt. Is that Paisley? I want to take a nap on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is Paisley, isn't it? I, I don't. I've never really known what Paisley means. I'm kind of like DP, it's one of the best ever. Got it. Go on. The 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 pattern you mean, not yeah. the material. The no, pattern. No. Understood. The pattern look velvety. And there's one of the Spaniards. Sergio's always just tough. Always. I've never known a Spaniard, All right, good you luck. know, in, in terms good of the high stakes luck, kind of character to be anything short of. Fair enough. So Mortensen, main event champ way back in the day, once upon a time, we called him the Matador. Mm -hmm. Then we've christened Mateos the Conquistador. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Do as, we as have I've something? Out, please. El, El Conquistador. I the Conqui it just doesn't sound right. Right. Now, do we not need off to, for Dawood? to maybe come up with something for the likes of Ido and, and perhaps Pardo? It, perhaps it happens organically this trip. Sure. We await it. By the way, Juan Pardo Malaka Styles is what a lot of people call him. Right. He already line. has a nickname. Right. Phenomenal player. Highly respected theorist and so on. Fives for Coleman on the button. He's in. Coleman, by the way, has made some waves back stateside. Results on his resume. Flatting with the fives. Seven four off here for Jason. <coughs> Into the muck it goes. <coughs> now I remember being admonished mm. over the mix up between the S versus Thomas the S. Shauskas. Is that what it was? I believe it's Shauskas, and he does jam here, and this will be a very Tricky spot for Coleman and Dawood for that matter, but if Dawood folds to the 16 BB jam, Coleman has a really close one. Perhaps just a fold. Close, though. This is not really how we like to start our day. Facing this jam, having flatted the button with the fives. Obviously, we still await Dawood's decision. South Africa, by the way, not really one of those pockets that we generally see a lot of representation from, but I do remember there being a number of events back in the day, some WPT stuff that was going down over there. Just let it go, and, you know, a, a clear-cut example of getting that last bet and working out gloriously for Vladis there. <laughs> nice start. Very much so. Yeah. He's playing for the home team today, huh? Decked out. The black and the gold just has such a nice... It's a classic. You know, yeah. The wood is unamused, of course, by being jammed on there. Uh, it doesn't strike me as a, a place to seek amusement, by the way. Fazo seems a, a bit strictly business, but... We digress back over to the other feature. We find Jonathan Jaffe's pocket tens in a way against King Queen here. Looks like action already complete. Wei Xiang Yu taking it down. It was a raise from Jaffe, a flat from Wei Xiang, and then three streets of checking all the way down. So relatively uneventful. Shaman O'Dwyer, screen right. Ding Biao, screen left. Book ending Wei Xiang. You, you said... Ding Biao. It, it is Biao Ding, right? No, it's the other way around, oh. actually, and I've gotten this from his brother because in 
uh, China in particular, I think uh, other Asian cultures as well, the surname comes before Understood. the first name. Uh, okay. And, you know, anglicization, whatever, when you're referring to it in English, a lot of times <sighs> that's how you do it. But sure. stepped in to say no. Ding Biao. Ren Lin, yeah. legend, looking good. I might have saved that blazer there for a final it's table. It's early to pull out the <laughs> white blazer, but fair enough. This is a massive spot. But I agree. It's a little bit early. Right? You got an over-under on the number of Lady Gagas we're going to get while <laughs> Ren's here at the feature table? I mean, whatever it is, I'm just going to take the over in advance. Ace-King for Wei Xiang. Steve substance. certainly not folding. Good start for him, yeah. as opposed to the three bout. Fives. Once more. Un 32 bigs for Orpman, really respecting the inching towards the money. Great situ situational awareness on Kisichikoglu that we've observed throughout the years. Has a lot of gears in the transmission, always knows what's what. And here on a Jack-7-4 board with two hearts, what's what is an O'Dwyer nut flush draw. See a turn, Ali. Bet of 45,000, flatted. The not flush draw, deeply under -repped. No arrival on the turn. And note how key the lack of improvement for O'Dwyer is there in terms of the equity shift. Now, three to one favorite with one to come. Carius, obviously, out of position against this big stack for Wei Xiang. And when someone peels a flop such as this after flatting us pre, that second barrel, it doesn't grease its way into the middle quite as easily. My thoughts exactly. Break check. And for O'Dwyer, this could go either way. A bet certainly exerts pressure on exactly what we're looking at. But check seems nice as well. He's trying to kind of read where way is at. Does go for check. And that's a Black River card that is unwelcome in more ways than one. Four liner on board, unclear how much 8x, 3x really? Wei Xiong would be assigning. Really interesting spot, generally we don't love bluffing with the ace of hearts if we're in Steve's seat, but these types of boards are much more unclear, and one could see Steve repping the eight, even eight, nine, but he does have some showdown. You know, oh, this is really nice he, from Steve Holly. And he's targeting kind of exactly the larger aces, maybe some of the under pairs to the jack, although nines and tens specifically would be the only kid. I'm Beautiful not sure, execution there. And even something like King Jack is in, in love with calling there. And we begin to gain insights into precisely why it is that Steve O'Dwyer finds himself healthy atop the leaderboard. Taking a peek at uh, O'Dwyer's Triton resume. Bear with us.
Is that a new arrival in the form of uh, Mr. Chua? Yeah. Welcome, Adrian sir. Chua. Can't learn that on a solver, boys. And welcome, indeed. Pocket aces. <laughs> you know when you take that seat and then all oh, of the it's aces. So <laughs> much adrenaline. It's a wild feeling. And uh -oh. this is naturally trouble for Wei. Yes, two for me. Yes. Uh, one, I, 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 I put down one. Double portion? Wow. Are you fell? Wei Xiang really chewed on this one, Nick, before deciding to three bet to 200,000. Stack depth's a function of this? He, he did chew on it. And for Adrian, of course, this is the dream. His job, though, is to chart a course to get all of the chips in, it and is, presumably the jam here is the best way to get there, or do we just get cute? Could see both. If, if we think Wei might have something like King Jack off, maybe we slide the flat and he does go for the sneak. Love to see it as things get interesting, more so than the simple jam. And the over pair remains for Wei Xiang, which is a problem in terms of any escape hatch. We see Chua checking over. Understandable one into the 475. Chua plays it as a flat once more. King of Diamonds on the turn. This is definitely a card that could create some pause in the face of the check call. And one could see Way thinking these tens are good a lot. He does put them in. See if he can bink the ten, Ali. Well, when you're wrong, it isn't all that costly in terms of just 275k effective, which Adrian is happy to be asked for. He needs to fade just it's two nice. outs. And he's no done people. so. Oh, 1.3 million no plus. On, Adrian. And a warm welcome to the feature. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Nice little pick up for Chua there. Aforementioned. Taking a I peek, I mean, so, unfamiliar so to me, but there have been yeah. some yeah. folks yeah. who yeah. have yeah. played yeah. prior yeah. Tritons yeah. and then kind of been Making away mm. for yeah. several seasons and then kind of resurfaced here in Jeju. Adrian, not among them, though, playing under the Singaporean banner. 0 for 2 thus far in Jeju. <laughs> failing to cash the 15 and 20k events. Looking to right that ship here. And if I recall, he did get a bit down there in one of them. Hurts having it on a resume, even if it's irrelevant to the things you do. It's just like, at least shows that you could get through something, you know? Yeah. I think there's always a little skepticism for people who never really did a formal. You know? yeah. oh, wow. Queen 8 suited. And Orpen activates. Tens resurface this time 
in the stewardship of Hungary's Laszlo Boitas, who's 435, wastes no time. Laszlo is a legend. Not that this jam is particularly legendary, but in general. As I understand. Jaffe looks intrigued, Ollie. The legend of Laszlo largely centers around the four-card streets. Indeed it does. We'll have his hand momentarily, but this is legit, and he does put it in. Is Ren working a brontosaurus rib back there? Did you see the size I, of that? I, I didn't see that, but let's <laughs> see. Based on Lazo's reaction, I feel like it's ace-king. This has ace-king vibes, Holly. It's king-king king 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 vibes as the Jaffe Jam sheds Orpin and may very well be shedding Lazlo Boitas bar a 10 or some other form of, a, of improvement in a 1 million chip pot on his feet. Ace, eight, deuce, and one of those welcome moments where two kings aren't dreading the ace on the board, but would be dreading a 10. A little bit naked for Laszlo Ali. Mm -hmm. Needs to make 30 miles on the end here. Good game, sir. And instead, the six of diamonds. He'll D Mike. Makes it the end of the road. It's, it's all in anyway, yeah. You said all in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit it's peculiar. Tough. He had one chip back. But the yeah. all-ins were declared. He just hadn't physically... Jaffe had moved all-in covering. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. You ever been in a spot like that where it was like... Raise, I've call. seen these oddities happen. Yeah. You see... That, that looks like a real... There it is, the bone. Go, okay, go, Ren. Go ahead, Ren. <laughs> Ren is a savage, Ali. <laughs> he actually caught that lamb earlier. <laughs> Wrestled it to its fate. It's There's risky, too, with the white blazer. You know, you really <laughs> can't make a mistake here. Listen, for most, that single plate of lamb would be a lot to tackle, but that trough of soup. You know with Ren sometimes, I'm sure you've seen this, he'll drop and do 50 push-ups. Very strong guy. Clean ones. Really clean. Just mid-event. Oh, yeah. Chest to the ground. Clean. All right. Go on then, Ren. Look at this. This is an ungodly amount of protein being Ren, taken Ren is, Ren is an animal. Yeah, this reminds me of Patrick Antonius back in Cyprus, <laughs> producer James Dempsey popping into the headset. He single-handedly depleted the livestock reserves on the island a in, a, in a short two-week stretch. Antonius is unreal as well. He's Jack Offro Dwyer, 60, 65 rather. Once again, fives into the bin for Orpin, this time single raise. And we saw Orpin no open flat. Queen 8 suited, which speaks to the idea that he would prefer to be the opener yeah. than the caller in this dicey situation. Some bob and weave. Queen 10 offsuit, defendable. One seventy five in the middle. Ace, King, Jack, and My Ding word. Biao flops the joint up against aces up. Go on, Ding. Wet board, of course, but we are not worried about sets or ace kings as played ever. Rates to be a blow sustained to O'Dwyer's chip-leading stack. And it's an ugly spot for Steve. We'll see if Ding calls or raises, but if he raises, it is immediately ugly, even despite the hands you just mentioned. As we're under, we're so close to the money. Is he really defending the big blind and raising on this particular board with a semi-bluff? We shall see, see what Ding Bao comes with. He is slow playing, understandably so.
Now that turn could be some salvation for this ace jack as four to Broadway make their way to the board. Unwelcome, of course, for Ding Biao is the presence of this queen. These are interesting spots just in general. When to go for value with two pair on four straight boards, it's worth a, a consideration for players. There is a lot of inferior two pair out there. O'Dwyer wisely checks. Oh, and the full house comes in, Ali. Ace is full. And this is a disaster for Ding Biao. What an unfortunate run out for Ding. I'm not so certain how we proceed. It's the heart, it's the ace, it's the nightmare card for Queen-10. He, he does check, and he'll be calling, and it is indeed the nightmare. Merits to leading there at a, at a small size blockage? Could, could see the small size or the check. Merits to both. Certainly a wise choice from Ding this particular time. Oh, wow. and O'Dwyer. What a great snap fold. You know, oftentimes that degree of greed will cause a pause <coughs> and evaluate because it's so unexpected, let's say. But Ding Biao just convinced with the heart and the ace. And note that Ding didn't show it and look around to everybody at the table for sympathy, but rather we're already dealing the next hand. Little does Steve O'Dwyer know how fortunate he was there. Jack, 10 of hearts now, certainly playable. Five to skate as Chua peeks down at the hard six. Mm. No interest. These are ideas, by the way, you know, once upon a time, I remember, you know, infancy of one's poker career. You look down, you see the pocket pair. You think to yourself, I can just set mine here relatively inexpensively. Well, and under most circumstances in the tournament, you do. But again, creeping towards the money. And when it comes to entering pots with O'Dwyer, you know he can really barrel off with ease, which hurts our EV. Yeah, not... Way made an interesting yeah, yeah. fold. One could defend. <laughs> You're not expecting necessarily to have thank you, thank you. all that many opportunities to get to showdown unimproved against the likes of O'Dwyer. That's exactly it. Considerations, of course. Money. <laughs> Ren really is like uh, ladies for Jaffe. You ever have one of those stuffed animals with a ring in the back and you pull it and just various different <laughs> sort of sayings come out? Yeah, there there Lady should Gaga. be a, a Ren Lin edition. <laughs> Teddy Pulled Ruxpin. All. Yeah. <laughs> Ding Biao, A6 on the button. Into the bin. Will Jaffe get any action from O'Dwyer's 3-4 off? Got our answer. The 
tension being turned now to the soup. Is there also, are there bones in the soup too that I saw him just? Probably. And credit to whomever in the chat drew my attention to it, but there's this thing called mukbang. Mm. which is quite popular here in Korea. YouTube streamers, oftentimes very attractive mm. and slender women, will eat ungodly amounts of food. Perhaps Ren Lin should explore <coughs> the mukbang streets. I know he likes to create social media content, but if you can put down that amount of food. Here, oh, oh, here, hang on. <laughs> I, I don't understand <coughs> mukbang. Is this... They stream themselves just is this, eating. Is this a fetish of sorts, though? I think so, so. Does it have a sexual I connotation? I don't know about you, that. You just proceeded with attractive, you know. Uh, oftentimes, that is what it is, okay. but I don't think it's okay. compulsory, I see. you know. I never really understood. Yeah. Nevertheless, lunchtime here at the featured table. Ding Biao getting involved. Chua. And perhaps it's Shaman O'Dwyer working the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Is that, you need to punish the is that what I spy there? The world runs on Dunkin', <laughs> Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like something different for you. For you, right? <laughs> you know, I didn't believe it until I stepped into a, a South Korean casino and realized that indeed the world does. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts people are really paid. <laughs> On you, Adrian. No problem. Love to see the wet nap being employed, by the way. I confess every wet nap I've been given has just been, it's ended up in a landfill somewhere locally. Mm. Yeah. Ducks for way. Might be time. Where are you from, Adrian? Good luck, sir. Oh, nice. He agrees. Uh, from the United States. Florida? Yeah, nice. Where whereabouts are you? Sometime. Uh, last year, I think I did a couple of things in, uh, around here by Andrew. Okay. North or... Oh, okay, that's right where I am. I'm like 15 minutes from the Hard Rock. A uh, little suburb of Fort Lauderdale, if you need. Yeah. I'm not from there originally. I'm from up north, um, Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But He's three <laughs> suited here for yeah, Ren. Likely enough, Korea, just I, south I of four bigs. That was the best experience I've ever. Uh, was Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah. Luck for <laughs> Service, the seats, like, it's just incredible. Chop. I believe that, yeah. We haven't really flown first on almost anything, but I can't see how much better it's ever like. Yeah. 275k pot. So much more meaningful for Wei Xiang Yu. And the 7 4 trade board has put Ren Lin more than a nose in front in terms of equity. That was very neat. Yeah, Xiang Yu awesome. rightfully on his feet here as the I turn fails to deliver the duck. Yeah, yeah. It been there and the river as well. Sure. With that How departure, we will be here. down to 54 uh, runners here. There's a direct that's like six, 47 but it's uh, kind of lo a low-cost airline, so... Look at this. Did you see this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But it's like overnight or something. I, I was tempted to call it a purse, but obviously I don't, I don't think. Very flavorful, by the way. 2.9 million in front of the shaman. Good for shy of 100 blinds. Making the aces full against the flopped straight for Ding Biao. Partly responsible for that as we flip it over to an all Spaniard affair here, King Jack 8 board. The arrival to this point, courtesy of Apardo, open to 60,000 and Ido defense from the big. Checked over to Malacca Stas. Thirty-five K sprinkle. Just aiding Ido's holding toward the mock. Is 
Sergio with just 300 back. I think this is a little bit of not being in a rush. Ali, you know you speak a little Spanish. Can you make that out? I didn't really pay attention. Fair enough. But I'm here for you. There's also a decent chance that I just make something up too, so be advised. <laughs> Pardo obviously telling Adrian that he's going to destroy him today. <laughs> First look at Peters, one of the best ever. Well up there on the all-time money list. Smooth operator, makes it 70 to go. Speaking of one of the best ever. Mm -hmm. Jason Kuhn, deliberating with the ace nine off. Passes. Very familiar with one another, by the way, our, our Kuhn and Peters. King 10 for Tamashauskas. Also not interested. Not going to be able to say the same, however, for Sergio Ido's ace queen here. 285 back. Uh, intimate moment with Adrian there. <laughs> There's the jam. Mateos already aware of his holding. Come on. Bins it, and now Peters asking for a count. And it seems like Pete's is just a little too far away to call 10 bigs right now. But these are close. We just know Sergio's range here is ripe with great hands. Does get away, and a, a big pickup for Ido. A oh, little lick of the lips as he feasts on a few of D. Pete's chips. Note Pete's from a slightly earlier position. Let go of the same King-9 suited. Worthy observation. Cut off Jackie. Let's see how ambitious Tomaszowskis is feeling. Not enough for that particular holding. King eight off suit on the button. An opportunity perhaps for Ido here. This is a bit close. Does slide it. Fifty four remain now, Ali. Mm -hmm. Adrian would not have been a customer. Unclear how Dawood would have reacted to the Queen Ten, depending on what Ido came with, but as it stands, 
Mateos tried to limp in a finger wag from Fazel. Very nice, Fazel. Turning to the YouTube chat, by the way, we see you and we certainly appreciate your contributions here. Indeed. One Matt Langford has stepped in to advise, you know, I too kind of unclear with respect to the, the mukbang situation. He, he advises that it is tailored to people who eat very conservatively and so they get to eat vicariously through the people who are creating the content. Well, there it is. You know what I mean? Thank you, Matt. Story checks out. Also some calls for you, by the way, to, to eat a bunch of food here at the desk and and indulge the, the chat. Okay, I'll leave. I can let them know you're not we'll going to revisit do it. that at a, at a later <laughs> time. 70 to go from Peters. A little bit interesting for Coleman. Great hand. And Peters has a great range. He does let it go. Note he was dominated. Jack also found the bin. Ace eight suited for Ido. Is this one tricky? I think this one were just gone, but they are tricky. It's the under the gun in particular. to begin. Fifty four remain. Pays forty seven. Forty two thousand mm. for forty seventh. So it's a little bit, you know, we understand. A little bit bubblicious, Sally. Also, Peter's not particularly deep, so a 70K open up front from him should have some credibility attached to it. Lightly they tread here at one of our two featured tables. Day two coverage of the $25,000 silver main event. Slightly protracted levels, 40 minutes through the first 10, and then 35. From there toward the final table, Ido finds himself with 11 bigs. Off the low water mark, up top we find Juan Pardo. 20, 40, and 40 now, 100 dimes in orbit. Price of Poker. Brought to you by Poker Steak. Coleman. Dust. This is David's first ever Triton event. I confess when I first heard the name Coleman float about, I thought perhaps it was the return of one Dan Coleman, who's actually played a few Tritons back 2016, 2017, obviously million dollar one drop winner, hasn't yet joined us since those days. He said suited here. 40 joining. on the blind, by the way, now. Do you think some of the pauses that we're bearing witness to now are associated with We're the seeing a little bit of a tactical classy stalling where players aren't snap acting, but they're not going full ridiculous. Yeah. But they know on the feature table, as much as perhaps we don't want this to be the case or acknowledge it, there's some real deal stalling going on on the outer tables. So they can't just snap act. You, you have to protect yourself a bit. Obviously, the optics on the outer tables, not an issue, whereas... We know some future. of those tables, everybody is taking the maximum amount of time they can pre. And that's why sometimes you see tournaments go hand for hand before yep. the stone bubble to combat this. There is some soft hand for hand as well that'll be utilized here at Triton if one of the
tables gets out in front of the others in terms of hands played, they'll pause that table and force the others to kind of catch up. So not a actual hand for hand, but just kind of allowing things to balance out because the actual hand for hand can really be That's disruptive right. to the flow of play. I don't think anyone loves it. And some of the cash guys, you know, they're just straight gangster in there. They don't really care about trying to sneak into the money. The so there's a way to yeah. protect those guys, you know. Six off. Slides for D. Peets. Coleman happy with it. Coleman, one of these guys you've had the opportunity to play with a little bit, have you not, Nick? Very tough player. Yeah. I've played a lot with Coleman live and online. Good kid. Great player. He, it's nice to see him come into his own. He's really gone on a bit of a rip recently. And, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. Forgive the obvious, but when you look back to kind of when you were at that age, like Coleman, you know, in your 20s, early on in the poker career, let's call it, do you find that the prevalence of talent that was associated with people kind of at that stage, when we look at today's game, people much further on in terms of skill level than maybe those who were, you know, back when we were cutting our teeth 20 years ago, at Bar that age range had available to them, especially pre-solver era. Barring involvement from anyone behind, interesting decision coming up for Vladis. And yeah, it's all relative, Ali. It's hard to say because the best players of any era still, there were a lot of great young players, but it was different. The overall level of play has right. raised tremendously. But I very much believe in kind of judging players by how they performed in that time. So yeah. I'm with you with it's, that. It's a bit hard to say. Not hard, though, and to three-bet these two tens for Ido Tomaszewski. For Vladis, this is close. <clears throat> Maybe we're just gone. Kuhn with a professional delay here. We know it will come back over to Vladis shortly. There it is. And with 665 back, Ido still has 55 left, so it's a total of 430 that would be called for. I think we just fold and we're annoyed about it. Again, not to harp, 54 left, 47 pay, yeah. 42,000 on the min cash. We, we know Sergio isn't, you know, messing about. But the ripple effect of the bubble being closed in on observed in that exchange and nice discipline from Vladis <laughs> King Jack off suit for Adrian Chua under the gun plus one Gave it no thought whatsoever. <coughs> Welcome, sir. Li Yuan. Chinese delegation rolling very deep here in Jeju. Anytime you have a non-stop, it'll get you to a Triton, you know? Sure. What are we doing sitting on our couch? Grab a flight. Right. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Dirty diaper here for Ren. Big blind. This is really good. What? What? Wants to play it here. Interesting. The just north of Min Rays from inspiring Ren to take a flop in position with just three deuce off, Ali. 
啥都打不开。Nine, nine, six, two clubs. No follow through. And I would think Ren's plan defending with three deuce is not just to connect with the board. <laughs> I'm already like super stressed about flying. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I'm not super stressed, but I just don't enjoy it. Some people love it. With a degree of 50k? But only effort. With oh, look at the line here. Nick. Go on, Lee. This is deeply unanticipated, but very nifty. Unclear, by the way, how familiar these two are with one another in good, terms of meta. Good point. Ren not going quietly just yet. <laughs> Should be like a Naturally, if we're going time bank, he's he's really thinking of doing something. But a button you can click in, in case of emergency that would like put you to sleep. Like I Are more like of the nines in Ren's good. range, like and that's perhaps so what he's leveraging that's potentially? I don't care. Just that's a tricky. One to answer. I would think Lee actually has more nines. <laughs> what he's got is this pot and obviously some swagger, which he's brandished upon arrival here at the featured table. Like, what am I going to do? Like, save the plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. By the way, Lee made his mark in event number one, Nick. 24th place finish, 33-5 the hall. Did not cash in event number two, but here he is. A nose from the money. Laughing gas. A little nitrous in. Make it fun. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if I would click the button or not if I knew it was going down. What are you going to do? Like, save the thing? No, 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 no. No, but do you, yeah, so. In case you land on C or something? No, I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I guess, no, 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 no. of course, I don't want to feel the pain, the physical pain. But no, I'd like that. some last moments to consider. Well, I think like, like, um, yeah. point, right? yeah. Slightly morbid exchange here between Jaffe and Orpin <laughs> with respect to what they would do <laughs> in the event they knew their plane was going down. This is perhaps not where I want my mind here at the feature en route to the money, but we defer. <laughs> Is that fives in the muck yet again? Uh, we've seen a lot of fives hit the muck. That is a sort of hit the muck type of hand in this situation. Hit them in. Yeah, I was thinking ketamine doesn't exactly. Maybe intravenously. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what if we get intravenous ketamine? <laughs> What's happening out here? Unclear. Let's eavesdrop. I know one thing that's happening. We're getting familiarized with China's Li Yuan. Not that this King 7 is inappropriate per se off of 1.5 million, but obviously gave us a glimpse moments ago against Ren Lin. Uh, agreed, now, Ali. Ren, Ace 9, 900 back. Oh, mistake, mistake. <laughs> Upstairs we go, and I gotta be honest. When it goes raise small, I defend nine nine six two clubs. I put the fifty out there. I get check raise. It does leave a bitter aftertaste that maybe, you know, aids this two fifty toward the middle in the form of the three bet. Not that the merits of the ace nine don't. Fair enough, Holly. But but Ren is a consummate professional. Yeah. You're a crazy Persian from California. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's yeah, so that's true, that's too, because it's specifically having cut my teeth in a room like the Commerce in L.A. where that was the order of the day. That's right. A dude would that's look right. at you and be like, okay, you've already three bet me twice. We're just going to we're gonna get dirty in this pot. I kind of cherish, R though. Ren claiming aces, by the way. <laughs> of course he is. I'm shocked that he's not claiming queens. On the stream. Baba. Yes, I, I was going to say that I cherish kind of, and I know you do too, because, mm. you know, you, you were out there mm -hmm. in some rooms where you had to protect your neck, so to speak. The opportunity to be, you know, forged in those environments. And it also gives you perspective into just how much you can appreciate an environment such as this, where on regular right. occasions no, we right. see no, so yeah. much sportsmanship, so much tolerance, you know, yeah. in situations where I, a little I'm thankful mistake for is made for some of the compromised situations I've found myself in. It, it does build some character. My favorite story in that regard was a guy was bluffing and this Russian gangster who everybody knew, crazy guy, did time for knocking out a cop cold on the street with a left hook, so you know... <laughs> You wow. Know, you know the okay. guy is, as we see Ren activating. But a guy bluffed this guy, and the gangster put so much heat on him, just, you know. Well, showed the bluff. No, no. He, oh. he put so much heat on him as he was considering what to do, okay. as Jaffe is with these ducks, that the guy finally just said, I, I can't take it, I'm bluffing, and just, just showed, let the gangster have the pot and just quit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Look at this, by the way. I never Jaffe's really that. one of my favorites. Yeah. This pile seems pretty sweet, but it's not that easy to pull the trigger with the ducks. Especially in the bubblicious. So scary when Ren pulls the patch out. You don't want to see no gamble, no future okay, okay, with the deuces. Okay, okay, okay. Let you go. But he is gone. Does he show the duck? He has to show the duck after he asks. This fucking guy. Huh? Ace deuce? I oh, if shit. I had a deuce, I would show, show the duck. And he <laughs> lies. Oh, I love it. God bless. Sporting exchanges here at the feature. Maybe I should have three bet. Really? <laughs> so you four bet call? You three bet four bet jump? Yes. Oh, shit. King King? No, no way. Your King King is a mini, Luis. Deuce, deuce. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Deuce, deuce, you'll be show me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll see it soon enough, my friend. <laughs> I, uh, Welcome, Aram Oganyan, yeah. to the top of the leaderboard, Nick. Three and a half million. Go, go on, Aram. Top slot ahead of Joe Chong. Shaman O'Dwyer. Slipping to third. Dan Smith in fifth. And guess who's in fourth? How about Michael Adamo? <laughs> Oh. The Adominator We have quite a finish himself. on our hands. Still 53 left. Perhaps Jaffe uh, yeah, should have just paused. Just <laughs> With the ducks in Russian gangster mode and just yeah. awaited Ren's acquiesce <laughs> with the ace-9. Not a bluff, of course. But. I love that the dude quit, though, because that is, you do need to quit after that happens. Yeah. Your, your upside has become quite capped. <laughs> Limp from Chua. Let's see one. Says Biao. Ten in the window. Eight and a four behind it. Diamond free holdings in both camps here. Adrian promptly checking top pair. Gutter for Biao. Adrian, 
the obvious call, a delightful turn here. Board pairing four. See if Ding keeps firing. There's your answer, Nick. And Not feeling shy. And this is uh, tricky for Chua. We're, we're not in love with the situation, but would think we're seeing a river. And does Ding have visions of going three, Ali, barring the nine or the jack? He may have to, unimproved. Trip tens now for Adrian, although one wonders, uh, tens full, forgive me, one wonders whether or not Biao would be assigning 10x to the ranges well, he, played. He's certainly assigning some. There's also just a big diamond, an eight that feels a little caged. Adrian considering lead. So we'll never know whether or not that third barrel. Well, it could come be out. a pseudo third barrel if Ding makes a declaration over the 175. Interesting spot, Ali. Just 420 back for Ding. Approaching the money bubble. This would be valiant. And for that matter, violent. Go on, Adrian. And Ding wasn't no. in love with what transpired no, no, there. The slight spice on the muck there. It hasn't gone well so far here at the feature forum. You own a white blazer? 52 remain now. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> own a white blazer. I'm sure you do, it's though. Uh, my first, I, I grabbed it for our last stop in Monaco because I had these James Fair Bond enough. delusions Monaco, of grandeur. Of course, you know. sure. Meanwhile, flipping it back over to the other feature. D. Pete's you know, sits with 14 bigs, roughly. 555. It'll be on him here under the gun. 5.55 and 5 away from the money. You know, Jason understands the matter at hand right now, but he's such a warrior, Nick. You know it's frustrating to kind of be out there deuce four suited, got to put a few seconds on the muck, and then, you know, just spectate. That's not what he's out here for. It's nobody's favorite phase of the tournament. Agreed, Ollie. <laughs> Ido's got a little bit of a grin on his face. Like, look, I know you know. I know yeah. we're all on board. Thousand says Dawood. Now the hard six for Juan Pardo in the big blind versus the small. One of those situations where maybe the small pocket pair is a little bit more inclined to participate. Well, he's certainly participating. They're both so deep, I think the pragmatic approach is expected. 
Can you say Juan for us again the way you... Juan Pardo? <laughs> it's really it's just something. <laughs> 2.20 in the middle now on an ace-high board. A little C-bet. Not sure. And for Pardo, we're not folding just yet. Even declarations can perhaps be made from time to time. Just go for call. And this is just to keep an eye and, and get to the turn. Is the second barrel the there? diamond working? Maybe hit the three. Maybe bluff a diamond. And this is interesting. From for Dawood? Juan. From Dawood, this is nice. Bet sometimes, check sometimes, perhaps. Bet is certainly natural. Juan just checks. Innocent looking river, but Fazel does not hunt value. And it's interesting when, when Fazel snap checks. If he tank checked, maybe Juan feels more comfortable about checking as it can be a give up. But when they snap, you sort of feel like you lose. But a good check from Pardo, nice discipline. Take it, sir. Fazel Dawood from South Africa, Ali. You know what's funny is I was. First off, just to talk about the snap check, I think that's one of those that it's different for different players. Very the good snap point. check for some guys has always felt to me like, oh, yeah, you really want this bet to come in so you that's can That's what I mean. You know, the induction. Ah, I but see. for others, it's a genuine, like, that's a good point. I don't care about this pot anymore. Yeah. You know, so careful with that. By the way, South Africa, I had wanted to maybe go home the long way mm. and hop in to Cape Town for a little great white shark cage diving. Check that off the list. I don't know that it's actually because I'm in Korea. I should go home uh -huh. through South Africa nonsensical. But are you in for the great white shark cage dive? Ali, you know I'm not. I don't actually. Really? Not. Well, I, I mean, I'm not going to Cape Town with you after two and a half weeks okay, in Korea. Let's say there were great white and sharks off the coast of Jeju and we had like a, you know, a free morning. Would you get down? It just doesn't do it for me. I get it. They swim around. You know, I, I'm good. Uh, it's not so fascinating for me. That, and, and I'm being honest. I'm not messing around. That one doesn't do it for me. Just content. Discovery Channel one week yeah, a year. Yeah, Discovery Channel's yeah. fine. Shark Week or, right. or whatever it is. Yeah. I, I'm good. I'm in. Maybe not after this trip, but um, I'll send you a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Producer James has just stepped in to advise that he'll pay me to go shark diving. See, I'm, you know, in, I, I'm in, James, I've for seen a little, some cage a fail something. videos out there, by the way. Sometimes they slither through the bars. It can be a little dicey, but, you know, i got some risk tolerance, as does Juan Pardo. think Pardo puts DPs in here. Let's see if Peters wakes up with anything. He's squeezing Ali. Uh-oh, ducklings. I don't know about the ducklings for 12 bigs. Mm. We really... A point you brought up the other day, want to be the one putting the chips in with ducks as sure. opposed to calling. D. Pete's agrees, and he certainly didn't land on his career earnings, courtesy of bad decisions. Pardo the beneficiary there. Looking quite slick, by the way. Pardo always looks JP. good. Juan Pardo. <laughs> Say it one more time for us. Just Juan laugh. Pardo. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't already, head over to GG Poker. Our partners run in the WSOP Super Circuit at present all the way through the end of the month, March 31st. And while you're at it, you can qualify for Triton events. Perhaps live the dream on tour with us. Been some wonderful storylines from folks that have spun it up from satellites to make some big scores out this way. The journey begins over at GG Poker, the world's biggest online poker site.
he's six suited. El Matador, El Conquistador, forgive me, takes us up. I was so focused on the L that I, mm. anyway. Ace 10 for JP. This is a little bit interesting for Juan Pardo. Could certainly see three bet. It almost has to be okay. Does just let it go, though, very respectful of Adrian. Opening in this situation, five off. Does bow out. And again, the impact of the bubble sort of on display. And oh. wow, how well served was Pardo to muck the ace 10 as opposed to three bet. As Coleman mm. has woken up with a couple of kings here. Now, do we sneak? I think for Coleman, we go for something in the 220 range. A very kind of polar. The 220, that is? Yeah, just the three bet non all in is one of these things. Goes for 210. And for Adrian, this is not what we wanted to see. Sometimes this kind of hand class gets spicy in ICM situations, and crazier plays have been made than ripping here. But we would expect to see Adrian fold usually. The flat not really available to this hand, is it? The flat five off the money doesn't really feel available at this current time, although I've been surprised before. And he does do it, Ali. Let's see if fortune favors the brave. Fair enough from El Conquistador. Likely in the vicinity of ideas. He looks to the clock. Five off the money. Can he get lucky, Ali? Well, in that chest beats the heart of a lion. But in that hand, the holding of a lamb versus this king king. One and a half million in the middle. Can he find the ace? No, one diamond working. The road to Broadway blocked heavily. Uh-oh. It's never, never easy, Ali. All of a sudden, you see the expansion of those outs. Coleman displeased with these black kings. Can he fade the diamond on the end? He can, and that will spell. Good game, Adrian. I'm sure we'll be seeing... A lot of him over the next few weeks, Ali. Yeah, eliminated on the outside, looking in. But one of those characters, remain. you know, as much as he respects the bubble, yeah. he also is fearless enough to recognize the opportunities that it creates. And that is an idea, his play. That's the really the type of hand in these extreme pressure situations we go for. It, it was certainly neighboring the hand class and... Interesting stuff. Go on, Mr. Coleman, by the way. And it's so easy, of course, you know, armchair quarterback vibes, chat. You know that Coleman has the kings. You shake your head. Maybe you get a little bit critical. But what you need to understand is that Mateos' results over the course of his career, those big wins, likely produced in part precisely on the back of moves such as that where it did work out. He didn't run into kings, or maybe he hits the ace. So, you know, uh, just... I agree, Ali. Respect for the conquistador. El conquistador. And also, I think when we, when we watch great players play, even if they play one that we don't like, not saying even about that hand, <clears throat> we can still glean insights into the process Interesting for Peters, 11 bigs just north. <laughs> Do we min or just go for it all, Ali? All in. There's Have your answer. answer. Ooh, ace, queen, Coleman. Asks for the count, certainly rates to participate. Hmm. 
And a touch deflating for DP. It's the snap how much from Coleman. Sure. But now for Coleman, he's got a player left to act behind in Kuhn. He Kuhn has ace seven queen ninety five. against the button. Ollie, 11 bigs. Ace queen. So the all in as opposed to anything else. Good luck, gentlemen, especially Pete, just given the situation. At risk with 26% equity and an almost one million chip pot here, looking to avoid the fate met by Adrian Mateos just a moment ago. Tough proposition for obvious reasons for the time being. And on the Queen 10-5 board, while he's made top pair, he is out kicked. The Jack at work. No longer as a hook will be the only salvation for D. Peets here. Unavailable. Good game, sir. 50 remain, 47 pays, and another one falls, Ali. About 85 million in earnings out the door in the last two hands. Pretty remarkable when you put it that way. 5.2 million of Pete's career earnings. I run insane on bubbles this entire year. Coming awesome. on the Triton Super High Roller Series. This is. Well, I don't know how many festivals deep. I can't even count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth visit to a Triton for D. Pete's. Five yeah. caches, one title. Coleman, of course, at his first. Nice little one two infusion of capital. 2.3 million plus now. <laughs> Sergio's facial expressions throughout this little stretch have been delightful for me. <laughs> kind of making eye contact with everybody I to I see like who's Sergio. maybe kind of, you know, character. Meanwhile, A7 suited, cut off for Pardo. A7 off on the button for Coleman. Not a negligible depth he's looking across the felt at there in terms of the 1.8 back for Juan. 220. And yet, he summons 220 to the affair. He, he's very much getting after it and curious to see what Malacca Styles responds with. Is it a hand that's a candidate to behave in a similar manner to Mateos' A6 of diamonds? There, well, he has 45 bigs where Mateos had. Of course. 15. And generally, the idea is we kind of want the ace wheel. Mateos was pushing it a bit with the six. The ace wheel, of course, can flop a straight. But here, it seems to me that multiple options are, are perhaps on the table. And of course, the great Juan Pardo will try to get a feel for where Coleman is at. These are things that only they know. We're just observing. Time bank. Ali, look at this. And note the size, the clicky four to 440, Nick. Really top-notch instincts from Juan Pardo. When things are clicky such as this, not that this is a five-bet candidate for Coleman, though, what are your perceptions? Is it polar? Is it somebody who's oh, just... He's well, I mean, we can see that that's not a particularly polar hand. We move forward, but great play from Juan Pardo. Giving people fits. I try to not interject uh, myself, I suppose, when, but I can tell you 11 left in the Triton Main in London. I ran a bluff against Juan Pardo, and he made a really fantastic call on the end. He seemed to just kind of be in the matrix. You know, I didn't feel he was staring me down, but 
he's really good. He came with a tough call. I felt it. And then I walked around London for four hours. <laughs> but, I, you know, it's Good luck, Hajiev. All in for 205. Yeah. Azerbaijan banner. So the point is, we can't know if Juan just felt just a little something. We just can't know. The sixth sense. It's timing, these little micro rhythm. We can't even describe sometimes, but just know. Spidey. Spidey. Just 205. Interesting spot. Vladis probably has to fold, but he knows Hajiev is quote unquote light here for four bigs under the gun as he has to post the blind and the ante neck, so he is in the must gamble zone. 50 remain now. Three away from the money. You hate to put a foot wrong. Especially just 420 back. This would be damaging if it didn't go Tanoshauskas' way. And so he does fold. And now Ido with the sevens. Not in a hurry, but certainly not going to be folding. These ones are a little bit brutal because obviously it feels like a slow roll under normal circumstances. We know, of course, that it isn't. Yeah, sometimes you can whisper to the guy, I'm getting in, but still sort of anyway. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah. I like that, by the way. That's, you know, kind of a sporting hedge you there. Just sort of whisper it. Yeah. Maybe just. Can you hit the ace, in. Solly? Maybe some black cards. 485K pot. Gotta go Ramin's way. He helps to find the money here in event three. Track six, four, no ace. No problem on the other side for the sevens. King on the turn, unhelpful. Can Ramin find the ace? Good game, no. sir. Two away. 49 remain, Ali. Hajiev not going to be able to add to his career Triton earnings of over $4.3 million. One-time title winner, three-time casher. Did find that third cash in event number one. 44th place finish, but still a little something as we flip it back over to Orpin and Company. By the way, the under really looking nice in terms of Lady Gaga line so far. I'm at zero, which is staggering. Now, granted, we haven't been parked here. Yeah, if we uh, were parked, uh, that's right, though, Ali. Likely going in for Ding. Small blind, five and a half bigs, king eight. Tricky, though, with O'Dwyer who can call correctly, let's say. If the big blind were under a lot of pressure, it's really a slam dunk jam. But when O'Dwyer has tons, it's scarier. And it comes, 300,000. O'Dwyer flashes his palms to the sky, and then Good with the queen jack, he's a caller. Advantage ding in the 650K pot. Can he hold, Ali? Only the stub has the answers. Three off the top. Oh, a pause. This is unorthodox. <laughs> <laughs> Flip him over, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
Mm. Oh, now this is very uncomfortable. It's tough. We have a soft hand for hand going on. Note 48 remain. We are on the stone bubble, Ollie. We got there in a hurry. Somebody busted on an outer table. The hands are now put face down as there's outer table action. Customary on bubbles. Let's see, guys. Oh, man. This is where you find out how superstitious you are, by the way, because all of this weirdness now. Because if you bust from a table, that's uh, some hands behind. Oh, yeah. 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 But they haven't started this off camera, right? They did. Yeah, they did. I thought it was. They are, they are counting hands, and now they will make all the tables that are behind catch up before. So I might still play my. Did you catch this soft hand for hand? According to Orpin, there's a number of hands that need to be played for other tables to catch up to this one. This is, is Hence the pause. uncomfortable God, for Ding Bao, of course, and I did catch that. This is wretched. Okay, here we go. We see Luca Vivaldi <laughs> alerting them of the proceedings. Best in the business, Luca. I see the chat the chat inquiring why it's being stopped. There's multiple all ins around the room seemingly, so they have to kind of figure out who has more chips so on and so forth. But also, if two players do bust out, that simultaneous bust out would have to happen on the same you. hand That's in right. order for the <laughs> min cash to be divided. So this is a crazy <laughs> way for Ding Bao <laughs> in this situation. Here we go. Okay, clean for Ding Bao. Doesn't mind the weight quite so much now on a six high rainbow board. Okay. Still all right. This with has it. a chance to be one of the more violent hands of the year. Don't you do it. Oh, oh. It is the queen. You know, as soon as you said it, man. It's not like we're anti-sweating Shaman O'Dwyer by any stretch of the imagination, but just that natural sympathy for Ding Biao, all that he had to sweat out. Good game, Ding. Legends. He'll return. Yeah, no, the question is like, if he also busts now, but they have one, behind, one hand behind. That was cold, Holly. Are you kidding me? That was liquid nitrogen. So with the departure of Ding Biao, we are... In the money here, in event number three, the min cash, 42,000. We're going to stay steady at that figure all the way through 40th place. So no issues in terms of stalling for pay jumps and whatnot. By the way, nice little pump there for O'Dwyer absorbing the remains. 3.6 came in chip leader. Has reclaimed. I'm getting a lot of, of the commentator jinxed Ding Biao mm. in the chat. Mm. Guys, you might be right. Apologies, sir. All right. 
No, hang on. Okay. Okay, but this is. So no, this I'm is not peculiar. sure what's going on. Okay. Are you? So, Luca advising these gentlemen who are in a soft hand for hand situation, they need to catch up to the number of hands played at other tables. That if the bust were to come at this table in the exact same hand, but Ding that Ding Biao busted. busted, and obviously this complicates things because so we're you now know. just in the money, no? No. Because Ding could find himself sharing. I see. 47th with a player who would bust on the same hand here because they've played fewer hands. But mm -hmm. the point that I want to make is when you know I don't that get that's it, the Holly. prospect, you know what I mean? That that could maybe taint procedures for well, a shorty. I, I, well, I, why don't I get it still? Let's just, I trust you, and I'm just going to focus on the poker. This has never been my strong suit, the... Well, it's very unorthodox. The hand for hand logistics and I confess this is the first this time is the I've same observed it. Table. So Ding certainly busted before whoever busts now on the stone. Oh, double. is this no. the same table and I've overlooked that? I don't oh, believe oh, no. I, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm in space. Got it. But now it's quite clear. It, now it's clear. Yeah. Now, under normal circumstances, of course, hard hand for hand would have been engaged. Got but it. We just slid in there so quickly, as you pointed out. Forty-eight remained, and we didn't get to kind of flip that switch. So I see. A little smirk there on Juan Pardo's face, by the way. Seems like he's enjoying himself. Although obviously, nobody wants to sit idle at the table. This is why I asked the dealer to deal. You know, a hand of Chinese, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, is that out of bounds? Can we not? Put four piles out there. Let's go. 100 a point. Four piles. I'm actually a bit surprised, just given the Far Eastern contingents, that I haven't seen more Chinese poker get played around the room. You know, Chinese poker... Closed face, old school, by the way. It it it, uh, it died a bit, right? Yeah. Just a bit. The closed face for closed sure. Closed face had its run. It was a great run, but it, it's not as round as it used to be. Of course, that open face pineapple became kind of the crack rock I of played, the Chinese streets. I played some, some Chinese with Danny Tang and Jason Kuhn on a flight back from the Bahamas. Cheap. Just to pass the time. That's always where to do it, by the but way. But I can tell flight. you, and I don't play Chinese, you Kay. know. I really don't. Open or closed? You said, what did we play? We pl I think we played pineapple. Okay. But Danny was so amazed at how poorly I was playing. <laughs> he gave me a look that will live with me forever. <laughs> he looked at me for one of my setups, <laughs> and he froze. It was as if the universe stood still. And he didn't mince words either. He, you know, I said, what, that's not good, my, my setup? And he said, what did he say? <laughs> it was just. It wasn't a simple you know, no, was it? No. There was more to he it. He looked at me and just kept staring at me for like 20 seconds. It was as if he has never met a dumber person <laughs> in his life. He thought you were trolling. He thought maybe I was trolling. You can see Jason, understandably a little bit antsy, wants to get going again. Here we are. Okay. Back to work. And hasn't really been much work for Jason to do other than sit back and enjoy making the money. Although now, as we often observe, the shorties in the room will freewheel, look to spin. No shortage of them, by the way. I count eight stacks, nine, let's say. I think I should be beating you. <laughs> Ten or fewer bigs.
Rocket Pardo got a walk with Jax. Okay, I'm being told we're gonna step aside briefly. We do need to break a table, get things rebalanced over here, but stay with us. Continuing coverage of event number three, the 25K Silvermane is gonna come your way in just about four minutes time. Nick and I will be back with you shortly. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8 max MTT, first to act under the gun. At what stack depth should you consider opening low pocket pairs like 4-4? Four, four? A. Always open these hands. B. Only open them below 20 big blinds. C. Below 30 big blinds. Or D. Below 50 big blinds. Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just 5 minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Jeju Shinoa World. Here to fix the, the accommodation problem. And we're back after a brief pause with the resumption of play here in the money in event number three, the 25K Silver Main from the Landing Casino in Jeju Island, South Korea. Welcome, Mr. Shevlyakov. And we're back to kind of a bit more uh, normal pace of play, which will be nice yeah. Thank you. after the grind, Holly. Yeah, it, it is a grind, but you know, it's just par for the course. Yeah. It's Welcome, not Mike the Caxton. product of 
Anyone doing anything Where that was untowards or unconventional? What position were you when the table broke? On the big blind. Next Isaac, for be, those who may not blind. know, wow. in the discussion what of best sweat. in the world, and yet has not hoisted the hardware here at a Triton yet, might this be the stop where it happens for him? Obviously, making a run into the money is the start. 10-9 off. Defends against the Ido min raise with the blinds at 25-50. King, Jack, Trey, gutter for Haxton. <laughs> Whose shirt, by the way, reminds me of the movie Do the Right Thing. Looks like a Keith Haring type print. 12 bigs and change for Isaac, the gut shot that you mentioned. Sergio Stapps, certainly no folding. The question is, what does Isaac come with? I shouldn't say certainly, but we would think a straight draw kind of has to continue. Yeah, with the bubble having burst, obviously. Perhaps we mix call and raise? Goes for call. Now the 10 giving Haxton the lead with a pair. Of course, the obvious Broadway gutter for Ido's ace high, which now lags behind in a 395k pot. And an interesting spot for Ido, as he has many of the great hands that Isaac doesn't have, which is typical on a three Broadway board. Not that they're all the same, but we would expect to hear from Isaac Pre with ace, queen, kings, jacks, so on. So it allows Sergio to barrel quite a bit in this spot. But the flip side is he's fairly naked holding-wise, or just, in fact, stone naked. He does fire, and this spot is very interesting, mm -hmm. Ali. Very much so. We've improved, and yet we see the obvious two overs. We're mindful of the Broadway combos that are in Ido's range, and obviously mindful of this second barrel of 175 into just shy of 400. Just 425 back. We make this call. It's a chunk of that stack. But as I touched upon, the pay band all the way up to 40th is 42K. No immediate jumps. But obviously preservation of stack. And the, the prospect of complicated rivers as well. Agree with all of this, Sally. Does get it through very nice from Sergio Ido. And kind of understandable there for Ike in terms of having to look into the crystal ball a bit on the river and ask no, oneself unimproved. I believe so, Ollie. You know, where do we find ourselves? You know, I remember how often good earlier fold. in my poker career. <laughs> I actually I don't wouldn't. know if that was a good fold or not. I think he might have been might have been loading up on that one. <laughs> I've been misbehaving over there. Coon is correct. He he I've is been correct. Low, bluff, low bluffy. And, and by the way, I think he's just being serious and kind of letting Sergio know. You know, he doesn't usually jump in from the rail. Although it is that kind of board. Good read from Coon though. I was just saying about how a lot of times I'd find myself earlier in my poker career, by the way, just to finish the thought, mm -hmm. on the river and then wondering, like, once I face, you know, some sort of action I should have considered, 
going, well, how did I end up here? Why, why didn't I consider that before I made my decision on the turn? And of course, we know Ike, chess-like mind in terms of the approach as we see. Good luck, Mr. Shevlyakov. Yeah. All in for two bigs. And agreed, Ali, I have found myself in those rivers as well. Dark call. That's a pretty good hand for a dark call. Oh, this is going to oh. be such a <laughs> filthy <laughs> slow roll. You didn't see it. No, I didn't look. Obviously unintentional, but perhaps the sun has found a home on David Coleman. 976 board. It's certainly not shining down on ace three right now as the Russian looks on. 275 in the middle. Kay. Opportunity. 10 over 5 would do the trick for the ace three. The three still a direct oh, winner. Okay. Instead, a four on the end. And we lose Alexander Shevlyakov. Very good run to you, sir. Nice to find the money. Did not manage to cash in events number one or two. So has broken the seal here at his first ever Triton Festival. Just once I want somebody who's busted out to just get behind one of these cameras and just kind of man it, maybe move it toward the player who busted them. Just give them a nice zoom, especially if it's a bad beat. Yeah. Just tell us how that felt, sir. I, again, my mind goes to these places no one else's does, I feel. A mind like no other. <laughs> What's the most insane kind of manner in which you've been showered in a tournament and found your way? Have you ever had anything other than just like a bolt out the door I kind did, of deal? I did have a little bit of a meltdown. Do you remember years ago, it was in Atlantic City, right? it was at the Behind Taj. It. Anyway. Uh, R.I.P. Taj Mahal. I busted and the cameraman, this guy's following me to my room. You know, I'm out the door <laughs> a long time ago. Wait, you talking elevator ride? Not elevator ride, but you know, to and, the and bank. finally I turned around and it wasn't my best moment. I've matured. <laughs> <laughs> Were there some choice words for the cameraman, Nick? It, it wasn't my best moment. <laughs> you didn't have to settle out of court, did Limp you? From Coleman, let's see what Coon comes with with this offsuit king. Twelve bigs does go in. Take it, sir. Nice little activation from what has been a largely quiet Jason Kuhn thus far. Card dead, really. Just approaching the bubble as needed. Card dead with some appropriate restraint. Yeah. A bob and weave. Just scrolling through the chat, by the way, and you know... Go I kind of knew this, but 7-4 Offsuit is stepping in to advise that it's pronounced Cheju, not Jeju. You know, that's a tough one. It, it's when, when American CJ is you know, tricky one, but good to know. Cheju. I might stick with Jeju respectfully, and I know that may feel pompous, but I'm not out here saying Los Angeles. <laughs> So in that way... But, but you kind of are. You know? <laughs> you never miss an opportunity to say Barcelona, <laughs> Juan Pardo, <laughs> Los Angeles. You, you love it. I mean, what about Sirzad? You were really... Say his last Shirzad name again. Sirzad Chrisu. Chrisu. It's like... You're there, by the way. Well done. And by the way, this could be potentially interesting. Let's see. Again, Sergio has that go nuts type of hand. Sometimes... Coleman with a great hand. Could flat. Could three bat. The flat feels like with some frequency Coleman's approach to this specific spot. Now that Ido's kind of a bit deeper. I think it's one of those. Ido's sub 20. 
He has 17. Ace Queen suited really is a 17 type of hand, but when we're suited, his hand is so nice. We're in position. Looks like he is reaching for the three bet. And let's see how Sergio responds, Ali. Would not be shocked to see it go in here. Well, it is specifically those suited wheel aces that can get a little rambunctious in the face of such three bets. Mateos with the A6 suited earlier. Back on Sergio. This feels <clears throat> like about even money. Very nice from Sergio just getting away. Note you don't have to just jam every suited ace wheel in these situations. Great fold given how <laughs> rough of a shape he was in. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's weird, like, the restraint that you show there, in particular in spots that you know sometimes the solvers will be ushering you more in that direction, I think, are the ones that kind of pique my interest. Because Absolutely. you We're don't allow now, yourself. You know, yeah, this. exactly. That computer ain't out here at this table. I am. Correct. And it ain't taking it all into consideration the way I am, so. That's exactly right, Ali. Shout out, by the way, to West Coast in the chat who says, how about some thumbs up for such an amazing poker production? If you can't give this a thumbs up, you shouldn't have one. LFG. Thank Lo you for the love. Much love, West Coast. Smash that like and uh, what is it? subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. yeah, smash that button, guys. I'm just kidding. I don't, you know, the, I'm not the whole kidding. smash that. No, do it. But, mash, you mash know. smash, click. I'm not actually out here saying... You know, right. but yeah, hit the like, and then you get the notifications, and it helps the algorithm. Everybody knows that, right, right Ollie? Yes. But right. I must confess, when I'm on YouTube, I never like or subscribe to anything, and I just keep watching. You, you know, know? It's crazy. I feel a little guilty, but I just, I don't know. I think it might be kind of a our generation thing. It's our I, generation, I, I right? Too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I got guys I, I love. I got cooking stuff <coughs> going on. Defense here from Ido. Anyway, digressions. But yeah, everybody else do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sergio in the mix, but not really involved in the 10-9-5 board here. Similar for Coleman, wheel, back door, ace high, betting lead. Uh, an absolutely mighty cackle emanating from the playing arena, by the way, straight into the booth. That really was a mighty cackle as we see the stab from Coleman winner. <laughs> I, I want to know what a that bit, was. Uh, you know. Evil? Almost a bit evil. I take it he won the pot, whoever that was. Or maybe reveled in a buddy of his not winning a pot. It was one of those sort of cackles, too. Is that schadenfreude? The uh, German term for reveling in someone else's demise? It is. That's a good one, by the way. We don't have that in English. It's a terrific word. Tens for Coleman. Terrific hand. Up we go. Basel, defense with the 7-5. Lacking an over card, but wow. hitting bottom two. The jack lurks as an over for Coleman in a 275K pot. Checked over. One saving grace for Coleman is he has a pretty thematic check, although bet has to be fine. But sometimes when we have the pair just below the top card. Seemingly an idea is to check quite a lot. Good start for Coleman. Now an ace on the turn, an additional action freezer, but 
Coleman, as played, could seek to represent potentially. Fossil gets very sneaky, and I think there's just no need to represent with his particular hand, where if he had air, certainly, I think Coleman will be very content to check again. Just in the event that Dawood has the jack or the ace. Running ace is an absolute disaster for Dawood, who never put a chip in post-flop. Extreme slow play. And this is a touch close for David in the face of the third check. Do we try to milk a seven? Possibly eights, or do we just check and win a lot? Let's see. The jack is certainly available to Dawood as played. <laughs> well played. Uh, anyway, you better read it. <laughs> well played. He, he's so right, by the way. The the Nicely navigated huh? from no, no, Coleman. No, no, no. Not not on the side, <laughs> I'm for you. Yeah, 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 for sure. Interesting, Fazl saying, uh, I'll check raise you any anytime you bet, and immediately Coleman goes on the river? Because well that's played. the relevant Good question, street, by the way. You know? Lucky, lucky. When one gets to showdown such as that, obviously, you know, people paying attention out there, do you ever log it and think to yourself, okay, when my man's checking here, moving forward, his range contains quite a bit I don't think we've ever met. of I'm the Jason. good stuff? Nice to meet you. It all gets What's logged. Uh, Faisal. Faisal. Faisal? Uh, Faisal. Nice uh, apologies, you. sir. Been saying Faisal to this point? Faisal Dawood? Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Jason's such a, a fun wonderful place to be meeting. To the Triton series. Tamashauskas deems this the moment from the cutoff. Queen five suited. Two ninety five. Two ninety five. Okay. Jack six off, Nick. Obviously can afford to make the call. That's fine. <laughs> and ends up folding. Tamashauskas also not unlike Kuhn has been largely quiet on the afternoon. And I think it kind of goes to show you that you don't have to be out there doing anything exotic. We were 16 away from the bubble to start the day, I believe it was, something in that neighborhood. He did start the day with that 4-4 jam over the open and flat from right. Coleman, and that really gave him enough cushion to, to, to kind of to coast. Mm -hmm. But you're right. What was the announcement? Especially, I think, a lot of times. Sure. Uh huh? What was the, why that is the was just starting the 30K. Why is the clock paused and what are we doing? Oh, I don't know what's happening here. People will sense that, okay, it's the bubble. Now I can accumulate chips. Maybe I should get busy a little bit. But, you know, even for the likes of greats like Jason Kuhn, recognition that the setup is such that we maybe coast our way into the money and then is this 10 find activations the rest of the on the inside of the membrane. That's right, Ollie. It gets turned on and off at various points. I don't know how it works. I think it's going to be like most of the time until the final table, yeah. It's very complicated. I, I, I'm confused and do not love it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a thing past the bubble. It shouldn't be right now, I don't think. Pardo, Jack Deuce getting after Haxton.
canine unit. Ike, just 300 back. All in. And does jam. And he does, and a nice jam it was. That's no, a, you have a little more fold equity than you think sometimes. Meaningful pickup. Well, if you want to pick up some of what some of these players are putting down in terms of caches from afar, what better place to do so? And at our official staking partners over at Poker Stake, where rake and transaction fee free with guaranteed winnings, you can take a piece of your favorite players, join the journey, and celebrate the rewards of big victories. Check them out now at pokerstake.com. Flipping back over to the other feature, Ace 10 on the button for Orpin. Does come in. <laughs> and for Lee Yuan with fives, it's not our favorite spot, but ten and a half bigs from the button. See what he comes with. We saw fives willfully finding the muck repeatedly on the outside of the bubble. And now on the inside, different procedures available. Lee Wan so, so your boys took that lovely up. line against Ren Lin, uh, blind right versus now, blind. He is at earlier. A museum, uh, like not museum really. They call it a museum. Check it's raising uh, the like flop to take one. Museum. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that one's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, well, they have it in Tokyo. They have it in a few places around. Yeah. The he does let go of the fives. That's been a theme today. And for Ren yeah. with Ace Eight suited, this is quite close. Well, uh, Hope it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one Lady Gaga, by the way. Good luck, gentlemen. I mean, Corbin will be pleased to see the the news, given the reaction. <laughs> Even Steve O'Dwyer, who's normally pretty mum out there, like <laughs> the same deeply entertained. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me more about the face cream. <laughs> they weren't all Mama in. 10 6 4. Nut flush draw against top pair. Yo, I know. Okay. Wow. 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 No, no, no. Okay. Orpin better than a three to two favorite with two to come obvious threats. Add a couple of eights to the equation in terms of disaster cards for Orpin. Can he oh. hang in and hold? Oh. Indeed he can, Ali. Go on, Orpin. I have two diamond. <laughs> Ren really is a character out there. Yes. Nick. It's not. You remember back in the day when televised poker. Uh, you made me really worried. Like. <laughs> was. Ever felt more scared being a well, sort of in its infancy, there were a lot yes. of people who were just crafting sort of caricatures or, you know. It's here. The, uh, there he is. It's sort of possible, Dolly. <laughs> if you will. Yes. Like, this is just Ren Lin. But let's, and let's observe. Indeed it is. Adrian Chua. Haven't seen much of him since he picked up aces against tens early in the afternoon. Out of the money. Ace eight suited now for the shaman. One ten. Deuces. Return to sender, and now an ace-10 suited on the button here for Li Yuan. Playing 1.5. Cautious procedures. 
no way, no. Against the big stack. Played as a flat. Jaffe with an ace of his own in the big here. Can close the action for another 60 for a shot at 345. It's the type of hand that actually likes to fold a lot in theory in this spot, though, for really the exact reasons we're looking at. <laughs> he does let it go. The f if not the open, the flat from the button between these two. Exactly right. Yeah. And a big flop for O'Dwyer. Yeah. Spade draw. <coughs> Seen O'Dwyer check back the nut flush draw already on the afternoon. Here he is playing it as a check out of position mm. and no hesitation and on Yuan. As he barrels a hundred K. Chop as it stands, no, we would prefer O'Dwyer's <laughs> hand for obvious reasons. This is an interesting barrel from Li Yuan. I don't know how that is. What are we targeting in a situation such as this in terms of better hands that we're hoping to hold the bigger ace? I suppose we're targeting not really the bigger ace. I think all ace highs give it a try once more, but we're targeting some Broadway type spade draws. Obviously with the double paired board, the bigger ace, so to speak, is kind of irrelevant right, at this point, but, but Dwyer is in. Let's see. Yeah. And maybe we're purchasing the right to check back the river if things don't get complicated, which they do a bit. Given the arrival of the spade, O'Dwyer now nut flush, still checking. And, and a good check from Lee yeah. Yuan, likely. It does feel as though once we get called on the turn, the ace is bottom of range for O'Dwyer. Sailing has been largely smooth for Steve O'Dwyer on the afternoon. Came in as the chip leader, relinquished it briefly. 7.2 million roughly in career Triton earnings, 19 caches. This is 20th. Two titles and no making a run at a third here in event number three from Jeju Island. No. King Jack off suit. 42 Martin. remain, Ali. Pay jump comes between 40th wow. and 39th. That's Ace right. Queen suited here for Ren Lin. No gamble, no future sticker deployed. All in declared on the button. Nines for Jaffe. And this is close for Jaffe. Very close. I think if Orpen opened cutoff and Ren jammed where Jaffe does do it. But you're thinking maybe in that situation well, the that nines one, are cozier. Well, that one, it just seems clearer to me. This one, it's still likely in. Good luck, gentlemen. Huge flip here. Jaffe, the covering stack as Orpin. <laughs> All the way. Wow. Strong. Wow, my favorite. Let's go. If you fold a queen, there will be ace coming. So calls for Gaga. Ace would work as well. Wow. Two clubs on the board. No king of clubs. 
Rouge draw two overs for Ren Lin. No look. A favorite with two to come. No longer the case as the board pairs. Can he find the double through Jaffe and stay alive? GG. Oh, no. no. Good game, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Sad to see Ren go, but... Indeed, he goes. Zai Jian. <laughs> well, we've lost the white blazer. As you said, maybe he pulled it out a little bit too early. But he'll be back, Ali. No question about it. Didn't make the trip out here to the island to play a couple and be done with it. We'll be seeing more of Ren Lin. 42,000 in the back pocket and in the front pocket for Jaffe. That 800 plus that Ren brought to the party, putting him up at 2.6 million, 43 bigs, as the blinds will be moving to 30 and 60,000. Welcome back here to the desk, Ali Najad and Nick Shulman, just moments away from a scheduled break here. But uh, it was grindy a little bit as we reflect upon that first frame. And then once the money bubble burst, we did see some cool things go down. Yeah, it, it was very grindy. And then a relatively quick bubble. And of course, for Ding Bao, uh, you yeah. know, that was vicious. No question about it. Taking a look at the overall chip leaders, we touched on Steve O'Dwyer bringing that lead into the afternoon. He is still retaining it at 3.8 million and change. Aram Oganyan, uh, Ognay, no, Oganyan, forgive me. Dan Smith in third in that order. David Coleman, who we got a good glimpse at, running in fourth right now. Shortest of all stacks in the room, but in the money, of course, is Portugal's Joao Vieira I. Caxton, just a click ahead of him. So with that, I will cede the booth over to Dankness himself, Will Jaffe. Nick will be back with you just about 10 minutes time. Don't go anywhere. Continuing coverage of event number three the 25k silver main comes your way after this Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard. Practice against GTO on all your devices. Study any situation using our revolutionary AI-powered solver. Upload your hand histories to uncover your biggest leaks. We have hundreds of hours of coaching from top pros, cutting edge theory articles, and custom study plans to help guide your poker journey. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of BetACR.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
Just Seize the Wonder. 제주 신화 월드. <웃음> 왜 h 샹 really chewed on this one, Nick, before deciding to 3-bet to 200,000? Stack depth s a function of this? He, he did chew on it. And for Adrian, of course, this is the dream. His job, though, is to chart a course to get all of the chips in, it and is, presumably the jam here is the best way to get there, or do we just get cute? Could see both. If, if we think Wei might have something like King Jack off, maybe we slide the flat and he does go for the sneak. Love to see it as things get interesting, more so than the simple jam. And the over pair remains for Wei Xiang, which is a problem in terms of any escape hatch. We see Chua checking over. Understandable one into the 475. Chua plays it as a flat once more. King of Diamonds on the turn. This is definitely a card that could create some pause in the face of the check call. And one could see Wei thinking these tens are good a lot. He does put them in. See if he can bink the ten, Ali. Well, when you're wrong, it isn't all that costly in terms of just 275k effective, which Adrian is happy to be asked for. He needs to fade just That's two nice. outs. And he's no done people. so. Oh, 1.3 million no plus. On, Adrian. And a warm welcome to the feature. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. If I recall, he did get a bit down there in one of them. It never hurts having it on a resume, even if it's irrelevant to the things you do. It's just like, at least shows that you could get through something, you know? Yeah. I think there's always a little skepticism for people who never really did a formal. You know? Queen 8 suited, and Orpen activates, tens resurface this time in the stewardship of Hungary's Laszlo Boitas, who's 435, wastes no time. Laszlo is a legend. Not that this jam is particularly legendary, but in general. As I understand. Jaffe looks intrigued, Dolly. The legend of Laszlo largely centers around the four card streets. Indeed it does. We'll have his hand momentarily, but this is legit, and he does put it in. Is Ren working a brontosaurus rib back there? Did you see the size of that? I, I didn't see that, but let's <laughs> see. Based on Lazo's reaction, I feel like it's ace-king. This has ace-king vibes, Ali. It's king-king king king vibes as the Jaffe Jam. Sheds Orpin and may very well be shedding Laszlo Boitas, bar a 10 or some other form of, of improvement in a 1 million chip pot on his feet. Ace, eight, deuce, and one of those welcome moments where two kings aren't dreading the ace on the board, but would be dreading a 10. A little bit naked for Laszlo Ali. Mm -hmm. Needs to make 30 miles on the end here. Good game, sir. And instead, the six of diamonds. He'll D Mike. Makes it the end of the road. Oh, wow. 
it's, it's old in anyway, yeah. You said old in yeah. yeah. Well, that was a little... <laughs> like something <laughs> different for you, for you right? <laughs> you know, I didn't believe it until I stepped into a, a South Korean casino and realized that indeed the world does. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts people are really paid. <laughs> On you, Adrian. No problem. Love to see the wet nap being employed, by the way. I confess, every wet nap I've been given has just been, it's ended up in a landfill somewhere locally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ducks for way. Might be time. Where are you from, Adrian? Good luck, sir. Oh, nice. He agrees. Uh, from the United States. Florida? Yeah, nice. Where are whereabouts of you? Sometimes. Uh, last year, I think I did a couple of Okay. North or oh, okay. That's right where I am. I'm like 15 minutes from the Hard Rock, a uh, little suburb of Fort Lauderdale, if you know. Yeah. I'm not from there originally. I'm from up north, um, Massachusetts. You know. Yeah. yeah. But he's suited here for yeah. Ren. Likely enough, before, yeah, just I, south I of Four Bigs. That was the best experience I've ever. Uh, was Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah. Fuck for you, <laughs> Service, the seats, like it's just incredible. I believe that, yeah. We haven't really flown first on almost anything, but I can't see how much better it's ever like. Yeah. 275k pot. So much more meaningful for Wei Xiang Yu. And the 7 4 Trey board has put Ren Lin more than a nose in front in terms of equity. That was very neat. Yeah, that was awesome. rightfully on his feet here as the I turn fails that. to deliver the duck. And the Good river game, as well. Sir. With that departure, we will be down to 54 uh, runners here. There's a direct that's like six. Four. The world's biggest online poker site. Six suited. El Matador. El Conquistador. Forgive me. Takes us up. I was so focused on the L that I. Mm. Anyway. Ace 10 for JP. This is a little bit interesting for Juan Pardo. Could certainly see three bet. It almost has to be okay. Does just let it go, though, very respectful of Adrian. Opening in this situation, five off. Does bow out. And again, the impact of the bubble sort of on display. And oh. wow, how well served was Pardo to muck the ace 10 as opposed to three. Another day, another dollar. And by dollar, I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars, <laughs> potentially millions um, here. The Jeju Shinwa world, day three. Uh, but it's day two of the 25K. Silver Main, the Triton Super High Roller Series. Nick, you've been here. You've seen the money bubble pop. Uh, any thoughts or what? how's this tournament been? I mean, it's been more of the same. It was a particularly kind of stressful bubble, I guess. It was quick, but uh, yeah, Ding Bao got in and there was a prolonged break because there was outer table action. You know the rest. He got rivered violently, but... Uh, it's been it's been exactly what you would expect. World class play, a lot of international spice, and uh, you know I've been delighted to sweat it so far. And speaking of that international spice, the Irishman Steve O'Dwyer in the chip lead, but some Americans up there: Dan Smith, 
David Coleman, Jonathan Jaffe, no relation, obviously. Um, Oganyan in second. You know Aram a little yeah, bit, right? Yeah. So we'll, <laughs> we'll have a look yeah. at this guy, but <laughs> get ready. It's going to be a spicy day. Uh, let's take a look at these tables. Uh, you see up there on our blue feature, we've got JNT, who I, I'm not super familiar with. Uh, so JNT is a, a very successful guy who's transitioned to poker, and he's been very successful in poker. He... Uh, We'll see. I, I'm familiar with him. I had a deep run with JNT once, and he, he'll put you in a lot of tough spots kind of out of nowhere. You know, he, it's almost like calm, calm, and then pounce. Almost so. like being in the booth with Ali. Or, it sounds yeah. Like. yeah, or or you a little bit. Yeah, a little not, bit. Not, really? Ali, well, not yet. I'm, but you, right. you're also like that. We also have a special edition. Uh, we got a, I got to see a lot of this guy last night with Rasty, uh, uh, Liang Shu. Yes, let's go. I caught I'd, some of that. I'm curious to see how quickly the beers come out because he yes. was throwing them back yes, last night. Solid. So, yeah. Uh, let's get into the action. See over at the red table, Aram is our chip leader. And I think one of the interesting things as you go through the stages of these tournaments, Dick, is yesterday, very deep stacks, 100 big blind stacks. Now you see a lot more of those 10, 15, 20 big blind stacks. Just kind of gets shorter and shorter as the intensity goes up. So what are you looking here? I mean, we've got stack tables, obviously. Yeah, well, it's a great point, Will. It's There's a lot of very technical navigations and these sort of awkward stack sizes to, to manage. And it's just the nature of tournaments as it progresses. You see a lot of that. And of course, ripe with fantastic players. And the hood comes on for Ole, Will. Ole, yeah. Uh, one of the online legends, Wizzo Wizzo, German. And I'm going to look through here because, Nick, we, we've had a major issue here at Triton. Obviously great tournaments, but so far the Fedor camp is two for two. Two for two. It's surely... But, but Nick, I'm just doing a little flag check, and I believe we may already be fedor list in this tournament. And I, by Fedor, I don't just mean Fedor. The Fedor-Hulls. whole crew. The whole crew. Got it. No one from Austria. Germans don't count to me. They might be involved, but they're not. You know, they're okay. not. They're not coming from the factory, at least. Right. Um, so yeah. The, the the field can breathe a sigh of relief, and this is a uh, Chuliang. First of all, this jacket is. Yeah, you know, this is heat. This guy put on a show last night. He did. Looking to pick up where he left off with the king six on the button. Sixty k on the blind right now. Goes for 175. Yeah, makes it pretty big. Ole with another king. And Ole, one of these guys who's just been around forever. Really great player. Tons of winnings online. Trying to make a little bit of a name for himself here at Triton. I'm not sure how much, you know... I don't think he has a big Triton's title yet, for sure. Definitely some runs. Just going to let it go. I mean, what can you do there, really, right, in the face of that jacket? Seem right, exactly. When you put it that way. Do you know if we lost Ivy? I don't. Let's see. Answer coming momentarily. It does appear we lost Ivy in 42nd. Good game, sir. GG, sir. So the players all who have cashed so far, 42,000. Nothing to scoff at. Next player eliminated will then go to a pay jump, 48,000, all the way up top. And, I mean, going through these fields, first event, I believe, was 786,000 for first. Second event, 903,000. Felt like this one would crack seven figures, but 1.45 million up top. For I mean, some reason, I was surprised that this tournament did so well of course these fields have been crazy but for this to surpass the 15 just as far as raw number of entrants it's it's been incredibly strong juliang back at it I like the way this guy puts the chips in well you're in for a treat then because uh he puts the chips in a lot And Ole here, I mean, is this getting into, like, any too high card reshoving range when, when this Not type of player? 
you got to. Uh, he it seemed like he was I had maybe a little posturing, just saying, maybe "Hey, man, take it easy, take it easy." Shoot. Maybe a little bit of pay jump situations as well. Ole is not in a rush to snap act per se, and for JNT, hopefully you'll be getting accustomed to. The stylings, Will? You know, this does kind of feel like, Nick, you're out there on safari. It's a calm day, but you see a couple of lions. Definitely. In the roaming, and you, you know <laughs> something could happen. That's exactly right. So let's see. Uh, 350 in the middle, a little peer over from Liang. Yeah, and look at the, the drip, Nick. It, the, watch, an, the watch pops out naturally. It's very strong. Bottom pair for JNT, middle for Liang. Interesting spot for Liang. Kind of one of these spots where you bet your range, but you don't love your hand. I agree. It's a great board for Liang. Yeah, and there you go. Bet small. JNT, I guess, just, what are you hoping for? Let's it go. Chu Liang, I mean, these are the type of players, you know, mixing in with these Dan Smiths and Steve O'Dwyers. It's really what's so cool about these Tritons. And just the the people watching, even poker aside, the swag watching. Those sound it, fun. It, it, like the, you never, like <laughs> case in point. No, I don't think so. Here we go. <laughs> Let's find out who this fellow is. I do think that's Joe Chung. Indeed, it is. Dan Smith bringing some drip. Dan Smith known to bring the drip to the feature tables. Always DMP with King. Dao Min Fu, this guy is another kind of hot. one of these up and coming sort of <laughs> legends that just burst on the scene. Vietnamese player came out and said, You know, you guys are going to Detroit and Vietnam. I'll, I'll ship something for yes. a couple milli. And here's a ROM. Yeah. What's this guy's deal? Online player. Very good player. Hilarious kid. You just got to sort of watch gotta, the way he goes about it. his yeah. business. Yeah, Armenian okay. from L.A. I mean, Ooh. he's a, you know. Yes, yes. The like Armenians and the Albanians. Yes. The A's, Nick. Correct. Double A's. A plus. Oh, and, and you know, it's, it's so funny because this is Paulius, who I've actually seen on a couple feature tables, but not dripped. I haven't seen him this He, he just went to the... The water park or something yeah. before this uh, day day two here. And Robic in the big blind. This yeah. table's very stacked. Well, I don't know if we talked about this, but Robic's just one of those guys you feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of during this series. Agreed. Very one of these more thoughtful players. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the, like the golden kiwis were incredible. Fuck. Yeah, he's tough. I love his table presence. Pensive, borderline annoying. Yes. Dalman Fu looking very relaxed with the Cowboys there, yeah. as one should be, until the ace always comes. But we still bet, put out a small bet range-wise. I think checks are, are possible <clears throat> at 30, but yeah. he goes for third, and, and for Roman, it's an interesting spot. Like a very small piece. Like <laughs> he might be considering raise well. And is this just we're so weak? Maybe try to get out some of these hands that have equity. No, he's just gonna call. Just recall, which is understandable as well. Of course, it's dicey, but he tears one off. Looking for a seven or jack. That won't help. Dow quickly checks back. Another queen on the river. At a glance, check, check, winner for Dow is very likely. I like the speed DMP plays with, the snap, check, stare Huge down. Huge fan Sweet. of the, the hyper turbo, you know, inst insta actions to balance out the uh, more pensive players. Nothing wrong with that, of course. And now, interestingly enough, pretty bad river for Dow, right? Loses to an ace, loses to a queen now. And does Robic want to turn this hand into a bluff, try to get Might exactly these type of hands Goes to for hold? Check. Oh. I guess he'll be good some of the time, right? Yeah, he has a little a bit of showdown. Yeah. Certainly a bet puts nines in, a, in an uncomfortable spot. And a sweet now, value bet first from Dao Min Fu. Yeah, this is really just a... 
assessing the situation. And now opens the door, though, yeah, potentially. He does open the door. He also just gives Roman a great price to call and beat plus. something like 8-9 suited. 9 plus. That very small bet on the river in position, it can be an idea if you're feeling it. It might not always be theoretically sound, but it's not easy to combat. And he does get paid <coughs> off. Bravo, Dao Min Fu shows the kings. That's a winner. And with these players, it's always a little glimpse, right, into their success when we see these hands, a little clue. Because a lot of people would, I think, be happy to knuckle there, Definitely. take the pot. Mr. Fu. From the great nation of Vietnam. Uh, yeah. I got a queen. Have I haven't. I feel like I have from all the limit hold'em I've played at the Commerce, but... One of the best uh, Vietnamese players in the world, limit hold'em. You cannot see the turn. <laughs> I got queen. There you see Aram up top. And Kyan Makri, another name we've seen. He lost a brutal hand, Nick, in the 20K. Remind me? Rom I think we were Rom together. No, it was, it was uh, uh, you, you were uh, probably taking a nap or something, but uh, Roman, Robek, shoves under the gun. Kyan just calls with kings. Mm. Alexander Zuboff reshoves with jacks. Mm. I did see this yeah, on the highlights. It was, it was a, it was a final table, you know. Yeah, of course. Impactful Probably pot, worth five like million chips, Jack on the river, real dollars Jack on the on river, the, on the river, Nick. Brutal. How do you take it? Like a champ. I mean, look yeah. at the guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's been getting a massage <laughs> since that hand. A lot of bright lights. Daniel Devoris, just, I mean, the thing is, you lose sight of all the big names here. I know, it's easy so to take it for granted. Joey Chung. Kyan with the suited connector, and are we late enough position to just pile this in and hope for the best? Or is I it don't, I think it's just a little too low. Where are we? Maybe a six, seven? I suited? think even that yeah. one's too low. Eight, nine, I would sort of draw the line. Well, you see why. Sevens for Paulius, and this is one of these spots where you almost want to induce, but just not good enough. I think sevens is a, is a classic just jam. But we are in the vicinity of induce. You're right, Will. going to rip most of the chips in there. Paulius, part of this uh, Lithuanian contingent. I mean, these guys can really play, Nick. They've been showing out thus far. It has almost like an Olympic-style feel, the Triton series. You remember, I remember, yeah, I, I know what you mean. I remember you were in, I, like, the Olympics, I feel like, aren't as popular anymore, but it used to be like you'd be checking the country leaderboard constantly. Definitely. Obviously, Austria with a commanding head start, but... The Americans here making a push. Obviously no bias. And the Spaniards earlier, I saw it. They're a, always a, dangerous. A death row on yes. one of the feature tables we had. Um, lots of countries represented here. Does look like Aram is chip leader now. Steve O'Dwyer has lost a few pots. You heard this, have you heard that Daniel DeVorce goes ice fishing? No. Do you believe it? I do. He's Canadian, right? You know, he looks, sometimes his outfits look like the outfits of an outdoorsman type. I believe it will. Really smart strategy, too, after taking that bad beat to just get the, the massage going. Like, oh, definitely. Calm yourself down. <laughs> Also, you don't want to bust with the masseuse there, have to deal with the awkwardness no, of the... No, no, I know. He's got seven bigs out there at the feature it's just a, getting the massage. It's a nice button. little... Another pair on the button for Roman. Mm. Mm. raise it up. The glasses are so heavy like this. And just glasses. I remember he was like... On, like poker after dark one. Like 1.8? Like 1.5 on first Thank you. <coughs> Dan with the offsuit ace. 
Exactly. We see these spots a lot, Nick. It really feels like everything is on the table. It does. Aside from fold, of course, Obviously. against button. Can't fold an ace. Ace of spades, nonetheless. And I've seen a lot of this just continuing, just seeing a flop feels the most comfortable a lot of the time. Queen jack nine, nine, neither player will really like that flop. Can I order food? May I order food, please? Food? Yeah. You could order. Like that or I can please. probably do something. If you <laughs> no, want. that's fine. Yeah. Somebody get a, a Rama menu. My phone anyway, so. Very small bet from Roman, interesting. And this is maybe just a little protections. He has a lot of great hands on this range, and indeed a little protection. Kind of clarify things. Oh, yeah, look at that dusty. Food. Take it down, sir. Wow. Wait, why isn't there? Not even kiwi. Wait, why isn't there, like, no meat or egg on here? Did you ask them for no, no. protein? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my God. How have you and Ali been eating, Nick, so far? Yeah. I haven't really been eating in the booth, have you? No, it seems like it's only really on the table for Ali. I don't know how many Ali hours we need just, to put in. Uh, uh, it's, it's hard to keep up with his uh, yeah, dietary yeah. habits, but you know I'm sure he has some ugly situations from time to time. He almost had a disaster that I witnessed last night, right before going on air, completely white. Mm. Just light, almost lit himself up with some type of like, you know, Dan uh, Dan noodle soup. But he, would have he, been. He, had, he showed good hands there. I, I saw that. He has like a Spider-Man like ability to avoid disaster. He does. He, he has so many sauces and yeah, he's such an experienced really snacker. Nice likely nice nice going in for Mokri. Can he continue the massage well? Yeah, you always just want to. A double's fine. Getting through is, hey, look at this, Nick. Close for Roman. Best case scenario for Mokri. Smaller pair, but a big enough one that could continue. You're absolutely right. Just south of eight bigs. This is a little bit close for Roman. And is part of the closeness the fact that Roman actually has a pretty healthy stack with 30 big yeah, blinds and is covered a, by the players And behind. he does let it go. Great fold wow. from Robek. Yeah, that's really nice. Do you think he's going with it if he has a million there, maybe? Or is it probably just the same result? It's a good question. The, the fluidity of, of these decisions is so real. Oops. The massage continues. Reasonable. Reasonable. Indeed it does. You got the pay jump, too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Little pay jump up to 47K for all these players. What's that? We will see. It's a good way how to show your hand. Yeah. Dimitar Danchev, our short stack, Take six big blinds. Jason Kuhn, seven big blinds. Good enough. See if I they guess. can spin. What do you say? Good enough? I think if you had like 300 more K, it's good enough. Oh. Beautiful day here in Jeju. Went outside today. The sun was shining. It was nice. Okay. Birds were chirping. Took my 15 seconds of fresh air. Went back inside. <laughs> this Oli looks like he could use a little air right now. Maybe a little breathless at all these big stacks. The swag. Maybe. Maybe a little jet lagged. And by the way, objectively, the player to the left of Liang, Yao Henny, that's a tough name, it, both first and last, with respect. But we'll get it. Yao Henny Cherishenka? There you go, Lil. This is yeah. why you're getting the big bucks, Bob. This is why you're here in Korea. Yeah. That's tough, beautiful. Tough names. No and, help from and our nose, producers. by the way, Shu Liang under the and, gun. And go is, on, Mr. Liang. This is what I'm talking about, Nick. Oh. But we have, have uh, from Ole. we have a defense mechanism in place. All in. Yeah, what a beautiful spot with the ace queen suited. And, and this does she want to give him a spin? Will? Yeah, he's getting a really good price with just complete dirt. Valerie Pack there in the big. Chen and the small blind, both very short. Yeah, how much does you want to gamble here, Nick? Well, the, he clearly has shown a, a propensity to gamble from the jump. That's a good question, though, Will. 
I think one of the things, Nick, is you see these guys, we see the hands, the king three off under the gun. It just looks like pure madness. But when you dig a little deeper... They have tricks up their sleeves, and, no and doubt. And there's consideration. It's not just bye-bye. You know what I mean? It's not just, oh, whatever. He knows he's dominated. Gets rid of the hand. Nice little pot for Ole there. Great to pick that one up uncontested. Yeah, and the Lithuanians brought the swag. What do you think? Maybe a little shopping trip on the day off or what? Maybe. You know, this is Triton. you got to come correct. Or just disheveled, you know, carefree. You kind of can't go in the middle. What you can't do is try hard and fail. <laughs> right. That would be disastrous here. Right. I've seen some people do it. I'm not going to name names, but... Yahini with the beautiful 9-8 suited under the gun and a lot of short stacks around, but it's tempting here. He is indeed tempted. Is that a limp? I yeah. would think that the the one lone chip signifies limp. Fair enough. Okay. Interesting. And this would, you know. I like to see them mix it up a yeah. little, Will. JNT with a playable hand, too. Just seems interested. Go on, JNT. Take a gander. And Benjamin now. And this is the kind of interesting part about these limps, right? Yeah, you don't see this spot very no. often. And they are indeed interesting. Of course, he's considering all in, but he has to be a bit concerned about the under-the-gun limp of, of Yao Henny. It kind of rejiggers the matrix, right? Now it does. You, you see a new play you haven't seen, you haven't really expected. How do you recalibrate? He does have a very easy shove if he knew their hands, obviously, but... Indeed. He's trying to figure it out. Sort of wearing his heart on his sleeve. He just wow, slides Nick, it. That is, I did not expect that. I didn't. Think I was thinking was, a limp, at least. Yeah, you I was know? thinking he was between limp and jam. And for Chen Guangcheng, Another, similar yeah. type of situation. I will say, a little less chips always feels a little bit more comfortable to shove. But also, why not just see a flop He's here? He's peeling, Will. Really comfortable spot. Pack, let's go with a jack deuce. Shoe with queen seven suited in the big. I believe that's a snap check. Four ways to the flop. Not not something you see often here, Nick. Four way flops. No, limped at that. Nine deuce three rainbow and Shalo is going to be kicking himself most likely after this. Yeah. was a curious spot, the under-the-gun limp. I understand Shalot's trepidation, but he will indeed be kicking himself. Great spot for Yahini. You see JNT hasn't just insta-released, right? Like, he has some back doors, the overcards. Also kind of wondering, what does Yahini have here? Definitely, a, and he's very capable of, of doing creative things. And if he folds, awkward spot for Chen. Yeah, fives beating, a lot of hands. And this creativity, Nick, it's so essential in these tournaments. It Cash really is. games, the chips just don't matter as much. Winning a 20 big blind pot, oh, big deal. And look at this. this is the race. Believe he's coming with the float. 140. No, the min raise, the Nick. The min, go on, JNT. Little clicky, clicky. Twenty-five more, fifteen more. Sorry. Really interesting play. Oh. Blocking the ten nine of clubs, the, you know, blocking a fair amount of hands that interact with this nine. It's true. He's he's definitely interfering with the nine. It's also not perfectly clear if he meant to raise or call, as it seems he put in an amount between call and that raise. Would, yeah, because a call would actually, a float doesn't seem that crazy to me. So maybe. Here we are. Weird one. Yeah, I think he, I think he did mean to call, judging by that reaction. Very weird one in it. 
six. Ihini with the best hand, now pretty big hammer lock. Terrible card for JNT's hand. The Lithuanian. Just gonna check it over and JNT now in just pure bluff territory. Go on, JNT. He certainly is. And he just piles it basically most he of it in there. For I mean, this guy is of his stack. He's a yeah, gangster, Will. He's a G. And for Yahini, we really don't. Oh, oh, look at this, Come on, JNT. Bravo. Nice hand, sir. The joie de vivre is real. No set, no bet. And, and confusion abounds here, Nick. Confusion for Mr. Shalow, who would have flopped top pair top kicker but got out. And confusion for Yahini. Just what is going on here? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Ollie enjoying the show now. John Noel Thorell, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's a businessman, right? But 4.5 million in Triton earnings. But very successful businessman, and he's either first or second on the all-time French earnings Ooh. list. I remember in London, he came in second in the main event to Timothy mm -hmm. Adams, and it, it had it had all-time French list implications to pass Elke. Interesting. A lot of great French players out there, too. Of course. It's me. Man, I would not want to be work, working for that guy, though. <laughs> the way he plays poker, he comes in the office one day, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. He might just be firing off, like, you know, just by feel. I'd, like, you could could be your last day just because he's... Absolutely. Ole now with the king-queen and going for the min-rays here, Nick. This is interesting, right? This is kind of a bluff? It's, you know, wouldn't call it a bluff, but I know what you mean. But he's not thrilled when he gets action. No. The plan is to kind of min fold, unfortunately. But these mins yeah. from 11, even 10 bigs to 15 are more common in these extremely deep tournament scenarios. And for Shalou, he has a real decision. And one of the themes I've noticed throughout these Tritons so far is that as you get deeper, as the money really starts to increase, learning how to play a 10 big blind stack, a 12 big blind stack, it's these big. stacks that were often just, I just used to think, you just throw them in there. Yeah. There's a lot here, and Shalou is going to correctly assess the situation. This is not such an easy shove after no. someone raises under the gun. Nicely done. I do think he had a little bit of a brain fart in that last hand, but um, really nicely. He's played great, too, Shalou. But yeah, if yeah, you're it was it was as you said the matrix got recalibrated. When whenever you're in a spot you're just never in. Things can go awry. No, and I felt like maybe he was finishing his breakfast. There was mm -hmm. kind of like a, mm -hmm. a little bit of like a decision making mm -hmm. fatigue type of definitely a matrix overload. Pack taking his time. Fair enough, sir. Shu angrily folds the suited yeah. connector. Ole just really Pity. frustrating. Huh? Pity. Pitchy. Yeah, he <laughs> bummer to let that one go. Yeah. But yeah, if you're out there, you're playing <laughs> tournaments. Look at learn how face. to play these small <laughs> stacks, these eight big blinds. Don't huge well. And never, I, I never so. ever give up, Nick. Never surrender. Can't. I mean? Shalo stacks the pot. The Frenchman. You revenge your friend, huh? Sorry? You, you revenge your friend. Which friend? Cameraman. Ah, yeah, yeah. 17th place in the 20K for Shalom, well Nick. Great run. Another run here, 38th or better. I mean, he's, he's doing his thing. Don't you get a little bit more, you know, pizzazz when you get you start getting some deep runs it feels more comfortable more familiar you really do mm. on the flip side when the bullets start piling you get the head down you don't want to see people in the hallways right. that's exactly right and jacks now for benjamin the poker gods start shining upon you a little with these pocket jacks okay I, i'm pretty sure that is, is maxim lithuanian too let me check that because these guys definitely made a swag run And Valerie, you can sense he's getting a little bit impatient with the short stack, just 405,000. 
is this a7 no wisely folds normally i ain't let go of the five four suited i i only say that because he did open the king three off very different situation though Indeed. right Holy, oh, holy, we have a nice defend. Yeah, really pretty hand. And you're defending so much here, right, to this price that this just looks like as almost as good as it gets. Definitely. You're still folding, you know, a fair amount of stuff. For me with Ole, if somebody did the whole what's one word that comes to mind. Holland. Oh, he does jam. Wow, disaster for Ole here. Takes the jam route. Can't really blame him, but it's going to be very bad timing. I will say, Nick, something you see with these hands, in my mind, Queen Jack suited does not have 36% against jacks. I know, and that's part of the reason why you see this hand constantly going all in. Sometimes in a little it's bit more different situations. not so far from a pseudo flip. Yeah, it, it gets there a lot, even versus big pairs. Here we go. 1.35 in the middle. Ace of clubs and a gutter ball with a backdoor flush draw for Ole. Not the worst flop by any means. One club. club on the turn for Nine Max club. Sweat. Take it. Not the card he wanted to see. <laughs> Gets up quickly. Gonna need a queen or a king here. He's gonna be out. Not GG, gonna do sir. It. 36 remain. And I want to make a quick country. I know Nick, geography is not your strong suit. It's certainly Please. not mine. Go on. These are Belarusian players. Who? Yeheni? Belarusian. Belarusian. Belarus. And Maxim. I see. Very Which nice. may also and explain the difference in swag. You know, we, we had Dominikis from Lithuania. Yes. The King's jersey. Yes, we did. Seeing the Belarusian spike, apologies about the geography. Not Nick's strong suit. Did you fail any classes, by the way? Yeah. A yeah, lot. I did, I yeah. did Will. Well, nice. I, I'm a high school dropout. Oh, you know, high school. I was, yeah, I was oh. a freshman. I stopped freshman. going. So wow. Yeah, I was failing along the you way. You failed everything. Everything. Wow, strong. Yeah. No, that's that's almost better to do it that way. Just get it out of the way early. Here at the Triton Super High Rollers. We haven't failed this, Nick. That's We're here. Sure. We're here. We're alive. And like I like to say, it's much harder to bust the tournament from the commentary booth. It is, but although it is possible, Will. But you so have don't to count make those chickens before they hatch. But you're right. That's a good point. Nick. <laughs> um, back on the action, Benjamin. You keep calling the Belarusians, <laughs> Lithuanians, and the Chinese. Let's get back Korean. to the. Let's get back to the action <laughs> here, Mr. Here quick, Shalom, well, with another hand. If get not, Triton, the Belarusians another, themselves. Another hand here at the Triton Super High Roller Series. Very diverse field. Benjamin starting to ride the momentum train here, Nick. He is. These are the type of big shifts. You know, he folds that ace nine, that hand goes badly. It's easy to see it start to crumble. Instead, he's up to almost two million. Beautiful jack nine under the gun. And you're absolutely right. We're about to see a little bit of French on French violence here, Nick. Indeed. Great country, France. I was in Paris last summer. Really one of the best cities I've ever been in. It's beautiful. What an interesting flop. Top pair for Shalot. Hearts working for JNT. Yeah, really a big piece for both players. JNT double checking the good news. Interesting spot for Shalot. I mean, is this one you want to put in the checking range? Perhaps sometimes, but a bet seems logical. I think King-9 and Ace-9 are mandatory bets. And the deuce is his friend, as it's not particularly connected with. These players all have different table presences, Nick. Shalot has a really interesting one. It's, it's I, I love that, by the way. A note he goes 90% some odd. And JNT just folds. Fair enough. Next yeah, time. look, it's, it's, this is a product of the sizing, I think, from Ben. Just really interesting. You do want to protect against a bunch there. Straight draws, flush draws, even over cards. Shalot putting on a little bit of a show here at our feature. Uh, 
I'm sensing a little bit of steam off of these guys, Nick. Just the short stacks, nothing going, a lot of action at the table. Waiting for their spots here. They want their spots. They want to get in and just, just let's just see something. Let's feel something, yes. Nick. Let's not just have to observe all day. The two-handed shift shuffle from Valerie. Valerie's a player. That's you know, he wants to be in there. He wants to see flops. Always frustrating when you're handicapped on a short stack. But a chip and chair, as they say, 35 players left. Next few spots will get 48. Then we're up to 54. Everyone guaranteed six figs at the final table. And here we go, Nick. Indeed. Shoe's been patient. He can't even wait. <laughs> A lot of hands he'd be raising here from the cutoff. And JNT with a really pretty Queen 10 suited. Definitely all in springs to mind. Call, of course, very possible. It's funny because my first instinct from a comfortability standpoint is always call with these type of hands. With his oh. hands. And he does agree with you. Sometimes these hands with the jam benefit from clearing queen jack, king 10. Even an a7 out, Even right? an a7. Yeah. But the call, very comfortable. Indeed. And Shalot with this awkward spot, right? The off-suited two-gapper. The off-suited two-gapper. He is in. He's giving Liang and JNT a spin. Flops the open-ender. Very awkward flop for Liang, too. Never know quite what to do in these spots. You know, you check, you feel like it's face up. You bet, you don't want to get raised. A lot of bad turns. Kind of like the bet, though. Just keep going, right? I don't mind it at all. Looks like a healthy amount, too. 170. And you know, Liang has a bit of a different vibe today than last night, Nick. Last night it was very carefree. This is all business Chugging today. Chugging the beer. This is, yeah, he's, I don't know if he went to the lab real quick. Right. <laughs> and Ben with a really interesting spot. Right. I sort of feel like his hand is too good to raise. Yeah. It's just seven high, though, but. That's true. But it's so clean. I'd yeah. rather raise a 4-7 or a 9-5 kind of. He does call. Big turn coming. 170. 170, I said. No, he put 170. No, I said 170. Okay, I don't think so. Well, we can count the pot. 170, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, our dealers will handle it. Best dealers in the world here. Going to a turn. Oh, and it does come in, Will. What a feeling for Shalow. Yeah, and Liang still beating 10 nines, 9 sevens, these type of hands, 9 there fives. Some stuff he beats, but the four is certainly not his friend. No. He wanted to see an ace or a king. But Liang, you never know with this guy, Nick. Anything is on the table. The pure aggression factor with him. Nicely checks, though. Really well-timed, obviously. Doesn't want to see him. Oh, Ooh. that's rough. And does Shalot go for the check raise now? He knows Liang connects with that card a fair amount. Not to say bet is out of bounds, but if he does, this could get really interesting. And, and he look, does, Nick, Will. And this is such a smooth spot, right? Very even smooth. if Even if Liang just has dust... The king may garner a bet from him, right? Exactly right. Brutal spot coming up for Liang. Yeah, just really the worst card in the deck, right? Definitely. A red king. Obviously thinking about how much value he can get, but little does he know he's going to be put to the test once that bet is made. And with a player like Liang, too, such an aggressive image, it just kind of even adds more <laughs> fire to Very the pit. Very much so. Chat, let us know, what do you think? Will Liang be able to get away after the probable check raise? Barring he just puts Shilo all in himself. But if he bets normal and gets check raised, he does declare 300. 300. 300. What do you think, guys? Oh. Can he get away? 
No, 800. 800. Goes for the pot. So he's about to get min raised yeah. all in. Oof. Sick. This is really sick, Nick. And the dream for Shalow. What a, what a 10 minutes seen, look, it's been. Look, he folded. It, not long ago, ace nine suited preflop. We were talking about I the know. matrix recalibration. It's crazy. And he's just. He's back. here with the nuts on the river, Nick. And if he gets paid, he will be the chip leader of the tournament. Wow. Talk about a swing for the Frenchman. And what a spot just to double. What, like, what, how good does this feel right now, Oh, Nick? it feels so good. He's he's euphoric. He's just... Keeping it together, though. He's, I have a 6-5 here. And he, exactly I have a 6-5 right. he here, Liang. I have, I have dirt. I, but I, but I, he does do it. There it is. And what a gross spot for Liang, who bet the pot, too, Nick. Obviously, this is different if you bet small. <laughs> This is a really strong bet that Liang made and a really strong shove with not a lot of fold equity. Absolutely. What do you think, Jack? Can he get away? One, if you think he calls. Two, if you think Liang can fold. This would be an incredible fold, Nick, honestly. With all the draws that have missed here, you don't, it's, I'm not saying it's a snap call. No, I hear you. 1.5? It's just such a strong hand, Nick. Ace King here. Can we ever get away from this? We certainly lose to all of the value. We only beat a bluff. But what is that value? There's no five deuces in there, really, right? Five deuce suited is five possible. Five deuce suited, okay. In the five seven off, as we can see, is possible. He's squinting. He's really calculating. Brutal spot for Xu Liang. And Xu Liang will still be healthy relatively but this will be a crippling pot for him if he calls and loses indeed time banks they've all gone in well last time how much left only one this last one oh and handcuffed by the time he does call He'll see the oh. bad news, and, and we have a new chip leader, Will. Wow. <laughs> Boy, ben that time snuck up on him pretty quickly. Benjamin Button. I only the Frenchman three, takes so. the chip lead. I, yeah. Nick, I think he was out of time chips. I know that that's what the dealer said, but it seemed awfully quick to me. Yeah, it, and he seems frustrated too. Uh, well, she said, you know, you 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 only have one, and he he panicked. I I hope for his sake that was correct. I'm sure it was, as you said, best in the business. Well, look, Liang is someone who I can see having to use a lot of time banks because he gets himself into a lot of situations. You're absolutely right. And look at that, sixty-seven big blinds, Nick. At this point in the tournament. Oh, it's just mount. This is like sitting on you know a million dollars in a cash game. What a swing. What a level here for Benjamin Shalow. Jacob and Co. is the official timekeeper of the Triton Poker Series. Our official timekeeper, Jacob and Co., makes these incredible timepieces. And they're not just about the diamonds and sapphires and the rubies. If you're into poker and gambling themed gear, there's just one perfect watch brand to check out. They're embedded, embedding a playful spirit into the watch functions. Their Astronomia Casino has a functioning roulette inside of the piece. Check it out during the break. We will also be awarding a special collaboration timepiece to be won by the Triton No Limit Hold'em main event winner. Watch out for it really soon. And I'll be honest, Nick, I've played a fair amount of roulette in my day. <laughs> Being able to just have a watch. Oh, that's strong. It seems a lot more efficient, too, than having to go to the tables and spin. Definitely. One particular summer where things just went absolutely awry at the World Series for me, I was playing roulette on tournament breaks. Go on. Okay. I started to build up a role. Mm -hmm. I started to get very confident. Mm -hmm. This is easy. I mean, yes. you just go pick up a few thousand every break. Let's pause. That's not what the people are here for. Chen going to finally pick up a hand here, right? The two paint cards 505 at 80k it's time 
And Valerie, I can feel, you know, just he, he wants to be in there, Nick. He does, but I also think he's, you know, just kind of going through the mo. He's okay, I feel. You think so? Yeah, I don't okay. think he's right. FOMO. I mean, he has five bigs, I, so I, of course. I can feel the FOMO. Of course. Benjamin, just, just kind of like admiring those chips a little, which yeah. I don't blame him for doing. Maxim, not good enough. So anyway, I'm, I'm building up a roll here. We're spinning it a little. Mm -hmm. Before I know it, I'm in the Bellagio by the, you know, the fountain bar. Mm -hmm. I've got like 40 people sweating me. They're keeping kids off the roll, the rail. Oh, you're on a real I'm on a heater. Roll here. Okay. Yeah. I get a room for July 4th. Okay. Comped at the Bellagio. Why you got a comped room for I go July in 4th? For July okay, 4th. So you're really giving some action. I'm go on. spinning. I go in, I lose a lot. Mm-hmm. I lose so much that I decide not to take the room and just go back to my mm, Airbnb. Sure. I, I'm i pretty much dust at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, a few more sessions to go awry. Before I know it, I'm in the main event, day three. Can we get these guys to take a little break here so I can finish the story? Go on. It's okay. She, she was going to min raise, but we're here. Go on, Will. Anyway, the main event is now my last hope. I have no more cash on me. Okay. And I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm licking my wounds. Sure. But it's day three. I've got a big stack. Okay. Good I, spot. I bust in horrific fashion. <laughs> okay, of course. I cry real okay. tears. If right there at the table or when you left? No, no, I would never okay. do that at the table. Yeah, I left. Go back to my Airbnb. I have a band with 5,000 in it. Okay. Should book a flight home, but I go to the closest casino, which I believe is the Gold Coast. Okay. Before I know it, I'm spinning. There's like a young kid explaining like what I'm doing strategically to two older Asian women. It looks like at the table. I'm down to my last two hundred dollars. Your last two hundo. Yes. As we see Guan Chang defend. A little climactic. We'll finish that story in a okay. second because yeah, we have we do have action here. Four hundred and seventy in the middle. Not a lot behind for Chen. And what a flop for it him! It is indeed oh. his flop. What a good feeling, Nick. <laughs> You've got a player like Xu Liang, super aggressive. Not a lot of chips behind. You flop top two here. So nice. And Xu going to continue the aggression. And is this trappable, Nick? I think, is it what? Is trappable? It, is it trappable? I think it is. It if keeps an eye on ace low, ace middle, king middle, but raising and just hoping Liang is priced in with a variety of stuff is certainly understandable. Against a player like Shu, too, this, this would be where I would really be considering it, right? Just, this guy could have anything, Nick. Just peel one and then... Get in on the turn. I think in theory we don't do it too much. He's so shallow. But in practice, it, it does feel kind of nice but versus are we Liang. With a player like Liang at this point, aren't we, aren't we putting Theory Land to the side a little? Yes, somewhat. I think this is what Chen is thinking about. I think this is a real decision here. It is a real decision. One thing with the not going all in, we do sometimes lose EV when they have something like Ace Jack. It comes a deuce and they just check it back. And, Are and we so costing? We're, yeah, we're costing ourselves. There's when, some yeah, of that yeah, sometimes. Fair point. Oh, he is doing it though, Will. Yeah, I like it. I really like Go this. Go on, Nick. Chen. I like this. Setting the trap for the aggressive shoe. Also, maybe thinking Shu might be a little more tilty now. Perhaps. And this is the kind of yeah. card that Shu might represent. And this card, it, it not only is it great for Shu to kind of barrel him off of a 10 or a potential 4. Exactly. It gives him a little bit of equity with the straight draw as well. Very slippery from Guan Cheng. Agreed, Will. Again, it's just one hand, Nick, but it's a little peek into these players that we haven't seen a ton from. You're right. There's some crafty navigation going Nick. on. The trap is going to work to perfection. The and aggression now continues. now with 350, yeah, I, I do it's believe time. it's time. It's time. This would be excessive yeah. to... Yeah. 
there. He knows it's time. And and Liang, just what a disastrous few hands for him, Nick. Indeed. Has to Can call. he hit the jack? He's priced well. in, needs a jack, or he's going to be down over under a million chips after I think he may have come into that hand with Shilo as the chip leader, Nick. It cometh and it goeth. Perhaps he can find the jack. And Chen, looking at a $1.4 million pot coming his way, if he can just hold here, 91%, Nick. And to touch on what you were saying before about not giving up, navigating the short stack, this can happen. Spins are so real. Huge river coming. He does hold. Bravo, Chen Guanchang with the slow play. Very nice. Waited perfectly, you know. So you're down to your last two hundo. My last there's two a, hundo. There's a crowd. I have, I they're have sweating. Two, I have two black chips. Okay. I, I get the dealer to chop one. I put 100 on black, and I bet three numbers. Okay. Four numbers, 25 each. Okay. I hit black and a number. Now wow. I have my roll back. Now you have 4,200 or something. Two black stacks. And you know what I decided at this point, Nick? I'm done. I've played roulette all summer. It's You're probably done. not going to work for me. Take this little rebate. Lick my wounds. Just get out of there. Home. Take that four G's and just yeah. call it. I believe I'm like a married man, too, at this point. You know, like I have a wife I at home. <laughs> yeah. So it's time, right? Yeah. I go to the cage. Okay. Two, two, you know, holding I my stack. I got it. There's a commotion there. What's the problem? I don't know. Someone's having trouble cashing out. They're right. arguing there's a line. Mm. And Nick, I don't want to wait, man. No, there's you don't. There's one thing I don't want to do at this point. And it's a wait on it's that line. It's a wait on that line. Not only mm. do I have to get through the commotion, I have mm. to get through the five creatures behind the commotion right. that may have their own issues brewing. So you know what I decide to do, Nick? I go I right back to that table. You sure do. And not long after that, I'm walking out of the casino with nothing. There's a darkness on the edge of town. I'm getting Boy. alone. I'm getting alone just to fly home. Men from Yao Henny. Yeah, you you sure are. But it's time to take a little gander at this Belarusian swag. Yao Henny getting back in the it's action. It's of course off the charts. It's off the charts, Nick. And you Valerie, Valerie now, yeah, this might does. be it. Good luck, yeah, sir. there it this is. He's is been it. waiting. No, no time, no time needed. He's in the lead. Can yeah. pack spin like his neighbor Guan Chen Guan Cheng? We shall see. And this is one of the gambling aspects that I love about these tournaments, Nick. This is just an eight big blind pot, but it's huge exactly. for Valerie. Of course, it's huge. It's so much better to gamble like this than to play roulette, isn't it? Uh, yes. Thank you, Nick. We'll see who wins this one. Someone in the chat says emotional damage. Do you know that meme? It's no. A, it's a really good one. Check <laughs> it out. Check it out when you get a chance. I, I will. Great flop for Valerie. Huge. Has the backdoor diamonds covered as well. Yeah, just looking to fade a 10 or a king here. Go on, Valerie. That'll do it. And Valerie's the type of player, I mean, if he can get some Not chips, ace flush for good measure. Valerie Pack, nice double there. 34 left. Yeah, creeping towards that final table. And this is the Lithuanian swag. No. This is not the Belarusian swag. Like this is Paulius. <laughs> and in your defense, the flag is similar-ish. The, the, the colors get mixed up. We, we, I see it. It's not like I was saying I'll they were French. I'll make sure to it's tell my Belarusian friends not to go too hard at you. Please relay the message. Also, I maybe will. talk to the Armenians I and the Albanians if you get a chance. Them that you're on your own with them. I will promise you I'm not messing up those flags. Jack of Spades working for Paulius against the early position open from Hrabek. Just six bigs for Paulius. These waters are difficult to to wade. It's so, so depressing. And I didn't even know about it. Like, I got it, like, July. He didn't know about it. It doesn't sound that bad. No, no, I got it in July. And I just, like, oh, it all the time. Oh, you asked? Oh, like, you knew something was wrong. You didn't know it was bad. And, then and Roman just going to shove, right? This is, a, this is a great shove, Nick, because he gets these hands with equity to fold. It's an interesting one. Indeed, he did. But there's other hands, too, right, that just can't continue? Maybe a three or a even, seven? Even a red seven is... is a, Throwing up a little, right? Yeah, interesting play. 
I wouldn't think of a shove there, though. But yeah, I, I was thinking one big blind, yeah. but when but we then get he to may get he may depths, get shoved on. Exactly right. Wouldn't you rather do the shoving, Nick? Doesn't it feel yes. better to do the shoving than yes. to get shoved on? It certainly does. Like you could get surgery if you want, but he was like, "I recommend you don't, because you'll have arthritis. Like it increases the chances of arthritis." Mm -hmm. So I, but he said it's up to me. But can you eventually recover with no surgery? It's with the meniscus. Yeah, it's like a weird injury where like it's hard to even determine if you need surgery or not. But yeah, you can recover in time without one. Super depressing. Joe Chung, great American player. Kyan Mockery. Just look at, just milking that massage, Nick. Every, Indeed he is. Every orifice is getting rubbed. <laughs> yeah. And an ace queen on the button to boot. It's going in. Does he meet any resistance or just take it down? Ooh. This is a little bit close for is, Roman. Is this cusp? This is definitely cuspy. Can't Kyan have some queen highs? Maybe even yes, a king five Yes, seven and a eight. half bigs. Very close. And you see the look on Roman's face, right? That's the look of un uncertainty because of the closeness, the Did nature of that decision. There? Any big ones? No, not, not, nothing like. And you play like tennis and stuff, right? Yeah. Maximum I, I mean, comfort I, I there. Mean, you can like easily twist an ankle on that, right? Huh? I can imagine like twisting ankles is like pretty common. In tennis, all the back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I, I rolled my I, I rolled my ankle when we soccer. Gross spot. It is gross. Kyan's a player too. You know, Kyan's he's not. a player, but I think Roman feels he's not stone caution of the wind. It is going in. Good luck, I gentlemen. That, yeah, just a little, a little too strong. The nine there. Close. And he's very. This is another pseudo flip. I know Brian Rass would disagree with me, Nick, but. Luckily, we don't have him here. Yeah, Brian is really into the math. I, he's I he's our math he guy. Likes, he's he our math guy. He feels like this is closer to two to one. No, he thinks that ace-king <laughs> right. versus queens is a pseudo-flip. To me, this is a pseudo-flip. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I kind of agree with Brian, but Come on, I know Nick, what be, you mean. Me Fair a, enough. Pseudo-flips. If, if it's not four to one, it's a pseudo-flip. And Can he continue the massage? Yeah, well? that's the big question here. So okay. far, so good. Clean for, for Mokri. Yeah. Getting a little neck just in case, you know, yeah. something for the road if he does get unlucky here, but he's looking good. Okay. Just a another king ten? or a nine to dodge. Really great spot for Kyan to double up. Go on, Mokri, in style. How about top pair, second kicker? 620. Yeah, and this guy, Nick, he just something about him. He lost that massive pot. Really He's a, a cool customer. Chip lead pot oh, in the means. 20K. Deep, a tournament-defining pot. Is he sulking around? Is he playing roulette? No. No. No, he's not. He's getting a massage. He's making a deep run in the 25K You're in main. tears on the way to the roulette table. This guy is getting a, a nine-hour massage and just spinning it back. Unbelievable difference in personalities <laughs> as we see Maxim picking up a hand 160 here. 160 declared. And I, uh, these are fascinating spots too, Nick. I'm always tempted to just pile here with the ace three suited. I know what you mean. It's it, the, it's the PLO player in me, not wanting to fold my and, equity. And also, I get it. Twelve bigs. It's a common idea. But the deeper we get, the more prone we are to min. Or JNT going to defend the big with the same hand, but not suited. And JNT is pretty short now, too, Nick. Only a pot size bet behind. Really like that jacket, too, Nick. The Tigers, the flight. That jacket is cool. Oh, well, this is pretty salty for JNT to somehow just be getting stone free rolled right now. How is now, he getting Will? free rolled here? He <laughs> flops a wheel with four big blinds. How do you defend the big here and you're just this up against just it? This is just as dirty as it comes, Nick. Zero and percent it's, it's got to be trap raise. time, and, yeah. And, yeah, it is. And there it is. I mean, that's so cold for, for JNT. Au revoir, my friend. Brutal. Absolutely <laughs> brutal. Yeah, it doesn't get colder than that for JNT. He just can't believe the bad news. You flop a wheel, Nick, in the big mind. 
That's and you're up crazy. against a steel wheel draw. Really, no reaction from the table? Surely they'll... These guys are all such cold no, savages, Nick. No, Where are the emotions no, here? No, they're going to... Come on. Really? Just nothing? Nothing, Nick? He flops a wheel and he's drawing <laughs> death? Okay, Shalom. Shalom saying friend. something in or, French? Or that that's wasn't Shalom. Maybe that was Belarusian? No, it was Belarusian. Belarusian. Yeah. That was... I mean, these guys are just <laughs> these killers. Jack Skripalius. And Roman with another... I mean, is this a... <laughs> Maybe just licking his wounds here a little. Maybe a, a little bit of a wound lick. I, I think we fold this one. It is with the five big behind, bigs. right? With the big behind. What are we really hoping for? Roman, not the type of player I would imagine tilts much. Although, maybe some frustration after the king nine hand. You never know. Some great players over yes. the years have been tilters. Yeah. You know, it's not a prerequisite to not tilting. He does put it in. Uh, Interesting. And does Smith wake up with something? No. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, Paulie is really just going to need to fade a king here. Great spot to double up. Really? I mean, where are we going to shoot? I don't know, but I won't. I won't practice. I won't. No, no, just straight off. I believe you won't practice. You're going to be playing too much poker. A million chips in the pot. I mean, I did bet Darren Elias to beat you a pickleball. Yeah, never played you. You, you, no, you prepaid me. But he never played you. Yeah, no way. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you get no stressed in the bet? Like the I lost to it. Yeah, yeah. I lost <laughs> <laughs> his very tennis to the guy with the frying pan. Like, yeah, yeah. He, I made it. yeah. <laughs> he was making fun of you. <laughs> he, was talking, he was making, he was roasting you. 8-3 like, deuce, uh, not going to do it, Nick. Runners right. for a low straight. 4-5 like Roman uh, looking for to go with the king to win was straight up. I was up 2-1. Ugly deuce. And then I botched a volley. That would have won me the game, and then I kind of started tilting. <laughs> and I lost 6 2. <laughs> Big double up here, and Roman is crippled, Nick. Not long ago, he had 1.8 million chips. Now he's down to 380K. He was also like breathing really heavy, where I'm like, this is not to be over. And look, we've Nick, seen some spins, but indeed. I don't like to kick a horse on the ground when it's on, barely breathing, it's okay. but I'm going to kick the belly a little. Even these savages, these stone cold killers, these robots, they may tilt too, Nick. They may tilt too. They, they absolutely may. They're human, as far as we know. They have passports. Pretty clean for Chen Guangcheng. Yeah, Chen now on the spin up trail after that nice double versus uh, Liang earlier. 320. And gets Shalot to bite. That he does. Shalot really representing the low cards. And again, a little glimpse into the Chen has this trapper style, Nick. I like the way Chen goes about his business. He's also very calm. Very smooth. Yeah. Can you pull <laughs> off the bucket hat or is that a little... little too uh, I go bucket hat really? sometimes. Wow. I just like it when the lights are there for yeah. obvious reasons. Oh, it's feature very table bucket cozy. Hat. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I don't really wear it in life too much. No, not to a dinner or something? <laughs> not to a dinner. Yeah, that makes sense. And Chen, just great board so far for him, right? Has the flush draw, blocks the straights. I mean... Very comfortable. We're concerned, but... Might be toying with Ray as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem out of the question here. I think he's got the call. Yeah, he's got the call. Okay. Great. And does Shalot want to empty the clip here? Yeah. It does look like a clip emptier. Over a million in the middle going to a river. Not a great one for Shalot, though. No. It's really ambitious now. Although, if we check, we lose type of thing. Yeah, this is just pure heart <laughs> if you go for this. There are certainly targets, Ace of Hearts, Jack. Oh, he puts him this all This guy in? is a blaster, Nick. Benjamin. And Chen, unlike the hand with Liang, this is not a trap to snap. <laughs> this is not a trap to snap. That's well put, Will. We can't really see how many banks he has. There it is. And they're all in the middle. Savage bluff from Shalot. Just, Very just much street, so. street poker here, Nick. And can Chen sniff it out? 
really good blockers to do so. What does Chen come with here? This will be if he makes the correct decision, Nick. Another one of these pots we've seen Shiloh go into the chip lead. Chen will now go from a short stack to one of our bigger stacks if he can make the call here. Can he come with it? So tough calling off your tournament life, 33 left. It, it really left. is, Nick, because you know if you fold, you're still there. It, right, exactly. That always messes with me that mentally. That underlying psychology is brutal. It's 100%, Nick. Yeah, you're 100% to remain the muck, if you fold. I'm in that seat. <laughs> the lights correct. are on me. He's absolutely right. He's very composed, though, Guan Cheng. He's really thinking it through. Extremely comfortable. And credit to Shalou. This is the this is what you do. You put people in spots. He's genuinely uncertain here. But yeah, the calm coolness of it makes me lean that he'll end up on the right decision. But I don't know. Very big pot for these players. Also for Shalou, just padding that chip lead if this gets through, Nick. Indeed. Setting up a real nice final table runway. Time is ticking too, Nick. So it stressful. certainly is. He can't have much time. What I always find frustrating is Chen, a lot of these players, they act very quickly, all tournament, all tournament. And then when the big spot comes, you never have enough time. Yeah, exactly. You wish you could save it up, you know what I mean? I do. Shalou, cool as a cucumber. Let us know what you think, chat. One for call, two for fold. And he sniffs it out, and Nick. He does sniff it out. Bravo, Chen, Chen Guan Cheng. He'll see the good news. Shalou gives him a pat on the back. He pushes the chips forward to get counted down. What a call, Will. And this is a hand where I gain respect for both players, Absolutely. Nick. Shalou with the fearlessness. No doubt in his mind that he did not have the best hand there. You see people talking themselves into it. Maybe the king, queen, somehow. Absolutely. Prayers up. No. All in. Chen. The Trapper, Guan Cheng. And we got action here. Robex all in now with a good hand, very good hand for his stack. Looking to start his own spin process in Indeed. the footsteps. And Nick, is there any better feeling? You're here at Triton, 33 players left in the biggest Triton event ever. You just had 10 big blinds. I remember that, yeah. Now you are top 10 in chips. 2.7 million for It is for a Chen. special feeling. Joey Chong is in. Oh, Joey's got a call here. Oh, gone. gone. Note, Robek does have 30K back, so the cards will not be flipped on their backs just yet. Yeah, while we're in supply, if you want. Good luck. Yeah, Robek, potential to wait out a pay yeah, jump here, very like unlikely, that. obviously. 48,000 to 54,000, but these guys are always conscious. That's rude. <laughs> just the <laughs> instant, that it much. is just the yeah. penalty. Joey Chong, of course, a legend. A legend of the game. <laughs> Too little. Not even a legit bad. Gets a little nibble there. Seven. Indeed a nibble. Just let it go. Seven. It's a flip, right, Will? No, Nick, this, this is, is not a pseudo flip. You need 30s. You need low 30s. this is not a pseudo flip. Well, the last one was low 30s. And I really don't appreciate the sarcasm there. Well, the last one was 35. I'm just wondering yeah. where does one draw the line for the pseudo flip? 30s? You know, I'm I'm not even going to entertain it's this with, fair the, with the level fair of enough. disrespectful sarcasm. I deserve sarcasm. that. It was snide. I deserve it. It was really uncalled for, but here so we go. So there's 30. Okay, it is just in... We'll just disregard the pay jumps. Yeah. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Joey looking for the seven or the ace. <laughs> Roman just looking to hold and be right back in this thing. Comfy 12 big blinds if he wins. Well, I did wreck you online, so you can tank check for me. That's true. I will. Yeah. I don't need a 10. I don't need a 10. Deuce, very clean for Roman. Two very likable players here, Nick. Three -sider. 
And Ogonian oh, just constantly yeah. commentating yeah, the runouts. He's so strong. Yeah, we'll get. Look he, at him. Look at his like face, stable. guys. Let, let, let me stay here for a while. Got a few more hands. Yeah, See that Phenom Poker away. patch on yeah. Joey. Do you know who else is a uh, Phenom Poker sponsored pro? I don't. <laughs> Our very own Brian Rast. Well, there it is. I don't know how these <laughs> this guy gets these deals, Nick. He doesn't even play anymore. Rasty is a legend. He's in the Hall of Fame. Is he? Three PPC. Of course. He's in the he Poker Hall the of Fame. He won the 50K mix three times. Will. Wow. I gotta. Can and we he's get, been can, one of the biggest mix game cash winners forever. Can we get our producers to get forever. me a little bit more plugged in here? This is Rasty. Yeah. Fair enough. Because a lot of what he does is away from the tournament scene. Exactly. Although Nick. again, he has a lot of bracelets, including the three PPC wins. And uh, yeah, I mean, Rasty's a legend. Nice hand, Roman. You see a Rom chilling there. He's our overall chip leader in the tournament. 46 bigs, just a pile. Danny DeVoris, the ice fisherman down there at the bottom. Roman Robic with 12 bigs might not seem like a lot. It's better than four. Absolutely. Paulius in there, Kyan, Joe Chung, very tough table. Which is what you expect. Indeed. 30 left in a Triton. Is there ever gonna be a a juice fest out there, Nick? I don't think so. 298 to begin, 33 remain. 33 hopefuls, Will. Ike Haxton, the shortest of them with seven bigs. I would actually be the I think Jack three hand. When you had Jack three student, it took a while. Paulius with the King Jack off under the gun. Awkward spot. It is awkward. I like men. Yeah, just the little Great steely. blockers. Kind of a bluff, as you said, about yeah. the King Queen. It's one of those obvious blockers, and, and he'll be resistant yeah. immediately. And Roman just can't even stack those chips. This is a great <laughs> feeling, Nick. You know, you're short, you get the it quick is. double. All of a sudden, you got another monster. Oh, yeah. One million. One of the things I like to do, because I'm never really deep in these anyway, is when I'm playing live, I really savor peeling my two cards. You know what I mean? I like that, Will. I really do. I'm not I know exactly what you mean. I'm not going to be in these spots a lot. I know what you mean. I soak up each second of the peel. And to just look down at two tens here, just the dream. You seem like the five. You seem like a guy that would just only take a five. Get it. No, I quickly folds the ace nine and I won't even put him in this right if you're you go for the you go for the steal. How much was down for big hand? You're just out. <laughs> but part of it is, is you don't really care that much, right? It's fine. 160. You did what you had to do, and and indeed you say bye bye. Blue chips from the raise. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you asked people? No, no, that's my chips. This and bring me. Yeah. You showed up to the party, like, you um, talked to the girl you wanted to. It didn't work out, but but you tried. Yeah, and there's more fish in the sea. 9.30. 9.30? I, I think you were both right. official count. I would prefer not to discuss it. Sorry, I'm not trying to, like, piss you off. And for Roman, the spin begins. Black is a joke to me. Very like, much so. You know, I'm always just he was on fumes after King 6, and Paul now he's really bad. Well, he's just making sure, you know, he's not too short, right? Don't want to make a mistake. The guy's only got eight Why bigs. rush? Yeah. Why rush, Nick? Like, look at this doofus right here. He doesn't even know how much he's playing. He just doubled up. <laughs> so, now it's, we're 80 again. What do you think you got now? <laughs> I don't know, man. Bro, I need to it again. What do you raise to 160? Hmm? Man, that's so bad at first. So, so 360 plus 920? Yeah, 360 plus 920. I, mean, I, I love when everyone like asks me how much you play, and I'm like, dude, I have no idea. You probably know better than me. I mean, you're 28. You haven't been doing math for that long. <laughs> you're the youngest, you know? You're not supposed to know. Okay, we can pause for now. Thank you. Just, Speaking of uh, math, Nick, like Rass was yeah. doing some beautiful mind type of stuff last night, just well, on the fly the calculations. <laughs> Russell Crowe level. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's got that Rain Man in him, man. What did you think, Rast? He was just some 08 player from California? I thought California? he was like a mixed games guy. He is, but this is Rast, he will. But he's, a, he's a little dusty, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? He's I just, a little I dusty. I didn't know he was a, po he's a Poker Hall of Famer. Come on, man. I get it, though. You just didn't know. I mean, look, I'm plugged in. You're doing these tough conversations in Long Island. Rasty's playing 6 12,000 at the win. I mean, this guy is like a wild man. Can you bluff me? Well, it's okay. Well, Nick, I'm, one I'm can't know what they don't know. I'm following the Triton High Rollers. I know the Roman Robics and of the by world. the way, fair enough. <laughs> Awkward for the baby, is it not? Five, six, seven, yeah. Seven, seven. The baby being Joey Chung. That's right. With that little baby face of his. I, is that Can why the nickname is there? I yeah, Joey it Baby. Look at that. Yeah, very awkward with the threes here. You're never good, right? Yeah, like, you're know, never just... Like songs, <laughs> the guy doesn't have ducks. He doesn't have the ducks. <laughs> he doesn't have the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so you you're getting a good like price, leader. but knowing that you're never smashing him and, and that you could be smashed. I mean, I saw like poor security guards like this. Really is the most club, annoying like, spot. It's so in poker, I think. <laughs> and then you were playing like chess, drunk shit. I was the like, thing with tournaments is Joey's guy. stack is so nice. Two point four is nice. One point six. Yes, it's still nice. Yes, but no, no. That's why you don't really want to call off here knowing you're never ahead. On the, on the flip, yeah. 4 million is nice too, but I like the oh. fold. And take it, Polyus, huge pickup, That's uncontested. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then I, then I fold. <laughs> now we're even. I was, I was like, I would call or fold depending on that. So nice now we hand pause? for the Lithuanian. It's 100 now. Yeah, it's 100 now. What do you mean 100? Second hand. No, no. They said play two hands. And this is where Nick, right? Ah, 33 yeah, players yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, these guys will take home 50 if they bust. Oh, lucky. Nothing wrong with that. Lucky, lucky. But to know you're that close to 1.45 million. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a $100 game? Lucky, lucky. Yeah. I believe we're. And Xu Liang on life support now. He does go in. Yeah, I don't blame him, honestly. Under the gun, gonna eat the ante next hand. That ante is big, and you know something that's funny about the big blind ante? In theory, off these short stacks, we actually play a touch looser from under the gun than under the gun one, which is very kind of rare. It only is a setup with the big blind ante specifically. You've been doing your studying, my friend. But from a logistical perspective, not having to have the dealer collect the antes, remind every player each hand, yeah. it's oh, so it's much smoother, so man. Do you remember those days? Oh, like it yeah. feels like a different era. I know. I kind of miss it for whatever oh, really? reason. Really? I think sort that's just of. because you have a little bit of a sickness in you. Maybe. There's part of you that likes the annoyance. Yeah, that I likes think you're right. The, I think you you're like, exactly right. You like the, the guy, the, you know, the old... The, the you're dude. right. Yeah. I do. You do. It's man. weird. You do. Blinds are up. What's up with that? Five hundred. No. Fifty thousand. A hundred thousand blinds. Massive blinds here. Danilo Velasevich, who we saw yesterday, mm. right there with the Rom. Jonathan Jaffe. Talk about creativity, no, right there. Stacked. Jaffe's one of my favorites to watch. It's absolutely stacked as always. Yeah, and there's three Jaffies in poker. Jonathan is the one who I always pretend to be related to. There's another one who I'm not going to mention who I tell people no, there's no relation. You know, it's funny. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't thinking that you're also Jaffy. Yeah, I'm a Jaffy. Very common name, though. Well, what is Jaffy generally, you know, nationality-wise? Or is, is it specific to one region or? Jewish? But it's, is it, so it's always Jew. is that auto-Jewish? I think it's auto-Jewish. I'm not sure. My dad was Jewish. It's my father's name. A limp here from Chen on the bottom. Interesting. Okay. And we see just th Nick, this guy has moves. He's got moves. He zigs and he zags. And is he trapping Liang again he here, might Nick? Be trapping Liang. Liang not falling for it. No. He's seen enough of the traps, right? Enough of this, Chen. Yeah. Let's see a flop. Ooh. And this spells trouble for Liang naturally. Seven pigs. And Liang, coming in as one of the chip leaders, Nick, chugging beers last night, is potentially going to be out the door if he doesn't get really lucky here because this is Indeed. just a car crash waiting to happen. Does oh, just call, okay. though, leaving himself... <laughs> okay, it's a good start to maybe not being out the door. That is a scary card for Liang. It is. One of the worst, really. Great Indeed. card for Chen's hand, too. Gives him that heart draw, makes the deuce of hearts yeah, no, no longer No Chen now. with the check. Yeah. Could, does Liang find a way to still be in the tournament after flopping top pair seven deep? I would think he goes and for a little bit of value. It's such a good example. This guy was going crazy last night, Nick. He doesn't just flick his chips in with the king on the You're flop. right. He just calls. You're right. Leaving himself life and an escape route here. But a dicey one. Nice. And after two checks, you would think Chen is, is going to get a little value here. You would. It is limped, after all, so... I don't want to assume what these players are going to do, Nick, but just gaining from what I've seen from Chen, he has really maneuvered perfectly so far. I like that, Will. I'm gaining trust. Fair. <clears throat> Now 
how much does he go for? He goes for all in, which is very and, and, nice. And Liang and he gets here, snapped. understandably, right? The check back on the GG turn. Shoe. What does this guy have? Indeed. That's it. Very good game to you, sir. What a run. Great game and great show for us here in the booth. Hope to and be seeing more yeah, of him. I think we will, Nick. I do, too. And Chen may be our chip leader now, Nick. Wow. I mean, it wasn't long ago him and Valerie were aggressively fondling their short stacks. You're right. Looking on with FOMO. Now You're Chen finds himself at the top of the leaderboard. Really can happen and fast. There was also a trap in that hand. All of these hands have involved some form of trap. The check back on the turn, Nick. Chen is a trapper, and it was really propelled by the play that you liked, the the trap with Queen-10 on Queen-10-4 versus Shu <laughs> off six bits six or something Nick, still. So just a like master class <laughs> in Absolutely. deception. Chen now in fifth. It's You're very close up, from fifth to first, yeah. Yeah, rounding it out. <laughs> you just touched upon it, but Jaffe, <laughs> Velasevich, Oganyan, and Steve O'Dwyer, who's had the chip lead quite a lot. <laughs> That's and a familiar face, guys. I believe I that's uh, uh, Punsri coming to our feature at the wedding of the show. I joke, but I always have respect, you know? But <laughs> like this, now we have um, almost 10 million in Frighten Winnings, one title. <laughs> Strong. I remember I bought you a pizza that got stitches. You got stitches? Yeah. No, not this slice. Not this snitch. The pizza was good. I mean, maybe I was just. He won the hand against me. I was at Bahama on his last Bahama trip. I just stayed at Bahama for a little bit. The pizza was. Oh, they just turned it off. We were on here and speaking. Pizza was fire. <laughs> no, no, they heard about peanuts and they just turned it off, please. <laughs> and Mr. Mokri here. Just the massage is gone. Is this your first it's done. Time? It's time to focus, Nick. Indeed. Indeed. Like all, basically all 11 in bigs in the cutoff does put it in. It. Has just walked his way into a lot of comfortable situations so far, and that's sometimes how the deck works. It's fine. Roman now with 1.5. Roman is back. Nice. The Empire rises I mean, again. I, I like it. I got a better chance, you know. Fucking get it in. Yeah. Poon out there with some really Poon nice scores, Nick. Nice when you get in at London yes. 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Really well. yeah. Third we place in the 250K. Nice, uh, was that nice, the one you went deep uh, in? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, went yeah, deep in the, uh, uh, the main, uh, which was a 125 uh, yeah, or something <laughs> like that. Poon uh, had a lot of scores. Yeah, fifth place, 200K in Cyprus. Just 1.325 million. That's all. I mean, we get numb to these numbers, right? We really do. What have we here? Here he is. Chen. Eyeing Valerie's stack, too, thinking, am I going to just get ripped on if I open this? Yeah, what does? Val Valerie really has the nub, and he was concerned by that, indeed. He was concerned Valerie by the nub. Valerie has a bit nub. more than I thought. Look, and that is a, a thematic idea. We're less inclined to open. Valerie yeah. does shove, which and I, I like. I do think Valerie's, you know, his table, maybe, maybe the nub becomes a little more concerning when somebody is FOMOing like that. Perhaps. And you see, Yuhini hasn't snap folded here. The Belarusian. So we have a lone big, is that right? A lone big. And he is gone. And the nub. Very nice, Valerie. Yes. Nice card protector there, too. That's strong. Very strong. The swag really comes in all forms and You're shapes right. and sizes. You're right. Here, and Nick. by the way, the diamond cross no, chain, obviously, the hoodie, the that's whole thing. That's no big deal, yeah. A little ice. Shout out to Jesus. <laughs> big guy. Um, yeah, just, I mean, like, going through these guys' scores, man, Punat first in the 2022 100K main event at Cyprus, just $2.6 million, Nick. Punat has been getting around these last few years, for sure. Yeah, and for, he, he punishes at the table. So does Mr. Shalot. This feels like a, you know, the beginning of something here, Nick. And welcome... Yeah. Danilo Velasevich. And welcome indeed with the very pretty King Jack of Spades. That's a, th Those are diamonds, Will. Sorry, our producers uh, gave me some bad info there. Thank you, James. Under the he gun is. with the diamonds. Uh, you know what happens to snitch as well. <laughs> we got to, Nick, <laughs> if that's a joke or not, but... Um, <laughs> producer gave you bad info it's right there the king jack of diamonds they're that red was, that and was on diamond me, shape. that was on me chat nobody's perfect okay and orp look at this orp the turk also mid massage likely going in right now 6.75 yeah. bigs and we see the advanced massage strategy here nick orp knows i'm short 
help me with the massage. Exactly. Just like Kion did. He might have. That's going. not the same masseuse as Kion. Here it goes. And just Danilo in, with just minus. a great price here. Yeah, it's yeah, going it's in. It's going in. Danilo, of course, doesn't love it, but the great price, as you said. And great to have the King Jack of Diamonds instead of the King Jack of Spades. You're absolutely when right. Has Good the luck, spade. gentlemen. Orp the Turk, very dangerous player. Great me, player, Orpin. The poster boy of amateur? No, 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 no. Yeah, the He's whole, not an amateur, exactly. man. Exactly. Can are, we just not call him that? If you want to call him a businessman, how many exactly Tritons do you right. need to win? How, you know, know. how many super high rollers I do know. you need to ship? Going to a flop. Ooh, good start spades, for Orpin. Yeah. Not Ooh. a good finish, so to speak. Always rough when that door card is nice. It and then really the, is. And there was a little pause on the nine. And the spade, too. Yes. Just can catch an ace or a nine, and now a king, mm. but only a king. And an early <laughs> table tap. Yeah, wow, potential mush. A potential mush. Tap. A potential mush here I from Danilo. Very dangerous. Uh, See if Orp can make him pay. GG, sir. The great Orp. Orpin. Yeah. Kiss a I've always struggled with this one. It's Kisika. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> I, I was joking with Rasmus. the Turk yeah. works for Orp, me Orp for the now. Turk is a lot smoother. Great Nick. player, he'll be back. Kisika Kuju, <laughs> I think, though. <laughs> Ali <laughs> says it all the time. Does he? Yes, he loves saying it. He, Ali uh, revels. Well, he probably and flexes it a lot. Yeah. Earlier he annoying, was saying yeah. Juan Pardo with the, you know, really. By the way, flush. Oh, my. This is brutal wow. for Dan. The baby verse. This spells the end of Dan. If unless some unforeseen. Well, cold. well, there is just a call here. You're right. There Leaving are Leaving an roads. escape route. There are escape routes, but it's very unlikely. Let's see. <sighs> that is... Of course not the card Dan wanted no, to see. But not the worst card, but he was hoping for a spade, really. Yeah. And I believe this spells the end, Will. Brutal. <laughs> Joey the baby. Just two-thirds pot to play. And Dan does cover, so not the end. One man has a lot of hair. One man has none. Massive for Chong. Facial hair, chest hair, that is, Indeed. obviously. Indeed. Hair on the head for huh. both, but um, <laughs> Dan will have Romain. chips if he loses Romain. this, but he will. not many. I thought he was covered, but and this is the pot is so big. Is there anything other than all of it here? It's only two thirds pot. A Romaine column. And Dan was one of the chip leaders today, Nick, in the three million range. And we're not terrible. Sure, what the line was pre-turn. Looks like we, we have it here. Joe raised under the gun, making this even more disgusting. Oh, Dan Smith on. defended the big. Wait, your girlfriend what? Joe Man. bet small on the all spade flop. I mean, this is just as cold as the deck gets, right? In the process. Dan raised flop? Yes, Dan raised flop. Joe and just smooth 400 called. 400 call, and here we are. The good news is for Dan is right. This shirt, this watch, has to be worth something, right? Yeah, I think he's going to be okay even if this tournament doesn't come in. He does do it, and he'll see the bad news. Well, Joey, the baby, double checking before the snap, and that's going to be wow. Dan Smith from the three million range to three hundred thirty thousand. Brutal. And Joey, the baby, is our chip leader here in Triton. He certainly is. Good hand. I was kind of worried, uh, Get like, your baby like bottle like emojis out in chat. We shouldn't. I should, I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. Um, River to flush one more time. Dan Smith, a little bit frustrated there. At no, some point, Nick, like these high roller buy-ins add up. Are we going to see him guess. take this shirt and this okay, watch to the local pawn sure. shop here in Jeju, maybe okay. for the next buy-in? Or I think it's still a way. We're, we're not at that point <laughs> with Dan or or anywhere close, but. One never can you know. This one? And as you said, Joey Chong is the new chip leader official. Maybe Joe folds. Huh? Joe might fold. Oganyan just stream of consciousness right now. Makes our job easier. Though. It, it does. The Jacks to Ace 10 suit Vendetta. No, the GG poker Vendetta. RM James <laughs> Joyce Oganyan. I think everyone has a GG poker <laughs> and Vendetta against you. <laughs> why, why everyone hates me? I don't know. I don't hate you. I, I actually. But I actually, like you. I, I, I thought you should. 
He's on ice. Yeah, he's looking to the heavens. I, like I mean, Nick, you call. Yeah, it's no limit hold'em, like, Nick. Like, it's not a pot limit, Omar. It's not five card pot. You have a flush. You have a queen high flush in the big line. It was some not good call. I feel like it was some eight or some. Nah, it was actually, uh, I, I wouldn't check. Still plenty of swag, there. plenty of chest hair. But wasn't it like open, sharp, and I fall? Yeah. They just come with the yellow three. And you had like what, 10 blinds? Or something? But man, <laughs> being <laughs> at that chip lead <laughs> point, the 3.5 million down and to the, the dust stack. It hurts. Emotionally. Whatever. Yeah, it's really not that bad. I wouldn't look. <laughs> I was curious. I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And then I was like, fuck, he's full. he played it great. <laughs> Yeah, Ram is really Sometimes, a chirper, huh? No, he's unreal. It was, well. a, it was like a cuss pan. Yeah, I just like to call him bus you know? <laughs> I like to make friends to, like this. To get the vendetta. These type of players can make the table a lot more enjoyable. I and a lot more it, annoying. I I like yes, correct. Both. Won the next Very polarizing. Oh, there you go. You he know, tilts the, the people, from my experience. I've always found him hilarious. All part of the simulation room. But you also, we know this, Nick, now. We're it's learning. True, you like, you have a sickness, my friend. I suppose. Roman now with like a... Crazy simulation in poker. King, queen off yeah. room. Like 15. Big Do we just pile cutoff? or throw like out a mini? I no. sort of favor the well, min. This last but he like does go yeah, for pile, I, I and it's this, understandable. Nick, you don't want to fold. You don't want to have to... I, I hear you. And for poo not. It's time, likely keeping him honest. I believe so, Will. But this is in part why you shove, right? You don't want, it's such a good hand, you're blocking so many strong hands, you don't want to have to raise and then Hear fold. That. And it was very close. I think his shove is reasonable for sure. Huge pot here for these players too at this point in the tournament, right? Of course. 30 left now. And it's not just a snap for Punat though, right? It's a big no, shove. It is going and it, you're right it is a big shove north of 15 he does do it and does dan take the price from yeah, the small probably he, not no not with eight six off but you never know you do never know it's actually a little bit interesting it is interesting right because you're hoping for these type of overcard hands right which is entirely possible and you're getting great price is it gamble time no it doesn't look like it he does slide it. Those are awkward. Good luck, gentlemen. Big flip here. Pseudo flip. Huge flip. Winner will be top, you know, top five, top ten in yep. chips. Loser will have dust or be out in Roman's case. <clears throat> Poonot looking to add to that really impressive Triton resume. Indeed. Roman trying to build his own. Wow, let's see if the wow, joke And this the Nick joke is, the <laughs> is what I like to call a pseudo flip. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> this, this has to be a pseudo flip. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if 35% was, uh, I can understand 40. Great start for Roman. Spade working for Pinot. What's a fair card? Ten of spades. Ten of spades. Like queen of spades, is that fair? Ten of spades. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. That's that is very, spicy. very, okay, now you're like 13%. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> I mean, this is brutal. GG, Roman. <laughs> that was nice playing with you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you might want to lose the mic. <laughs> oh, okay, it's Roman. Paint club, you're 100%. What a hold there, Nick. Uh, very much so. Right? And Roman, who was Nick, again, I'm not going to accuse any of these players of tilting. Certainly not someone like Roman. The King six off, the call in the small felt a little bit steamy to me. That left him with absolute dust, Nick. And he's just back. He's just back like that. Stone back. And that's why these... You can tilt, you can blast... And sometimes you're just back. And speaking of back, one of the short stacks. He's going on stone tilt back, Will. Go on. Congrats. One yeah. of the short stacks, Nick, Jason Kuhn now in our chip leaders. You had 380. As if that's surprising to anyone. Indeed, he is. 3.3 million. Fifth. Okay. Looking we for that 11th Triton title. This is Tom Brady's type it, it of stuff really here, is. Nick. This is Bill Russell, like. Yeah. Just domination. Yes. And he'll be so tough to deal with in, in oh. the all-time numbers because he's great at short tech, too. And he's not going anywhere, Nick. No. I was joking with him. I saw him. He said, it's tough to be away from my kid. You know, he's got one that's eight months old. And I said, you know, he probably won't 
do anything big. Like you're not, he's not going to say his first heart words. Heart. <laughs> he's looked at me. Black Coon, on the river. Coon has this amazing club. way of Thank looking at you 100%. like he loves you, but he also wants to kill you. Yeah. Not always. Yeah. <laughs> like Pink Diamond, you're like pretty fucked. Paulius, just taking a moment. Roman in in chip stacking now formation, right? And Punat with Ace Jack again. This will happily get in. Spin up time for him. Indeed. I'm like, what the hell, man? He's so nice. I met him for the first time yesterday. Yeah, just four big blinds going in the middle. No, he's always been nice to me. Have you been to Thailand, Nick? I never have. I have wanted to go, but have you? No, I mean, unfortunately for us, we're, we're close now. Yeah, I know. We both have families at home, you know? It's a tough spot for us. I really think I could... It's going to be tough to swing it this Just headed over to Thailand. Hearing, I, hearing Bucky and Jesse Lonis, you know, some motorbike stories yes. before here was making me get a lot of FOMO. I'm a new guy. I didn't play that long. You feel the steam, too, coming off of Dan Smith now. It's, it's Divorce will be putting it in against this four-some-odd big We just have to, right? The ace-nine sure. is too strong. And he's going to be going ice fishing, though. 17 or 18, yeah. I mean, that's like seven years ago, dude. Six, yeah, but I was playing 510 in the beginning, remember? And then I spanned it. No, I, in the beginning I was playing 510, and then I spanned This is just too much ace, yeah, lower aces, kings, yeah, exactly. blah, blah. Spanning, spinning it up. Nice. I, Joey I just, gets out of there. Of <laughs> and look, only a million in this pot, Nick. Ten big blinds. But these are two Triton goats Wait, here. Ten million yeah. in Indeed. earnings for Daniel here at Triton. Two titles himself. Good luck, amigo. You mean it, though? Yeah, I, I, I like you. And you know take it I like down, you. Funa. Okay. I give you a lot of shit, but I like you. Go peanut. <laughs> Let's see who can... Uh, <laughs> Dan's going to need to get real lucky. That's a little dicey. Not the worst flop. Really not dicey. the worst. That's like not yeah. really dicey. Backdoor like, straights, flushes, really dicey. in yeah, play. Yeah, I can very... Uh, like, oh. That's dicey. Ooh, ooh, that's dicey. <laughs> Interesting oh, one. As a... <laughs> Kills the nine, but What's makes hearts well, live. His name, but he says it's hairy. It's pretty hairy. Who said that? Oh. I just had a brain fart. Not gonna do it. Punat, back hairy. in business. Huge Punat, two and a half bigs now for Devoris. I, I, I mean, fuck. <laughs> I have a massive brain fart right now. I don't think I've seen some. Is that Davies? Yeah. Yes, he does say. He says that's. He says it's a little hairy. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. It's a little hairy. <laughs> Theme song was his girthy. Girthy? Girthy. Girthy? It's like, oh, that's a girthy stack. I never heard of that. And what does a girthy even mean? I think. I feel like usually it's talking about the penis. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't and know I, I can see how these table combos with Aram can get out of hand pretty quickly, oh, Nick. Oh, yeah. Better not tell no curl that's triple that. that. <laughs> I think uh, that's... He's got Scott that troublemaker Scott. vibe to him, you know, so the kid in the back of the class <laughs> throwing really, spitballs. He's really Probably funny, Will. Yeah. <clears throat> and these tournaments, you know, especially these big buy-ins, can have very serious Sports feel to them. You can see why you like having that wild card in the mix. Paulius now with the Ace ten of spades. One would think this has to be good enough. I think it's going in from ten bigs. Perhaps min. Probably it just goes in. Maybe with thirteen or twelve. Yeah, we, we exactly. I think he is minning though. He does min. Yeah. Fair enough. And leaving the door open for Roman here. Yeah, we sort of prefer three betting King Jack with a little more wiggle behind. But well, we're blocking some of the stronger hands here, right? That are inducing are. with this min. Does let it go. Yeah, awkward. Because we're we're doesn't look like there's a lot of fold equity, right? Smith and Devoris, of course, needing spins badly. Yeah, Smith and you know. Twenty nine left, and there is a pay jump at twenty seven. So Smith not in a rush to be snap folding, nor divorce. 
no, this is what I do a lot, right? You you wash your clothes, but you forget about the dryer, right? And <laughs> yeah. they just sit there collecting dust, just molding. Yeah. You need it. They need to spin both of them. They need to get in the Correct. dryer. Correct. Full full cycle. Full. That's blast. exactly right. Yeah, and, and this is another thing, Nick. I would never think to min raise with this hand off of this stack. It's it but takes, it's sexy. It takes getting used to. It is yeah. sexy. But what does it do here, right? Aram can't call the shove with Ace Five off, right? But, but with a completely dominant hand, he can speculate. That's exactly and get right. Get himself into a lot of trouble. Or just hit a five. <laughs> Does hit the five. Ace of hearts working as well. Note, by the way, it's all fun and games That's until Aram gets in a pot, and then you see oh, he's one of those. The, the killer yeah. type. Yeah. Yeah, and awkward spot now for Paulius. Obviously repping a really strong range. I think we see that small. Yeah. A lot. A lot. By the way... There are check ideas. It oh, is so awkward with the back door. Does he just jam? He does just jam. How much? Yeah, with not much more than the pot size bet left. Possibly a prudent idea. Aram just says, geez, this is a weird spot for him. It's so funny because we can see the cards. It's obviously he's an 80% favorite, but it's disgusting, right? Did exactly. Does have the ace of hearts for the back door hearts? By the way, I think that idea of Seabat Small is perhaps not good, by the way. This seems kind of nice from Paulius. Well, to leave ourselves the ability to get jammed on, right, and have yeah, to fold we down. We really just have to call and try to be. So why not, if we do then, it always seems better to just pile Sometimes ourselves. Sometimes we need to defer in regards to the EV, but indeed. Better to shove than to be shoved on. That's exactly right. And for Aram, this is weird. It is, it is weird. I would think the Ace of Hearts is a good card here. I don't think he's piling nut flush draws. I agree. It just, just give ourselves has a little bit more equity. backup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ace King of Hearts feels like it might induce a little. Definitely. There. No nut flush draws are doing this. And. For the reason that we don't want to just get folds when we have a nut flush draw. We want to give our opponent the rope to put That's those exactly gutter balls right. into I bluffs. I think Paulius nailed the idea. And for Aram, it kind of feels like a call, but it's it's, it's very dicey, annoying. Man. It, it's highly dicey. I agree. He's going to be very happy if he does call, though, Nick. Basically the best hand he can see. And yes, this is a good example, right? The chirper, the troublemaker, suddenly becomes a studious, right. you know. <laughs> he's like, ha, 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 nah, my G, I had the pepperoni pizza right at this plate, and then just, boom, he's gone. <laughs> he's just right back in the mix. Talking about girth. and <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about girth, and now he's just doing calculations. He's going to fold He's in. gone. Great play from Paulius. Bravo, sir. We'll see more of this as the tournaments go on, but we're getting such a master class into this short stack play, Nick. Definitely. So many. There's so much depth it's to the so short stack It's so easy to just play. think, I have 10 bigs, it's shove or fold time. Yeah, for Paulius. From them. You're right. Aram's going to be really tilted when he sees that. We may, we may hear some, some commentary anything. after yeah. the break. I mean, yeah, like a, obviously, like, most likely a draw. Yeah, yeah, something. I had an ace of hearts. That's it? That's a really five. tough spot, though, to call with just the five there. Doesn't feel like you're ever good. Pretty, yeah. It's I think it's pretty close. Like, nine is obviously, like, just call. But Here comes the post-mortem, Nick. Oh, five. yeah. Get some new dealers in there. Little pit stop. Grease the wheels. Down to 29. Dan Smith bringing up the rear. Daniel DeVoris right on his heels. Michael Adamo still hanging around. How's he doing? About Middle of the pack, yeah, kind million. of? He's on okay. the lower end. Paxton in there in 11th. Chuck Chu. David Coleman. Dong Chen. Dimitar Danchev has had a great start to the series. Juan Pardo. 
Dong Chen played great last night on the feature table, put a really crazy bluff on Liang late in the night that propelled him up, was a complete, you know, tournament shifter. Nice. And that's the thing with these guys, even these unknowns, Nick, these guys you've never seen play have a lot of game. It's true. Roman now. Wow. Did we see him get up to three? Yeah, we did. Sorry, that was the big hand against Punat, but... Among the chip leaders himself, after being short stacked, that's how quick things can swing. He just goes for 200, and this is... This is Cuspy. He has a little bit of time, Smith. The button oh, is two we've seats also, over. Very Cuspy. We've pay jumped now, and we're actually on another pay jump. We're locked up with 54K. Okay. Two more out, we get 61.5. I don't know how much that's factoring, but... It's certainly factoring. He is gone. Maybe that goes in with a little bit more distance between that next payout. Joey with the ace deuce off. He's gonna muck it. And Aram now with a very playable king queen of diamonds. Indeed. Looking to get back in the mix. Just calls, these players are very deep. Two, two of the chip leaders going to battle. I like this call from Ogonian. May bring in a completely dominated king from Kion. Very awkward spot for him. Never know what to do when you're getting such a good price, but your hand just feels so like the reverse implied odds you type of thing. You have to be thing. quite careful yeah, multi-way from the big. Heads up to the flop. Interesting flop, really bricks for both, but a, a straight draw for Roman and some back doors for a ROM. It is interesting. And I always find these spots interesting with the king, queen of diamonds, obviously just king high, but that jack of diamonds sitting out there, it just, you don't want to just let it go. No. Right? No, you don't. Barring a, a big size or what have you, you, you do feel compelled to continue. Now let's see what Roman comes with. He goes for quarter. Yeah. And this feels like all the options are open. I mean, a raise is possible, right? I agree this is a raise or call spot. I don't think we can fold 60% of the royal. No, just too many good turns. And also, we can have the best hand, as we do in this situation. Obviously, tough to know that. He's going to go with the raise, Nick. I like this a lot, and yeah. for Roman, it's a real decision. Draw to the nuts, position, bluffing prospects, but just 8-9. See what he comes with. And everything feels on the table. Wow, he, did he click it back, Will? It's a little clicky, Nikki. Will, this is getting very interesting. Yeah, and this is the type of battles uh, I'm we enjoying see. this. Yeah. And these lines are rare, but they're real. The what click back is, on yeah, the flop. And when I say rare, sorry to cut you off, they used to be a thing we click all day long, but now you don't see this too much. He goes for the stone min click. What do you think arm comes with, Will? It's such an interesting spot. Yeah, what can he do, really, Bravo right? Oh, from Roman. Very nice from Roman. Really, really sweet. Take it, sir. Risks the minimum. Pops up over four million. Second in chips to Joey now. Yeah, throw back to a different time. The Vanessa Selbst era. Devastating. You were just setting up the uh, clickbacks to get the last bet in, I remember. That's right. Why it's paused? I think it's because we're behind again. Oh. Yeah, she said two more hands or something, right? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is oh. the second. Yeah. Okay. At least they're pausing the clock. They didn't do it yesterday. So. Again, just 
almost every hand we see something, Nick, a new trick. Punat now with the fours. He is from early, but 11 bigs. Close, perhaps just fold. Yeah, I've noticed these pocket pairs, which I always loved as shovers, the little ones get pitched a lot. They do get pitched from early positions. He does let it go. I like it, Will. And for Smith, that blind is coming around rapidly. You don't need to count it down. Yeah, and King Dan has really been relegated to I, Jester. I think that's even overdoing it. Just kind of like a pauper, you know, in the... He's, he's in the castle still, two, but he's two really, eight bigs. really on the sidelines. Let's go for the yeah, he's going all for it here. minus a chip. And the dream in this spot, of course, is to get heads up with the big blind. Let's see if the baby keeps him honest with the ace. He does. Pardon no, me, he man, doesn't. No, doesn't want to finish the job. Like Don't blame him with the offsuit ace. Oh, yeah. Kyan, nothing to continue with. So Dan in a great yeah, yeah. spot here to be ahead. Yeah. Depending on what the big has. And look at this, Nick. This is why you do it, right? Yeah, and this is this is a sit up in your seat type of spot. But I was referring to myself when he was counting me down. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Paulie is just not enough chips for Dan to really. Yeah, I don't know about do seven off or do. Those are always so sick. But the ten, yeah. he does give it a spin. Good luck, sir. King Dan trying to start the spin. I think it's two eight. Bluffed it, Roman? Huh? Bluffing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little bit tilting for Aram when he sees these two hands that he's folding. Yeah, a couple of uh, awkward ones. Can Smith hold? Okay, so far so good. Just looking for some back doors, really, for Paulius or 10. That's the green. Nice plug. 10 and 10 only, and Dan will double. I guess I should have just called. Should have three bet. Should have three bet three. Maybe and he well. does double, Will. Yeah, and we saw him fold the king three suited, remember, earlier? You're right. You're All right. these little, these well, little yeah, maybe there. seemingly meaningless interactions no, and, at and, the time. And really, you're going to leave Triton, you know, much improved. It's There's a lot to be learned about. Because I know exactly what you mean about that sub 10. Huh? I was that way for years. You have six bigs. It's like, what are we doing? Let's go get a bite. Yeah. You know, what are Why we, are we what thinking are we about here this? Grinding yeah. Like four bigs. Get Shake Shack or something. Yeah. But it, if Smith goes on to win, it is a reminder. You well, know, this whole these whole later stages have just been like a learning. Exactly. Experience it's very for interesting. Me. All of these navigations are. I would say in general tighter than people realize. To me, they they all require much more thought than people Correct. realize. <laughs> Dan Smith ah. back in the game. I was hoping for a good turn card to blast, but I didn't even get it. Leaving the other Dan, Dan DeVoris, short. Probably just that ace stack. Ace jack. Maybe had, maybe had aces too. Or maybe he had Queen 10 of clubs. Yeah. That could be. And then you got blocked, amigo. <laughs> Good play. Good play if you have like a set of fish. And Joey, like nice if you have like King Jack of off now in the hijack. I don't know. Still the chip leader. Roman nipping at his heels in second. Yeah, this is Roman's big too, so a potential clash. Arm looks intrigued. Arm folded a long time ago. Did he? I can't see if those are his cards. I think those are his cards. Yeah. Well, and he might be a little bit in the in the uh, matrix himself right no, now. No, he Nick. has folded. Those oh, aren't okay, his okay. cards. I was gonna say. He might still be in the matrix in regards to the Jack Six Five, though. 
Or the ace five. Or the ace five. Over under what time you think this finishes? That was very stupid. Very yeah. very Dominated yeah. king here for Robic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Like I think it'll take a third day. This event. I mean, one each. I agree, but yes, I didn't want to burn like two. Is this strong enough to call this min raise? Roman thinks it is. It's unclear to me versus hijack. It's certainly close. Oh. The baby's looking to get fed here, Nick. He sure is. The baby He's needs hungry. his bottle right He's now. Hungry. Is the milk coming? Like oh, the milk is coming. Line, the, the what's the mush like? The pea yeah, mush. Yeah, this is a this is a full on feeding situation here. Really cold deck for Roman. Top hair. Joey's very aggressive. And, and naturally, forgive the abundantly obvious, but this is the problem with these hands. You do, of course, defend the big blind robustly, but at this stage, it, it's dicey, these offsuit type of king middleys. Close spot, though. He shows how, how much chutzpah he has post, so. Yeah, Joey bets small, which obviously good news for Roman. And Roman goes for the raise right away. See where he's at. I've noticed with Roman in these spots, it's always something creative. It's never what you expect. I, I certainly did not expect that. And already a million in this pot, Nick. I have a hearts on the turn. Scary card for Joey, by the way. Yeah, some of the ace threes, maybe the six three crazy sort of just semi bluffs get there. How does Roman want to play it? Two chip leaders wisely checks. You know, in a weird way, Nick, that raise on the flop may save Roman. I, I know what you mean. That's a great point. Joey checks as well. Do you know what I mean? I like, know exactly what you mean. And I have a feeling this street goes block call, but we'll whereas see. Whereas if... Maybe not on this run out, but, but if, in, if it just, it might just go check bomb, bomb, bomb. I know exactly what you mean. And that's where these next level players, I feel like they just do things that we don't expect. Fair enough. But it works. And look, the baby's probably going to get fed here, Nick. But this is not, this is not the, you know, the mush, the Gerber. It's just a little bit of milk, most yeah, likely. It's just a little bit of milk, although. No, it's just a little bit of milk here, Nick. Roman has weirdly saved himself a lot of chips here, Nick. He does get snapped, and the baby is, is doing his thing. The baby's taking his first steps right now. I think he's probably taking a few steps before this. Thing. Well, you know, I'm just going with the whole the baby joke. Well, let's it's keep tough. the metaphor, you know, the analogy <laughs> at least somewhat realistic. You're right. You're right. That was a bad one. Yeah, that was pretty weak, man. But we're going to... Check these two tables out. Joey now, 5.6 million in chips. Benjamin Chalet tightly leading over Danilo at our second table. Daniel DeVoris with two bigs. Dan Smith with six after doubling. Down to 29 here. I mean, it's just really been a, like a short stack clinic here. It has. There's been a lot of interesting short stack spots and just... I would say that was one of the more exciting levels thus far. Yeah, it felt like every hand was, if nothing else, a pretty big learning experience. Um, yeah, there were so many cool lines. The click back from, from Robeck, the Smith folding king three and then doubling. I mean, it's king three, but 2.7 bigs. Yeah, um, I, Robeck going from, you know, dust to... Robeck all over the place. Just feels like we're going to see a lot of him and... Who knows, but we'll be back soon. Take you guys to a quick break.
Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard. Practice against GTO on all your devices. Study any situation using our revolutionary AI-powered solver. Upload your hand histories to uncover your biggest leaks. We have hundreds of hours of coaching from top pros, cutting edge theory articles, and custom study plans to help guide your poker journey. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live action prediction options on the Triton series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just sees the wonder. Jeju Shinwa World. Does bow out. And again, the impact of the bubble sort of on display. And oh. wow, how well served was Pardo to muck the ace 10 as opposed to three bet. As Coleman has woken up. With a couple of kings here. Now, do we sneak? I think for Coleman, we go for something in the 220 range. A very kind of polar. The 220, that is? Yeah, just the three bet non all in is one of these things. Goes for 210. And for Adrian. This is not what we wanted to see. Sometimes this kind of hand class gets spicy in ICM situations and crazier plays have been made than ripping here, but we would expect to see Adrian fold usually. The flat not really available to this hand, is it? The flat five off the money doesn't really feel available at this current time, although I've been surprised before. And he does do it, Ali. Let's see if fortune favors the brave. Fair enough from El Conquistador. Likely in the vicinity of ideas. He looks to the clock. Five off the money. Can he get lucky, Ali? Well, 
In that chest beats the heart of a lion, but in that hand, the holding of a lamb versus this king king. One and a half million in the middle. Can he find the ace? No, one diamond working. The road to Broadway blocked heavily. Uh-oh. It's never, never easy, Ooh. Ali. All of a sudden, you see the expansion of those outs. Coleman displeased with these black kings. Can he fade the diamond on the end? He can, and that will spell. Good game, Adrian. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of him over the next few weeks, Ali. Yeah, eliminated on the outside looking in. But one of those characters, remain. you know, as much as he respects the bubble, yeah. he also is fearless enough to recognize it did work out. He didn't run into Kings, or maybe he hits the ace. So, you know, uh, just... I agree, Ali. Respect for the Conquistador. El Conquistador. And also, I think when we, when we watch great players play, even if they play one that we don't like, not saying even about that hand, <clears throat> we can still glean insights into the process. Interesting for Peters, 11 bigs just north. <laughs> Do we min or just go for it all, Ali? All right. There's Have your answer. answer. Ooh, ace, queen, Coleman. Asks for the count, certainly rates to participate. Mm. And a touch deflating for DP. It's the snap how much from Coleman. Sure. But now for Coleman, he's got a player left to act behind in Kuhn. He Kuhn's has ace-queen against the button. Ollie, 11 bigs. Ace-queen. So the all-in as opposed to anything else. Good luck, gentlemen, especially Pete's, just given the situation. At risk with 26% equity and an almost 1 million chip pot here, looking to avoid the fate met by Adrian Mateos just a moment ago. Tough proposition for obvious reasons for the time being. And on the Queen 10-5 board, while he's made top pair, he is out kicked. The Jack at work. No longer as a hook will be the only salvation for DP Peets here. Unavailable. Good game, sir. 50 remain, 47 pays, and another one falls, Ali. About 85 million in earnings out the door in the last two end. He seemed to just kind of be in the matrix. You know, I didn't feel he was staring me down, but he's really good. He came with a tough call. I felt it. And then I walked around London for four hours. <laughs> but, I, you know, it's Good luck, Hajiev, all in for 205. Yeah. Azerbaijan banner. So the point is, w we can't know if Juan just felt just a little something. We just can't know. The sixth sense. Timing, these little micro rhythm. We can't even describe sometimes, but just know. Spidey. Spidey. Just 205. Interesting the spot. Vladis probably has to fold, but he knows Hajiev is quote-unquote light here for four bigs under the gun as he has to post the blind and the ante next, so he is in the must-gamble zone. 50 remain now. Three away from the money. You hate to put a foot wrong. Especially just 420 back, this would be damaging if it didn't go Tamashauskas' way. And so he does fold. And now Ido with the sevens. Not in a hurry, but certainly not going to be folding. These ones are a little bit brutal because obviously it feels like a slow roll under normal circumstances. We know, of course, that it isn't. Yeah, sometimes you can whisper to the guy, I I'm getting in, but still sort of anyway. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah. I like that, by the way. That's, you know, kind of a sporting hedge you there. just sort of whisper it. Yeah. 
Maybe just Can you hit the ace, Solly? Maybe some black cards. 485k pot. Gotta go Ramin's way. If he helps to find the money. Here in event three. Jack, six, four. No ace. No problem on the other side for the sevens. King on the turn, unhelpful. Can Ramin find the ace? Good game, Cameron, Good no. game sir. Two away. 49 remain, Ali. Hajiev. Not going to be able to add to his career Triton earnings of over $4.3 million. One-time title winner, three-time casher. Did so on and so forth. But also, if two players do bust out, that simultaneous bust out would have to happen on the same hand That's in right. order for the min cash to be divided. Welcome back. We are here at the Triton $25,000 buy-in silver main event. Will Jaffe, Nick Shulman. Crazy tournament, Nick. Um, I don't really know what to say. Just been action the whole time we've been here. I know what you mean. I don't know what to say either. Unfortunately, that's, you know, we're hired to say something, but it, it, it does kind of roll into one. It really does. This has been a cool sweat, though. It's been a fun sweat I've with you, man. I've enjoyed this one today a lot. Yeah. And likewise. It's like peeling hands, right? You pick up the cards, you see a player. Yeah, and it just feels like today every hand has been insane. It weird because there's been weird stuff. There's been weird stuff. We had Chen Guan Cheng with the trapping, Zhu Liang off the bat with the jacket, the the odd short stack navigation. It's just been you know, and the finish will be insane as always. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're with us. Let's take a look at these new feature tables. We got a lot of players here, Nick. Isaac Haxton. Talk to me. Man of the year, 2023. Right now, yes. Go on. Jason Kuhn, is that okay with you? Yes. How about Juan Pardo? Hang on a second. This is not the table, I don't believe. Oh. Is it? Those stacks didn't look right. No, Wait. I think you're right. Do we have the right table? Do we have the right table? That's one of the features, right, you're James? Right. Go on. I'm done. Yeah, go okay. on. Nick, please, please. Go. Nick. I'm, I'm sorry. Can we pull up? Yeah, let's pull up that feature table, James, if possible. Yeah, look at that top, the blue, if I could get back to it. Mike Haxton, Jason Kuhn, Juan Pardo, Chuck Chu, Peter Arts. It's been on every table I've seen so far. He has been getting down there. How about our secondary? Jonathan Jaffe? Yes. Steve O'Dwyer? Yes. How about Michael Adamo? Welcome, sir. He's been on a bit of a hiatus. Dimitar Danchev, maybe another final table for him? Maybe. Is that is that okay with you? The, these fine. tables look good, Nick. They look good. They look correct. Okay. I just got fooled because the stacks are kind of weird. It's yeah. It was a little confusing there. Sorry, guys. Uh, forgive Nick. Stacks All right, are. You already said that, Will. You know. Sorry. They forgive me. But they definitely do. Stacks Maybe are they weird, don't. though. In your defense, twenty. Look at these twenty. Yeah, they're they're so flat. Seven, I yeah. thought that we had a couple of levels ago. Also, this table is very similar to my first table from today so anyway no excuses but yes they are look at these these stacks the biggest stack has 22 bigs well. in nick's defense i can see why he thought it was a glitch 20 big blinds are we are do we are we on the final table uh, amongst now? two tables that's pretty rare so obviously a lot of chips in the outer room king five suited for chuck chu under the gun he's gone this just continues with the short stack theme very much so and I guess we'll, we'll probably learn something, right, with these players? I, I think we will. No way. <laughs> That's wrong. Joe has... 900? Um, oh, Joe has a lot? Jason Kuhn on the button with Queen Eight of Clubs. Oh. Huh. 45, 29 left. Cool as that. Big stack. <laughs> no, it's actually... Peter it's Arts. Well. Arts? Wait. He Arts? I no, think it's... I'm you know, and okay, this last tricky. name though, is this catch, cashew? Yeah. Like the nut? He might, yeah, it's I'm, it's I'm, in oh, the vicinity of the nut. He goes yeah, for defend. Yeah, Let's yeah. just call him Alexander. Uh, Two suited hands. If you click on him, it says he has 
5.7, but on the la leader list it doesn't. I'm gonna restart it, see if that takes And these are the type of whiffy flops. I'm always curious to see if there's anything that kind of, because the players have to be getting out of line if they're putting chips in. Absolutely. Elko um, not wanting to get blown off his equity, but but not done yet. And Alexander slides right into the nine, Will. I would think out of action turns, this has to be number one. I think you're right. Kuhn picks I suppose up the, the nine of clubs, but... Yeah, you and Rast have this, like, particular thing to do <laughs> where you need things to be, like, exact. I'm sorry, Will. Just so you know, it's much better than the one Rast had where I, I said a pot was like 300,000 chips and it was 298 and he <laughs> corrected me. And this is immediately uncomfortable for Alexander. I love your fake laughs, by the way, speaking of uncomfortable. Kuhn, yeah, betting small. That's not a stone fake laugh, by the way. I get that they're There's all an, have. I'm aware, like you know, I'm not trying to. No, but to it's get fake it enough to, that I that I hear it immediately, and it's. I like that though. I'm into that. You like that? Yeah. All right. I fuck with it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cashew. Cashew. I think we've said Alexander. That is a winner. Kuhn finds himself with queen high. Let's see what he goes for. This is not entirely clear. I think he knows Alexander has a seven or a nine an awful lot. The face of a stone cold. I mean, you know that you know the phrase. You know the phrase. Oh, you can shut it. And down. this is smart, though, Nick. I like the this shut is down smart. from this vantage point. I can certainly see Alexander He's, heroing there a look, lot. I've had this many, many times with Jason Kuhn. You see the cards, so you feel like you're being results oriented. But he makes the right decision, and you feel like he made it for. He knew. Yeah, fair enough. You know. I do. Juan Pardo. This is, Nick, one of the best online players ever, Malacca style. Was talking to Joe Vieira yesterday. I, I believe Joe is the biggest winner, and then Malacca's up there, you know, from Spain. And, has and that made says a lot, obviously. Yeah. You know Greg Merson? I do know Greg. Now, they don't look as similar anymore, but I used to call Juan Pardo Spanish Greggy. So I don't see that one. No? The glasses, the same color hair? Yeah, I just don't see it. Fair enough. How about the Jack Ten of Hearts in the cutoff? I do see that one. All in. Kuhn's just going to rip. Yeah, we've, we've seen Ooh. these ideas many times, and for Peter... With six bigs, is that right? How many bigs does he have, Will? Can you do that for me? We seven need Rast bigs. We seven need Rasty here. We need Rasty here. here. If you can't do math, we're in dire straits. But um, seven bigs. Don't do the counting with your hands, please. That's just going to distract five. things. Peter has been in so many good spots, Nick. I don't mean to discredit what he's done, but he just gets really good spots. This is a really good spot. Fair enough. He's played great, too. Does do it. Good luck, brother. And how about the opening event, $15,000 buy-in here? A record-breaking tournament. How about you get ninth place for 81000 Then the next tournament, the 20K 800, 22nd place for 44000 He's got to And here something. he is. Three for three. Looking to double as a favorite. And this is what we call a pseudo flip. I'm okay with this one, Will. I agree. And a bad start for Peter, but a little, Ooh. a little uh, dessert behind. Not as bad as it looked. Clean for Coon. Good game. 
good game, sir. Another good run for Peter Arts. And he'll de-mic, Will. What did you say after the flop there? Do you remember? I don't remember. No, you said something great, and I talked too soon after. I'm never going to do that again. Really? I don't think I said anything great. Yeah, Dimitar Danchev all in. Adamo in the lead. Can he hold? Oh, huge pot here for 3.2 million. He can hold. Wow. Good game, sir. Another good run for Dimitar Danchev. And if one of the many storylines you were thinking about or hoping for was maybe Michael Adamo gets a big stack here at Triton. Ask and you shall receive. This guy is one of the best to watch, Nick. Just period. He objectively is. This is not bias. This is just science right. and math. If we had Rast here, he'd run the numbers and confirm. And we discussed this the other day, but Adamo has a top three no limit heater ever. And any of those guys are always special. But let's it's be honest, so one of the differences with Adamo's heater versus someone like Dan Coleman is, is this is twenty seven. Got Jonathan Jaffe. Yeah, I got you for years. Did he just ask him what place he would take right now? I think he did. And he, he said sixth. Short, That's my guess. I have three seconds. I know. <laughs> you got that. I don't want to deal with the math. I, don't, I hate the person. Adamo now in third. That's 337,000. Yeah. Important for me. <laughs> and John Jaffe says he's underselling it. What do you guys think? What's Adamo stack worth right now? Anyway, the difference is, right, Dan so Coleman one of those years. Two cards. <laughs> it's easy to sleep on, Dan. That's true. <laughs> but part of the reason is that became possible before the TV coverage exploded, bust. before the streams. There was no YouTube yeah, streaming see, when Dan Coleman was covering right. these things. Oh, first cards nine. I don't know if you so remember, bad. but Jeff he won the one drop. In. You're right. He won the one drop, man. Coleman is a... a oh, for me, it's Bonomo, <laughs> Fedor, and, and Adamo when... when the heaters come to mind, the That's the shameful. impossible type right? heaters. But you're right, Coleman yeah, yeah, has to be in the mix. Nine, so <laughs> well, the reason you don't think about it is because it wasn't as televised as these other ones. Right. I think with the other color. Yeah, yeah, and Chua thinking, thinking it through, this is a lot of fair enough. You're rich with me count. Yeah, do you want to gamble here? 75, 250, 250, 500, 575. Don't forget to carry the one. Uh, damn it. This is where you need Rast at the table. I must have two live cards. It's ambitious to assume you have two live cards. But you're correct. <laughs> oh. He does gamble well. Good luck, sir. <laughs> I like this capitulation. This is good. He had a big spot for Adrian here. Favorite hand. It <laughs> is. I believe you. It I'm is. Shaking my head otherwise. Ah, Possibilities. Indeed. More outs. This is my phone number. <laughs> Jaffe still in the lead, just needs to fade. Very good game to you, sir. Another one falls. Adrian Chua. John Jaffe gets more chips. So if you thought maybe John Jaffe would be enough, we have a Damo, too. Yeah, we really do. Just wanted to finish my thought there. I think Dan Coleman's in that range. I think he's in that same category. The reason I think Adamo's is the most kind of revered, maybe up there with Faders, is we, we just, it was so fun to watch. Yeah, it was wild. And Jaffe could be capable of one of those years if he's playing a full schedule, Nick. Definitely. 
The thing that I like the most about it is it seems like you have to have some type of screws. Like you can't just be following the beaten path. I, I would agree with that to, to an extent. Steve O'Dwyer. Looks like his luggage came in, Nick. What do you mean by that, Will? Well, he's got some drip. Well, he does have some drip, of course. And his drip is of that more respectable, if you're not going to go the Liangzhu route. Right. Keep it nice and easy. I know what you mean. Let's see if Dong Chen defends. Another 9-6 off in the big blind. Yeah. Dong is one of these players I've never seen him play. Similar to Chen earlier. It just looks very comfortable at the table. Yeah, I know what you mean. Not real nervy amongst this sort of ilk. And the more I see, the more I think, this is not a random, this is a real player in disguise. And the more hands he plays, the more the mask comes off. Only one cash for Dong Chen. But guess what? It was in the 15K event here. There you go. Noticing a theme there? John Jaffe, Dong Chen, Steve O'Dwyer, Michael Adamo. Table is short. Looks like we're going to have to rebalance it. Lee Yuan, don't forget about him. He's our short stack with six bigs. The baby. Still like that leading. little riff there. The baby still leading the race here. Joey Chung in first with 5.4 million. 43 big blinds, Nick, so that's what we're dealing with. The baby's game day. He he tends to show up in big spots. He does? Yeah. Do you think punting the way he did in the main event kind of led to a... Yeah, and design? by the way, there you go, screw loose. It's, you know, yes. he does have some of that. Could really ascend. True. Michael Adamo, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited, too. It was, you know, when he wasn't playing for a little while, It was. it's good to see him back. Yeah, so we're going to rebalance the tables. We'll be right back in a sec, guys. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8 max MTT, first to act under the gun. At what stack depth should you consider opening low pocket pairs like 4-4? Four, four? A. Always open these hands. B. Only open them below 20 big blinds. C. Below 30 big blinds. Or D. Below 50 big blinds. Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just 5 minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
Just Seize the Wonder. 제주 신화 월드. 어, 어. It's never never easy, Ooh. Ali. All of a sudden, you see the expansion of those outs. Coleman displeased with these black kings. Can he fade the diamond on the end? He can, and that will spell good game, Adrian. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of him over the next few weeks, Ali. Yeah, eliminated on the outside, looking in. But one of those characters, remain. you know, as much as he respects the bubble, yeah. he also is fearless enough to recognize it did work out. He didn't run into kings, or maybe he hits the ace. So, you know, uh, just... I agree, Ali. Respect for the conquistador. El conquistador. And also, I think when we when we watch great players play, even if they play one that we don't like, not saying even about that hand, <clears throat> we can still glean insights into the process Interesting for Peters, 11 bigs just north. <laughs> Do we min or just go for it all, Ali? Oh, no. There's Have your answer. answer. Ooh, ace, queen, Coleman. Asks for the count, certainly rates to participate. Mm. And a touch deflating for DP. It's the snap how much from Coleman. Sure. But now for Coleman... He's got a player left to act behind in Kuhn. He has Kuhn's ace queen against the button, Ollie. Eleven bigs, ace queen. So the all in, as opposed to anything else. Good luck, gentlemen, especially Pete's. Just given the situation, at risk with twenty six percent equity and an almost one million chip pot here, looking to avoid the fate met by Adrian oh. Mateos just a moment ago. Tough proposition for obvious reasons for the time being. And on the Queen-10-5 board, while he's made top pair, he is out kicked. The Jack at work. No longer as a hook will be the only salvation for D. Peets here. Unavailable. Good game, sir. 50 remain, 47 pays, and another one falls, Ali. About 85 million in earnings out the door in the last two. And he seemed to just kind of be in the matrix. You know, I didn't feel he was staring me down, but he's really good. He came with a tough call. I felt it. And then I walked around London for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, it's Good luck, Hajiev, all in for 205. Yeah. Azerbaijan banner. So the point is, we can't know if Juan just felt just a little something. We just can't know. The sixth sense. Timing, these little micro rhythm. We can't even describe sometimes, but just know. Spidey. Spidey. Just 205. Interesting spot. Lattice probably has to fold, but he knows Hajiev is quote-unquote light here for four bigs under the gun as he has to post the blind and the ante next, so he is in the must-gamble zone. 50 remain now. Three away from the money. You hate to put a foot wrong. Especially just 420 back. This would be damaging if it didn't go Tamashauskas' way. And so he does fold. And now Ido with the sevens. Not in a hurry, but certainly not going to be folding. These ones are a little bit brutal because obviously it feels like a slow roll under normal circumstances. We know, of course, that it isn't. Yeah, sometimes you can whisper to the guy, I'm getting in, but still sort of anyway. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah. I like that, by the way. That's, you know, kind of a sporting hedge you there. Just sort of whisper it. Yeah. Maybe just. Can you hit the ace, Solly? Maybe some black cards. 485K pot. Gotta go Ramin's way. If he helps to find the money, 
here in event three. Jack, six, four, no ace. No problem on the other side for the sevens. Jason Kuhn, Michael Adamo, Steve O'Dwyer, Jonathan Jaffe, Isaac Haxton. We've got the sharpest minds in poker. Talk to him, Will. Nick Shulman. <laughs> We've got one of the sharpest minds of poker here in the booth. Day two. These tournaments, like sporting events, have different speeds, right? There's defensive slogs. There's offensive, you know, shootouts. That's what this has felt like for me the whole time. Action. I like that. And stylistically, too, there's players who are a bit more defensive by nature, ones who are offensive and everything in between. Well, we're going to see both of them. Adamo being a fairly offensive. He likes to kind of, you know. Maybe a Ronaldo or someone creative <laughs> with the, you know. Um, but there's plenty of others to see. I mean, let's take a look at these tables real quick. We've, we've got a, a Rom there still with plenty of chips. Dan Smith, John Jaffe on our blue table. Then on our red, Joey, the baby. He's been getting fed today, Nick. Go on, Joey. Benjamin Shallow. He's yes. been feeding himself today. Yes, he's had a, a swingy, interesting day. Jason Kuhn, always Kuhn. hungry. Always. Speaking of food, man, I was over at the restaurant before this. Yes, well. Patrick Antonius pops up. Okay. He's, you know, adjusting his order. He's a healthy guy. Let's yes. make sure the Kung Pao chicken isn't... That's right. No oil, the steamed bok choy, right? I'm this guy's eating, by the way. Cashew is eating, too. And he ate big brisket last night. Darren Elias, he ate his whole stack. So this guy's an eater, too, Nick. Correct. Jonathan Jaffe is also... I don't know if he eats, but he's hungry, man. Yes. And I, I saw him at lunch earlier, so it, it is confirmed he eats as well. Anyway, I walked back, and I, as I was walking back, I saw Antonius in the restaurant. Hmm. And just the way he was putting that food down, man. <laughs> Aram with ace-queen off on the button. And this is, this is action, right? It is going in. But does it want to leave some rope for the... I don't think so. He might leave a few chips or whatever, but he goes for two million. Not enough bigs to mess around. Yeah. Really. And ace-queen off, not a, not want a trappy, really. Exactly. So right into it right away, John. I mean, can't really do anything. Thank you. Nice hand for a Rom. Things have gone okay. cold for him. He... I probably saw those hands on break. Yeah, he's probably aware. He shakes it off pretty well, Aram. A lot of orders being delivered there at the bottom right. Oh yeah, those are going all to Antonius. Um, but speaking of orders, get your orders on Bet ACR. Elevate your sports engagement experience. 15% free play up to 250, I believe. Get on there. Bet on some of these players. Get yourself a horse in the race. You like betting the ponies, Nikki? You know, my dad uh, used Don't to take me, me to the track. Really? And he actually trained horses up in Rhode Island for a little while. So I grew up with the ponies. Well. So the gambling's in your blood. It really is. Sick, man. That's the sick, you know, that's that's awesome, man. I did not know that. Yeah, that's awesome that your dad would no, take you to the track. No, I know. I didn't mean it like that, man. OTB no, it's just like you're sick. a real gambler. It's <laughs> yes, in your blood. I, am. I, don't, I don't know if I had it in my blood. No, no, I get it. Okay. Thank you. Um... Yeah, so you start at a young age. Do you know why horses are smarter than us, Will? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know, but please tell me. They, they don't bet on people. Oh. Well, you're just going to hit me with crickets? See, you don't like the fake laugh. So that me, no, I, I, I feel crickets. I have to I kind go of. I go crickets. That's why I like it. That's really why I appreciate it. In the discomfort. Yeah, no, I like it. Fair enough. I like it. John Jaffe going to get in here again, right? He's quite early position, but certainly getting in there springs to mind. He's a get in there type of guy, he Nick. He really is. And by the way, here's what, what, Dan. What, what, just did, did, with is this 1. like a. 5. Wait, did, did he like. He chipped up on the outer table. Something feels like it got rearranged. Dan Smith, Steve O'Dwyer. Did, are these like holograms of them or something? 
Decisions for O'Dwyer. Decisions, decisions. So many of them, right? So many. Are you going Italian? Are you going Greek? Are you going Mexican? I believe he's called. Greek. Okay. Will be. And Danilo. Decisions as well. Maybe we pile the snowman. We don't like it. We don't love it. But do we just pile and try to pick up that... How much is Steve trapping here? 800K. Good question. Looks like he's going but for this call. Is Very totally, understandable. Yeah. We're on the button. We have enough. Multiple close decisions. Can certainly understand the call. Jaffe opening from plus one. O'Dwyer flatting. We're deep in a Triton here. Correct. Oh. Oh, and that is very troublesome for O'Dwyer. And the decision by Danilo to just flat there, Nick. Is working out gloriously, yes. If he rips, O'Dwyer can't call. That's right. Man. This is going to be a, a Oh, and it's Jaffe immediately just walking into it, Will. He's a walk into it type of guy, Nick. He lives and dies by... He's always sword. moving. He's never still. Yes. But O'Dwyer's extremely still. He's like a sloth, honestly. He never moves. I've he, never seen him move. No, I know what you the mean. The only time I knew he moved was because his luggage got lost, low, and he complained about it so much that... Low resting heart rate out there for, for such a big spot. And for Velasevich, oh. is this not the absolute dream? You're deep in a Triton. John Jaffe. Steve O'Dwyer. This is a crowning type of moment here, Nick, for Danilo. Do we go for the hyper sneak call or do we raise very small? Again, decisions. Many already in this hand for multiple five players. Minutes. He does declare 550, and this is odd oh. for O'Dwyer. This is this is really interesting size, Nick. Don't do it, John. John is always Look at that look, Nick. No, he's that he's, look is it's scary, he's man. A wild man. It's scary, man. And this is why you do it with a guy like Jaffe. He hasn't folded yet, Nick. What is going on? Or is it is the he's graphics considering going? click? He does let it go. Sometimes the posturing too is maybe collect he's a little. He's a wild read. man, but I he never is. know what's going on anyway. Not from it, O'Dwyer, it, this is so tough. This is so gross. You're loving life. You got John Jaffe on the hook, the barreler, <coughs> and then you got this unknown flatting on the button and now clicking you, essentially. Let's see if O'Dwyer can kind of... It's really tough with the back door. King Jack of Diamonds, we could see maybe just giving up, but with the back door, although perhaps the back door interferes with some bluffs, this is really tough. And... If we fold here, this has to be on the pure side of exploit, right? This is just a complete respect to their bet type of fold. I suppose I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. You think a machine could tell you to fold this in this case? I mean, for Danilo at this stage to flat the button and raise multi-way after the Jaffe early position C-bet and the O'Dwyer call, I, I would think a lot of King Jacks are immediately indifferent in theory. The back door is... A lot of hand. He is in, Will. How can he fold, Nick? Look at I these hear prices. You. I hear you. As does O'Dwyer. You're at Costco. They have everything you want. You just, you have to stay and buy items. O'Dwyer's at Costco right now, Will. And that's not a good place to and be. And he's drawing dead. It's exactly how I feel whenever I go, Nick. Yes. I can't win there. He's walking up and down the aisles with that look in his eyes. Things can happen, right? And can he get away? But we can't win. Right. We're in Costco. And this guy is our attendant, Nick. Yeah. He and sure he's not going to tell us how to get out. No. Is he? Goes for quarter just north. This is so milky. It is milky, and now... 
again, that jack of clubs maybe becomes slightly bad. We have to derive bluffs that we want Danilo to have. And while it's good to have the backdoor on the flop, we would have mixed feelings about the jack. This spot is extremely difficult to navigate. We feel for O'Dwyer, and we see what he comes with. Slightly bad sounds amazing for O'Dwyer. This is just one of the grossest situations I've seen so far in one of these tournaments. And O'Dwyer usually has the spidey senses. He knows his way around the table. Of course. But can he get out of this mess? Well, I love how relaxed he is. That does ease making good decisions. He's very stoic right now. I told you, he doesn't move, Nick. You're right. He's a sloth. I mean, you're really right. Oh, he, he's is mo he calling, moves to grab chips. And he's how, and how, yeah, how can we call it? How can we fold for 650? We got to stay in Costco for one more. Wow, we're back in. We're back in Costco right now, Will. We're not leaving until this hand is over. There's only one way to get out, but we might not get out alive, Nick. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we'll, we'll get out again. Okay. He's got okay. one 100k. Sorry, see the river. I mean, this is. And this is the only thing I'm thinking, Nick. The bluffs have to have hearts, right? This, what are the bluffs? This is a quote-unquote good river for Steve. This is the only way we can get out of Costco now. This is a remain in the tournament type of river. What are the bluffs, Nick? Just stone air balls? It's a murky spot. It's, it's hard to exactly find the bluffs. In these condensed range spots, it really is tricky. The ace jack with the ace of hearts. That, that, that one came to mind, stuff like but that. But there's not much. Even, and it's very tough. You're absolutely right. There is not much. And that's why when we go on about blockers being relevant, they really are in these hyper-condensed range spots. I mean, Danilo's also just created such a price here. But this this is this is the river. This is the person <coughs> saving you here. This river is definitely one where Steve can get away. This has to be the best card in the deck for him. He's dead. This is life. But can he get away? I mean, he's got a lot of soldiers on the battlefield. He does. How also with these unknown players, Nick, how did they get here? Sure. Are, are, how are they playing Triton 25Ks? Are they playing online for two years and winning a lot in high stakes tournaments? Is that possible? That's a mixed bag of answers. Danilo looking to get paid. And with that payoff, Nick would become a healthy chip leader. That he would. And the theme continues, Nick. I can't think of a hand we saw where I was like, oh, you know, we'll take that one off. Sure. This feels like the pot of the tournament so far, though. I'm going to say it one more time, but if Steve makes the call. Oh, we have outer table action as well. Obviously, we will return to Steve. Yeah, ASAP. But the baby continues to surge. Can he hold? Chuck Chu, very good player at risk in dire straits. Can Joey hold? This will be for a lot of chips. <laughs> and that's a good start to holding, Will. He's de-miking, and I, I understand. We haven't seen a re-mic yet. We might I see like a re-mic. I like the de-miking. It's your only chance. It's better than standing up. Never easy. <sighs> GG, sir. What a run for Chuck Chu. Great run. Not the last we'll see of him. Do we have an answer on the O'Dwyer predicament? Ah. Uh, GG, Chuck. Talk. We're back. And look, we knew O'Dwyer wasn't going to move, Nick. We, we, we took a sec there to check that out.
And he does fold. Bravo, sir. Brutal run out for Steve. Remains in the tournament. And what a pickup for Velasevich. Steve oh, survives. Velasevich <laughs> up there. But Joey the baby now. Mm -hmm. Heavy chip leader, Nick. Cool eating, hmm? drinking That's milk cool still? Or is he just eating Gerber now? <laughs> I think it's Gerber time. 6.7 for Joey, I mean, 4 million for right? Benjamin Shalom in second. Not an eight, that's all I oh, and look oh, at Dan yeah. Smith. Look at that. This is not the Dan Smith from earlier. Do you see how he's draped over that chair? Yeah, really. he's, this I, is Comfy I Dan. I, I see it. How do we get to Comfy Dan? We're a Comfy Dan, Well, A little bit of nutrients being ingested by Jaffe. How did we get to Comfy Dan? John Jaffe, this is a little bit of a... That'd be very gangster. What did he raise the last two hands, Nick, with little sooty hands? Now he picks up pocket aces. Exactly right. And if you're these other players, <laughs> you do not want to pick up a hand here. I guess that goes without saying, Nick. When someone has aces, is that fair to say? It does go without saying, but... But even more so with Jaffe. You, more so with Jaffe, indeed. An animal like this, my thoughts as well, aces are more valuable for Jaffe than they are for... <laughs> for others, for you. Yeah. They're more valuable for... Even though you're a Jaffe as well, so that's a little bit... But. That's confusing. Valerie um, Pack again. I, you know, honestly, there's people that do this that like bother that. me. I don't know what he's doing, I'm cool but I like it. I know what you mean. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, actually. And Kyan, yeah. the only customer here. No action for That's really for unlucky for Johnny Boy. Yeah. Show him, Johnny. <laughs> he's going to show him. You might as well show in this situation, Nick. He You're does on the flash feature it. table. He show it. it, show it. You remember his dolphin trainer bit? <laughs> No. <laughs> One of the best things I've ever seen. So during the main event at the World Series of Poker, mm. they interview players who go deep. Okay. Talk about their lives. Sure. He went deep one year, and he did the ser they do all these serious bits, like Reggie was doing meditation, you know? Okay. John Jaffe, his bit was about how he, in his off time, he'd become a dolphin trainer. Legit. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... Uh, they had a, a whole cool video guy. of him doing it, mm -hmm. but he's not a dolphin trainer. He was just a bit. Yeah. He was trolling. He was trolling. Make some wow. real hell with my 12 big blocks. <laughs> Dan know, Smith now with ace jack game. off under the gun. And look, this is a little bit uncomfortable. I know it's strong hand, Nick, but. It's in, Will. And it is uncomfortable. You're right. Okay, but it's. But it's in. But it's still uncomfortable. Fair. You're not just sliding it in happily. Fair enough. See that? It's uncomfortable. But it goes in. Oh, Dwyer still with 1.4 million. How much is it? What's going on with the ROM here? Break this down for me. I think ROM is just chilling right now, getting a little count, gathering himself. He's not calling with Jack 10, but. You know. Yeah. What about a brain fart? A potential no. glitch in the matrix, Nick? No. Okay. Danilo still stacking. Valerie. Looking for a hand. By the way, that term will. <laughs> a brain fart. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You know. Okay. You're a Triton. No, I understand. Oh, what do we have here? Trips for Adamo. He's getting the chips. This gentleman is leaving the tournament. Good game, sir. He wanted to see Adamo run it up in a huge spot. The Belarusian will be gone. But, Lick, he will take a lot of drip with him. Indeed he will. Very good game to you, sir. What a run. 23 remain, Will. And the pace has slowed a little. It has. It's slowed down. It's a slog now. 1.455 for first. The players is are that guaranteed 69,000. A million, right? A million. So a million and a half dollars up top. A million and a half dollars. 
Thank you. I just want to clarify sometimes. You know, I know it can be confusing. Like the 1.5 Ks and stuff. You right. know, <laughs> 1.5 right. K. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> big blinds. Oh my. <laughs> <I mean>. <laughs> <laughs> my word. <laughs> this guy is just really something. Oh man. Ace nine off for Velasovic. Tempting. takers so far. Fold it around to Dan Smith in the big. 6-5 off. Yeah, just this goes in the muck, right? Not enough chips. Not enough chips. Intense ICM. Smith is navigating very nicely. Dan Smith borderline these years. He's always been in the, you know, the conversation. Just He's hasn't in the conversation. You know what the best part of his game is? He wins. That's a great way to put it. Good, good tool to have in your arsenal. Yeah, right? it's it's a good one, right? <laughs> <laughs> to win huge year after year. <laughs> it's it's. I guess when you're playing like a, a good part of uh, of one's game, right? <laughs> But a ROM. Nines for a ROM. Under the gun. Again, and Nick, I know we all have different styles. I'm not saying I'm super uncomfortable sliding this in. Well, look, we got, I mean, it's a Triton. I guess I shouldn't well, be. Really, all, all jokes aside, though, Will, sometimes you do have to think about the good stuff that can happen big blind defends we flop a nine you, when you when you play with that energy it it behooves you and there? this is a decision for dan yeah very shovable hand it feels like it's shovable we have some fold equity it's also scary against stone under it's the gun it's also very flattable too it feels like it might be flattable as well it You're feels right. strong enough to C3. Interesting spot. It also feels foldable. I agree. What will Dan do? And this is the navigation, right? A lot of people, they're, this is a big decision. This is Huge. a tournament. It does let it go. Under the gun is a scary position, yeah. and for O'Dwyer in the big, this is a nice defend. We're not ecstatic. No, but we're not too disappointed. C3. The only thing we're worried about is we don't want to move, right? And if we bust, we're going to have to visit. He move. will have to move. Yeah. Seven, six, four. Sorry. Six, four, deuce, two spades. And I was just thinking about what you said. I'm thinking I'm deep in a Triton. These guys are so good. Pocket nines is a good hand, but all these monsters behind me. It's fear, Nick. It's I, fear. That's, I'm not thinking about the good stuff. I, I I'm not thinking you, about though, the... Nines is... I, we, we all feel you. It, it does behoove us to think of the good things that can happen. Arm just puts it in. And this is one of the good and things. That's a winner. Correct. But it could Big be better. Defends and it could be better. That's exactly right. Don't think. This is the glass half full thing. Don't exactly. think about the bad and then not think about the good. Correct. You're doing yourself a disservice. And speaking of the bad and the good, look how Jaffe just plowed through that plate. That was a full meal less than a minute ago. Chaffee's very active. He's a serious ping pong player. He works out. He's, he's always moving, Nick. Always he's the moving. opposite of O'Dwyer. Blinds are up 150 now. Blinds very healthy. It's 
still 22 left. It, the pace has really slowed here. Yes, it's getting real. It's, very real. It's getting like murky. Like it's, I know it's, what you mean. It's Queens become a slog. Savage. And literally all of these decisions are simply worth more real dollars continuously as the tournament progresses. So they're, you know, the pressure cooker is, is very legit. Yeah, and Valerie's been in the pressure cooker. One of these players who, look, he's had no chips every time we've seen him. Know, he's been nursing the nub and, and doing his thing. He's here. He has a shot to win it still. Oh. Oh, and he does just put Ooh. it in. Didn't expect to see that. He took yeah, a stand. Yeah, because he's done this, and like you said, he's been was it nursing the nub? Nursing the nub, and he'll. But he hasn't released it, and now he has. And it is going to a very bad place, Nick. Y indeed, Queen Jack off versus this Queens is not, is not where the you one. We have stop. another departed. Good game, sir. What a run! I believe that's the Yuan. Great run. Again, Nick, 24th place in the first event here. <laughs> now, what was this? 22nd? 21st? You, you said it, how the momentum can be so real. It's a real thing. Can Valerie Pack get extremely lucky, Will? How does he even do this, Nick? Do we need Rass to break this one down? This is... He's got the hearts. Okay, he cannot ask for more. Oh, my. It's a stone flip, Will. Okay, good luck. <laughs> yeah, you're a dog, aren't you? Are you a dog? Go on, Valerie. Nurse that no. Man. <laughs> There's something about this guy, Nick. The card protector. The Jesus piece. The way he's nursed that nub up to this point, it hasn't been unintentional. He's been waiting, picking his spot, and he just released it. And look, I know he was a big dog, but he's getting those chips now. Absolutely right. Yeah. that's funny. with one seven. Aces for Paulius will. And an ace for David Coleman. And we haven't seen David Coleman, but I can tell you just by the looks of it. This ace could be a big problem it for sure David could Coleman against next. the cutoff. Ten bigs. This could be a huge issue. It, it sure could. Maybe twelve bigs. The stack, I believe, is post raise. Indeed, will it could be. It's going to be a problem no matter what. And he does do it. And and let's see if he can get a Valerie Pack <laughs> level of luck. And Nick. Oh. It makes sense though, right? Yes, I I believe Coleman. It, when you think ideas. about it, it makes sense. But the fact that the two red aces are waiting for him. Mm. That's icy. What is, again, do the math. Unlike our good friend Valerie Pack, David Coleman is in need of, I, I don't even know what here. <laughs> Not that. And Nick, I mean. <laughs> yes, Will? I'm. <laughs> Just take over, man. Really brutal. Maybe Coleman can spin it back. Very good American player, David Coleman. Great player. Not the way you want to dip your toes over here. No. And look, this can look really bad. I can see how you spin it that way. You ran your ace three off into aces. I believe that was the correct play. I don't know. I, I like it at a glance for sure. Maybe I'm the will. It's so easy, too, to be on the sideline. It's also easy to do it, right? It's easy to do it and make the mistake and think I made the wrong play. Definitely. Think it's terrible because it's one of those where you, you're... We see pit players all the time agonize in the internal postmortem, standing up, and you know this stuff is... All right. Yeah. Nubbin' with the boys. I like that one. And David Coleman is crippled, Nick. Two big blinds. That's the type of stack you can just flick it in with. Come on, can we can we have a cutoff here? These guys won't two. even do it with that stack, but please, just flick it in. Two is a, is a flick in, but... Thank you. you. Know, I mean, not with anything, Will. I just can't stop thinking about the way... Like, back in the day, you just, you're all in dark no matter what ha You know these yeah, guys are hand. drinking. They just put it in. Yeah. No matter what happens, yeah. I'm all in, baby. <laughs> but he has some folds. Let's see, Maxime gone. I haven't seen this table in a bit. Paulius now. Heater time for Paulius, who's been a familiar face for us, Nick. Definitely. 
the baby still in the lead. Adamo in second with 5.2. Belisevic, Shilo, and Paulius rounding out the top five. 300 to go. And I know it's getting old, Nick, but the reason I'm familiar with Sir Paulius is 31st in the opening event here. Not getting old. The results of the tournament don't get old. The theme so far old. that Absolutely. I've noticed. And this is nice for Coleman. Yeah, a little bit of retribution. Maybe he can spin back. Yeah, he he's really looking to spin here. This is just... It's time. Good luck, DC. And that is Vladimir Troyanovsky. It Nick. certainly is. Main event. And uh, another pseudo flip on our hands here. Yes. Thanks, buddy. Hello, David. David looking to spin. Hmm. Now looking for Jesus or no, nah, not that's just a good He card. might be He's looking to the gods. Now and that'll do it. Yeah. Great run, David Coleman. We'll be seeing a lot of him over the next however many days. I'm not sure we will, Nick. You think this might be it? I do, actually. Okay. Just the way it happened, that's that's my read. I could be wrong, obviously. We're an awfully long way from home, though, to just call no, it. No, I don't think he's going to leave. Oh, you think he's just done I think making he's done, runs? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's just my read. I'm, wow. that's, it's read, Nick. G oh, give my. Him. Go on, Dan. Oh. My and word. We These queens have not been working out for Velasevic, Will. You definitely don't want to feel all hard. Oh, he just doubled <laughs> Valerie with them. Man. Gets them again, and now... I believe the same two queens. Same suits, Nick? I think the same suits. Certainly no heart against Valerie, but anyway, here we are. Oh. Queen for Smith. I agree with this one. And we, this is comfortable, Dan, Nick. This is real comfy, cozy Dan here. He knows better than to get too cozy, though. He's getting there, though. He's real close to being full comfy Dan. You're right. That style, go that on, is Dan. full comfy Dan. Well, paint club was. We've got know. the Versace bathrobe on now, Nick. It's Versace bathrobe. The bath cowboy robe. hat is on. It's been a long Perhaps night. There's a bottle the of hat. champagne. Correct. Correct. Perhaps a cigar. This is full comfy Dan. And look, we didn't see how we get to part with comfy Dan. It happened on an outer table. You're absolutely right. But we get to see the unrobing here, Nick. Yes, we do. Of comfortable Dan. Disrobing, right, Will? No, unrobing. Unrobing. This is the unrobing. It's like unrobed. an unveiling. It's a, it's. A, but you disrobe. But you unveil yourself to the table. Understood. Great. And there goes Cashew. How many left right now? We're at the 20 one? range, Nick. 20. I mean, literally And this 20. is, this is so, so hand we're, hand we're slogging through quicksand right now. You're right. Good luck. Put your boots on. What are we? <laughs> Dan Smith. Tw this is what you mean. You thought this was an error. No, this is not an error. This is the tournament now. <laughs> You're right. Steve O'Dwyer now our nub stack. Valerie Pack with a very nurseable nub. Kyan Makri, the most comfortable player I've seen. Jonathan Jaffe, how does he only have 16 bigs? I don't know. Danilo Vilasevich, former chip leader, down to 17 bigs. Aram with 19. And if it isn't comfortable, Dan, then what was that thing you said, that really important part of his game he has? He wins. Huge. All the time. It's just such, Nick, it's such a vital part. It's if a you're huge... playing a sport, Correct. It's such a That's great right. tool to have in your arsenal. That's exactly right. That man has it too. Holy he sure smokes. Does. We're even in, cooler in, in coolers today. You got cooler too. Really bad. Ladies now for Smith, Will. He's naked now. <laughs> He's in the news. This is naked, Dan. It's extremely comfortable. Everyone's left, maybe. That's right. The queens have come to him, but it's a very different feeling than the queens we've seen with Danilo. The Danilo queens run has been really ugly. This is a very different type of queens, Nick. Red queens, two ladies. This is a bit close for O'Dwyer. The real question is not what he wants to do with the hand, it's whether he wants to move or not, right? You, you really did nail that. I didn't realize quite how still he He wants to move. I think he, he might want to get out of he here. I think help. he's restless, Nick. He doesn't want to get out of here, Will, and you know it, pal. 
No, he really wants to stay. He does. He hates And he Nick. might. He hates to move more than anyone I've ever seen. I don't like to move a lot. I'll be honest with you. I'm not, you know, I'm not a spring chicken. Oh, the mine. And you know who else likes to move? Mr. Valerie Pack, look at this. This Smith is moving has a day chance here. To really, here we go. This oh, is a, this is <laughs> massive <laughs> spot here for Dan Smith. Just beat queens really with kings. Good. How about how about queens the next hand? Is that okay to go a pip down? That's the thread. In an amazing spot to take two scalps out here. Good. You're like, don't, don't worry, you're 80%. Good card, and then whatever happens. Valerie very live, and Steve live with his diamonds. Let's see it, Will. Unlucky, Dan. He's like 80% this time. <laughs> well, maybe not. Okay. Great flop for Dan, a swift of hope for O'Dwyer with that bit. diamond. <laughs> the seven, Four, six, maybe eight a five, a five of diamonds. You're right. Yes, Will. Not death. Five, five Just get it. Five, six. Six. Five and seven. That is a... O'Dwyer literally drawing dead. Good game, sir. And the dealer just drops a Quaalude in Dan's drink. Now it's like 70, 30. Oh. Go on, Dan. My. I don't I've ran out of Dan's here. Thank you. Good games, Valerie, Steve. What a run. Yeah, Valerie, great game, too. Good run. See more of him for sure. You see how little O'Dwyer wants to move here, Nick. Just watch it on the way out so you can fully grasp. The man does not want to. He doesn't want to move. And which, what, I don't know what Dan is. This, like, overlord drug lord Will. Dan? Will. I want to bet you, too. I'd be like, I'll give you a thousand bucks if you show a non-8. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Once you shove river, the house like, Did you, you like just cut me off for a ROM there, Nick? Are you excited on this river? Like, oh my. I think God. I cut you off for myself there for a moment. <laughs> that's fair. That's you fair. You gotta take a breath, Will. No, that's completely fair. I do. Okay, this I is do. the long haul. But he probably don't ever have one. Yeah, I thought he could have Yeah, I thought he could have one. Good game, Valerie. Yeah, yeah. Nurse the nub like few I've seen, Nick. Very good, much good, so. Good he nursed the nub man. and then got it in with that Queen Jack Thanks. one. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of nursing the nub, yeah, well, Meet our new chip you. leader. Your chip daddy. <laughs> Indeed. Did he get like a haircut on break uh, or something? He looks good. good. More, he looks more different. Chest money. He does. Really it was like all chest thing. hair, kind of dusty really before. Like, and you're right. I must say. Why are we five-handed? If there's 18 left. Don't talk so much. Don't ask Dan so many has questions. Scared any players from coming to the table. Refuse to move. I, I think this Thank you for that, field. by the way. You're welcome. That was, I know that it's was, exciting. That was no, you're great. Right. We're wrapped up. I know, no, but you know what was so great is nobody ever does that, man. Really? No, my <laughs> wife does all the time, but it, she doesn't let me get that far. You know what I mean? I don't get. I don't get. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what I mean? I do. You should learn. Mr. Mockery. World class. You talk about like comfortable, shit. man. This guy too. He got a shower on break. <laughs> he looks good. He looks fresh. Should be going in here with the yeah, king. Yeah, the king, right? The king. Yeah. I'm always a little bit nervous of a Jaffe, but it does. It shouldn't matter. I know. Jaffe is scary. I I hear you on that. Every day on GG, right? No, no, that much. Feel like I've seen your name on there. This is what I mean, Nick. It's he's, he's a scary guy. Indeed, he is. They kicked me out a long time ago. I tell you know the game All In or Fold. Look, gentlemen, we might have a pay jump. And all this shit, like, I'm Stall, like, I lose I don't every time I play. Think and I want to just take this as a teaching room. moment. I swear, and then I'm like... I, I'm well, legitimately in this spot, I like Nick. I, I would f king, I would find X folds here, or checks, with the king deuce. Because I'm scared. Literally, just out of fear. I'm just thinking about the bad things. That's not the right thing. The right thing is to shove. I don't want the audience to think that. But before the shove, you mean? Yes. Not with the one It's a bad mindset to be scared of Jaffe. It's fine to be... You... He can't yeah, choose two good cards. I hear you, Will. That's one thing he can't do, Nick. I, I hear you. I, sounds like you've heard enough. Yeah, I understand. No, I, I wasn't placating you. I, I, Jaffe is scary. I agree. Look at that owl for Dan Smith. You know it's, it's serious when Dan Smith is rocking a card protector. You're right. Good luck, gentlemen. Big one here. I talked to the guy that works here, Andy. Yeah, Kai and Mockery got extremely unlucky. I'll say it again in the last yeah, event, I'll deep. I'll show you the email. 
Trying to get very lucky here, Nick. Maybe a little retribution for him. Yeah, sorry. Maybe. It's, it's got to be done. And a big pot for Jaffe, Nick. 3.7 in the million if he can scoop it. Uh, 19th place in the 20K for Kyan Makri. After really that terrible there. beat, after that terrible beat. Can he spike something here? Make a read, Dan. I have a pretty good screenshot of it. I was baiting you. I just wanted to get you. Give me a penalty. <laughs> really Very sharp nice move by Jaffe there. And by the way, <laughs> 17th is 88,000, 18th 77, and there are 18 left, thus the tank for Mokri with 25K left for inquiring minds. I, I'm, I apologize, I've been so busy, Nick, talking. <laughs> you know, that I completely forgot that these players will win 88,000 now. I, it's, 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 I'm sorry. It's okay, Will. I mean that. It's, it's not great, though. But you're, you know, you're the type. We take the good, and there's a lot of it. Got to take a little bad. Fair All enough. of us are like that. Fair enough. No. Well, this is a lot of bad for Kai and Mockery. It certainly is. I'm shocked. Can he hit the duck, Will? And this is why, also, this is better than you think. I'm shocked he has 22% here, Nick. No, honestly. Where does it come from? Well, if a pair, if this a is pair why we is need smaller Rast than here. a pair, yeah, where's Rast? <laughs> you, he goes to numbers. You're like doing poetry. Yeah. Also, 70 and 22. Hang on, that doesn't equal 100. I guess they chop sometimes. Here we go. And that is... That is not the math he was looking for. No. Throws the time chips in very smoothly. Fair. This guy is a very smooth operator, Nick. I, I like this guy. I'm a big fan. And and that does do it. Unlike, very good game to you, sir. What a run for Kion Makri. Started with 298, 18th. Very respectable. Is it not, Will? 150K in the bank from this trip already. Something it's not in that bad. Range. That's a lot of ammo. Sorry, 150,000. Just so <laughs> yeah, you were just They're making not... fun of the K, and now here you go, 150K. <laughs> yeah. Were you projecting before? Probably. Do you say that in early levels, 2.6K to go? Yeah, Good I raise. Game, I raise out loud, 2.6K. Who do we have here? And again, this looks like an error. Wasn't it just 20 big blinds to like three big blinds? Where, like, is this a, is that a new player in the one seat? Is that Michael Adamo? I think it's Adamo. Welcome, sir. Oh, oh my. 17 remain. So when Ivy came on, we had Ivy's table. Yes. And I had to do the intro, and I honestly almost fainted. Like, I hear Rass you, grabbed bro. my hand. I, I'm close I, to fainting I with this Adamo edition. It's very exciting. It's, it's very exciting. So that's why you stopping me from talking is huge. I get it. <laughs> I thought that was what was going on there. <laughs> so I was like, I hope they both lose somehow. Michael Adamo. And you know, one thing about Aram, he's looked very comfortable throughout everything. Aram is a gangster from Los Angeles. He's not, you know... Uncomfortable. No. Jaffe with the six deuce off. I kind of, uh, sorry, six deuce, I kind of like this hand weirdly. I know what you mean. Like, I want to play it. It flops well. He's getting a great prize from the small. Oh. Does let it go. But look at that, the aggressive knockdown oh, and, of and the card protector. and a good decision protector. it was, Will. Oh. Go on, John. Oh, and this is just, this is John. I wanted to limp there, Nick. I, I wanted to fold did. the King Dewey, and I wanted to limp the six I, Dewey suited I deep you. with King Dan who had aces. I could have got myself killed there. Yes, you could have. <laughs> Why don't you jam, Jaffe? That's, he's talking to me, Nick. I would have said good luck if he wants <laughs> then spot for you. Like, good luck, Jaffe. You're going to need it. <laughs> he's talking to me. He used to jam that hand. It's turning into a bot. Look, he's submitting it, Nick. He's turning into a bot. Using the solver too much. And Aram, speaking of the solver, Nick, the solver has to like slinkying in some chips here. It, 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 we do have a slinky upon us. 
And this is the type of slinky we can kind of see going down the stairs real smooth, you know? We certainly can. And let's see for Jaffe, certainly considering 3-bet. And this being a great example, I see this guy raise under the gun. He did verbally declare fold, he's gone. Yeah. Verbal declarations are tough. First look at Adamo on the, the main feature. Won't be the last look either. Take that in. If I'm at the table, you know, it's like we're at the gym, we're playing ball, and the big guy just walked in. Yes. You know what I mean? I and know, you can I feel know exactly it. exactly what you mean. Like that guy can Adamo hoop. defends. Correct. Great Cozy for Ogani. Yeah, and, and interesting and for Odamo, Adamo with the wheel cards and, of course, the ace of clubs. And what I find about int about Aram's spot is that your range is doing very well here, right? Uh, nice, Will. I like that. But your hand, it doesn't feel great. And sometimes that means we check. However, of course, a C-bet from Aram is understandable. He agrees with you, Will. He does just check, which seems quite nice. And for Adama, with all sorts of interaction, does he try to put pressure on things like 7-7, seven, 8-8, seven, eight, eight, and even 9-9, nine, nine, which Aram can have quite a lot as played. Let's see. I feel like if Adamo will do that, it'll probably be in the form of a check raise. But maybe he decides to start going now. He's yet to act. Does check. And Aram, same thing, but more comfortable here, I feel. To check. Yes. I agree. This feels just very natural in flow. I, I like that, Will. You know the only way I bet here, Nick? Do you want to know? Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm Is if I make now. a brain fart. Yeah, that one's got to go. That, you don't feel embarrassed saying that? I respect that. No, now you that you're don't. putting it out like that, yeah, I do, actually. Adamo here with... I don't this, think this, you do. This can never be good, right? This ace three? This ace three can never be good. It can never be good, Nick. That's, perhaps, that's what we should... Perhaps the ace of clubs now isn't great, although... I just want to focus on how this hand is never good, because we can talk oh, ourselves into it being Oh, he good. does go for 1.35. Welcome to the show. And for Oganyan, it is a bit of a decision. And this is just like, look at the targeting here, Will Nick. and I both just stood up in unison. That was crazy. Look at it's just like he's targeting the hand he has. C correct. You're absolutely right. The problem with Oganyan playing his hand as it is is that it's face up to Adamo now. It's interesting. He has a lot of interaction with the board, but on the other hand, third pair. But there's plenty of things that Adamo can have here that beat Aram. Of course. Do you know how many time banks Aram has? I can't tell if those are his or Adamo's. Thing those is, are his. Aram has some great blockers to work with. The 10 takes out a fair value portion. It does. The jack. Correct. No clubs. Although clubs might have bet the turn. Probably a decent. Yeah, it's always interesting to discern the suits once the river has come. They're still relevant, but it's trickier. Aram's thinking it through, and this is a huge spot. Tough spot for him. Tournament defining spot Correct. for Rom here. Fold. Does fold and uh Can't Bravo, blame him. Senor Adamo. And We've I seen this quite a lot over the years. He knows it's not good, Nick. There's no doubt in his mind. But he also knows he needs to size up. He yeah, can't he just throw something out there. He went for a very polar size. Kuhn is in the mix. He's gone. Kuhn is never gone. Big slick for Maxime, Will. Who we haven't seen much of. When we've seen him, he's obviously dripped out, but he hasn't had this many chips, Nick. 3.6 million on the button and ace-king offsuit. And we've seen this guy, Nick. We certainly have. In the small, and these pairs feel so shovey in this formation. 
Yeah, you don't want to call? Will, you're on to something there. Am I getting better, Nick? Are you getting better? I think you are. Look at that. Good luck, gentlemen. Huge flip here. This is a flip. This is not a pseudo middle. flip. This is a this coin is flip. A, yeah, that's right. This is a tournament-defining coin flip, Nick. 7.5 will be very useful at the final table here. <laughs> Indeed it will. Nothing personal. I just want a short stack to go. It's like watching to see if pairs in my... Ooh. Ace right out there with the diamonds. But some straighty stuff working. You never know. It's okay, not one of them. The straight out. Four still good, of course, if he finds it. What a huge double for Vas Krasensky. Very nice there, Nick. Thank and you. We haven't seen him play, Nick, today. For Shalom, he's, he's on five. fumes. Yes, well. It, I can only attribute this to his. Trap jacket, oh, honestly. The jacket is strong. And Shalo, we have seen play, and this is this is in tune with what he does, right? He takes every spot from what I've seen. Is is uh, Maxim our chip leader now? He is, Nick. I would think he is. Indeed, he is. Smith right there behind him. And the things, baby are, and things are starting to clear up a little, you know. There's some. We have four clear big stacks, and then a two-to-one deficit for Jaffe in fifth, and a bunch of middley stacks. Dan going to get back in the action, and Danilo with the computer hand. Is this? too ugly or just good enough? Some of it is subjective. Danilo deems it good enough. And this part of this is, I don't I just don't want to call against Dan here in this situation, but... I hear you. Danilo is not afraid. Outer table action. I believe that's a flush for Mr. Haxton. The rich Dong get richer. Chen went for the raise in the small blind. Ike called. Nine king six, two hearts. Chen bet 175. Haxton put it in. Dong called. Go on, Ike. Five hearts, winner. Is Ike going to go back to back this year? Ike is among the hottest players in the world as we see Danilo. Ooh. Fairly glorious flop. And this is where the gamble pays off, right? The You're ability to right. not be feared, to not let fear rule you. 550. And he's going to click it here. And that should do it. Yeah, Dan, I guess just can't really continue. Can he though, Nick? I don't know which Dan this is. No, Does let it go. Yeah. Thought about it for a bit. Nice pot for Danilo and this is where the being more less afraid of the big names, right? I'm not gonna do this because it's Dan Smith. Let's stop talking, though, for a minute and look at these payouts. 88000 for our next eliminated player. A couple more out. We're up to 99. We can round up to 100, right? Yeah. You're not going to rast me, are you? No. Good. 88 for 17th and 16th. And Joey baby with a little bit of an awkward stack there, Nick. You see the uh, sort of phallic like black chips. I don't... <laughs> wow. I don't know, just doesn't it seem like a little bit like those could be down under front yeah, or something? Yeah, those black chips are very phallic, Will. They just, Definitely, we just were all thinking that. I don't know if the, they are or what color they are. <laughs> Vladimir Troynovsky, Nick. A lot of deep runs. Look at this guy. I mean, he's in the mix. So is this man. Dong Chen now at risk. 
Has played a great tournament, Nick. He certainly has. Ike's got ace nine, he's ahead. Can finish the job if Dong doesn't hit a five or a king here, Nick. Dong shuffling the time banks. Good game, sir. What a run for Dong Chen. Another one falls, Will. And you know, you know, Nick, it's kind of a bummer we didn't get to see more of Dong today because he played great from what everything I saw on I the stream. I like the way he was carrying himself. I'm sure we'll see him again. <laughs> yeah. And Maxim now, I, I just haven't seen anything except the jacket. Ben here with ducks and dust behind. Gonna be shovey shovey time, Nick. He does do it, minus the chip. Holly is gone. The baby looks interested. No. It's that's an uneven stack, Nick. Can't we just keep this orderly? Well, at least his base is solid as Kuhn gives him a spin. Speaking of Good solid luck, bases, gentlemen. yeah, Kuhn's all in here. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Fifteen. Oh no, you didn't. 15. You didn't. Sorry, I almost set you up for failure. Kuhn really told told the guy he's got the ladder immediately. He doesn't. Shalot does not want to go, Nick. I'll tell no. you that right now. No, I like that read, Will. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're frozen. Do I think I have time to run to the toilet? And he's live to stick around, but the problem is, honestly, you know the term, take him out behind the shed or whatever? No, no, really, actually? Yeah, not like when the dog that, is too on, old, you got to take it back hey, behind the shed. Like Jay there Man. you go, baby. That's the Come guy who takes the dog behind the shed. I hear you on that one, pal. But can Benjamin find his way out chop, of this? Like a, like a five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just chop it up. Ooh. Whee. Deuces still alive. Uh, maybe. They're now maybe. a dog. Maybe. Too many outs declared. That is a no. thing. Ooh. Not this time, though. Broadway. What a run That's for nuts. Benjamin Shalow and Just Will. Can't beat a man with his initial. <laughs> GG, sir. Sucks for me. There's no C. <laughs> I believe we have 15 some, like, French tech? remaining. Yeah, no doubt. And it's starting to speed up again. Not a bad week for first, Benjamin. Bro. Oh, yeah. Cash is for 88,000, I believe. Might have made a pay jump. Cash is for 55,000 in the last event. He's on his way. Bravo, sir. Au revoir. Definitely not going back to France anytime soon. Dan Smith now out ahead. Michael Adamo, Jonathan Jaffe, Danilo Belasevic, and last but not least, Nick, Aram. Like Can you do that last name? Agonian? Agonian. Yeah, smooth. And Juan Pardo now, our short stack, Malacca style. Very comfortable off the shorty. I do believe that was the last $88,000 payout. And Danilo here, this is standard, right? We have to raise the ace, even if it's Dan. Yeah. You notice a theme with me, Nick. I'm I'm scared. I, I see it, Will. But I can't be the only one, right? <laughs> you're not you're not alone, Will. Thank you, sir. Is the delay thirty or sixty? It's thirty. Yeah, and these guys that fall out of the war right before the final table, just gotta tip your hat to them. It could have been them. Very close. Dilla with another ace. This one he's going to let go. I guess the cutoff is too far. And Jonathan Jaffe with the suited Robbie on the button. I just feel like he wants to play these hands, Nick, always. Suited paint on the button playing does come to mind. Suited paint is such a nice way. Outer table action. Note the... What is Ike doing some more do, damage? Do you have a hand history for us, Will? Do you know what's going on? Check. Aces Threes and here. aces. Juan Pardo with threes. Juan Pardo is very short here. He was all in. Oh, go ahead, Juan Pardo. My Roman Robbeck. Oh. 
Oh. Malacca Styles remains. My. And that's obviously quite sick for Robek. And you can see it on Robek's face. He's not throwing the chips across the table, but you can indeed see it. He looks ill, it. Nick. Look at his posture. That is a gross one. Very. Not. Wait, what do, when are we going on break? How long do we have? Two-minute outro there? Or no, short outro, short outro. Yeah. Very nice from Jaffe. Take it, sir. I think she said uh, redraw, and, and then uh, I think she said 45 minute break. 40 minute hour, yeah. But we'll double check. to go from Ike. Guan Who's and just Park. on this wow. outer table just amassed a stack himself, Nick. Indeed. Somewhat mysteriously, just... Well, that flush. That blind it was still mysterious. He's been though. shoved on. He's snapping, oh. Will. That was an aggressive snap, too, Nick. Ace-10 off for Ike. And Alex with Queen-10 dominated. Indeed he is. I would imagine the Queen-10 is suited. I believe he has clubs. Let's see. Quite I mean, clean for Haxton, Will. Nick, that mask is on firmly, but that doesn't mean he can't eat a cashew. Oh, Maybe well, it does. <laughs> it just might, Will. What a card. What a card for Alexander. Oh. Go on, Alexander. Have a seat, pal. Massive spot. Note the no reaction. No, 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 like no. That. that was trying to have no reaction. There was something there, Nick, that Understood. bubbled. Understood. Of course there was some bubbling, but, you know, he didn't. No, I he mean, was. I could see it. I, I feel it, you, Nick. You, you made the read, but he did kind of just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, what a huge pot that is for him in terms of just raw dollars, truly. Out the door, if he... Doesn't out catch the door, that and now he's live for the 1.5. Yeah, like you and Ras really like to rhyme, don't you? you guys? Do you guys have bars or like ciphers? What are you talking about, Will? Out the door with the Dan Smith with 45 bigs, Arama Ganyan. I mean, this puppy, this has had a bunch of different speeds, Nick. It really has. It's like riding the four-wheeler. This has had a bunch of different speeds. You've had a bunch of different speeds. How are you doing, Will? I try to bob and weave this is very exciting though how are you doing i'm doing great you, you're good yeah you're this hanging is in there this is the best one i've done <laughs> okay good it's the best one he's done because guys. of you because of you well thank you will because of you and because of the tournament this is very exciting i agree i mean i'm just being objective are, here. how many are left right now 15 wow and a lot of big names in there let's go through some of those big names a, a little quick rundown of the leaderboard just because he's gotten so fat today, Joey the Baby Chung in second place, Dan Smith in third place, Michael Adamo, is that a big enough name for you, Nikki? That's big enough for me. Alexander Cashew? Sure. Jason Kuhn, is that? Yes. That works for me. Jonathan yeah. Jaffe? Go on. Isaac? Talk to him, Will. Preach. Is that Isaac? Yeah, it's Isaac Haston. And then Arama Ganyan, Juan Pardo, and Roman Hrabek after that horrific beat. This will be a very spirited and exciting finish. Yeah, we're going to have Brian Rask come in. We're just going to take a short break. Nick has to get some air and maybe some I food. I certainly do. Yeah, he's I'll breathless. I'll be sweating, though. Yeah, it's been a blast, man. We'll see you guys soon.
Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live action prediction options on the Triton series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just sees the wonder. Jeju Shinwa World. On the flip side, when the bullets start piling, you get the head down. You don't want to see people in the hallways. Right. That's exactly right. And jacks now for Benjamin. The poker cards start shining upon you a little with these pocket jacks. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that is is Maxim Lithuanian too. Let me check that because these guys definitely made a swag run. And Valerie, you can sense he's getting a little bit impatient with the short stack, just 405,000. Is this A7 no, wisely folds. No, Liang let go of the 5-4 suited. I, I only say that because he did open the king three off. Very different situation though, Indeed. right? For Ole, Ole, we have Ole. a nice defense. Yeah, really pretty hand. And you're defending so much here, right, to this price that this just looks like as almost as good as it gets. Definitely. You're still folding, you know, a fair amount of stuff. For me with Ole, if somebody did the whole what's one word that comes to mind. Allen. Oh, he does jam. Wow, disaster for Ole here. Takes the jam route. Can't really blame him, but it's going to be very bad timing. I will say, Nick, something you see with these hands, in my mind, Queen Jack suited does not have 36% against jacks. I know, and that's part of the reason why you see this hand constantly going all in. Sometimes in a little it's bit more different situations. not so far from a pseudo flip. Yeah, it, it gets there a lot, even versus big pairs. Here we go. 1.35 in the middle. Ace of clubs and a gutter ball with a backdoor flush draw for Ole. Not the worst flop by any means. One club. club on the turn for Nine Max Sweat. Take it. Not the card he wanted to see. <laughs> Gets up quickly. Gonna need a queen or a king here. He's gonna be out. GG, sir. It. 
36 remain. And I want to make a quick country. I know Nick geography is in the 25 You're in eight. tears on the way to the roulette table. This guy is getting a, a nine hour massage and just spinning it back. Unbelievable difference in personalities <laughs> as we see Maxim picking up a hand 160 here. 160 declared. And I, uh, these are fascinating spots too, Nick. I'm always tempted to just pile here with the ace three suited. I know what you mean. It's, it, the, it's the PLO player in me, not wanting to fold my and, equity. And also, I get it, 12 bigs, it's a common idea, but the deeper we get, the more prone we are to min. JNT going to defend the big with the same hand, but not suited. And JNT is pretty short now, too, Nick. Only a pot size bet behind. Really like that jacket, too, Nick. The Tigers, the fight. That jacket is cool. Oh, well, this is pretty salty for JNT to somehow just be getting stone free rolled right now. How is now, he getting Will? free rolled here? He <laughs> flops a wheel with four big blinds. How do you defend the big here and you're just this up is against just it? As dirty as it comes, Nick. Zero and percent it's, it's versus gotta be trap raise. time, and, yeah. Yeah, it is. And there it is, time. Nick. And that's so cold for for JNT. Au revoir, my friend. LV just Brutal. Or you Absolutely oh. <laughs> brutal. Cold. Yeah, it doesn't get colder than that for JNT. Oh. He just can't believe the bad news. You flop a wheel, Nick, in the big mind. That's and you're up crazy. against a steel wheel draw. Really no reaction from the table? Surely they'll... These guys are all such cold no, savages, Nick. No, Where are the emotions no, here? No, they're going to... Come on. Really? Nick. Just nothing? Nothing, Nick? He flops a wheel and he's drawing <laughs> death? Okay, Shalom. Shalom saying something in French? French. That's that plenty of chest hair. Wasn't it like open, sharp, and I fall? Okay. Yeah. They just come yeah. with the PLO3. And you had like, what, 10 blinds? Or but man, <laughs> being at that chip PLO lead PLO point, the 3.5 million down and to the, the dust stack. It hurts. Emotionally. Whatever. It's really not that bad. I wouldn't look. <laughs> I was curious, I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I was like, fuck, he's he played it great. <laughs> yeah, Ram is really Sometimes, a tripper, huh? Well, he's unreal. It was, huh? a, it was like a cusp hand. Yeah, I just like to call him Buck you know? <laughs> I like to make friends to, like this. To get the vendetta. These type of players can make the table a lot more enjoyable. I and a lot you more annoying. I I like yes, correct. When won the next Very polarizing. There you go. You he know, tilts the, the people from my experience. I've always found him hilarious. All part of the simulation room. But you also, we know this, Nick, now. We're it's learning. True, you like, you have a sickness, my friend. I suppose. Roman now with a... Simulation in poker. King, queen, off yeah. one, like 15 big we just pile cutoff. or throw out I a have, mini? I no. sort of favor the min, but he does go yeah, for pile, I, I and it's this, understandable. You don't want to fold. You don't want to have to... I, I hear you, and for Poo not. It's time, He's likely right? keeping him on us. Yeah. I believe so, Will. But this is in part why you shove, right? You don't want... To, it's such a good hand. You're blocking so many strong hands. You don't want to have to raise and then fold. That. And it was very close. I think his shove is reasonable for sure. Huge pot here for these players, too, at this point in the tournament, right? Of course. 30 left now. And it's not just a snap for them. Welcome back to another tournament here. Triton, Jeju, Super High Roller Series. The problem is, Brian, poker's a very complex game. Yes, it is. And it requires something called math. Ostensibly, yes, but, you know, you can get by sometimes without... Well, me and Nick were getting by just fine. Yeah. Problem is, we've got a big tournament. We got a big two tables with Dan Smith, Michael Adamo, Jason Kuhn, Isaac Haxton. And I just got here and I'm looking at this list of players that are still in, and I'm excited. That I'll tell you what. Yeah. I mean, whew. Even down at the bottom, like Juan Pardo, my guy Roman Hrabek. I mean, look at look, look at him go. Nick Schulman is a great commentator. Nobody's saying he's not. Yeah. But the truth is, he doesn't really know math, and you do, <laughs> okay. and that's why you're here. We need to bring you in for this. So, I mean, 
they had to bring in the M team. Just the math you did in your head last night was Rain Man level. So we got a big tournament here, 1.45 million up top. We got a lot of big names. I mean, this is going to be really exciting. It, it, the paces have been different. I was talking about how like these poker tournaments can be like sporting events, right? Where you have your defensive struggles, you know, your 13 to 6 football games. Sometimes you have your shootouts, Eagles, Chiefs, Super Bowl. We've had slogs, we've had shootouts. I mean, it's been every type of tournament. How has this one been so far? Fill me in. It started off just as like a complete battle, just brockets blazing, everybody scoring, running up and down the field scoring, and it's turned into a slog. From There was like a dead quicksand at like the 20-player mark. It just started to slow down, and then it accelerated again, and that's what we led into the last break with. So who knows what we're going to see. I mean, I'm sure we're going to see fireworks. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of great hands. Is there anything you're most excited to look at in this rest of this tournament? I mean, I'm just really excited about all the great players that are still in. I mean, I, I came back down, and I, I, it seems like Adamo got here late. Here he is. Dan Smith. I mean, I know him pretty well from Vegas. Joseph Chung. Uh, Isaac Haxton. I mean, Jason Kuhn, the Triton Goat. You know, I mean, just all the way down the list. And even, you know, Aram Aganyan, who I know had a big chip stack early. You know, just a bunch of guys. I can recognize almost all the names on the list. So... I'm excited to see how it plays out at this point with all these great players. Well, you remember when we started yesterday, right? I almost fainted because Phil Ivey was at our feature table. Yeah, I, I do remember that. You remember holding my hand? Yeah. <laughs> First, I want to we thank you nice for that. Moment. That was yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, but secondly, I said I wanted to. I was almost going to faint today when Adamo got moved because we're already so stacked here, and just I think for me personally, I've wanted to see him play. Well, That's been one of the things I've been kind of no. haven't seen him play in a while. Yeah, it feels like he uh, he's taking some time off, enjoying other parts of his life. What do you think he's been, been doing? On, you know, I've, I've... Look, Rast, I know you're in the sauna with these guys. What well, has Adamo well, been doing? I actually went to dinner with Adamo in Vegas like a year ago. Of course so. you did. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean... Give I'm, me the scoop. I'm kind of one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? But listen, Adamo, my understanding is he's like back going to school still in Australia. Like he wanted to go back to school, finish it like get a, get his degree you know hang out with regular people you know meet meet girls it just you know just do the wait 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 but you gotta thing. you telling me we got a hand here yeah aram who's been very patient picks up a monster ace king of diamonds and juan i mean i just feel like this is going in brian it's a tough decision for Juan because i mean aram's position is pretty early i mean i think Plus one is the low jack. Yeah, oh. he lets it go. Great fold, honestly, because Vladimir Troinovsky has jacks. Now this, this is going. This is a little different. Yeah. Yeah, this pair <clears throat> is significantly higher. Is it just going in, though, or are we trying to induce? I mean, he... <clears throat> it's just going He in. only has 19 blinds, and uh, even the opener has less than that, so... Yeah, you're not you're not really trying to induce with jacks either. But here we go. One of the bigger pots of the tournament, 5.6 million in the middle. We have not seen Vlad play yet. <coughs> We've seen a lot of Aram, Brian. Very funny character. Talks a lot, but then gets serious in hands. Well, so what did we call? This hmm? is on the borderline of yesterday. It's a flip or the. Or this is a flip. What you have. Yeah. But what was the don't, other? Channel? No. <laughs> don't even bring it up yet. This is a flip, Brian. This is what we call a coin flip. <laughs> don't worry about the other one. Just so the chat knows, Brian, tell the people this is a coin flip. Didn't you bring me in here for my math skills? Okay. Well, this is not a flip anymore. Vlad actually will have some chips left if the graphic is right, but he is going to need. A jack and only a jack. Yeah, this jack this flop sleepy. is a slaughter. The sunglasses on. <laughs> I don't particularly feel bad. Still just a jack. Two left in the deck. Yeah. No, I, I like how they look. I like how they look. Vlad has had a lot of yeah, success in the main event in Vegas, but needs eight? to get really lucky or he's going to be crippled. Feels like I'm not going to win either way. Yeah. Another deuce, Brian. Wow, and sixes. Sixes would have actually wow. won. Sixes would have won a massive one there because Jax yeah. might have came along. Probably would have. I don't know. Yeah, he wow. Had sixes. That was more. 2.45. Oh, sorry. And I don't mean to tell oh, you. wowie. Sorry. Look. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He says it. Oh. 
2.45. Oh, oh, yeah. That's blood. That's salt in the wound there, Brian. What? 2.45, wow. all right. Oh, 2.6. Oh, two Honestly, six, did Aram really call his hand, or did he, did Juan Pardo say what he folded? Big hand. Like, did, big tournament hand. That's a tournament hand. A little suitor. He Jake must have told him. He, he knew. He just guessed it. Yeah, that's what I'm. Trying oh to figure yeah, out. actually. Because I don't think he said anything. He never said anything. Yeah, and it just mucked. Cash games. He, he just pulled. thought and mucked, <laughs> and he was like, ah, oh, he had Not sixes. Really. Did he just Negron you his exact hand, Brian? <clears throat> I think he did. Wow, Aram, Aganian with the Daniel Negron you type pinpoint two card skills there. It's pretty oh, sick. So are we really gonna call that the Negron? Oh yeah, Negrano? it would mean that's what it's called. <laughs> who else does that? I mean, a lot of people. Uh, like who? You don't think Ivy does that? No, he never speaks. No more folding either. <coughs> I got Troy so Nofsky left with just a, a literal. Is this even a nub, I Brian? Like, what is this stack? How do you refer to it in the industry? <laughs> yeah, no, he's nubbing. It's a nub. He's got a few more hands to find a spot. So he's just stroking the nub until he can find that spot for it. Yeah. Wow, Ike here with 20 blinds, sevens in the small blind. Ike surveying his prey. Is he going to go for the, the limp? Did he just 425. Okay, he goes for just under 3 And look at this. The baby. Wow. This is, this, this is probably Ike on his way out. Baby's got some toys in his crib here. I mean, I know. Here's the you're thing. You're not excited to get sevens <laughs> in. But with 20 blinds, blind on blind. You're not raising the fold. No. Not if you're Ike. And how does oh, Joey yeah. just piles? Oh, there it is, Brian. Yeah. You're, that's why we brought you here. See, but this is different. Like the other spot where Pardo had the sixes, it was like an early totally position different. opener, a bunch of people behind him. Yeah, this is fold to the blind. It's like, you know, maybe the big blinds, he can have just a lot more hands when he puts them in. He's got a lot of chips kind of set up for Ike there, unless he hits a seven. Then Joey to baby in a great spot to turn Ike into a milk smoothie here. <clears throat> Ike needs a seven pretty much. Oh. Or hearts. It's gonna make Only it hearts. Harder. Get the jack of hearts. <laughs> Ask for the jack of hearts, Brian. That would be the only thing he can complain. Can hope for, it. really. That's not very interesting. Good luck. Yeah. There's a jack there it is. <laughs> one more. One more. I think that's pretty interesting for the baby, Brian. Chip leader, Joey Chung, 9.6 million here. I think we were and look, Brian, so there came the jack of hearts on the river. Yeah, I just want to point that out. That was, he called it, but it came Ooh, one card too late, so the magic doesn't work this time for Ike. Anyway, what were you going to say about... Well, we got to hold that thought, because we got a situation here. Wow, this is, this is the, this is a cooler. That's what we call it in the industry. Is that what you guys call it? Yeah. Cooler, huh? Yeah. Because it's like cold? Ice cold, this one. Doesn't get any colder. Yeah, absolute zero. Your nips are, what are they, off your body at this point? That type of cold? Yeah, and, and they uh, crumble before they even hit the ground. Is that how it works scientifically? Yes, it does when it gets cold enough. This is just freezing for Jaffe. We've seen him save... He's just going to shove, and there it goes. Kings versus aces. 14 left. Winner will have a lot of chips. Loser will either have absolutely nothing or the nubbiest of nubs. Yeah, blinds have gone up to 200K, it looks like. Yeah, it's massive. Jaffe looking to spike a king, and that's about it. Needs a face card. Yeah, Jaffe is in the paint business. That's Not close enough. King and only a king, or Jaffe's going to have 350. Red paint also. Nope. And Paulius going to double. Massive pot for him. I spoke about this a bunch, but a lot of the players who are deep in this, Brian, have had sex. Not have had sex. I mean, I'm sure they've had sex. Have had success in previous tournaments here. Paulius is someone who cashed in the first event 
31st place, 30K. How much does that help you early in a series? You know, it can be helpful in a number of ways. I mean, one is that it, it meant you were in the seat playing poker for a little bit more, which is nice. Good luck. Just Good luck. Get, getting the hours in, getting accustomed. Time zone difference, this, but you know, but you've been playing. You can't be in the seat when you're out of the tournament. Yeah, then you're doing doing other things. You know, maybe good for the confidence. Uh, it, it's something that maybe there's a small little effect, a little something to it. Not not to be overrated though. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, like, I think I remember a discussion we had on a previous day about that effect when someone's crushing, like like it's their year, like. Adamo a couple you know a couple years ago Ike last year okay that's a little bit different because Jonathan, Jonathan, you, have like 400 left? you know you're winning Ike? a bunch you of like tournaments left? you're oh. final tabling a lot and now it's affecting the way other players view you and maybe even play against you this this it, is more about yourself right yeah, it's and it's a little thing and honestly if you're really on point it shouldn't matter that much yeah but not all of us are really on yes. point Brian we're not you're you're you, the people you're hanging out with I think you might be in a bubble <laughs> well, just I'll, going to the sauna with Adamo, going for a little hot yoga with John Jaffe. How many, <laughs> how many normal brains yeah, do you the, interact these with? These are the guys that are we're talking about that are playing right now. These aren't just. Like, There's still the common Joe. man. Paulius is the common man. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> Chen. We haven't seen him, but he played great earlier and trapped consistently caught his friends in the bear claw. There's an ace for oh, Jaffe. You know who had a really good bluff yesterday when I was in here was Dong Chen. Yes. But he just went out, I guess. So yes, we didn't get to see him play. Race. Yeah. Did he have any more cool hands? No, he didn't no. get to see him at all, unfortunately. Oh, okay. It's too I, bad. I mentioned him. I mentioned the bluff he made, which yeah, was one of the cooler game. hands we saw. Yeah. Jaffe throwing those time chips in. 14 players left. A lot to think about. ICM. Yeah, this, this, Pay is, jumps. this is going in. Ace too strong from the cutoff. I'm One more pay jump, 99,000. Next goes up to 110 smackers. Then up to 125. All the way up to 1.455000, which is seven figures. The first seven-figure score here in a record-breaking event. Rasty, it's, it's an honor to be here with you. Likewise. You know what? It's because we're on a pay jump. That's why he's doing this. Yeah. I knew there was a reason. Yeah. 14th is 99k and then 13th is 110,000. So So he's even going to yeah, he's even going into the time banks to waste time cuz there's another table here, folks. So if somebody busts on the other table, he moves up and when you have two <laughs> technically less 1.75 big blinds, I'm in here for the math. Uh, you know, it's a big deal to move up that extra pay spot. Kind of. I mean, because his chances of doing anything in this tournament from here are, frankly, very low. And that right there is the scientific breakdown of how to play a nub. And Michael Adamo wakes up with Cowboys. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Michael. You didn't hear John the news? Good news for John is he's got an ace, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it could be worse. And this is not a coin flip, right, Brian? No. no it's really not a flip at all. Not even close. So what would you call it? I would say Michael Adamo is a pretty healthy favorite, substantial favorite. Very strong from Rass there. Jaffe just needs an ace, but he does have diamonds if he can peel one. Just an ace. Diamond, but not an ace. Good game, John. Unlucky. Kings versus aces. And that's what it takes to eliminate a player of this ilk, Brian. Michael Adamo just finishing off the scraps while he eyes up the rest of the table's chips. Um, Adamo will eye your chips even if you have dust, Brian. He just wants to see the stacks. The man's hungry, Brian. It's been a long time since he's played. Tell us what's going on with Adamo. He went to college. Okay, this is, this is what I wanted to go back to, okay? As we watch Jonathan Jaffe. I'd say he's going to leave, but he's probably just regging another tournament. 
Adamo, you're telling me he won $20 million in a year in playing poker tournaments, and he decided to go back to school? Yeah, I think so. Why? You know what? Everybody in life has different values and motivations, and, you know, maybe he just wanted to do something which most people consider ordinary. Maybe he enjoys learning. I don't know. You, you'll have to ask him. I, I didn't press him on that okay it's kind of his okay you know, okay he enjoys learning I, i'm just speculating the truth is it's it's his okay uh, but let's say he does let's speculate yeah why <laughs> i'll tell you what i, I enjoy learning i'm okay. not saying i'm going to go back to school but okay yeah. why because learning is fun there's but all it's it's so hard it's always well, hard. that's probably what separates you and michael adamo it's hard though right I mean, not necessarily. It's, there's easy ways to learn? Yeah. Like watching the stream? That it, it is one of the easier ways to learn poker. Sit here, soak it in, listen to our silky voices, convince you of well, let's, good and bad yeah, plays. Yeah, let's, let's learn some poker. Chen opens from the hijack. Danilo three bets the ace nine, and Michael Adamo is in the small blind with ace queen, Brian. And he has a decision right here whether or not to basically just pile it in i mean i'm trying to look at the stacks but this is a dicey spot brian these are players are very short sure all they all have 10 10 to 15 blinds so he's he'd be risking potentially up to half his stack uh but he has quite a good hand i mean i think he's probably going to take this spot and if he does lose somehow he's got plenty of chips left yes that's a deciding factor and what's too. what's actually going to happen is he's just going to move in and he's going to win 1.75 in the middle if he does Oh, he passes it up. Would have worked. Wow. And Danilo. It's a big lay. It's a big I just lay think down. it's an exploitative lay down where this just looks so strong deep in a tournament. He doesn't really know these players. He's giving the three bet credit. It's a three bet off of a, tw a tiny stack. Yes, no, of course. He's just yes. giving it respect. He's thinking maybe it's ace king plus, and it might be, but it's not. Danilo. And Chen, we've watched him play earlier, very played perfectly, but I. I I just don't know what you can do here. You get out. No, I think I think you got to let this one go. I mean, well, well, certainly, the Silicon Overlord would let it go. It's well, you're getting it's a, it's a, even though you're getting this ridiculous price. Yeah. yeah. So this is basically when you're in the grocery store and there's something that's really cheap, but if you eat it, like you're gonna die. You just get <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. That's a good analogy. That makes sense. Danilo with a really good well-timed play. Got Adamo to fold ace queen there. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, this this is one of those things where it's like people talk about luck and variance and this and spots and, you know, that's that was money that didn't go in, in the pot, but that kind of Adamo's decision there had an yeah. effect yeah. on the yeah. tournament. Yeah. Instead of him I getting 1.75 million chips, the, the player that three bet got them instead. So you know, pretty big swing there. He, you know, he makes the play with Ace Queen. He he wins that pot. He's up there, solidly in second place with over eight million. Butterfly effect. Yeah. You know, he's still fine. He's still got six and a half. Aram with King Deuce. I'm gonna let it go. Juan Pardo. And honestly, Juan still looks a little tilted about those sixes. That would have been such a tournament changing pot, even though he made the right decision. But Alex has ace four suited in the cutoff. Dan with the shirt. And Trotum, Troy Nofsky, who just got crippled, has aces. I mean, Jeez. and no chips. This is just get it in. Thank you, God. Wow, what a, what a spot to get aces, huh? Yeah. He was down one, to the one nub, one. and now he's in great shape to be up to over 10 big blinds after this pot. Troyanovsky knows how to play the nub. Is it? And Katsu is going to be looking to get really lucky, but does have over 10% just because of the hearts and the straight potential. <laughs> and that is... The best oh, flop he could have seen. How is it like ever? How space. is it never just like ace? Obviously doesn't four, flop four. a flush. <laughs> doesn't flop <laughs> trips, but Even he's four got four so many outs, little, Brian. Uh, one sweat. That's not one of them. Vlad looking to dodge a heart now, and he'll double. There Catch. they are, the nine outs. 
Oh. There it is, Brian. Unfortunate. Right in the heart for Vlad. Take care. And Kachu, you didn't see this before. He was all in with Ike. Ike opened the button with Ace Ten off. Kachu shoved. Queen Ten suited from the big. Ike snapped. Came eight six six. Turn Queen for a big double. Now he gets even luckier to take out Vlad, and he is cruising in this thing. Seventh in chips. This man took out Darren Elias last night, if you remember, the big brisket, just straight up barbecued him with the sevens. Remember that hand? I do remember that, yeah. Oh. Ace nine you know is... What, you know what Dan Smith's closing? It, it's reminding me a little bit of Ponikovs. It's like the American Ponikovs now. Just going for, like, kind of loud, comfy clothing. It's comfy Dan. Yeah. Juan Pardo, one of the best online players ever. Dan Smith with King-10 now. This is, yeah, I, is this comfy, Dan? What do you think? We haven't seen much from Jason either, just hasn't had the hands. But Joey, we've seen just, a lot of the baby. Just sliding on up, though. I mean, only 12 people left. That's how he rolls. Joey's going to come along. <laughs> This is a collision of two pretty big stacks. Yep. Two top five stacks seeing a flop. Top three stacks even. And although you're 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 actually your phrasing is perhaps better because Aram is in third, but he's right there with fourth and fifth. Close, like top five, all, Brian. Yeah, we need to, we need to work close. on the particulars with you. It doesn't need to be perfect. Neither player hits anything, so this is interesting. Is Aram just going to continue to tell the story of a strong hand he raised from under the gun? Yeah. yeah. No choice, right? It's not really the story of a strong hand. The way these players are thinking, it's the story of a strong range, <coughs> and a range that has an equity advantage on this flop. Like, he has all the over pairs. I know what a range is, sets. Brian. I'm, I'm, in I'm the not booth explaining here with it to you. you, buddy. I'm explaining oh, it to enough, everyone at home. Thanks. Yeah, don't take everything personally there. All right? Well, well said. Very well said. Yeah, Jack 6-4 rainbow. I mean, he's got... He's got the range advantage. Yeah. Big time. He's got nines plus, ace jack this, and he doesn't have all the junk hands that the big blind... So when you have a range himself. advantage, you generally... Bet. Yeah. There you go, audience. You're welcome. So, so yeah, he's telling a story, but it's... Let's be precise about what story he's telling. He's telling a story that the big blind probably already knows. They both know the same story. What story is Dan Smith telling? Because this doesn't look like comfy Dan. This looks like cop Dan to me. King four hearts. He's telling the story that this is no longer the fish hand. The king little suited. This is the hand that the silicone overlord, overlord has given the stamp of approval. Have you seen Apocalypto? I have, yeah. 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 What it feels like is those, you know, when they take all the guys to the Mayan temple and do the ritual so sacrifice? The yeah. The Should one guy survives in the end? Yeah. Wrong He's customer. the king six suited. Three bet probably works. Suited the, kings. Whatever. The only hand that survived from the silicone overlord. <laughs> no, well, and they get played and look, Cop Dan collecting chips. Good time in the tournament. Doesn't it look like he pull you over for speeding right now? Give you some crap. I could never, I mean, I've never seen. But three, but I think that hand makes That's way too easy. colorful for, to be a policeman. <laughs> just the shades. Just look at the top. Oh, yes. You're so, you're so specific. Just the, just the head piece. Ignore the Versace. Back to our other table, Adamo. And, I mean, we're almost there, Brian. We're almost at the final table. Michael Adamo, right up there. Yeah, in that cluster. Cluster around six million. Joseph Chung, Maxim, Aram, Dan Smith, Michael Adamo, Paulius, Alexander, and even Danilo claim they're all above the five million mark now. Robin Hrabek is on our other table, short stack with five bigs. Paulius now with ace king off. A lot of hand for the cutoff.
makes it 400 and a suited king here. Yeah, but facing an open in front. Um, actually, it's, it's one of the hands that once ICM effects start going up, it becomes with the king blocker. You, you start to see the Silicon Overlord liking to three bet that under kind of more extreme ICM circumstances. But uh, but we know the solvers like these pairs, Brian. But Guang Cheng just lets it go. We know the solvers like these little pairs as reshoves, don't they? I mean, they're pretty deep here. 25 blinds. It would... I wouldn't be shocked to see him do it. But he's also getting a good price on a call. I'm curious. Oh, he's in the big blind. Oh, yeah. I was, I, yeah okay, well, obviously. He, yeah. He, yeah. He could. He could, I think. But he could. Yeah. You well, do it with a few small There pairs. it is, Brian. Yeah. yeah. And Pauly is going nowhere. Snap City. He's going to be annoyed but to see two He's going to really be annoyed to see a coin flip here. <laughs> really annoyed. And not like a coin flip with tens. Threes. No, threes. It's threes. It's like, damn. But it's a huge tournament defining coin flip. Ten million chips in the middle. Yeah, this is a big pot here. Winner is chip leader. Yep. 4.5. And there's the ace, Brian. The Danilo. last card spread out. Just right, six jack. It's looking grim. Danilo, a three. Only a three now, or he's going to be out of here. Wow. Because Nicola is out? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, he's got yeah, you yeah. covered, buddy. I have six. six. More than the me. swag lord, Brian, takes a soul. That? Yeah, that's, that's a lot that's of swag. That's a swaggy hat right there. Danilo just couldn't... Couldn't get there with the threes. Can't blame him. Play great. Good game, sir. But 110,000 will feel like a lot less than it really is, Brian, when you know you were that close to 1.45 million. Yeah, he was he was going for it. Played for the win. Saw him three bet the ace eight off. It worked. It's Got always fun to see. This is like when uh, you were giving me the update. I think we might have gotten out of that stretch of uh, it being bogged down. We're seeing yeah. some. No, some it, it's we're in the fast. This, out. Yeah, this is yeah. the Super Bowl, Chiefs Eagles. Another, you know what I mean? It goes fast, man. It speeds up like crazy. Juan Pardo now, essentially all in with sixes. With, uh, Another, Brian, say it. Coin flip. <laughs> Like a don't these end up determining a lot? Remember. What was yeah, what yeah, was yeah, the no? The other line. term is not. We're not using it. These are all coin flips. Yes. Uh, you're not going to uh, remind me. Was, no. You know, uh, Ashman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I was living with Ashman in Vegas that summer when it happened, and it was like it was so sad. Pseudo flip. That was it. Yeah. These are not pseudo flips. <laughs> yeah. These are flips. Juan Pardo oh, no, tournament life at stake again, huh? <laughs> against the cashew, chewing on some cashews. What was the guy's Spain name? is nice, Brian. I love the what are the little yeah, things Johannes. you eat there? Tapas. Okay, that's what Tapas, I was yes. That's what I thought his name was, but it sounds like the other guy's name, Johannes Strasser. The other. Johannes. Ooh, ten in the window. Ooh, and I'm telling you, man, Cashew's been hungry. He's eating tapas right now, Brian. It's gonna be a six or clubs for Juan, yeah, or he's out of like here. I mean, since I've got here, like Cashew's run pretty too. good. Can't miss. Needs one of the last sixes. Six, six, six. six. Can he find the devil in the deck? The early get up. You got, you He's take the not a live off. pro, but no, no it's a deuce. It, the early get up is well known in the live community. Did you get paid up? It did yeah. not. The jinx did not come in there. He got it, yeah, yeah. The cashew gets richer. Alex the Great. And meanwhile, more action. Adamo, looking interested here. Always looks interested, but he's got a. Decent hand, ace eight off, min raise, call. So this is a hand that's weak enough with the raise and call. It can kind of go in all three buckets. I mean, he could maybe make a play, could fold it. It feels even. like a call is comfiest, though. Yeah, you get in a lot of trouble in some of these spots here because you're dominated. The ranges aren't quite super. They're actually stronger than you might think based on the positions because of the ICM in the tournament. And the but. king on the flop. Top pair for Paulius, but Maxim has a flush draw and position. And Adamo, if you're Adamo here, this has got to be one of the worst flops, right? Yeah, Adamo's done with this. I, it's going to be hard to imagine him putting another chip in the pot unless he gets checked and he hits an ace. But the swag lord is not done, Brian. 
He, you know, I wonder if he ever bluffs if four clubs come out in some weird variations where it gets checked a bunch. But It's possible now because the Swag Lord has checked over to Maxim, who's going to take the, the initiative. What do you think about this, Brian, with the eights here? He's going to take a... What is that? 475. It's about third pot. He's going to take a stab. Put some pressure on the pot. And if we're the swag lord here, we're just happy to call, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's going to do anything else. You don't you don't really he hasn't really he has a pretty good hand, but not one that you want to make a big it's a little too weak to check raise and make the pot huge. And the turn's a total brick. And a little too strong to and kind of st What are we thinking if we're max him? Do we think we have the best hand now or what does the swag lord have? Well, I think betting here starts to polarize your range quite a bit. Um and I just think his yeah. hand doesn't really fit in that bucket, so it's a pretty comfy check back and see what happens. And now I mean this run out was so innocuous that I think Paulinius could value bet his hand if he wants, um, which would be tough on Maxim. Uh, if he checks, it probably goes check, check. But when Maxim checks back the turn, isn't he really saying, a lot, I don't have a strong hand in a lot of ways? Yeah. So yeah. if you're the swag lord, Brian, don't you want a little drip here? I think it's a spot where, I mean, your range is definitely not nutted, and I think but you got most the better people, hands. especially people not playing this tournament, are probably super capped. Yeah, so the Swag Lord is going to bet here. Yeah, which makes sense. He's He wants to get value. 750, it's a good size. It's milky. The problem when he checks here is that your opponent's not really... <laughs> I mean, they've, they've gone bet check. They don't bet... People don't bluff a ton. And uh, generally, better is always bet, betting. But, like, kind of worse value hands will check back. So it's a bet that logically makes a lot of sense for for him to do. So you're saying the Swag Lord is a master of logic? It, it would appear so. Weird spot for Maxim, getting a really good price, right? The flop was checked. Does does Paulius have some ace-queens that Yeah, felt certainly. Well, yeah, he has hands like that. Like, what about queen-10 suited? Could play this way, like queen-10 of hearts, ace-10 of hearts. Ace, ace, ten off. He was the opener, right? Yeah. So like, ace, ten off. No, with a Maxim club. doesn't go for a good fold there. Very, so, very nice. But more chips for the swag lord, our chip leader. Yeah, tough spot. Tough spot. Good decision. Paulius wasn't wearing any of the swag the first time we saw him, Brian. And this has been a theme. Yeah. All of these players, in some way, have had success in the earlier tournaments here. And Paulius got thirty-first in the first event, but he was dressed differently. I don't know if you remember. It had just the hair and glasses out, not the swag. A much stronger setup now. And same for this guy. This guy did not have this jacket before this tournament. That is Maxim. 50 big blinds also. With this many players left, Brian, that's got to feel like a, a lot of chips. I mean, since I've got here, Paulius' chip stack has gone vertical. If I was looking at a price chart, it would just be like huge green candles. God candles? Yeah, God candles. Those are the best. It's been, his his uh, chip chart has been like Bitcoin for the last couple weeks. Just the God candle. Just boom. Up. Only. And the 9-8 suited might be part of that chart. I mean, is this... Can we speculate here, Brian, with the big stack? Listen, some ICM? you're a big stack. You're raising this. Come, you got to, go. right? It's the hijack. Oh. No. The swag Lord says no. Swag Lord says no. He Let's disagrees. See. Let's see. Let's see who's right. I mean, some so cheese. Far, so far, Brian's right. Well, so far. I don't even care what the blinds have. I wish I raised So it. far, so good. It's going to come down to the big blind. Yeah, just about looking yourself in the mirror, right? Knowing you're the big stack. But Adamo with 9-8 off here in the small blind. He's, he's, ooh, all and in. And he shoves. I thought he was going to limp. Roman's short. Yeah, Roman's, Roman's short. real short. putting the pressure ooh, on. Ooh, and he's got a suited, he's got the suited Robbie. Oh, he super short. He's only yeah. got. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why that's he folded going in. the nine eight suited. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, because he's got yeah, three. Yeah, that, that four makes blinds. sense. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. But Adamo's got nine eight off, and a chance to knock out Raman Rabek in tenth place. 
Roman's a really good player. Someone we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of here either way. The and Domino's again, hand is in worse shape here because yeah. <laughs> literally 9-8 of well, spades were folded. It's in a lot folded. worse shape now. Going to need yeah. some type of runner-runner craziness. Diamonds, 7, maybe. And that's part of the equation, Brian. Yeah. A 7 now will give Adamo the pot. Oof. And Roman Hrabek, again, keeping with the theme. First event, 18th place for 41,000. Second event, 25th place. Now here in the top 10, three for three. And Brian, we haven't talked about this. Uh, he's but gone three for three. Three for three. There are no more Austrians in the field, my friend. Well, that's it. We're, we're yeah. going to get a champion. It's not going to be a clean sweep from yeah. Federholz and the factories out in Austria. Somebody put the bots down for a bit. Adamo, unfortunately, still has plenty of chips, just a flesh wound. See what I'm saying? The butterfly effect on that ace queen off pass. See? All those chips going Roman's way. He's hung around. He's got the alligator blood, Brian. Just hanging around, hanging around. Roman That's, it's, it's an impressive, it's an impressive thing about this young man is that, I mean, when he has chips and, and he can be a fighter. I mean, he can just fight for pots and, you know, make the moves. But then when he's short, he just knows how to go on defense, like guard those chips, be the short stack, just survive, not fighting so much, but just getting by. So he's got he's got the gears. It's no one trick pony. And speaking of fighters, big fight coming up this weekend, I believe UFC. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be. It's a, it's a big card. They Is, they have a bunch of good fights even on the undercard. So I just got into UFC. I told you recently. Yeah. Who you think my favorite fighter is? Just guess. Your favorite fighter? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a hint. He's really sweet. sweet. Robert Whitaker? Sugar. Sh he's my favorite oh. fighter. Sugar. Uh, okay. He's sweet. Like his nickname is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Adamo with oh. the Queen of Queen Diamonds. I mean, Diamonds he's probably going to win. He's fighting a guy who technically really sh isn't the next one in line for the title shot. How sweet is this Queen of Diamonds, though? Enough to minimize? I mean, raise? it's a, it's all right. It's a, it's a hand you could... Raise on the button, but it's not it's not nothing to write home to mom about. Can we write a letter with the King Ten off here? Seems like a letter that might get through. Roman might. He's he's debating it. If he's gonna ship in those nine blides and take his chances. Now Brian, you're an experienced player. What is he doing? Ooh. ooh. That hurt him. He ooh. was close. That did, yeah. You could feel the pain letting yeah. it go. I don't think the Swag Lord is going to let this go, Brian. The lip quiver right as he was pushing it in. It was like... Live reads from a Poker Hall of Famer. Apologies, I didn't realize that. Poker Hall of Famer, Brian Rast. Give that applause for him. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. Two suited queens. And both hit top pair. And Adamo has... The Swag Lord pipped here, Brian. He does. The eight may or may not play by the end, though. But for now, it does. There's a good chance there's a chop. I mean, you can actually see that they chop like half the time. Because yes, the difference between eight and if they don't chop, this is top pair on top pair versus Adamo. I mean, yeah, it's, it's an interesting spot because this is a, a flop where Adamo definitely has a equity advantage, but Paulius has a pretty good hand now with top pair. It's, it's definitely not going to go anywhere. Not, it, not for 200,000 on the floor. Pretty good, but we're not loving it. We're not just ready to get it all in. We just want to see a turn, evaluate. No, you're not ready to get it in, but you're also not ready well, to fold. What about now, Brian? Well, now both players are liking it even more. If wow, it looks like it looks like well, though. Let me just ask you though. They're both chopping right now. Cuz the 3 oh. queens plays the jack and the 9. So Oh. So that was the worst card in the deck for Adamo. I thought it was no, the no, best. No, no, the worst card in the deck is the, was the 7. Second worst card. But it's a terrible turn. 
But yeah, now it actually made his his winning was forty three to eight, and now yeah. it's sixteen to seven. So, so it was Adamo a bad can card. still win with the ten or an eight here. Yes, but that's it. He's gonna bet again, and the swag lord ha has potentially escaped another awful situation. So he's he sized up, and I, I don't really think there's anything for Paulius to do but call here. He has a pretty strong hand, and uh, well. But let's I mean, do a little math here. Okay, 2. listen, they're, 2 million. Not, they're not that deep. So Yeah. yeah. So let's just break it down in math. 2.2 million in the it. middle. He bets 750. How big is the pot now? Well, they're setting it up. There's about a pot size bet Exactly. Left. And yes. he's doing that intentionally, though. Of course. Because when the oh river's a seven, the swag lord takes your soul, Brian. Wow, what a card. <laughs> this guy. Dude, I'm telling is. you, there's something about this dude, man. Look at him. The hat. He played normally. He didn't have the hat or the glasses before this. It was just a different person. This is not Paulius. This is the Swag Lord, and he's got Adamo in a vice. I mean, I don't really see how Adamo doesn't value bet his hand here. Like, he could have a jack. He could he have, have a nine. A jack or a nine, yeah. Adamo wins a ton, goes to college, comes back, and is in this horrific spot is there any way he can escape two million well i mean he's gonna get check raised all in and he he's left himself with one million behind brian he he, he there, technically he, he could fold to the check technically raise it's all in. not over but the swag lord has his soul in a bag now yeah almost all of it those two million chips are gone they're not coming back the swag lord is is just it's it's he's just taking his time here in, enveloping the moment and he's about to take Adamo's soul. I don't know if he's no. taking the whole thing, but he's got ninety nine percent. This is one of those moments where all that's going through your head is Vegas and the Mirage. Of course, okay. you just gotta savor it. There's nothing for him. he's not thinking about it. He's just savoring the moment, <laughs> like any good swag lord would do. He's just like, how long would I take here if I was gonna bluff? I'm not even sure. What am I bluffing with? You know, let me think of some bluffs, and then uh, at some point, you just. Say you're all in. Yeah, he's taking a sweet time here. Just there it is. And Adamo is gonna be sick. Yeah, he's. So this is it. This is his chance to potentially save eight hundred fifty thousand and keep going in the tournament. You're not beating any value at this point, but you have a pretty big blocker, the queen, and that's that's it. Eight. Brian, I guess you're blocking there uh, is, 10 8. There is 15 million chips in the middle. Is this guy bluffing <laughs> you off 850, 850,000 here? Well, I th it's probably less than 15 million. Because For Adamo, 12 million, yeah. whatever. Yeah. How do you let this go, Brian? What bluffs does this guy have? You've got to be such an insane maniac. It, it is the swag lord. Well, the question is, isn't as much what bluffs does he have because you, you'd be expecting maybe he's turning like Asex clubs or like, you know, 9 10 potentially but it's more like kind of like would he do it is he ever bluffing here that's the question you ask is this one of those guys who can be bluffing here if so yes and then it doesn't call. matter what the pot size is <laughs> if he never is bluffing you yeah. always lose he let it go there he is that's why he, he's michael Adama. yes Bluff. he's still in the tournament yeah the swag lord has most of his soul all of yeah. what he learned in school all of it you know his soul except Adamo still has a lot of money. He's very rich, so that'll work for him. Swaglord has the rest. What a hand, Brian. What a river. What a. This is what I mean when it speeds up, man. The roller coaster gets crazy. I think I, he might not have even used a time bank. That was pretty. That was pretty strong work. He just knew from Michael Adamo. But the Swaglord has so many chips. He's had to rack up here, Brian. It's color up time for Paulius. That's actually one of the most tilting things in poker. You have a good hand, a very good hand. You're betting. You betting? You put in mo almost all. Yeah, your you're stack, hoping they call, and then they tell you they're all in. <laughs> you're like, what? that's pretty tilting. Not good. <laughs> Paulius, the swag lord, absolutely destroying this opening event at Triton. Fifteen point six seven five million. Brian Rast chips, not real dollars. Could be a lot of real dollars. Seventy eight big blinds. Brian Rast. Michael Adamo now with four big blinds, but still in the tournament. I mean, he's covering the table now. The He's rest cut. of the table only has 58 blinds, and he has 78, so that's pretty strong. Well, it's the Swag Lord, Brian. And 
look like we haven't seen them, but we still got Jason Kuhn in this puppy. Yeah, the Swag Lord. Not to be confused with the Star Lord, even though he does, you know, you could maybe pass no, him. No, we're not confusing him with that guy. Come on. <laughs> this is very clearly the Swag Lord. Robek just continuing to hang around as the Swag Lord eyes his prey. How much does he want to test his luck here with 6-3 offsuit? Is this a spot, Brian, where the ICM is big enough with pay jumps that we can start to think about pressuring with very weak hands just to get the fold equity? Of, of course. In fact, he's probably not f folding this. But isn't, isn't Chen going to be really incentivized with seven big blinds to call a lot of hands? I mean... Chen's Adamo the, has half as many chips as him, and there's a pay jump. Ooh, I believe. Okay. Unless I'm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if Chen, good point. I mean, it's a twenty-five thousand no. dollars yes. pay jump. If Chen calls and busts now, he gets one hundred twenty-five thousand. If he survives, and Adamo busts, yeah, totally See, makes sense. I mean, Brian Rass like figured it out. Nine. That's why he's kind of got an any two spot right there. It's just like any two. Let's go. Let's uh, put, put the pressure on. Leverage those chips, baby. Get to work. I mean, really, that's like one of the most fun things ha happens in a poker tournament is when you just get to like go all in with like six three offsuit and people fold. I mean, it's pretty sweet, and you just that's fun, right? Raking in that's chips. That's fun. Yeah, you just yeah. It's, it's it's pretty nice. Usually at that point, there's like a final table. Well, you know what's up not fun? Yeah. Whatever is happening to Adamo. I'll tell you what, Adamo at this point, he's probably not going too far in the tournament, right? He's real short. He has a chance, but when he finds out he made a good fold, he'll he'll like that. Fair when enough. You know, when it's you know you put in final table 80, bubble, ninety percent of your chips. Yeah. No, no, no. No, that's it'll be, be one of those sweet yeah. things. He'll be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. And All that's right. why Adamo he takes the little things, runs with them. You got to mm -hmm. learn to find the victory, especially when you make a good decision. If you make a good decision and end, end up finding out that that's the case, I mean that's like a massive. You got to take, take your take your W's. Yeah, it's not always dollar W's. Although he he won money already, he's already won at least a hundred K or whatever. But so. these are the type of W's that can lead to dollar W's yeah. in the future. Even bigger dollar W's. Yeah. You just got to make. And the let best me just decisions. ask you, as somebody who doesn't really know from firsthand experience, why do you like winning money so much? <laughs> yeah. It's money's you know, it's the tool of the trade in poker. You can do a lot of nice things with it in life. You really can. And you can do a lot of nice things with Ace Five of Clubs too. Although that wasn't really the point of what I was saying, but uh that's neither here nor there, Brian. Yeah. I kind of lost you. Adamo's all in, and Ooh. Roman, who has just been hanging around like a... Co he's been cockroaching, Brian. Yeah. But Ro Roman's going to try to bust him here. This is a good spot to... He's just been waiting for this spot. Yeah. He's, he's ahead of Adamo's range, and he gets to move all in, potentially bust somebody who has less than him, lay his claim on the pot. I don't see him passing this up. Yeah, too, too much hand. <laughs> And Robek has Adamo dominating. Chen has a suited ace here, but lets it go just knowing the ICM. Huge spot here. Adamo need to get clubs or a five or some type of straight, or he's going to be out bubbling the final table. What a turn of events for Adamo. It kind of felt like it was going to be him, Brian, but he might not even make the FT. Yeah, I'm just saying it was that sliding doors moment with the ace queen off. The butterfly effect. It was like he that goes was all his in. Peak yeah, and it that, was just yeah. do 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 Got to find the peak. Got to find drag his, a chip. Yeah, I think he actually didn't drag a chip from that hand. And Roman Hrabek, who I wanted to be known at some point during the first two tournaments, he went deep, and I said we'd be seeing more of him. I don't know if you remember that. We will be seeing more of him most likely. He's in a great position to win a nice pot, coast into the final table if he can just hold. Oh, there's a nine in the window. Ooh. That's almost certain death for Adamo. Swaglord has most of his soul. Robert can get the rest of his chips. Running fives, the only out for that crusher. Ooh, almost not enough. 
Good game, Adamo. It was too short, my friend. Unreal river no, for no, this wag lord no, to end no, him. No. Yep. And with that, Michael oh, Adamo. Wow. Yeah, I mean. Pays his homage to the swag lord. So he just found out he's not even going to need to wait for yeah, this. Yeah, why wait? Why wait? The swag lord will tell you. Give him some mercy. And I was like, you pull the pink pin? Oh. Yeah, I'll sit there. Tight uh, fold, man. Okay. Very tight. Calling king six. With that, Brian, not many players left. Single digits. Alexander, Kachu. At our red table, Joe Chung right up there. Dan Smith all cluttered. Aram Aganyan still battling. Jason Kuhn, haven't seen much of him. He's short, but he's alive. Paulius, the swag lord, Valley Tenkis, leading with 80 big blinds somehow at this point in the tournament. Maxim, also a fellow swag master. Bunch of chips. I mean, I'm not just saying this because we're getting paid, but this has been the best room I've ever seen. That I've commented on. Commented Strong on. praise. I'll tell you what, I just, I've gotten here, I've been here since 15 left, and it's it's been fun. It's been enjoyable. There there have been chips flying, some good decisions, tough spots, you know, some great players. Um, I mean, wow, Paulius, I mean, this guy is just rifling up there. I mean, he has a pretty massive chip lead now, and he could definitely kind of weld that like a bludgeon moving forward. So uh, beyond that, you can see this big mix of people from second to sixth, but only about 1.5 million difference in chips with then three shorter stacks below. So definitely a clear kind of delineation of top stack, middle stack cluster, and then short stacks. Yeah, I mean, it's just been straight action. Swag Lord taking souls. Haven't even seen Jason Kuhn. I mean, he was one of the big stories. You know, Ike got chopped down. A lot of the big names died in the fire. Adamo, the last one to go. Will probably be a new star rising, but Dan Smith's still in the mix. Joseph Chong. Uh, I'm excited to see it. Unfortunately, I got to go. Uh, Ali is going to tag in for me. It's been a blast. Rasty, great job again. Good work with the math and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back soon. 25 minutes, I think. All right. Yeah, thank you, Will. Been a pleasure. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, first to act under the gun. At what stack depth should you consider opening low pocket pairs like 4-4? A. Always open these hands. B. Only open them below 20 big blinds. C. Below 30 big blinds. Or D. Below 50 big blinds. Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just 5 minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
Just Seize the Wonder. 제주 신화 월드. The 54. Everyone guaranteed six figs at the final table. And here we go, Nick. Shoes. Shoes been patient. He can't even wait. <laughs> A lot of hands he'd be raising here from the cutoff. And J and T with a really pretty queen ten suited. Definitely all in springs to mind. Call, of course, very possible. It's funny because my first instinct from a comfortability standpoint is always call with these type of hands. With so these hands. And he does agree with you. Sometimes these hands with the jam benefit from clearing queen jack, king ten. Even an a7 out, Even right? an yeah. a7. But the call, very comfortable. Indeed. And Shalot with this awkward spot, right? The off-suited two-gapper. The off-suited two-gapper. He is in. He's giving Liang and JNT a spin. Flops the open-ender. Very awkward flop for Liang, too. Never know quite what to do in these spots. You know, you check, you feel like it's face up. You bet, you don't want to get raised. A lot of bad turns. Kind of like the bet though, just keep going, right? I don't mind it at all. Looks like a healthy amount too. And you know, Liang has a bit of a different vibe today than last night, Nick. Last night it was very carefree. This is all business Chugging today. the beer, this is, yeah, he's, I don't know if he went to the lab real quick. Right. <laughs> And Ben with a really interesting spot. Wrapped. I sort of feel like his hand is too good to raise. Yeah. It's just seven high, though. But That's true. But it's so clean. I'd yeah. rather raise a four or seven or a nine five kind of. He does call. Big turn coming. 170. 170, I said. No, he put 170. No, I said 170. Yeah, but he put two. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, we can count the pot. 170, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, our dealers will handle it. Best dealers in the world here. Going to a turn. Oh, and it does come in, Will. What a feeling for Shalow. Yeah, and Liang still beating 10 nines, nine sevens, these type of hands, nine there fives. Some stuff he beats, but the four is certainly not his friend. No, he wanted to see an ace or a king. But Liang, you never know with this guy, Nick. Anything is on the table. The pure aggression factor with him. Nicely checks, though. Really well-timed, obviously. Doesn't want to see any... Oh, that's rough. And does Shalot go for the check raise now? He knows Liang connects with that card a fair amount. Not to say bet is out of bounds, but... If he does, this could get really interesting. And, and look, he does, Nick, Will. And this is such a smooth spot, right? Very even smooth. if even if Liang just has dust, the king may garner a bet from him, right? Exactly right. Brutal spot coming up for Liang. Yeah. Just really the worst card in the deck, right? Definitely. A red king. Obviously thinking about how much value he can get, but Little does he know he's going to be put to the test once that bet is made. And with a player like Liang, too, such an aggressive image, it just kind of even adds more <laughs> fire to Very the pit. Very much so. Chat, let us know, what do you think? Will Liang be able to get away after the probable check raise? Barring he just puts Shalo all in himself. But if he bets normal and gets check raised... Does declare 300. three, 300. 300. What do you think, guys? Oh. Can he get away? No, 800. 800. Goes for the pot. So he's about to get min raised. Yeah. All in. Sick. This is really sick, Nick. And the dream for Shalot. What a, what a 10 minutes seen, look, it's been. Look, he folded it not long ago. Ace-9 suited preflop. We were talking about the Matrix recalibration. It's crazy. And he's just He's back. here with the nuts on the river, Nick. And if he gets paid, he will be the chip leader of the tournament. Wow. Talk about a swing for the Frenchman. And what a spot just to double. What, like, what, how good does this feel right now? Oh, Nick? it feels so good. He's 
He's euphoric. He's just keeping it together. Though. He's. I have a six five here. And he, exactly I have a six five right. here, Liang. I have. I have right. dirt. I. But I. But and I. He does do it. There it is. And what a gross spot for Liang, who bet the pot too, Nick. Obviously, this is different if you bet small. <laughs> This is a really strong bet that Liang made and a really strong shove with not a lot of fold equity. Absolutely. What do you think, Jack? Can he get away? One, if you think he calls. Two, if you think Liang can fold. This would be an incredible fold, Nick, honestly. With all the draws that have missed here, you don't, it's, I'm not saying it's a snap call. No, I hear you. 1.5? 1.5? It's just such a strong hand, Nick. Ace King here. Can we ever get away from this? We certainly lose to all of the value. We only beat a bluff. But what is that value? There's no five deuces in there, really, right? Five deuce suited is five possible. Five deuce suited, okay. In the five seven off, as we can see, is possible. He's squinting. He's really calculating. Brutal spot for Xu Liang. And Xu Liang will still be healthy relatively but this will be a crippling pot for him if he calls and loses indeed time banks they've all gone in well last time how much left only one this last one oh and handcuffed by the time he does call He'll see the oh. bad news, and, and we have a new chip leader, Will. Wow. <laughs> Boy, ben that time snuck up on him pretty quickly. Benjamin Button. I only the three, Frenchman yeah. takes Sorry. the chip lead. I, yeah. Nick, I think he was out of time chips. I know that that's what the dealer said, but it seemed awfully quick to me. Yeah, and he seems frustrated, too. Uh, well, she said, you know, you, you, you only have one. and he I lose so much that I decide not to take the room and just go back to my mm, Airbnb. Sure. I, I'm i pretty much dust at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, a few more sessions to go awry. Before I know it, I'm in the main event, day three. Can we get these guys to take a little break here so I can finish the story? Go on. It's we'll okay. She, she was going to min raise, but we're here. Go on, Will. Anyway, the main event is now my last hope. I have no more cash on me. Okay. And I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm licking my wounds. Sure. But it's day three. I've got a big stack. Okay. Good I, spot. I bust in horrific fashion. <laughs> okay. Of course. I cry. Real okay. tears. If right there at the table or when you left? No, no. I would never okay. do that at the table. Yeah, I left. Go back to my Airbnb. I have a band with 5000 in it. Okay. Should book a flight home, but I go to the closest casino, which I believe is the Gold Coast. Okay. Before I know it, I'm spinning. There's like a young kid explaining like what I'm doing strategically to two older Asian women, it looks like, at the table. I'm down to my last $200. Down to your last 200 yes. as we see Guan Chang defend. A little climactic. We'll finish that story in a okay. second because we, yeah, we, we do have action here. Oh. 470 in the middle, not a lot behind for Chen. And what a flop for it him. It is indeed oh his flop. What a good feeling, Nick. <laughs> You've got a player like Xu Liang, super aggressive, not a lot of chips behind. You flop top two here. So nice. Shu going to continue the aggression, and is this trappable, Nick? I think, is it what? Is trappable? It, is it trappable? I think it is. He it keeps an eye on ace low, ace middle, king middle, but raising and just hoping Liang is priced in with a variety of stuff is certainly understandable. Against a player like Shu, too, this would this would be where I would really be considering it, right? Just this guy could have anything, Nick. Just peel one and then get in on the turn. I think in theory we don't do it too much. He's so shallow. 
But in practice, it, it does feel kind of nice but versus are we, Liang. With a player like Liang at this point, are we are we putting Theory Land to the side a little? Yes, somewhat. I think this is what Chen is thinking about. I think this is a real decision here. It is a real decision. One thing with the not going all in, we do sometimes lose EV when they have something like Ace Jack. It comes a deuce and they just check it back. And are and we so costing? We're, yeah, we're costing ourselves. There's when, some yeah, of that yeah, sometimes. Fair point. Oh, he is doing it though, Will. Yeah, I like it. I really like Go this. Go on, Nick. Chen. I like this. Setting the trap for the aggressive shoe. Also, maybe thinking Shu might be a little more tilty now. Perhaps. And this is the kind of yeah. card that Shu might represent. And this card, it, it not only is it great for Shu to kind of barrel him off of a 10 or a potential 4. Exactly. It gives him a little bit of equity with the straight draw as well. Very slippery from Guan Cheng. Agreed, Will. Again, it's just one hand, Nick, but it's a little peek into these players that we haven't seen a ton from. You're right. There's some crafty navigation going Nick. on. look at this, Nick. The trap is going to work to perfection. The and aggression now continues. now with 350, yeah, I, I do it's believe time. it's time. It's time. This would be excessive yeah. to... Yeah. There, he knows it's time. And, and Liang, just what a disastrous few hands for him, Nick. Indeed. Has to Can call, he hit the jack? He's priced well. in, needs a jack, or he's going to be down over under a million chips after. I think he may have come into that hand with Shiloh as the chip leader, Nick. It cometh and it goeth. Perhaps he can find the jack. And Chen, looking at a $1.4 million pot coming his way, if he can just hold here, 91%, Nick. And to touch on what you were saying before about not giving up, navigating the short stack, this can happen. Spins are so real. Huge river coming. He does hold. Bravo, Chen Guanchang with the slow play. Very nice. Waited perfectly, you know. So you're down to your last two hundo. My last there's two a, hundo. There's a crowd. I have, I They're have sweating. Two, I have two black chips. Okay. I, I get the dealer to chop one. I put 100 on black. And I bet three numbers. Okay. Four numbers. The 25 You're in main. tears on the way to the roulette table. This guy is getting a, a nine-hour massage and just spinning it back. Unbelievable I'll difference in personalities <laughs> as we see Maxim picking up a hand 160 here. 160 declared. And I, uh, these are fascinating spots too, Nick. I'm always tempted to just pile here with the ace three suited. I know what you mean. It's, it, the, it's the PLO player in me not wanting to fold my and, equity. And also, I get it. 12 bigs, it's a common idea, but the deeper we get, the more prone we are to min. JNT going to defend the big with the same hand, but not suited. And JNT is pretty short now, too, Nick. Only a pot size bet behind. Really like that jacket, too, Nick. The Tigers, the flight. That jacket is cool. Oh, well, this is pretty salty for JNT to somehow just be getting stone free rolled right now. How is now, he getting Will? free rolled here? He <laughs> flops a wheel with four big blinds. How do you defend the big here and you're just this up is against just it? As dirty as it comes, Nick. Zero and, and percent it's, it's versus gotta be trap raise. time, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. And there it is, time. Nick. And that's so cold for for JNT. Au revoir, my friend. They'll be just brutal. Or you Absolutely <laughs> brutal. Cold. Yeah, it doesn't get colder than that for JNT. He just can't believe the bad news. You flop a wheel, Nick, in the big mind, and That's you're up crazy. against a steel wheel draw. Really, no reaction from the table. Surely they'll. These guys are all such cold no, savages, Nick. No, Where are the emotions no, here? No, they're gonna. Come on. Really? Nick. Just nothing? Nothing, Nick? He flops a wheel and he's drawing <laughs> death? Okay, Shalom. Shalom saying friend. something in French? Or that's... Saren Elias to beat you a pickleball. Yeah, he never played you. you. No, you prepaid me. But he never played you. No way. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you get Don't snapped in the bet like the I lost to I lost to the tennis like, to the guy with the frying pan. Like, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, yeah. he was making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> He was, he was making, he was roasting you. Uh, Eight, three, like, deuce, uh, not going to do it, Nick. Runners for a low straight, four, five, Roman, looking for to go with the king to win straight up. I was up 
ugly deuce. And then I botched a volley that would have won me the game, and then I kind of started tilting. <laughs> and I lost 6 2. <laughs> Big double up here, and Roman is crippled, Nick. Not long ago, he had 1.8 million chips. Now he's down to 380K. He was also like breathing really heavy, where I'm like, this is not to be over. And look, we've Nick, seen some spins, but indeed. I don't like to kick a horse on the ground when it's on, barely breathing. It's okay. But I'm going to kick the belly a little. Even these savages, these stone cold killers, these robots, they may tilt too, Nick. They may tilt too. They, they absolutely may. They're human, as far as we know. They have passports. Pretty clean for Chen Guan Cheng. Yeah, Chen now on the spin up trail after that nice double versus uh, Liang earlier. 320. And gets Shalot to bite. That he does. Shalot really representing the low cards. And again, a little glimpse into the Chen has this trapper style, Nick. I like the way Chen goes about his business. He's also very calm. Very smooth. Yeah. Can you pull <laughs> off the bucket hat, or is that a little, little too uh, I go bucket hat really? sometimes. Wow. I just like it when the lights are there for yeah. obvious reasons. Oh, it's feature very table bucket cozy. hat. Yeah, yeah. interesting. I don't really wear it in life too much. No, not to a dinner or something? <laughs> not to a dinner. Yeah, that makes sense. And Chen, just great board so far for him, right? Has the flush draw, blocks the straights. I mean... Very comfortable. We're concerned, but... He might be toying with Ray as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem out of the question here. I think he's got the call. Yeah, he's got the call. Okay. Great. And does Shalot want to empty the clip here? Yeah. It does look like a clip emptier. Over a million in the middle going to a river. Not a great one for Shalot, though. No. It's really ambitious now. Although, if we check, we lose type of thing. Yeah, this is just pure heart <laughs> if you go for this. There are certainly targets, Ace of Hearts, Jack. Oh, he puts him this all This guy in. is a blaster, Nick. Benjamin. And... Chen, unlike the hand with Liang, this is not a trap to snap. <laughs> this is not a trap to snap. That's well put, Will. We can't really see how many banks he has. There it is. And they're all in the middle. Savage bluff from Shallow. Just, Very just much street, so. street poker here, Nick. And can Chen sniff it out? Really good blockers to do so. What does Chen come with here? This will be, if he makes the correct decision, Nick. Another one of these pots we've seen, Shalo go into the chip lead. Chen will now go from a short stack to one of our bigger stacks if he can make the call here. Can he come with it? So tough calling off your tournament life, 33 left. It really left. is, Nick, because you know if you fold, you're still there. It, right, exactly. That always messes with me that mentally. That underlying psychology is brutal. It's 100%, Nick. Yeah. You're a hundred percent to remain. The if muck, you fold. I'm in that seat. <laughs> the lights correct. are on me. He's absolutely right. He's very composed, though, Guan Cheng. He's really thinking it through. Extremely comfortable. And credit to Shalo. This is the. This is what you do. You put people in spots. He's genuinely uncertain here. But yeah, the calm, coolness of it makes me lean that he'll end up on the right decision. But I don't know. Very big pot for these players, also for Shalot, just padding that chip lead if this gets through, Nick. Indeed. Setting up a real nice final table runway. Time is ticking too, Nick, so it stressful. certainly is. He can't have much time. What I always find frustrating is Chen, a lot of these players, they act very quickly, all tournament, all tournament. And then when the big spot comes, you never have enough time. Yeah, exactly. You wish you could save it up, you know what I mean? I do. 
Shalot cool as a cucumber. Let us know what you think, chat. One for call, two for fold. And welcome back to continuing coverage of event number three, the 25K Silver Main from right here at the Landing Casino on Jeju Island, South Korea. Alina Shah stepping into the booth beside Brian Rast. And Brian, I know you were here. You took us from 15 down to this final table, which is now set. But certainly there could have been some other faces present at this table. Uh, you know, a little bit of unluckiness perhaps for the likes of Adamo, who was on that final table bubble. And then you got Jaffe out in 14th. Ike Haxton could have shaken out a bit differently. Differently. Certainly, yeah. I, quite a few of the well-known poker names went out here in this play down from when I got here, 15th, uh, now 9 at the final table. I mean, the names you just mentioned, you know, the thing that stands out to me with that is uh, Michael Adamo actually had quite a bit of chips. He wasn't first, but in, in the top couple spots. And uh, there was a spot where with $1.75 in the pot, he could have shipped ace-queen off versus an open and a three bet when all the remaining players only had about 20 blinds would have added to a stack. He basically would have launched up into being tied for first with chips, um, but passed up the spot. And from there, I actually think he didn't drag another chip and now he's out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very sliding doors moment for him in this tournament. Uh, but that said, we have a bunch of great players left. I'm really excited to wind, wind this out with you. So far, the action has been fast and furious. I caught some glimpses of it as I was headed in myself. Obviously, storylines, which we'll get to. Jason Kuhn, eighth in chips right now. A little short with 11 big blinds, but chasing his 11th Triton title. Might he be able to punch one in early here? Of course, that almost 2-1 to one chip lead for the Lithuanian Polyus. Also something to keep an eye on as we are just about set to send Send you down to our tournament director, Luca Vivaldi, who will be in charge of the intros. So without further ado, let's take the final table of event number three. We are on the second event. We're at the final table. Another record was broken. 298 entries in this 25K. Please let me introduce you to the final table. EC number one from China, 1.3 million. Please welcome Cheng, Guan Cheng. Guan Cheng, first ever Triton, didn't cash in the 15K. EC number two from the US, 7.3 million. Please put your hand together for Dan Smith. Smith, a household name to anybody who follows the high stakes circuits. 18.1 million in career Triton earnings. This is 18th cash, has just one title. C number three, also from the US, 2.2 million. Please put your hand together for Jason Kuhn. As we touched upon the most decorated of all Triton Warriors, 26.2 million in career Triton earnings. This is his 42nd cash, chasing that 11th title. From Belarus with 6.7 million, please welcome Maxim Vaskrezenski. Nicely tackled surname there by Luca. The Belarusian that we normally talk about is Makita Batsukusi, but here is this man at his first Triton making a mark yet to cash here. C6 in from the US, 6.7 million. Please welcome Aram Oganian. Oganian managed to finish 39th in the only other event he played. That was the 20K8 Max, 31,000 in career earnings, chasing his first title here at his first Triton. C number seven, 3.1 million from Czech Republic slash Poland. Please welcome Roman Rabetz. Two for two thus far is the Czech Hrabic. 1.2 million roughly in Triton earnings. Five caches. This is sixth, chasing his first title. 8.3 million for C number eight from Germany. Please welcome Alex Katzeb. 0 oh for two thus far is Alexander. Failing to cash in the 15K and the 20K before this at his first Triton. C number nine from the US, 7.8 million. Please welcome Joseph Chong. Another one of our newcomers obviously making their mark here. Joe, not at all inexperienced, yet to cash here. A third attempt, though, is the charm. Last but not least, our chip leader with 60 million from Lithuania. Please welcome Polius Vaitiekunas. 
YT Equinox 31st in the 15K, 8 max for 29.5. This is second ever Triton. Watson has been drawn to seat number eight. We still have the last 10 to be played at 100, 200, 200. Best of luck, everyone. Daniela, shuffle up and deal, please. Thank you, Luca. 100, 200 with a 200K ante means half a million in orbit is the price of poker. Obviously, the weight of that being felt mostly by those at the bottom of this leaderboard. Brought to you by GG Poker. Massive chip leader, of course, is the Lithuanian. Big drop off, and it does seem like the stage is set for chip accumulation and obviously for potentially one of our newcomers to win a title here in the first of our seven figure payouts. One and a half million roughly up top, 149,000 on lockup, $33,000 the jump from ninth to eighth of this $7.45 million prize pool. And Kuhn with 11 big blinds, Rast, if a spin is obtained and he gets up to that 22 big blind stack, much more playability. Obviously, he can loosen the collar a little bit and maybe, just maybe, pick up that 11th. You know, he has a lot of work to do. I mean, the tail of this final table, if I'm looking at the chip counts, is, I mean, Paulius, the swag lord, he has double second. I mean, he's really started to run away and separate himself. But then there is that group second through sixth. I mean, they're only separated by eight big blinds, right? So that's a big group. So, I mean, Kuhn would have to double twice just to get in that group. And then in that group, he's well, still going to be a little guys. bit handcuffed. Right. I don't know. So, I told you to turn it off. You know, he's not... He's got a lot of work to do now. Jason Kuhn has done that and everything else, you know, in, in No Limit Hold'em tournament final tables. But, yeah, he has a long way to go uh, at 11 big blinds right now. And he's part of... Below that group, second through sixth, there's uh, Roman, Jason, and Chen, who are all short stacks. Yeah, they are the three beneath the current average stack of 6.6 .6 million. That's good for 33 bigs, as we see the ace nine under the gun for the shortest of stacks, Chen Guancheng. Range-wise, there may be some anticipations that this would be a little bit broader than average in consideration of the fact that he's about to take a trip through the blinds. But that trip is going to be free of charge, courtesy of the pickup. So to speak, of course. Oh, bad news for the shorties, Rast. 125, 250, just like that. Now, the silver main was 40-minute levels for the first the 10. Then we went down to 35 minute levels. We are steady at that at the final table, but once we get down to six players, we will abbreviate further down to 30 minutes. Oh, it's already up. That's kind of scam. Wow, so it went up on his on the second hand on his big blind. Yeah, that's painful. Yeah, when you're short, that's, that's pretty rough. With a three, it's hard to imagine another card he's gonna play there. Indeed, into the muck it goes. Definitely not going to play nines. I'm Max. sorry, threes. My, my mistake. Maxim, suited and connected, declares the raise, upsizing here. Yeah, I think it's because um, the shortest stack with only six bigs is in the big blind, so when he raises, he's never folding versus him. So I think the upsize has everything to do with uh, the big blind stack size. Oh, and that big blind has woken up with an ace-queen jamming. Things really couldn't be going much better for Chen Guancheng. Do we anticipate that the remainder will be called? And yes, obviously, we've got 650 out there. Just another 900. Not the way that Maxim scripted this one, playing for 3.5 million with 8 high. That said... All things considered, he, he can't be too disappointed. I mean, he knows that when the big blind goes all in, he's going to be behind. But to see that his cards are live there versus ace-queen off with no clubs, it's not bad. Oh, my gosh. I'll take the over on not bad when you can flop middle pair and a club draw on this ace-high board. Just look at the equity. A coin flip from here forward. Of course... Things change once the ace hits the turn. Trips for Guancheng. Still vulnerable to a club, however. Wow, look at that equity, how it shifted. Whoa. Quad aces wow. on the river, and Guan Cheng is feeling it. 
Understandably. Well, he's two for two right now. It's been two hands at the final table, and he's won both of them. Double, double. Thank you. Just the dream for him, obviously somewhat nightmarish for Maxim, who will slip beneath the average. 5.2 million. <laughs> now Kuhn is solidly in ninth and going to take the big blind pretty soon. So he has nine big blinds, and the two of them will go in the pot on the next hand when he takes the big blind. Well, listen, there's not a situation that can develop on the felt, in particular at a Triton Super High Roller Series, that's going to be overwhelming or too big a challenge for the likes of Jason Kuhn, just every situation studied. Well, pretty sure this hand is too much. Queen Jack's Curious good. to see what he thinks. I mean, there are two stacks, the 13 and 14 bigs, but this is a pretty good hand. Yeah, I think too much to pass. I would have played it myself, and I'm glad to see that Jason approves of that message because uh, that's a man who knows what's up. One point seven of his two point two out there, never going away oh if the rest is requested. You see Guan Cheng asking for a count with the Queen nine suited. I'm not sure this is a candidate. Yeah. Raise <laughs> Oh, oh no. wow. Smith just wakes up with the needles. Disaster for work, Jason man. Kuhn. The, club, the, club, the flop's been having a lot of clubs on him. Yeah. You just don't want the same flop in the same turn. That's all you don't want. You want the same type of flop. I see you, Jason. Really. Oh, what a good turn. Nine, six four, tray. That uh, is a so dusty you know. flop for Queen Jack of Clubs. Thanks, man. <laughs> Turn could get interesting, and there is a queen to prevent allowed, Jason right? if you pitch it to me, I mean, can I sweat a face down if from drawing agrees? dead? No? All right. You'll get the jack of hearts. Mm. Oh. Oh. Good game, Jason. At the queen Good game, Jason. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh. You called me that, I thought so disrespect. <laughs> a short-lived stint <laughs> here at the final table, and perhaps a sigh of relief to be breathed by those looking to claim the title as one of the toughest adversaries you could ever hope to be up against at an FT has been vanquished in ninth. 149,000, not too shabby. Not at all. And obviously we haven't seen the last of Jason Kuhn here in Jeju. But certainly the last of him here at this FT in the silver like main. That, so we can have a chance. You guys will agree? Let's uh, loop all. Huh? Loop. Yeah, let's go. Pause the Blind final table. Like I almost want to play both. You can register and play here and there. Oh, yeah, oh no. <laughs> I know. He's small to table, man. I'm small blind. I'm going to be the first time. Okay. Ace queen for Aram up front. Certainly going to play this. Oh, he's he's going substantially bigger than the min raise, which is which is interesting. Oh, three bets. From Joe Chong with this King Ten of Clubs. Yeah, in position versus the UTG Open. He's taking a hand, a nice hand, s suited Broadway here, and uh, nice attacking it, it with a three bet. In the face of that under the gun open from Oganyan, who isn't exactly short stacked. Well, see? Pretty. Things can work out sometimes Some when you put pressure on. Good cards raise. Huh? Oh, time bank? Do you use the time bank? The ace queen finds oh. the oh, bin I I rest. Oh, I did. How many seconds do we have? Any thoughts on the lay down? Uh, it came in quickly, too. He didn't oh, yeah, chew I on it. Pretty quick there. First flop. Yeah, I, two, I mean, it's a pretty snug lay down. I saw your cards. Huh? You know? You said I saw your cards. Um, 
that no, said, I play my cards. huh? I play my there's cards. There's very. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. good cards are raised. I understand. Sorry, I was just letting. Better of course, there's very extreme ICM no. at this point in the tournament. I mean, you know, you just you go know, to look, like and eighth place gets 182,000, and we're getting jumps Thanks. all the way yeah, up to, yeah. you know, 700, 900, 1.4 oh, no, or something, good. at the top. Me? So, okay. you know, uh, whenever there's extreme ICM, it, it, the Silicon Overlord doesn't really like. You know, you got three bet, you call, you play a pot. The reason being is that the chips you lose are worth a lot more than the chips you gain in those spots, okay. especially when you've got these, like, middling-type stacks. So it's just that's why you see a three bet like that. Like, it can work quite a bit. It puts a lot of pressure on, and your opponents have to make tough decisions. Well, there's going to be a tough decision for Fabic, potentially. Obviously, a click back of ace-queen with his under-the-gun open, which is to the minimum, mind you. Differing in that way, but a dominant ace for the chip leader. Yeah, Roman's going to have a decision here. To, you know, does he think that the chip leader is messing with him? He Note that Maxim has a pretty one here, but in the face of an under-the-gun open and a three-bet, the ace-10 of clubs starts to wither a bit. Wow, he's going for the cold four. So... He thinks that the chip leader is messing around here often enough for yeah. him to do it. And that's going to save Roman because with the, all this action, you know, maybe he would have done something like that himself. That but difficult. facing the cold <laughs> four, he can just just has to get out. Yeah, the decision made so much more simple for Hrabic. And now, of course, for Paulius, he can put the remaining 2.9 on request yeah. now as the two little words cross his lips. And... A snap fold of the ace 10 as Maxim unraveling a little bit here. Not in terms of decisions, just the chip stack. Yeah, he went for it. You know, saw the chip leader making a three bet and said, I'm going to take this uh, suited yeah. ace here, and uh, I don't know if I believe him. I'm going to try to win these chips. Eight, nine, One eight, has to clubs. reasonably yeah, imagine that <laughs> ace king down. is. <laughs> Much just, more hand than would have been required. Like, I'm definitely raising this guy's big blind. No matter what, this guy's a fucking dish. <laughs> For Paulius to put in that three bet. Certainly, <laughs> yes. Maybe the right kind of hand to put in the five bet all in, but uh, definitely yeah. he could have been three betting much wider there. I mean, he has a huge chip lead here, and it just got bigger. Huh? So now, you know, now we can see <laughs> it's... Things like this are going to happen. I mean, He's going to start applying pressure. Just you, king blocker. That's it. Let's run over these guys. You know, he's opening this from the low jack. And even though Roman is very incentivized to play tight from the big blind, this is a lot of hand to fold to a min raise. It's a tough spot. He's definitely, yeah, we're normally used to seeing guys defend super wide. This is so easy. In this type of ICM position, this is tougher, but I, I think Roman thinks this is too strong. But a hand like, for example, Jack-3 suited, which we always see people defend, mm. he's probably folding there. Jack-4 suited. But yeah, once you get this good, I think he decides it's t too good to defend. Well, while it might have been good to defend for the min-raise pre-flop here, five trade deuce, one club, and it certainly is less good at this point. Yeah, so because of that, this flop might not be quite as good for his range as it normally would be, and not as bad for the opener's range as it normally would be since he's going to have some junk hands like the one he opened. I'm curious to see, maybe he even just opened jams here. It puts hands like, like say, deuce-queen suited in really bad shape. Just really leverage. Okay, he's going for a small bet. I don't see how Roman can continue. Obviously, there's always suspicions that the big stack is just wielding the hammer right now, but you really just don't have much ammo. And Roman does reluctantly make the fold. I get a waiter. Thank you. 
And I suspect that's going to be a theme, Rast, is Polyus just putting you people in ICM friend, jail. Right? Who? Torch. Uh, Leona. Yeah. Smaller. Yeah. Where is he? I like that phrase, so ICM always, jail. Huh? He yeah. didn't want to. You don't want to? Your apartment, stuff to do. You guys are good friends? Yeah. Do you guys it's get easy to like, like when you're not you're the involved. person yeah, being incarcerated. Yeah. Third time now. Sorry. Well, well we get to appreciate from the uh, confines of the that. booth right yeah. here. Much cozier than being subjected to the onslaught from Polyus. Note, by the way, that the opens and the three bets here have come with reasonable kit more so than out of line stuff. Uh, the King Six was also. No, that was that was out of line. I mean, not for situationally it was. Situationally it wasn't, but you know, I mean, King Six off is definitely not an open from the low jack in a normal situation. I mean, far like not even close. But yeah, I mean the. Uh, a runaway chip leader gets to be a bit out of line. So, th I mean, this is an another, yes, you're under the gun, but this is definitely an open. Jack 10, up we go. Again, probably not an open, actually, under the gun eight-handed uh, normally, but when you're the chip leader, I, I think you get to open this. And look, see, a seven-suited muck game. Yep. Deuces for Rabic. No. He too concedes. Fives Ooh. though in the big for Joe Chong. Yeah, he's going to see three. Sure. And he's got a decent amount of chips, so. Okay. And an interesting board here. Certainly it is. Wheel gutter. Second pair effective on the ace high flop. And the sense that Paulius. Doesn't have to be condensed in range with the under the gun open by any stretch. No, he's now he's not going to be super wide under the gun, but he's going to have a lot of hands. So this is not a spot where Polyus has as much of a range advantage. But again, he is the chip leader. He has twice as many chips. He's definitely going to put some pressure on. And we can see how much pressure he's want, the Swag Lord wants to put and uh, how sticky... Chiang is going to be. He does tear one off in a disastrous turn here insofar as it's given Polyus the best hand with two and a half million roughly in the middle. So he kind of has a couple options now. He can't really bet twice for value. He could, could bet the turn and check back river or he can check back and then kind of see what happens in position on the river. Goes for the ladder. As Chong checks one final time. Can you push this a red a bit more in front? I didn't do this. His that hand now. is close to like a value bet. Would Joe play an ace in this way? Right there, right? He m he might. He might, but he could also easily have a four or a deuce or a lower pair. It's nice it's that you ha yeah, have the jack of spades. Not five, massive, but it does block five. a few combos that make backdoor flushes. <laughs> so, and yeah, you know, he's going to have some no pair hands here that, that would love to bluff, right? Like what about what queen nine We're suited, you know, like <laughs> any king X suited, he would have opened any of those. We yeah. know air is certainly a part what do you live? of the what equation uh, at this yeah. point. But for 700,000, will we pay to find out? Yeah, I like this was a this was a nice little find for a value bet. I, I like that. This uh, Apollius, the swag lord, is, uh, I mean, he's running like God, but he's yeah. playing pretty well. I mean, listen, making the most of run good, making the most yeah. of the chip lead, these are all things to be given credit for as he is up now at almost 22 million and... The victim on this occasion, Joe Chong, who yes. slips down to seven. If we get at the same table like you, I need to just sit out. Yeah. Just only play eight nine of clubs. Just, just Listen, if you never feel uncomfortable when you're value betting, you're not value betting enough. 
and then leave again. So. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're leaving meat on the bone if you're not experiencing those sentiments on the end. Yep. It's like the under bluffing kind of situations, you know, you realize like you can't expect to just make hands every single time you enter a pot. There's going to yeah. have to be, you know, times you probably have the best hand and can definitely get called by worse, but it's not a sure thing. King Jack for Alexander. Takes a big size there versus yeah. the chip leader's big blind and uh, just takes it down. Had a stack, by the way, that's deep enough to pose a problem potentially if all of a sudden Paulius decided to be relentless. Yeah, he definitely has a stack that can get attacked. I mean, his stack has a lot of ICM pressure on it once the a lot sure. of chips start going in. But at the same time, the perception is that he's not going to be ignorant of that, so the open no. should be able to take some heat from he, time to time. He's probably opening pretty tight there yeah. on the button, like much t uh, definitely tighter than a normal button opening range for sure. $182,000, by the way, is the on-tap payout for eighth place. The jump to seventh, which is 248,000, is 66K. Bit of a wake up here. He's probably gonna play just about 100% of hands in this spot where the big blind is sixth in chips and uh, he has ace eight suited, which is a big hand. All things considered. Not so big a hand, 9-6 off as Chen goes away. You could see he even looked back and gave a little, like, like disgust. Like, wow, this is big. I mean, it's not big, but he's Whatever, just man. playing any two <laughs> cards in that spot. So Whatever, he dog. actually has a real hand. So as the dealer change comes in, we give you another look at that total seven and a half million roughly and how it is shaking out. That first seven figure payday awaits one of these eight combatants. That peak brought to you by GG Poker. And I don't know about you, Rast, but when I'm at a table and I'm not the guy who's in the polyus situation, anointed with the privilege, deep levels of envy percolate through my veins as I observe the guy operate, you know? It's like, hey, listen, Give me 90 blinds, I promise you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to play them too in a setup such as this. From a human standpoint, I understand where you're coming from, but it's a lot of wasted thought because I'll tell you what, these other guys have a lot to think about. Um, uh, by the way, Rest, a lot of wasted yeah. thought is a fair way to categorize most of my thoughts, so <laughs> don't be too surprised by that. Be these guys got have to figure out how to work within the confines that they have. I mean, we even saw an interesting decision earlier with the cold four by Maxim. I thought that was an interesting spot to take and uh, definitely didn't hate it. You can just see though, it's just like that train wreck you're waiting to happen because you know the guy with three bet has ace king, it's not gonna work, you know, because we can see the hands, but he doesn't know that. He just thinks, oh, okay, the chip leader's probably Taking no, advantage I, here, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for it. Pounced. So. Gears were turning. It was yeah. an understandable line. Unfortunately, he ran into it. So it's when you're shorter here, you got to really wait and try to find the spots. Because mm. they, they're not going to come up all the time, like when you're the chip leader. Right. And it just, like, folded to you. You just get to open, you know, 80% or 50% or any two cards. Or, you know, those. you just get an abundance of those spots. Raise and take it there for the ace five suited of Rabic. Raise. Ace ten off suit. Min raise. Gets through Paulius. That's always a sigh of relief. Seven three off, not going to be a defendable holding. Been tough so far for Maxim. And that's a victory. 
there for Alexander. I mean, to put this in perspective, like he's opening through the chip leader into five people. And, you know, I mean, you have ace-10 off, but you definitely don't want to get three-bet by no. anybody. So just taking it down is, is a is a W. And not a great seat draw for him either, Rast. You know, obviously Joe Chong in a worse situation, but being kind of to the right of that chip leader is debilitating. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely hoping... Uh, people go out quickly because he's going to be handcuffed. Please. Not with kings. Opens once more. And now the dynamic. Is he opening a lot? Right. Is this dude getting speedy right now? <laughs> Trying to steal my thunder with jack seven. Polly is not interested in finding out. Queen 10 suited though for Maxim. 2.3 million in front of him. 10 bigs to start. But in the small blind, now if he was in the big blind, he'd play for sure. But in the small blind, it's a tricky situation here with the ICM pressure. He's the same stack as Roman. Plays as a flat. And this is a troublesome scenario developing with one five in the middle. Wow. But that is a flop that will very much keep him out of trouble, one would think. Heartless Kings, though, for Alexander. See how he approaches the matter. This is not a board he needs to see bet all the time, so he could definitely come with either check or bet here. And his specific hand likes checking decently, so not surprising here yet yeah, to see him choose to check. The reason being is that Maxim can definitely have a decent amount of flushes here. Now we don't anticipate that it'll have too many wheels, however. So the arrival of the five, not as much of a concern. More so the ace. Yeah, very few wheels for, for either player, really. Few, few to none, really. 450. And look at Vasco. Krasinski seizing the initiative, leads 450, and the Cowboys dismount. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so he's he's taking one of his uh, worst hands and gave it a shot bluffing, and Kings got right out, didn't get sticky at all. No, had kind of had their mind made up off of those 10 bigs, the flat from the small blind Alexander, thinking that the range is fairly condensed, a willingness you know, with the, the wheel present, you know, not again that there's too many 3x combos, but the ace more so and the heart combos just decides what am I doing here if I call this turn, I'm future free on the river. Even to make a set of kings, we would have 50% of the time been staring at four hearts on the board. So where do we hope to go? Really, we're begging for a check on the river. Yes. Yeah, you, I think if you call there, you're, you're kind of hoping your opponent... One stab shuts down and yeah. you just win. That That's really what you're hoping for, which is not an unreasonable thing to hope for. I mean, you know, it was a smallish bet given the size of the pot, so that only needs to happen some, you know, whatever it was, like 25 or more percent of the time. But, yeah, no, I'm not saying he should have called the tough spot. And you can see how uh, sometimes just being aggressive yeah. and putting your opponents in, in tough spots gives you ways to win. Two data points now on Maxim, by the way, the heart of a lion beating in the chest. Hat tip to him. You have a cold four. The yep. Zero equity bet there on the turn. I mean, he definitely looks like a guy who's willing to mix it up, be aggressive, and uh, try to win. Well, Kravich certainly in a position to win here with top pair on a queen eight five board against the chip leader. Min Ray's open. Legitimate kit once more in the ace ten of hearts, but not really a pleasant looking texture with one four in the middle. Yeah, I mean, I, he's, I don't think we're going to see any slow playing here. You know, you got just over one to one stack to pot ratio. You're pretty short. It, you, you got the chip leader. It, if he's got top pair beat here, God bless his soul, I'm on my bike. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to come. That's my read, and I think Roman's going to get to the same. Little conclusion. tickle, C bet. You don't really love slow playing in these kind of spots either because it does increase your chances of loses versus hands that fold. So with ICM, and I, I've, one of the things I've found is ICM doesn't love that.
But, uh, I mean, not to say calling here is totally unreasonable. You do keep in bluffs, and he very well might keep bluffing you. Yeah, but trouble is, depending on that board run out, those bluffs can get scarier. All in. There's the check jam. And a snap fold yeah. from Paulius, of course. So I think Roman, was, that's the stuff I think he was thinking about. And in the end, I think he just felt like uh, no slow play. Pavic, by the way, has game. This we know. I've seen that. First joined us out in Vietnam, 2023. <laughs> Second in the 25K GG Super Millions for 653K to start that festival and then bookended it in his last event, which was the 100K main, finishing ninth for 324,000 there. Joined us in London, skipped Monte Carlo, and here he is, two for two, 18th and 25th in the 15 and 20K events. So obviously on form. And now back some Ace and King. Heart of a Lion wakes up with the hand of a lion. Mm. Ready to go to battle. The big slick. Will anyone join him? Ooh. Suited one gapper? Yeah. And the opener has over 10 blinds, I think, enough here for us to gamble, take the good pot odds, and see what three bring. Ace, 10, deuce. Lovely board for Maxim. Thank you. Yeah, this, this flop is all one-way traffic, so this will, pot's going to be over quick. Didn't take Nostradamus to predict that one, did it? <laughs> no. This is somewhat Marta Rosian esque fanfare being rocked by Maxim, though. I think those are the Gucci Tigers on the jacket. Usually on a Artur's hat, we see things of this nature. The guys love to step it up for a Triton FT. Yeah, I not the biggest of the swag noticers and enjoyers, but uh, I definitely see what you're saying. I mean, the red jacket. I mean, Paulius was definitely dressed much more modestly previously, but has gone right. swag lord, as Will was calling him. Let's not sleep on the silk I mean, for Dan Smith, by the yes. way. I mean, he had that made at our Vietnam festival oh, in, did he? in Hoi An, in one of the local textile shops. Okay. Custom piece there. There's the box okay. cars. Yeah, it custom made, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Dan, I see ya. Half a million to go. Queen eight cut off. Pause. Hey, he's and bright release. and colorful. Yeah. And then of course the Triton shop is always a safe place to go to get your swag. Joe, by the way, Rock, what are the emojis? This looks like a Murakami sort of situation. 743 as he defends with his suited one gapper. Not an awful texture for him. Doesn't expect necessarily to be behind, but bottom pair with the gutter, which is blocked by the sixes, is in a bad way. Yeah, both players are going to like this flop. Not love it, but like it. They, bo they both have a pair and a gutter. I don't think Joe has many options here besides call, just given the chip stack and and everything. Oh. oh my goodness, where do we find these turns? The six of clubs giving Chong the seven high straight and giving Paulius fits. Little does he know it, though, with a set of sixes. I mean, this is probably going to result in a double up for Chong. Let us await. 
It began with a 1.2 million chip lead. It was flatted by Polyus, and now another flat 1.2, which in relation to the pot now is considerably smaller. Yeah, I, I just don't see how Polyus is going to get away from this. But then again, if the board pairs, then Chung is probably going to be gone. So Content to just flat, of course, for the obvious reasons. Board does not pair, nor does the heart roll off, which might have created some restraint. Chong not worried about any 8-9 in a spot such as this, I would imagine? Um, I mean, it's of possible. Hearts, maybe, specifically? No, he could, he could have in, in other 8-9s. He bets the flop and then calls the turn, picking up an open-ender. But, but it's just like... Yeah, it's possible, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but now I'm get you, the, uh, I can. you, you, you can't well, be worried about... Five. I mean, you've got a straight. Well, you just... Three point By the way, I, forgive me because I mentioned... Five. Chong leading for 1.2 on the flop definitely was not the case. He check called the five and a yeah. quarter, so stand corrected there. He check called but then donked the turn. Right. Now this is not a donk. This is three and a half million, and it means business. And for understandable reasons, Polyus fixed on Chong, looking to figure out What's going on? I mean, I think he's starting to maybe get worried that how often am I beating value? It's possible. Maybe Chong could have a lower set. Unclear. I mean, there's not. he's going to have a five way more than that. But, you know, he's blocking six, five. I just, I mean, this would be a crazy fold. I, I don't see him being able to make it. He's also, he's like the chip leader. He's going to be pretty wide here. His, his hand is a little bit underrepped, but, I mean, we'll see what he comes with. If he's considering fold, it's that I'm not really beating any value. Maybe my opponent isn't bluffing enough for me to call. But I just, I mean, it would be an extraordinary fold given that he's beat. And I, I just don't see it happening too often. We've got a set. Hearts missed. Did he fold? He did. Oh, my. <laughs> Tremendous lay down there from Paulius what? as he was convinced that Chong was <laughs> not misbehaving. I've been taking acting wow. classes. It's crazy yeah, because... Nice play. <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> because, <laughs> honestly, he probably <laughs> triple barrels that if Chong just check calls him. Like Chong probably yeah, le won less right. than if he had just check called. Yeah, like I right. bet he would have tripled. <laughs> Interesting observation. Wow. By the way, Oganyan all over Chong saying you were bluffing there. Of course, as we know, he was I'm not. I, think it's I mean, felt, it's felt so, oh I, I guess he just You'll felt that. Really good at acting or not? <laughs> <laughs> Blinds up, by the way, one fifty three. <laughs> that after the turn lead and then river follow through for big size. Oh, man. Wow, whatever he saw, felt, intuited. That was that was a though, sick full. Yeah. <laughs> IMO, I could be wrong. Would you bet on it? Yeah. You would? Yeah. One to one? Yeah. I mean on How much? I, I'm not trying to be mean with to Joseph this you, at all, but it's like when sure someone can. makes okay. a fold like say, that versus TV, you, so. like he literally or, folded yeah. a hand that was uh, almost the next choice. worst, like beyond the seven high straight. The only hand, there were only a couple hands between that and a set of sixes, <laughs> right? Like he's value betting the seven high straight and a set of sixes folded. The only better hands possible were a set of sevens or a set of tens, mm. rivered set of tens. So it's like when your opponent does something like that to you, it's like, it's like, wow, I mean, I guess I didn't play the hand very well. And by the way, he just got a walk with ace-king suited. That was a nasty fold. Jesus. By the way, the conversation yeah, between Polyus and Joe Rast appears to be centering <laughs> on <laughs> on the live read no, factor. You know, Joe saying million. I was trying to look scared. <laughs> Polyus saying you're good enough you to don't fake play it. For 1.5 million every day. No. 
Не ви иде. Но и дам. I like that, by the way, a little post-mortem in spite of the fact that they are playing for the 1.5 over here. Yeah. Not, s not sensing that the discussion is going to somehow yield a competitive advantage at this point to, to either of them. But uh, looking relaxed. Paulius for the obvious reasons. Joe because he's in his element. But as he said, doesn't play for 1.5 every day. Very few do. Oganyan's open, has problems, has Alex T, has AK. He's going to three bet. I guess he's just deciding what size. <sighs> he's going small. Is the fact that this action is transpiring in front of Paulius something that augments our range assessments in terms of both parties with the open and the three bet? I mean, once it gets three bet, that really tightens up what Paulius is going to come in the pot with quite a bit. So I'd say not as much. I think the sizing thing is probably more related to just how short everybody is getting. I mean, you know, by the way, the blinds have gone up to 300,000. I don't think we mentioned it, but the, you can see it in the lower left there. So everybody's really short. So you end up starting getting kind of these small sizings short with ICM pressure so people call the three bets less so you kind of leverage with your fold equity without having to risk as much is sort of where it's coming from but yeah I don't think it's as big a deal that it happened in front of Polyus because Polyus is going to find better spots than when someone playing kind of tight opens and someone playing kind of tight as well three bets in front at that point you just need good cards even when you're the chip leader. Mm. On the topic of good cards, Oganyan, Jax. Yeah, much better than the ace nine off he just opened. Yeah. This one I think he's going to be ready to go to war with. King eight suited on the button for Polyus. And this is a candidate here, a three bet candidate here. You're going to find like uh, these ace X and king X blockers, but he passes and so far is, is, uh, he's been spot on. Yeah. And all these things. I mean, really hasn't put a foot wrong. Yeah. That was interesting. Chen took his small blind and then passed it toward Dan Smith, which kind of failed to acknowledge that there was an opener in the pot, perhaps thinking he was giving Dan a walk. But now Dan with queen 10 off, 8.3 back. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to see a flop here. Sure. Sensible defense. A tidy 600 submitted to C3. Covering stack for Smith. An ace jack five. Middle set for Oganyan, who's just praying that Smith has an ace nestled in there. But in fact, what he has is a Broadway gut shot, checking it over. He he has a pretty big range advantage here on this flop, given that he's opening a tight range. He's a short stack. We got a couple big cards, especially an ace, so. He's going to be betting this flop a lot. And Dan actually has not a bad hand considering that. He's getting immediately six and a half to one from the pot. And he's got a draw to the nuts. You know, RM has another three million back. So his implied odds are quite good on this. And it's going to be pretty easy to play. You, you basically call here. And if you get there, you put in a lot of money. And if you don't, you probably fold the turn. So the price deemed right to take a pull. 
which is fruitless, and now drawing dead is Smith as Oganyan fills up. So now a five is a card that Dan can really have and Aram can't. Mm -hmm. You know, that said, Aram can have a bunch of jacks full, aces full, and just aces up, which are going to be really a, either impossible or really difficult to get him to fold. Yeah, you know. I mean, the last of those breakdowns, obviously, the most probable. But even aces up is a tough ask. I mean, you, you're going to have to basically lead and then, like, lead putting them all in on the river and hope he folds. And you you got to keep an eye on the SPR, too. Make sure that it's going to be a meaningful enough sizing on the river Ooh, and he to successfully back. make that claim. And the check back on the river by Oganyan allows Smith to slide into a queen. Is it too much showdown value to feel compelled to barrel now? Well, the question is, does Dan want to throw out a blocking bet here? You hope you get called by a jack or maybe something like tens or nines, and maybe you don't get raised by an ace, right. maybe. So... I mean, Dan has the fives, as you mentioned, Brian, so the block bet obviously needs to be respected a bit. So he was thinking about that, but ends up passing it up, deciding it'd be better just to try to check and get the showdown versus those, and then decide versus a bet. I mean, we could easily see Dan just check here because he's going to check fold a decent amount and doesn't want to waste chips when he's beat. I don't know if you caught it, but as soon as the queen rolled off, right on the heels of the check by Oganyan, Dan immediately re reached for chips, and it's, it certainly felt to me like he was skewing in that direction, but I, ultimately... I did see him react to it, and this is a big bet, too, which is, uh, you know, Dan's never beating value with this... No, he's really never beating value versus a bet, but um, de definitely not with this size. 1.5... But this size starts to imply more like ace-jack, ace-queen, full house. Right, not the naked ace. king ace. but uh, well, I guess, you know what? No, I guess, you know, it could be ace to get a chop off, but you're, not, you're just not beating value as Dan. So, yeah, Dan checks in order to fold. So another good lay down there. As Smith able to resist the temptations. Despite Oganyan's best efforts to earn another call in that exchange. Yeah, Dan sussed it out, didn't put any more in the pot despite hitting the queen. Ooh. Habich. Potential open here. I think we're eight-handed, right? So he's under the gun seven. It's a dicey spot. Got some blockers. Yeah. I don't blame him for this. This is one of those things where ICM means you have to be tighter here. And so this hand, which is just a fringe open for Chip EV, becomes a fold. So I think that's a cool thing about Roman. He's definitely shown gears, gears of a guy who can try real hard to win pots, but also a guy who, when he's handcuffed, can, can kind of be tight and try to survive. Mm -hmm. Certainly respected presence on tour is Radic, although he's looking for a more respectable stack, currently sitting with 11 bigs. Do we get more Oganyan, by the way, on form, first ever Ten. Triton, Ten? Yeah. played the 20K, finished 39th. I'm planning to stay here. Now here he is, think for five two minutes. for two, and the payout TBD. Ben has a lot. Are you, are you stalling for the levels to go up or what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What do you got wrong? Three. You know, it's interesting. Prior to this hand here, the only hand that wasn't actually playable for Paulius, who we expect to be V-pipping, was the King-6. 
Now here he is, king four, but the point to be made that he's really had it a lot. Yeah, yeah, he has had some pretty good hands, but I mean, he's also just easy game. had some nice well, opens with bad Very hands easy. as well. And but other than the king six, was he, I don't but try and I'm struggling to recall a spot where the hand wasn't he's actually kind of worthwhile. Yeah. King four. Yeah. That one there. Too. Yeah. Well, for those who haven't already done so, get yourself a GG Poker account. Why? Because that's where you can qualify for the World Series of Poker main event with as little as just a dollar. Starting in April, the road to Vegas begins. Satellites running through June 6th from April 1st. More details available on the GG Poker website. He he raised 6-3 offsuit, I think, in the small blind as well. But was that before you got here? If it wasn't at the final table, yeah. I don't, yeah, I, I'm just, I know I saw it, so I don't, I don't remember if you were here yet or not. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if you know, if you were, if you were. Ace queen now for Chong. I know you just saw your three of a kind in the situation. You were like, yo, I got set. <laughs> Takes us up. I believe this mic is set. It's all good, man. You bluffed me and took the chip lead. Ooh. Hello, tens. Uh, so Joseph nice. is gonna have a, a pretty Fire tight open. range here from well on it. under the gun seven opening through the chip leader. You never got Not bluffed. super, but I wouldn't be surprised if Dan just flats this. I think his three betting range here is gonna be tight, tighter than tens for value, maybe aces, kings, potentially queens, and like ace, king, like that's it. And because of that, he'll have a small but like polar kind of bluff su part of that being suited ace x and maybe even some king x stuff. So feel like this ends up getting flatted. But if he doesn't, maybe he jams all in rather than three betting. Maybe what he's considering. I mean, there is 1.5 million in the pot. Yeah. So. Rips for all of it. Options were available, according to Rast, but. Yeah. So it, he was either going to flat or rip, I think. I don't think he was going to do a normal three bet sizing. Now, back over to Chong, of course, with so many smaller stacks out there. He's sitting in second coming into this one. It is an ICM disaster. If we collide with Smith and get decimated, this is this is a tough call for Chung. I mean, I think he's probably going to end up folding here. Think so. Yeah. Didn't make a meal of it. Didn't even make a meal of it. Exactly what I said. Seven five fifty. Yeah, just one of those things where it's just gross to call off for ICM purposes. Like, ev you know, everyone else on the table just gains dollars because of that, right? Yeah. Because someone busts, everybody moves up, and sure. it's like... He wouldn't have busted as the covering stack, but obviously he would have fallen yeah. to the leanest of stacks. So he can only really call there with hands that rate to be... Really? <laughs> yeah. Fa nice. Like nine, solidly seven, seven, favorites seven, given seven, the, seven, the pot odds right. versus and the, and whatever, and just ace queen off ten, probably isn't Man, quite I'm good enough. That. Of the pairs, what's the cutoff in terms like of Chong getting, being uh, able to call? We know the ace number, king is in there. Yeah, it's probably. It's probably going to be right around, like, I'd say definitely queens, like, probably something around jacks. Jacks is kind of. And, like, I don't even know, like, it's. Honestly, in those, it's one of those spots where he may or may not be able to call ace king, like theoretically. Really? Like I'm not saying, you know, yeah, I've seen some spots like this early in final tables where ace king and like ace king off, especially like sometimes you're supposed to fold it. Interesting. Yeah. I've grown so accustomed to it being a foregone conclusion that the ace king wants to work its way into the middle for as many chips know. as possible, blocker effects and just sheer well, you brute force of the like hand. Definitely but putting it in more than call you right, know right. if you're one of the stacks that like you they were the they're decent again? middle stacks here 
Huh? Right, like there's, the the they have eight nine million yeah, chips. Yeah. These guys, like, like there's how long you're, you're like, four you people with less than five million. You know, so you three people less than four million. No, two people less than two three yeah, million. Two right. Yeah, two two months. Yeah. So Jam and take, by the way, here for Chen's eights. You, you, you don't want eight nine club, uh, seven ten clubs. <laughs> that's bad this time. Yeah, that's bad for eight nine clubs. Very bad. <laughs> Like, you, I wouldn't you be for? surprised if that was a spot where well, Chong's supposed to fold Ace King off. Yeah. Probably smart. I might, I might do the Jack's close? Yeah, like pr like maybe it's like Jack's plus or something. The tens, the other right. tens, as it were. Girl, Too lean? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Those are the spots you hate you to end up in. Serious for some dude? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hometown. Uh, okay. He can just. Still not missing. Well, three weeks, I'm going. He can meet you in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Find some nice girls in Vegas. Uh, what's happening here? Arm is. I really don't like folding, though. So, like, I might just spike call somebody with Ace King there and be like, what? Well, I don't think it's going <laughs> to come across too what, no, just stand up. No, yeah. just stand up and table it in the middle and look at look at everyone and be like, what? You thought I was going to fold this? I don't <laughs> give a shit what the Silicon <laughs> Overlord says. You can take your solver and shove it where the sun don't shine, brother. I'm here to gamble. Ace eight. Smith activating here. Pocket sixes. The hand that Chong got yeah. into the bin in the form of a set on the four-liner board versus... The chip leader, that's not where he wanted to see it, of course, as he had a straight. Does defend from the big and does not flop a set. Ace high board putting Smith in front. And the ace eight off open under the gun plus two. Dan is getting jiggy with it. You know? Certainly He's got capable. that. Well, here's the thing. The chip leader was under the gun and folded, so Dan's... Right. Again, trying to find spots where he can accumulate chips, right? So now he's in a position where out of the people remaining, him and one or two other have all the chip, kind of have the most chips, so he's going to press it a little bit. Look at this turn, right. by the way, as Smith plays the ace-8 as a check Just back, and now on the way. turn, it's an open-ended straight flush draw oh, for Chong. Oh, the diamond is covered, that unless that yeah, straight well, flush specifically. Dan is... Rolls off. Definitely oh, betting here. That's he so wants so to grow the pot. He does girl. have top pair, and he's got that it's ace, and he'd like probably like the pot to be uh, even uh, bigger if uh, another diamond basketball? comes. Basketball? Yeah. I, I feel like, like, oh, he oh, doesn't. Checks <laughs> back, Rast, 1.65 <laughs> in the middle, and oh. now on the river, a wheel on board, but Chong makes the six high straight. He might, he might be like... Of course, this is a very disappointing development for Smith. Well, Dan, by not betting until he got here, he's gonna, it turned out he saved quite a few chips on this run out because that would have gotten ugly had the pop been a lot bigger. And this is a big bet. Chiang went, I, th I think the pot was... Uh, one point one point six is it two point two and now the value proposition for Smith not great but he announces call and he gets shown the six high straight I knew you weren't bluffing this one. When you nice it dial up there for Chong. Okay, yeah, you're, pretty, you're sick, man. <laughs> yeah, live, live reads. <laughs> I was starting to talk about the value proposition there. for Smith. Rast, as we see the rail developing is, here. Is, has a hand been announced yet? Where he had to call it? that 2.2. No, 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 no. I'm, I think for it's just uh, I'm not watching half of the 1 6 in the middle. You can yeah. Still bet. To win uh, 800 or whatever, right. 825. I mean, typically these are situations that we shy reads. away from, but of course, no, levels to this. Suck. I never Smith even, knows that Chong is incentivized like live read, I won't go with it. to be first to the pot in a spot like that and try to claim the whole thing. 
that's the smart. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, that's... Yeah, I think people that like, rely on their livelihood just don't really want to play You're not getting great return well. on your money, but your opponent <laughs> theoretically opinion, doesn't have a six right. that often. You know, your opponent can know in that spot that Dan has very, very few sixes. Mm -hmm. So should get to bet like very liberally. That's probably what Dan's thinking. Um, you know, I... I uh, and I guess Dan also decided he didn't want to use a time bank there, you know? I felt like he came to the conclusion that he should not have a six often enough yeah, to make it worth it, right? 2.2 .2 to win, tight, whatever, though. 825. Oh, man, yeah, not a great return, Heidi, but... Um, not ace king this time. I know. Tough spot. For what it's worth, had six. Smith fired on that oh, turn, okay. which he declined to do, depending on the sizing, of course, Trunk very likely. Oh, he's calling. Going get a diamond. To call. Diamond, get a open and straight flush, flush draw. draw. So yeah. it's not as though, as it were, that the check back from Smith on the turn is what put him into that situation. Well, it, it does put him into a situation where, because the range is completely open, it's just been checked all the way to the end. Uh, compared to, he's gonna have compared to if he had bet. If he had bet and, and Chong calls, like almost any hand with a six in it would have called the turn. So now if he bet, he might have folded. Whereas on the river, when Chong just has a bunch of random hands because it's never been bet, there's been no thinning process. Right, right. I mean, Dan probably felt more compelled to call in that scenario. Interesting. I'm looking at it strictly from the standpoint of Chong was going to see the river, but Dan may not have seen showdown had he bet the turn. When you need to be. But that's a somewhere very far away in an alternate universe. <laughs> Paulius just rips it from the small blind here, and Chen has himself an ace in the big. Has to anticipate there's going to be a lot of lean from his right in situations such as this. Is ace four off enough? I lose online. I can't act. Yeah, the four is not a great card to have here. Because, yes, you know my opponent's just going to have a bunch of hands, like any two almost. That said... The four is very low. Yeah, the time bank We're not suited. Oh, yeah. the time bank act? He oh, figures he's probably a very small yeah. favorite against this range. Is that enough? Is that enough? Yeah, you can do it as well, you know. You know use the time bank good? Line it. Oh. He, he feels that it is, oh, and nine. these yeah. guys are going to gamble. We're going to play a six and a half Freaky million chip it's pot. Freaky. So, see, this is the I thing mean. I was saying. Like, he uh, he's 57% here to win and double up. But 43% of the time, everybody else on the table goes from 182 minimum to 248,000 minimum. So everyone else on the table is just like ecstatic to see this. Especially when the nine shows up on the flop as now dire straits for Chen Guancheng, who enjoyed a couple of doubles right away when this FT got underway. And now a very unenjoyable turn as he hunts a lone ace. Can he connect it's grim. and remain intact? 7%, make it zero. Okay. End of the road for China's Chen Guancheng. Gave it all he had. Obviously, 9-6 off against Ace-4, <laughs> almost a 3-2 to two favorite. Nothing really he could do. But batting 500 now is Chen after failing to cash in the 15K 8 max. Here he is in the silver main collecting that eighth place payout 182,000 as you mentioned Raz 248k now on lockup for the remaining seven with a pay a jump name. up to 337 if you can make the top else. six found out this year was him. not to be it overlooked was, by the way capital really infusion like for the chip leader low, low stuff and like WSOP oh. and stuff like that I did not want didn't play that low. He plays it all. He was playing like 1Ks and stuff like that. I was too. You weren't? You didn't play no 1K? Yeah, my fellow bucket man. I mean, not all the time. Yeah, but like he's rich. I'm not. Right? That's what Paulie is lamenting yeah, the, the loss of his it. fellow yeah, bucket right. man, as he, he, he said, in terms better. of the headwear. When he plays, he needs to play like 20 tables. No, we're talking about like World Series. He's playing like 1Ks. Uni? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, he plays something. Yeah. I mean, like, he played, like, the 1K mystery bounty, but, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that was a fucking... <laughs> yeah. He always goes deep. You're, like, too. stupid if you don't play that one. 
I'm stupid. Then. Red Jacks for Chong. You know, I drew, I drew a goal check. Polly is out of there. In this. Yeah. Polly is out of there. Yeah. Oh, eights Ooh. for Smith, and these two have already <laughs> collided <laughs> recently. <laughs> Could the collision be even more violent? This is a tricky spot for, for Dan here. Last time he jumped, jammed the tens, but that was versus an under the gun. This is a cutoff, and yes, Joe had to get through the chip leader on the button, but that's only one player. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go all in, and yeah. Joseph is happy to see that with Jax. And he is. Doesn't make him sweat it out. Snap call, and... Now, Dan's on life support here. Suddenly, the floodgates Man. may have opened in terms of departures. Smith on his feet, demiking perhaps superstitiously. Come on, Joe. Obviously, five cards still to come. 12.1 in the middle. And an oh. eight on the board. Bottom set. And perhaps. Queen, queen. We need to unwind queen, queen, that cord as Smith seven. back in his seat seven, here, ten, getting tremendously lucky Four against day. Chong. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> and now the counter punch, oh, oh, oh. a jack on the turn. Oh, what a tease. Stone one out of for Smith. Oh. And that fourth okay, snowman man. not available as Dan. I mean, doesn't matter what happens. Melts no. away from the field oh. in seventh place. Rast, that was a little vicious. A cooler, false uh, hope, vanquished on the turn. It was a very vicious run out. So it didn't take long for the 248K seventh place payout to find a home as the mighty Dan Smith dispatched here in the Silver Main, adding his career Triton total of 18.1 million, approaching 18 and a half now, but denied his second title here in his third cash at Jeju. So I will just point out, you, you're going to be aware of this as a, as a live player. Listen, you've got to be, you can't do the early get up. Listen, the early get up, the mic this, it came. But then it was like the poker gods repunished Dan. Because Joseph, he didn't get up when the eight hit the flop. He just stayed there, sat down. Okay. Right, right. And then boom. Thanks. Jack, I'm with I'm you, sorry. by the way. I'm old school. Maybe on the turn, you know what I mean? The two yeah. outer, I can begin the process. Yeah. But before we saw three, the man was on his feet. He yeah. Suddenly he was reseated, only to be stood up once more on the turn. You know, these Precisely. are the analyses, by the way, that I live for, Rast. You know, I defer to you when it comes to the actual stuff, but when we get into the superstition streets. Well, that's why I wanted to bring it out there, because I needed to <laughs> I need to keep you engaged all the time. <laughs> King 10 suited now. In the hijack. Raising to 600. It's going to be five left in like two minutes once you're out of here. Once you get double eight, nine of clubs. <laughs> Pocket threes for Paulius. Like on the button just takes a pass. Rass not even looking to set mine for the min. Yeah. Perhaps with the mighty stack and position, he could get frisky. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little surprised as well. Like slaying over here by any means. I don't think I'm doing that well. Because he, he also gets to leverage no, some of that in like post flop like situations. Get the hell out of here. So. The girls waiting for you upstairs. The pairs oftentimes three, like calling in position <laughs> over 25 <laughs> bigs deep. Uh, Only a min raise open. One, but. Oh, one. One min off ish. Uh huh. So, Ace so jack four board or? here, <laughs> top pair <laughs> for the check. defender. 2.6 back, check declared. Backdoor clubs in the Broadway gutter for Alex, and of course the sense that he can just comfortably rep the ace against a broad array of defendable holdings for even the short stacked maxim. 300K, min bet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand anything mean or disrespectful. No, no, no. no, no. I don't disrespect people. That's ridiculous. I only make fun of you, you know? Flat know. from Maxim. Not understandable. Not looking to inflate things. I'm a, I'm a, little, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit of a troll, yeah. Like a now the troll. turn <laughs> pairs, <laughs> Alex. You're a good guy, too. You can handle that. Backdoor like spades it. relevant insofar as Maxim yeah, holds that ace of spades. You. Checks once more with 2.1 <laughs> in the middle now. <laughs> Let's see if Alexander... <laughs> turns this into 
a bluffing candidate he here. He's walking he turn two now. pairs. He's, he's got a gutter. He uh, has the theoretical range really advantage great. on this flop and turn. Like 16 left. Oh. Or 20 left. Definitely think we can get our opponent off ejacked by the end, yeah. And uh, this is setting up a potential river shove situation. Maxim is not going to go anywhere with an ace here, I don't think. Well, I mean, you do have the threat that you continue here and you very well might have to call it off all at the end. And if you. I guess with the ICM, if he does want to pass that, maybe he decides to pass here. But I don't know. Maxim, he's been in there. He's taken some spots. He's played some hands. Feels like he's going to just try to realize his chip EV here and not get off the ace. But let's see what he comes with. Can you call that guy when I got a king? This guy had jack seven off. Open under done. Yeah, I mean, you fold this here on the turn. Like, what are you really continuing with? So another 1.2 into the middle, courtesy of that second barrel from Alex. Now, a board pairing Jack, the 10 kicker being played by Maxim. Now, I wonder if Alexander gives up on this card. Do you think that the Jack X hangs in versus that second barrel on the turn? Jack X of spades does, as well as Queen Jack and King Jack, but the others probably not. And those rate to be the sorts of combos that maybe would be more present, although big blind defense versus min raise the other jacks also possible. But, oh wow. A jam here from Vaskrasensky. Don't believe we anticipated this gesture. Yeah, I mean, I. I think the idea is that his opponent probably has very few Jack X in his hand, given that he double barreled the turn. And that would be a hand class that likes checking back a lot. But, I mean, does he, is he getting his opponent to ever fold a chop? I don't know. Probably. Maybe taking chips that he anticipated he was going to be ready to call with and creating a little bit of fold equity to target maybe some of the hands that he was in trouble with, although I'm not certain whether or not if that hand's beaten, there are too many combos that are going to find the muck across the way. No, I, I, if, if that hand's beaten and by something where the ace plays, like not ace nine or ace ten, right. which are chops, like right. ace queen king or better, I don't think those hands are folding. So you think it's specifically to try to usher out the chop? I mean, that's probably the number one thing you're accomplishing with that, or at least trying to. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I, It's a unique play, and I don't think I would have made it. I know this is egregious levels of distillation on my part, but I remember something that always stuck with me in spots on the end, we always needed to ask ourselves, can we get better hands to fold or worse hands to call? And if those things aren't going to be accomplished with some measure of frequency as we see Polly is jamming King Jack from the button, then maybe we don't consider the barrel. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I had a king of diamonds, but yeah. You're not lying. Yeah. No takers in the oh, blinds. By the way, the fuzzy bucket harkens oh, no, back I to like a 90s LL Cool, cool J video <laughs> for me and a little bit of Samuel L. Jackson maybe, although I don't remember him going fuzz. I think I'm telling the truth to you. It, the Kangles, you remember those? Yeah, 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 for I a minute. Do remember those. <laughs> you were just bluffing. No, I looked scared, that's true. But the question is... Up we go to 200, 400,000, and this is now going to be a 30-minute level rest as we are down to six at the final table. So pace of play becoming a bit more brisk. That brought to you by GTO Wizard. How about the bottle of carbon? You know, like Formula One races, the guys all douse each other in champagne up on the podium. I haven't seen any champagne dousing so far. I wonder out if there. we are going to see that at a poker tournament. Like someone just doused their buddy after they win, grabbed it. I, 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 I'll be honest, I haven't seen that before. I feel like either. the World Series of Poker main would be where we would really, yeah. you know, see like a beer get emptied, a nice little old Milwaukee across the top of the dome. But 
whoever it is that's responsible for maintaining the felt here at our feature table wincing somewhere as we've now planted the seed. Ace-King planting 800 out there. Ace-3 for Hrabic in the big. Oh, that's an interesting stack. This Looking at the tournament chip stacks right now, it looks Polyus, the swag lord, has 24 million, and Joseph like Chiang five, has yeah. 17 yeah, million. But mm -hmm. the other four players are all considerably shorter, ranging from 2-something to 6-something. So game plan. it's very much a case of the haves and the have-nots and and unfortunately well, for so Chiang he's yeah. directly out of position do more work. to Polyus. Yeah. I mean I'm trying. And I mean there's the, quite a bit to you. play for for those four players. Sixth is 30? 337,000 and third is more than double that, 692,000. So whichever one of them can at least survive into third more than doubles their money here and has a chance to win even more. I want to see it when you bust. You'll see how to see it. Actually, the fourth one might be harder. They're just get harder on the way down. They're having fun out there, Rast. Yeah. One and a half milli up top, but you wouldn't know it. Okay, that's not that hard. Oh, I can't Trying to that. tackle Maxim's last name. It is hey, Polyus's <laughs> name, by the way. I mean, I can Nobody get through can. the first one, but the <laughs> Vaitiekunas is... Oh, um. That's a minefield. Hence, Swag Lord. <laughs> Actually, I thought... How, how is... Uh, I thought it's the uh, Ogni and Demon. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, it's funny. He okay. was at my table yesterday, and I asked him, I say, how much can I pay you to change your first name? <laughs> what's... what's yeah, but I think uh, guys in the booth has a, have, a, have a good time breaking their tongue. Yeah, look at all these. <laughs> 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 There's some tongue breakers at every given Triton. Yeah. Love the way Polyus put that. Yes, Polyus. That's why I only call you Polyus or Swag Lord because I'm not trying your last name. I feel like we may be a little asleep at the wheel. Check it out. Remember Jersey Shore, Poly D? We could go with Poly V. Oh, here, nice yeah. Also, <laughs> options on the table. Suited connector. And the two chip leaders are going to battle. So far, just a Small, innocent, single-raised pot. <coughs> Ooh. Innocence lost for the 8-9 suited on an ace-jack-5 board. Chong, stranglehold. Checks with the flow after defending. And Paulius with a range advantage better. here. Him. Best live cast. Will you? Yeah. What's your best live cast? likely see bet this often to always and much? small uh, like seven, um, four. oh one of these huh you, you yeah, I one uh, what's your best live cast it's like the fourth the fourth yeah. Yeah, you 700 ahead like 550. as the c-bet fails to shed the opposition second spade so second jack as the board goes two-toned and then like a four three six in there now Joe checks. Those were fun four days of my life. Oh, mm -hmm. Polly is a bit my of a white flag wave right there. And they, he was like downstairs which you can't his, really blame his, like, him. He has no pair, no draw, it, and I went even down there no and relevant I blockers. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, go spend it all in one place. Feels like a Do shutdown. Not break this down. Don't save it. Just go Seven buy a place. Let's see. Want. Go get it. Strong happy. obvious reasons to proceed with game. caution, but feeling comfortable enough that the ace 10 is in a good way. He leads for 2.5. And the comfort continues as Polly V lays it down. Your biggest cap is 550? 5? Hmm? Oh, you crushed it for a while. 550 only? Wait, blinds are up. Well, yeah, I mean, I did I did 550 and 500, like, in sport or whatever. I think it was like a million dollar sport somewhere. Like, no, I did like three 500s last year or something. 
Chong up to 19 million grass, taking pots from Polyus in particular, very useful in terms of narrowing the gap as it's sort of a two-horse affair for the time being, with Hrabic way down at four big blinds. Imagine winning $9 million average buying 2K. Ace Jack for Arum. And only 10 big blinds right now, 4 million chips. <laughs> See what he comes with. So, yeah, he's raising about half his chips, <coughs> which is one of these sizings where. If multiple people go all in behind him, he can kind of fold his hand to preserve his chance to move up the ladder. But uh, I mean, you would be way ahead. But you're always comforted when the 2.1 comes home without any yeah, further fanfare. But yeah, so this is why it's a size that, in my opinion, makes more yeah. sense than yeah. like going, yeah. you know, 3.9, leaving yourself like a yeah. hundred thousand. Updated look at the chip counts with six of our original nine remaining here in event number three, the 25K Silver Main. Two, four, and four are the blinds. And the man who came in as the chip leader still up top, but company in the form of one Joseph Chong, who has performed well thus far. And of course, for the time being, there are five guys that are looking over at one Czech Republic representative, Roman Hrabic, and thinking, are you going to give me a pay jump? with those four big blinds. TBD, of course, spins needed. 337K on deck, $104,000 gap up to fifth. And those boys are salivating at the prospects of securing said jump. Yeah, and Roman Hrabek has started to separate himself in, in the bad way. He's down to four big blinds. It's a lonely island. As the shorty. Yeah, this is this is gonna be enough. King seven suited here. Looks like he agrees, gonna that, leave that himself I mean, good luck. <laughs> some crumbs. <laughs> I think everyone's gonna fold anyway. Good luck, dude. Seriously. Ace nine, direct left, cut off. Not lost on Alexander is the urgency for Hrabic. <laughs> But also, I but I was trying to look it's not an any two me, sort of affair. Yeah, I guess he's totally deciding whether he wants to call or uh, jam. Now, the call <laughs> does tempt the squeeze for the likes the of Vaskresensky, a queen sure. big blind rast. Yeah. Oh, th this is a big hand like here. He's he's going to put it in. Because we don't feel that the ace nine flat here is trappy, do we? No, it could be. Yeah, it could be, could be aces, maybe maybe kings. I don't I don't know how many other big hands he's doing it with. Oh, he had it. Yeah, see he no made no bones about it. He snap mucked the ace nine off. Wow, you got a nice little overlay in this spot. You're you're in so hot. Three flop. So a contribution of 1.2 orphaned by Alexander. So. Arm is talking about how Roman got massive overlay here. Someone else yeah. put in 1.2 million and folded, and he's not even he's not even dominated. <laughs> oh wow! Trip Kings disastrous development here for Vaskrosensky's Ace Queen. Granted the covering stack, so it could be worse, but that overlay looks to be secured as the Ace Queen draws dead. <laughs> On the turn, Rabich, cheeky, saying it's not a bad turn. No, it's a great turn. <laughs> and a turn of events. As just look at what he bounces up to, 4.6. <laughs> and everybody take it easy. That 104 is still in play is what Roman's looking around and telling everyone in terms of the pay jump between 6th and 5th. I know you might. Thank you. Roman, Rabich. I gotta say, in recent memory, and I think the catalyst, of course, is Aram Oganyan, newcomer to Triton. This is the chattiest I have ever seen 
a Triton final uh, table, especially when we're talking about seven people. figures up top. Yeah. And some newcomers, you know, not looking nervy whatsoever. And of course, when we say the word newcomer, these aren't people that are learning poker. <laughs> They're new to Triton, perhaps, not new to the tournament streets or the high stakes streets for that matter, more often than not. As Joe Chong's open from the cutoff with ace 10 to 800, awaits a response from the sevens in the big blind for Oganyan off of 4.3 back. Yeah, good observations, and, and you love to see it, right? right? Some some people coming and being this comfortable and chatting it up. And uh, yeah, just kind of not being nervous, enjoying their moment. Four, six, Eleven 50. blind shove in the big blind. I don't want to bust you, but good luck, boy. Yeah. Joe prefacing the call with "I don't want to bust you, but," and then on their backs they go. Two overs against the sevens. Nine percent favorite. You're good at flipping versus me, though. I got a really good hand to go all in with in this situation. Always coming. Base. Ooh, Base good flop good for sevens. Oh, yeah. In particular Base because the 10 no, be wavy does give him another <laughs> bump in the event <laughs> it rolls <laughs> off and takes the lead. Um, I mean, 10 is too much. That's too much, yeah. yeah. Instead of clean queen. Just put a black club with, like, that's not a no-sider. Wow, you have so Six much to be. to fade. Ace of diamond. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Oganyan's done it as the one-legged ace rolls off on the end. Payment Sorry, guys. already carved out there <laughs> for Chong. No, I was uh, Maybe you. I like you. I like you too. Strikes me as a happy guy. You played much or familiar with Oganyan, uh, Rasty? I played with him a few times, I think. Uh, maybe between the WSOP or Poker Go. Okay. Yeah. It, I... I think uh, definitely strikes me the same way. Yeah, table demeanor in your experience very similar to what we're observing. Yeah. I'm his, uh, because it's me. I'm his, I know. <laughs> You're like 100% in flips against me. You, you, forgot, you fucked up on that part. But it might not be a flip this time. I don't think I should have worked, do I? Maybe. Maybe not. No. Might feel like Alphabet soup, soup up front. I'm his gambling coach, not poker coach. For the German. 800. Min raise. Where am I at now? Third. Give me a game. Mm. Healthy game. I got you after this. Oh, it looks you like USD, what you, you can want, see, uh, the they can see the chip stacks up above. I believe there's some real-time information yeah. being relayed, of course, when hands Gosh. are not in progress. <laughs> oh, unclear, by the way, is Oganyan tipping <laughs> here <laughs> in cash? <laughs> this is peculiar. <laughs> Mid-pot, no less. But uh, the Triton <laughs> Poker Plus app, it which obviously, if you haven't done already, what yeah. are you waiting for? <laughs> Download it free of charge for what? Android or iOS devices. It's that which Rast and I and everybody like here at the desk <laughs> utilizes to keep a firm finger on the pulse <laughs> of what's going on. Also Maybe synced up with the delay <laughs> of the stream. <laughs> Available to the players, <laughs> though, in work, real though. time. And in between hands, they can refer to it as need be to get their bearings. On the next all in, that's fair, right? As Nick has declared it, the greatest app ever built. <laughs> it is robust, though. I mean, truly, we're playing for the home team here. But within the context of poker apps, might it might be? I don't think it's close. It's truly the viewing experience without it is kind of an absurd proposition. It's a very ABC final table. And by the way, you can stream hmm? our coverage These from the Triton ABC Poker final Plus app directly. No, we see not much Paulius to, like, raise and take it. Yeah. No blinds, man. If you aren't streaming us on the app, though, and you do happen to be soaking yeah, it up on YouTube, welcome from whatever time zone you happen to be in. With three blinds. If you're enjoying the coverage, do us a favor. Click like. Click subscribe. It's all we ask of you in exchange 
for the efforts of all involved on all corners of the globe four times a year. There was a kind of interesting conversation that was going on. I think w uh, one of the players made the comment that these final tables are a bit ABC because uh, I believe the reasoning given was that the there's not an, that much three, bet really three bets going on. Maybe it was about how shallow they were. I'm hungry. Can we eat here? Yeah, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to order food. What a curse that is. I can't Which, imagine you agree. Well, it, it might be the case that uh, you, you get less hands. <laughs> They're doing 30-minute levels, right? So maybe you're getting less hands here than you would in, like, an online tournament in terms of before the blinds go up, which then causes the stacks to be shorter. That said, I would say this table has been pretty active. Um, it was the cold four-bet, Chong three-bet, the king, ten of clubs. But, yeah, it's, it, it might be true compared to an online tournament. I wasn't happy. You know, I've covered some online tournaments as well, and it's incredible how quickly an FT online can come to a close oh, yeah. versus its yeah. live counterpart. It's just a blistering pace, but kind of devoid of, you know, we're old school. We were in the live streets before the, the mouse in hand was an option, and uh, I, for one, you know, favor the... One, Call me a romantic live tournament streets. Yeah, yeah, same here. Even in Vegas, in in my like home country. Just more depth to it, less mechanical. Two, two final tables. I have one person on my real. Every two final tables. I normally don't have anyone. Never. Sometimes meet my either. girlfriend, but besides Chong. that, no, me neither. Not Respectful limp. One person who raised the king nine. Huh? One person who raised you. One person. Your Is mom. Some like no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not like some homeless guy pay him to come and raise you. <laughs> They, no, he's a so he's there and he's like, oh, Will he get a God. smack on the like wrist here from Paulius? I didn't even tell him that he just came. The answer is yes. Like as he shoots it up to 1.4 with a hand he's not throw. looking to see three with. I think, you know, people ask me, like, yeah, can Paulius I go to watch you play poker? Like, when putting the pressure on. Like, yeah, hasn't. Like, dude, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's so boring. Been like, out of line so far, but Chong has a hand that he deems good enough to... Yeah, you know, keep going. So just, here we go, a clash of two modest holdings. Then they and uh, it looks them. like nobody flopped anything, but, uh, no, so it'll no, be an interesting like one. Like, and Chong, obviously, when he limps a hand such as King-9, is sort of prepared for some of this posturing from, from Paulius' like, big no, stack, <laughs> dug in for the extra <laughs> million, but unimproved here, and no, now let's like see how Pauly V proceeds, C-bet, inbound. Everyone's so sensitive. Dude, I'm so bad. So I'm like Phil Nagy Jr. A sizing that's not too <coughs> small here. And yeah, it gets accomplishes what it needs to. Gets king high with two overs to the board to fold. <coughs> Brute force. On display, the luxuries afforded the big stack of Pauly V here under the Lithuanian banner. In the exchange with his other Triton first timer, Joe Chong, seated side by side. I'm just realizing, if I'm not mistaken, of the Sorry, remaining six players. Apologies to Nick like Shulman, apparently, but Shulman not in the booth right now. Uh, Rom just open folded the fives in the low jack. That's been an idea. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little too deep, a little too much ICM pressure. And here we just get that open jam. King X. Oh, wow. Little suited Seven, connector. Six, suited. Those aren't chips. Those are time banks. As Maxim's going to chew on this. Mm -hmm. Began this one with seven bigs, let's call it. He's got 800 invested already. 400 in the big, 400 in the big blind Annie. 2.1 back. Next hand will cost him 200 from the small. Decides, let's go. 
and not performing terribly at all against King-3. As you can see, 48% equity with his tournament life on the line. Gamble, gamble. No gamble, no future. Burn down. Three off the top, and it's a king high flop. Deflation too much gamble in for 6-7. Resisting the temptation to be on his feet. I think three Backdoor straights and flush is still available in this 5.3 million chip that. pot for Maxim. Oh. He now seven, hits the coming. seven. Always on the Five yeah, outs, yeah. one time. There he is. And he misses. Yep. Five of hearts will bring his run here in the silver main to a close. As a familiar sight with chips heading toward the chip leader. Not bad for the Triton first timer here. 337,000. Yeah. Delightful payout, but that 337,000 goes home with Maxim, which means a minimum of 441,000 is going to go home with all five of our remaining combatants. And the point that I was going to make when we got down to six-handed here, Ras, something that we've kind of not touched on is that five of the remaining six, now four of the remaining five, first-timers to Triton. So we could very well see the first Triton newcomer winning a title. Roman Hrabic, the only one who's got Tritons under his belt already. So I got 23 big blinds. And it's 400K, so that's 800K or 8 million. Okay. <laughs> How much is it? God damn it. I didn't know I had I tried that. I bust, bust Ben with that hand. I didn't know I had that when I was talking to you. <laughs> Just to be mm. fair. Did you call if I shove this hand? Yes. Oh, I got a good one? <laughs> <laughs> but I have better. <laughs> well, yeah. Polly V raising uh, ticket. No, I wasn't up cold. <clears throat> I guess I can three back. I mean, of course. Always. Uh, oops. <clears throat> Wait, we got a pay game. Wow, 400,000 bucks. Wow, Joe, this is giving me um, win flashback. The three hander, remember? Polyus is over 30 million yeah, now. He just wouldn't bust. This is wild. I wouldn't bust, and then I busted you, and yeah. then that guy. And and I that guy, think he has oh, just over 50% of the chips in play, yeah. so. I had all the chips, and that guy got me. I got I got really scammed heads up. I had Jack's you know, threes, I think, and he just swapped quads. Save for yeah, a brief stretch as we this. see and then Alexander. Flush over flush Hijack race here suited one gapper for Shabich, going to get chewed on. Give me a break. On a one there was that brief board. moment no, where Chong there. kind of nipped on his heels, but other he than that back. stretch, which was short-lived, Paul E.V. has just been all King alone Evans, up yeah. top. Yeah. yeah. And now, uh, I mean, <laughs> Roman's going to call here. Yep. Just call for you, bro. <laughs> and <clears throat> those Alpins tomorrow, right? I mean, there's a lot in this pot. I don't know. Open small, you start right. a lot on this flop for the 7-5. Club oh. free, 8-8 eight, eight, deuce. I checked, I checked that or rather, a lot relative to how much Roman has. Yeah. But, um, I don't even remember what I... Uh, yeah, this I this flop is very bare. Blind versus blind, and you still have seven. I think I had like ten, eight big or something, though. No. We were shallow. No, you had like, tw you had like 20. 20 to 25. I don't... Well, I'm not 100% sure. And Roman's in the way I should know better against you. Desperation yeah, yeah. zone. You're probably just gonna get me now. We just lost three big blinds in the last pot. Six, Not a great 17. feeling. Dude, yeah. Roman, you're like a cockroach that just <laughs> He's won't got about die. Five dude. left. <laughs> <laughs> you see arm. I, I wanna know calling him a cockroach that won't <laughs> die. <laughs> Paulie's got decisions here about like whether to raise or jam, basically. But there will be some times he just opens shoves. And Aram here with the suited ace is thinking about 
making the price of poker go up. But doesn't jam, just comes with the three bet. That he does. Don't see what Alexander is going to do here with 10-3 suited. Just kind of... Yeah. I'll I'm not <laughs> this one. But I don't want to. Yeah, unclear why it was Go that we paused on him as we four, hear Paul V say, I'll four. give you this one. Ooh. Bravo. A six of six of diamonds shown. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean maybe I should just jam, but it's too much. Try it, dog. <laughs> Ask Roman, I'm a gangster. <laughs> the real one. <laughs> the one I mess with him. Yeah. If, if you Bet three bet me on the flop, I'll lay it down though. <laughs> like a little I'm not a gangster on that. <laughs> wow, Ro Roman just uh giving him a Aram a sign of respect there. They're saying ask ask Roman and Roman said, Yeah, he's a real gangster. <laughs> All right. Oh, the real gangster picks up pocket aces. That he does. Cut off. And of course, the anticipated activity from Polyus in front of him. He three bet and took one away from him moments ago. And again, he will three bet. Do we ever maybe consider the flat? No, I think, I mean, he's going to be three betting some bluffs like ace x suited and king x suited. And the whole reason is because you want to be valued three betting aces, kings, like ace, king, maybe queens. So. Two million. Again, Alexander pausing. Could this have something to do with a potential level yeah. increase and in looking to stick somebody in the big other than himself here? Yeah, it must be that he's trying to make sure he's getting the button on the level increase. I'm, I'm not sure. But it, it is kind of brutal to watch this. Although I guess players are doing what they feel is in their best interest from an EV perspective. I mean, to be fair, I think the Triton Super High Roller Series more so than most tours has really looked to address all of the pain points such as this. And yeah. as Nick pointed out, you know, there are time banks, obviously, which we are free to use however we deem fit. Later on, Worry will find himself heads up and he's already exhausted these banks. Uh, you know, that's a bit punitive. But looking for advantages within the realm of fair play is Alex T. Yeah, no, you, being willing to use your time banks for something is is fine. And uh, and they have limited the preflop clock to 20 seconds. But Nevertheless, I think the point remains that it makes for a not that enjoyable viewing experience. Man, he was messing no, around. Messing. I know you Obviously were messing Obviously, the around. viewing experience Ooh. comes second. Stop messing around. To yeah, the players. Messing. That's not fair. The guy just bet a six suited and just gets aces. I already knew you were just tanking for a clock. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whatever. I was like, he's not shoving. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> At first, I was getting a little. Well, <laughs> on that note with the big stack of Polyus sending another bundle across the way over to Aramaganyan. He emerges in second place ahead of Joseph Chong. While we await the fate of one Roman Hrabic here in the 25K, Silver Main, obviously the story of the Lithuanian has been that way for some time. Taking a couple of hits there, and I don't know, Rast, if you agree, sometimes when somebody starts to play back at us, as we can see, goods there for Arganyan, a six suited and ace ace. Do we maybe make a little bit of an adjustment, dial it back, or ICM is ICM, we continue to operate in that way? I mean, listen, if you think someone is getting over aggressive and coming at you, of course you make adjustments and try to do something about that. You know, is two hands in a row enough to make that call? It's hard to say, right? Uh, it could be, it, it might not. I, I, I think probably not once you've played with somebody quite a bit is two hands enough
but it could be. Yeah, limited yeah. data set, obviously. Exactly. But, you know, just a thought, I guess, uh, to circulate. And my thought now is take some time. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 minutes, a schedule break here. The players are on it. We'll take it. You guys take it as well. But don't go anywhere as we will return to Jeju Island for continuing coverage of event number three after this pause. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard. Practice against GTO on all your devices. Study any situation using our revolutionary AI-powered solver. Upload your hand histories to uncover your biggest leaks. We have hundreds of hours of coaching from top pros, cutting edge theory articles, and custom study plans to help guide your poker journey. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Jeju Shinwa World. Let's see what he thinks. I mean, there are two stacks, the 13 and 14 bigs, but this is a pretty good hand. Yeah, I think too much to pass. I would have played it myself, and I'm glad to see that Jason approves of that message because uh, that's a man who knows what's up. One point seven of his two point two out there, never going away oh if the rest is requested. You see Guan Cheng asking for a count with the Queen Nine suited. I'm not sure this is a candidate. Yeah. Raise. <laughs> oh wow. Smith 
just wakes up with the needles. Disaster for work, Jason man. Kuhn. The, club, the, club, the flop's been having a lot of clubs on them. Yeah. You just don't want the same flop in the same turn. That's all you don't want. You want the same type of flop. That's a good turn. Nine six tray. That is a dusty flop for Queen Jack of Clubs. <laughs> Turn could get interesting, and there is a queen to prevent Jason from drawing dead. Good game, Jason. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> a short-lived stint here at the final table and perhaps a sigh of relief to be breathed by those looking to claim the title as one of the toughest adversaries you could ever hope to be up against at an FT has been vanquished in ninth. 149,000, not too shabby. Not at all. And obviously, we haven't seen the last of Jason Kuhn here in Jeju. But certainly the last of him here at this FT in the Silver League. Oh, he's calling. Uh, Get a diamond. Call. Diamond, Get a open, open and straight, straight flush, flush draw. draw. So yeah. it's not as though, <laughs> as it were, <laughs> that the check back from yeah, Smith on the turn is what put him into that situation. Uh, well, it, it does put him into a situation where yeah. because the range is completely open, it's just been checked all the way to the end. Uh, compared to, he's gonna have... Compared to if he had bet. If he had bet and, and Chong calls, like almost any hand with a six in it would have called the turn. So it now if he bet, he might have folded. Mm. Whereas on the river, when Chong just has a bunch of random hands, because it's never been bet, there's been no thinning process. Right. Right. I mean, Dan probably felt more compelled to call in that scenario. Interesting. I'm looking at it strictly from the standpoint of Chong was going to see the river, but Dan may not have seen showdown had he bet the turn. When you need to be. But that's a somewhere very far away in an alternate universe. <laughs> Paulius just rips it from the small blind here, and Chen has himself an ace in the big. Has to anticipate there's going to be a lot of lean from his right in situations such as this. Is ace four off enough? I lose online. I can't ask. Yeah, the four is not a great card to have here. Because, yes, you know my opponent's just going to have a bunch of hands, like any two almost. That said. The four is very low. Yeah, the time bank We're not suited. Oh, uh, the time bank act? He oh figures he's probably best. a very small yeah. favorite against this range. Is that enough? Is that enough? Yeah, you can do it as well, you know. You know who uses time bank good? Line it. Oh. He, he feels that it is, oh, and nine. these guys are going to gamble. We're going to play a six and a half Ricky million Lula. chip pot. So, see, this is the that. thing I was saying. Like, he uh, he's 57% here to win and double up. But 43% of the time, everybody else on the table goes from 182 minimum to 248,000 minimum. So everyone else on the table is just like ecstatic to see this. Especially when the nine shows up on the flop as now dire straits for Chen Guancheng, who enjoyed a couple of doubles right away when this FT got underway. And now a very unenjoyable turn as he hunts a lone ace. Can he connect it's grim. and remain intact? 7%, make it zero. Yeah, End of the road you. for China's Chen Guancheng. Gave it all he had. Obviously, 9-6 off against Ace-4, <laughs> almost a 3-2 to two favorite. Nothing really he could do. But batting 500 now is Chen after failing to cash in the 15K 8 max. Here he is in the silver main collecting that eighth place payout 182,000 as you mentioned Raz 248k now on lockup for the remaining seven yeah my fellow bucket men I mean not all the time yeah but like he's rich I'm not Right, that's what, that's Paulius what lamenting yeah, the, the loss of his it. fellow yeah, bucket funny. man as he, he, he said in terms man. of the head he plays, he needs to play like 20 tables no we're talking about like World Series, he's playing like 1Ks. Uni? Uh, sometimes. 
Yeah, he plays something. Yeah, I mean, like, he played, like, the 1K Mystery Bounty, but, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that was a fucking... <laughs> yeah. He always goes deep, You're, like, too. stupid if you don't play that one. I'm stupid, then. Red Jacks for Chong. You know, I drew, I drew a gold chest. Ollie is out of there. In this. In Ollie is out of there. Yeah. Oh, eights Ooh. for Smith, and these two have already <laughs> collided <laughs> recently. <laughs> almost won one million. Could like the collision be even more violent? It's a tricky spot for for Dan here. Last time he jumped, jammed the tens, but that was versus an under the gun. This is a cutoff, and yes, Joe had to get through the chip leader on the button, but that's only one player. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go all in, and Joseph is happy to see that with Jax. And he is. Doesn't make him sweat it out. Snap call, and... Now, Dan's on life support here. Suddenly, the floodgates Man, may have opened in terms of departures. Smith on his feet, demiking perhaps superstitiously. Come on, Joe. Obviously, five cards still to come. 12.1 in the middle. And an eight on the board. Bottom set. And perhaps. Queen, queen. We need to unwind queen. that cord queen. as Smith Seven. back in his seat here, Seven, ten, getting tremendously Seven. lucky Four against deck. Chong. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. <laughs> and now the counter punch, a jack on the turn. What a tease. Stone one out of for Smith. And that fourth snowman not available as Dan. Doesn't matter what happens. Melts no. away from the field in seventh place. Rast, that was a little vicious. A cooler, false hope, vanquished on the turn. It was a very vicious run out. So it didn't take long for the 248K seventh place payout to find a home as the mighty Dan Smith dispatched here in the Silver Main, adding to his career Triton total of 18.1 million. And welcome back to continuing coverage of event number three. It is the 25K Silver Main. Yours truly, Ali Najad, joined by Brian Rast and just five remaining hopefuls of our original nine here at this final table, four of whom are Triton newcomers with almost one and a half million dollars up top and the on tap payout of 441,000. Rasty, the chip leader, the man we're all talking about, flying under that Lithuanian banner, which as Nick Shulman at the desk alluded to when he's mouse in hand in the online streets, one that he's a little bit mindful and respectful of. Of course, we're talking about Pauly V. 28 million in front of him at present, endured a couple of nibbles from Aram Oganyan, who as such has now worked his way in front of Joseph Chong, sitting 12.3 in second, and obviously all eyes on Roman Hrabic in terms of awaiting his demise, but he has been resilient. Yes, yeah, certainly. I, You know, uh, this is a final table where it's kind of been the Polyus show a little bit. Yeah, like you said, Joseph Chong made a stab, made a run, but kind of has been fended off. And uh, right now you have him and Aram kind of battling for second. And Alexander may be waiting for Roman to go out. Roman's very short now on life support, four big blinds only. Yeah, I mean, waiting is obviously a very profitable exercise right now. When we consider the jump between fifth and fourth payouts, 441,000, four fifth, and then 560. If you can work your way into the top four, and of course, our first seven-figure payday here in Jeju at the landing, $1.45 million. Obviously, somebody is going to be very pleased with that result, and it could very well be someone who is a first-timer to Triton. So then, without further ado, we will send you back into the arena to soak up the uh, back half, let's call it, of this final table with Hrabic in need of a spin. So then, here we are. Blinds of 250 and 500,000 with a 500K Annie. Bad news for anybody who's short. One and a quarter milli every five hands being shaved off of your stack. Yeah, I mean, Roman has really just slid his way up he's been a very short stack the entire time that i've been here in the booth covering this final table uh with 15 left and here we are with five left and he's still a short stack really on life support now four big blinds is much shorter than he had been before but you know 441,000 earned now if you were to go out next 
So it just shows you the power, as you said, of staying alive, uh, you know, represented by the term ICM. You know, another thing as we go back to the action before we get sucked up by the hands is also just, oh, we can see the rail here. People yeah. come out to support their See, Tobias Schwecht. Warriors. Armzobian was out there as well. Cut away a little bit early. But, you know, the thing that stands out to me thinking back in terms of the hands so far is just that the sixes fold by Paulius. I mean, that, that was a really good fold. I mean, it's one of those hands where you see it and you kind of assume he's going to call. He has a set and he lays it down. Yeah, for those that might have missed it, it was a Joseph Chong collision. Chong turning a seven high straight using the six, which gave Pauly V a set. Here yeah, we are, Oganyan King, nine suited, 1.2 million from the hijack, defended by Pauly V, Jack, eight, three, two diamonds. Interesting developments in both camps in terms of the draws. Gutter for Pauly V, the defender from the big, and for Oganyan, might be feeling swaggy with the diamond draw. 3.1 in the middle. Plays it as a check back rest. Obviously, the presence of Hrabic with four bigs has a lot to do with this stuff. Now, suddenly, Pauly V hops into the lead on the turn by hitting the queen, but a second path for Oganyan in terms of the gutter. Yeah, that w uh, outstanding turn card for Paulius here. Hand is good enough, I think, to bet twice. So, you know, if he leads here and gets called on some very blankish river cards, he can value bet it again. And uh, Oganyan wanting to keep the pot small on the flop. Seems like he's just going to call here. See, he has a lot of equity against almost any holding. And that flat call does not yield the desired result as the four of spades on the end, so dry and so disappointing for Aram with 5-3 in the middle. And that was the, exactly the type of blank river card that I was referring to when I said that he could bet twice for value. So given that he took the betting lead on the turn after check, check, flop, it seems like he's going to bet again here. And he's going with, it looks like, about 40%. Um, but Aram doesn't have anything. So I don't think he's going to be able to call. Really not sure there was a path to victory available to Oganyan as things shook out. Yeah. Post your ass. So many rivers to post you. I don't think I've heard that verb at the Next table time, before. Buddy. I was going to toast your ass. Safe <laughs> river. I like it. Um, yeah. Thinking about raising. But I'm calling. I'm not repping much. I had a good hand. I had a good hand too. Things have gone slightly river. street <laughs> out there, Rast. You just see better. Yeah. Scam run out. I can't see better. Mm -hmm. It's like so stupid to see better. You want to win a bigger pot, huh? <clears throat> Queen four offsuit. Obviously, Hlevich was hoping for something better <laughs> as he's about to take a trip through <laughs> the blinds. Lavelle. And he's going to have to you. take that trip and hope that something ten, better awaits him. Any ten is good. Yeah, Paulius mm -hmm. would have been okay to answer Aram's question, winning a slightly to modestly bigger pot, but not a way bigger pot. His hand wasn't quite strong enough to win a significantly 1. bigger 7. pot. Right. But he definitely could have won a bigger pot. Seven. 
Now then. Ace Jack suited from the small blind, getting after Oganyan, 1.7. Note the upsize when it's blind v blind here. And of course, a lot of ICM pressure can be applied to Oganyan, given the presence of Khabic there with those four bigs. He loves to see defense from Aram and a possible collision. Dominated is the Ace-8. Do we ever find the fold with an Ace-8 spot such as this, just given the presence of Roman? I mean, th this is a question latent with all kinds of thorny ICM issues. Um, to me, Aram's line seems pretty reasonable. I mean, we do have an ace in position, blind versus blind. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, Roman is literally going to take the big blind the very next hand, so... That would be the argument for folding. That's for sure. Top pair. And really not a lot of trouble to get in for Oganyan here. As poly V barrels, 1.2. And of course, you know the abuse which is ever present from the big stack in a setup such as this, but the ace I can't get cute or curious. Yeah, he actually had a quality oh, hand pre-flop and <laughs> flopped a no, no, I mean, very okay, good, not when <laughs> very good flop as well. But could have been a beast. Stage. Yeah, and that's been the story by and large for Pauly V, by the way. You know, you might have suspicions that this dude was just out of line because of the nature of the, the landscape yeah. <laughs> and what's been afforded him. We have one more game. <laughs> But really, he has had the goods quite a bit. Yeah. Decent amount of the time yeah. he has, for sure. But No shame in it, by the way. Yeah. You know? I think we would all take that. Good luck. If huh? given Good the luck. option. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, good luck, indeed. Cannot do much. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> so I don't think he can raise any two here because Roman is so short. He's... Going to need to go all in yeah, and by he, quite a bit. I think you meant Paul E.V. Can't raise any two. Is that right? Yes, on the okay. button. When he, he folded the four deuce off. Oh, Ganyan, on the other hand, just creating misery for the 4-3 offsuit, which is already plunked in one million of the 2.2. Wow. Oof. Three, four offsuit. All good. Maybe I should just one one. <laughs> I mean, I think I should jam. Oh, I have black chips here. I was like, where'd my chips go? I don't want that one either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alexander would know. What'd you have on Jack 8? What did you have? Three or four offs. I had uh, a bit better by one. But I had a five. <laughs> I had four dudes. Oh. <clears throat> oh man. Why did I miss that flush? That was so sick. Holly V with a real hand again. Theme. One million. Smooth Millie. Verbalized. And seven five offsuit Roman. Really deep wound sustained in this orbit. Just by having to fold the big and the small. Meanwhile, back over to Alex T. Diamond smothered. And I, th I think he saw my stack and then he thought that this is the table. My stack. Mm -hmm. oh, he, oh. <laughs> he saw my stack like, oh, that guy has a lot of chips. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. And Roman loves to see it. The big blind defends. King, Jack, six, top pair for Alex, Broadway gutter for Paulie V and all that available ICM pressure. 
Backdoor diamonds as well. 2-7 in the middle. Plays it as a check back. Rast. Yeah, which is which is a bit curious. Because oh, maybe Alexander turn. won't jam too liberally with Roman being so short. Yeah, you would imagine this would be a a pretty tense exchange between the two of them, given two bigs lurking in the massive pay jump. Well, he comes with a pretty big bet here. 1.5, but Polyus has such a big draw, he can't go anywhere. I mean, he's getting really getting the odds to call directly, basically. Without any implied odds, and there are implied odds because he's drawing to the nuts. So if he makes his draw, he can't lose. But uh, it's a blank. That it is. By the way, a diamond would have ju been just absolute violence. Yeah. I mean, Forgive the obvious, but Robich getting 119k pay jump, as we would imagine Alex T would be showered in that event. But as we can see, no further interest for the Ace-10 as a 1.5 million chip turn bet did get called and abandoned. Here we are then. Ponikovs on the rail. Another member of the Lithuanian delegation out there as well, as I recall. Time for spin. Tomaszowskis. And I cannot not even raise Manolan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot even not raise less than... It is kind of a cool little phenomenon on the Triton Super High Roller Series, Rast, kind of the global nature of these tournaments, people traveling from far and wide and doing so in kind of small clicks sometimes, guys that might be exchanging ideas. I could. It takes a village in terms of, despite it being an individual sport, really helping to hone your game. Always nice to have people to, to bounce things off of. Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> and I do think, especially also with the idea of traveling, kind of people traveling as a crew yeah com you know a little company on the road it helps you Friendship. know guys you know you can grab lunch with hit yeah. the gym with whatever it is okay, give yourself a bit of a a routine yes. I think it's time Alex Jam it's time to double takes it it is time to double Roman oh you've it's been time to double you've got two big blinds and fourth place has 18. Second this has 20, so there's a tight group right there. 20, 19, 18, but I'm gonna take eight. two. He's going to have to double three times just to catch up to that group. Well, that's a good start. Ace, queen. Patience Hold rewarded on. for Hrabic. There was a, a lot more testosterone in that all-in than I think the chips really warranted. Yeah. <laughs> 950K. And Chong. Flicks in a call here. And the thought behind flicking that call in with the 7-4 off suit. Rast, as we see punishment from Pauly V wagging the finger. Providing additional overlay to, to Hrabic, by the way, yeah, he already enjoyed tight, something man. of this nature, but the, just the flick and call there from Joseph, anticipating maybe Pauly V apt to check back and then allow four cards to go up against two. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I think one of the things that maybe he wasn't anticipating is that, you know, Pauly is going to play very aggressive first yeah. him in a spot where he has to play super tight. So because of that, probably not worth it to... Put in that 700,000. It'd be hard for me to win. He, he, obviously, he really wants to bust Roman, right? It's well, really good for him from an ICM perspective. That said, Paulius is going to punish him. But hang on. That, so. It looked as though Hrabic was smooth red, sailing red with ace queen on the ace jack six board. Suddenly, a very threatening club on the turn here. <laughs> and you 
looking soon. The Lithuanian delegation rooting for the flush, and in it comes in the back door. Okay, man. Unjust. The nature of the departure for Hrabic, who gave it all he had. And as he leaves, Rast, he will collect 441,000 and uh, a little side hug from the rail. But we're going to have ourselves a first timer to Triton as our champ here with four remaining. It's the mighty Roman Fabic. Vanquished. No. No, nobody no. wants Roman to triple up there. No. <laughs> Robich, adding to his 1.2 million in career, Triton earnings courtesy of this sixth cash, not to be overlooked. Rast, he finished 18th in the 15K 8 max, 25th in the 20K 8 max, now deepest cash of the series so far. <laughs> With this fifth place finish, three for three, ended his back. A small bind? Yes. <clears throat> Either way, it was okay for me. Yeah, but come back to buy the after. We can see the pressure there as Joseph passes up. A pretty solid hand on the button, but just. Not wanting to risk chips. I mean, right now the three of them are very tight, all around 9 million. They go 560k, 692k, 922k. So. Yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of jockeying <laughs> around Pauly V between these remaining three stacks who are playing for a lockup of 560,000. The jump to third, 132K, as we can see. Six two suited, getting after things to the tune of 1.3. Oganyan defending, flopping two overs and the gutter, 3-1 in the middle. This being so bad. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see him go for check here. The idea being that maybe in lines where we go check check get to the turn maybe even the river he he bluffs later in some kind of delayed bluffing lines but with just literally no equity and even no over cards to the eight and nine not see betting the flop so, so as it this goes knuckle downs third club yeah. and an ace on the turn rest so now this is a spot where he might kind of just pure bluff his hand the ace is theoretically a better card from him. Aram reshipping a decent amount of AX hand, ace X hands versus his open. A spot we could have seen it. And now Aram has to decide whether or not he wants to bet. One of the wonder, one of the problems you have is if you check back here. Yes, you realize, but. If queen high is good, my opponent is probably not letting me r get to showdown with it. It doesn't really feel to me like Pauly V would be playing hands as traps right about now. You know, maybe it's just a, a spidey sense and nothing more rasp, but once that second check comes in in front of us, perhaps we're feeling a little bit cozier in particular about the notion that a club isn't present across the way nor an ace, so the barrel comes in and to great effect as Oganyan claws one away. I mean, if I'm getting 1.2, then maybe, but I don't think that I am. Do you care to look, or? Is that a lot? Is that a lot allowed in Triton? Um, I don't think that I'm getting 1.2, so. All right. Oh. Believe we're getting murmurs of <laughs> deal making taking place. 
nevertheless, hand being dealt here. An interesting spot to make a deal. All in. Because. Well, hang on. I no deal like is the declaration yeah, from Alex as Oganyan tried to slide in. Well, the queen six. Queen second is Finger nine, whack. So. What's left in the prize pool? Four? I feel like if I'm Polyus here, I'm not super excited to make a deal in a spot where I have like well, three eggs the offer. chips of everyone else. You know. Maybe you do a save of some sort. We never uh, yes, know. of course. Yeah, there's always negotiations. Three point five million left in the price pool. I mean, you'll get you'll get like one point one probably, or something. How much? Three point five million left in the price pool. Hmm? It's three point five million left in the price pool. That's like nine hundred. Okay, so it looks like negotiations, discussions underway here with four remaining understandably a lot of meat left in these top four slots and let's see how the boys might want to carve it up peek at the chip counts as those discussions are underway brought to you by poker stake of course the story paulie v up top that 30 million plus stack it is kind of a situation as you were alluding to rast where it would have to be something quite sweet for him to say yes would it not yeah, I think so. Just because Polyus is in a really good spot where he kind of gets to win more chips than he should, stealing pots because the other three players need to be tight. Yeah. So I think if I'm him, I maybe I ask for extra if I want to do the deal. But yeah, I mean, listen, these are three guys. They're new to Triton. There's a lot of money they're playing for and uh, maybe they want to chop it up. And by the way, we're on the front end of this series with larger buy-ins still to come, locking up something nice that could create some sort of a free roll in terms of the remainder of the way. Granted, multi-bullet situations can vanquish that rather quickly. Worthy of consideration. And so we're going to give the players an opportunity to do that. And if you grabbed a snack at the last break, now it's time to grab a drink. Ten minutes time. We're going to come right back here to the Landing Casino in Jeju with an update, and we'll see whether or not a deal was struck here in event number three. Keep it close. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, first to act under the gun. At what stack depth should you consider opening low pocket pairs like 4-4? Four, four? A. Always open these hands. B. Only open them below 20 big blinds. C. Below 30 big blinds. Or D. Below 50 big blinds. Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just 5 minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
just seize the wonder. 제주 신화 월드. Ace in the big has to anticipate there's going to be a lot of lean from his right in situations such as this. Is Ace four off enough? That's why I lose online. I can't act. Yeah, the four is not a great card to have here. Because yes, you know my opponent's just going to have a bunch of hands, like any two almost. That said, the four is very low. We're not suited. He figures he's probably a very small favorite against this range. Is that enough? Is that enough? Yeah, you can do it as well, you know. You know who uses time bank good? Line it. Oh, in cash. He feels that it is, and these guys are going to gamble. We're going to play a six and a half million chip pot. So see, this is the thing I was saying. Like, he uh, he's 57% here to win and double up. But 43% of the time, everybody else on the table goes from 182 minimum to 248,000 minimum. So everyone else on the table is just, like, ecstatic to see this. Especially when the nine shows up on the flop, as now dire straits for Chen Guangcheng, who enjoyed a couple of doubles right away when this FT got underway. And now a very unenjoyable turn as he hunts a lone ace. Can he connect it's and remain intact? 7%, make it zero. Okay. End of the road for China's Chen Guangcheng. Gave it all he had. Obviously, 9-6 off against Ace-4, almost a 3-2 favorite. Nothing really he could do. But batting 500 now is Chen after failing to cash in the 15K 8 max. Here he is in the silver main collecting that eighth place payout 182,000 as you mentioned Raz 248k now on lockup for the remaining seven yeah my fellow bucket man I mean not all the time yeah but like he's rich I'm not Right, that's what, that's what is lamenting yeah, the, the loss of his it. fellow yeah, bucket right. man as he, he said in terms man. of the headwear he needs to play like 20 tables no we're talking about like World Series, he's playing like 1Ks. Looney? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, he plays sometimes. Yeah. I mean, like, he played like the 1K mystery bounty, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that was a fucking... <laughs> yeah. He always goes deep. You're like too. stupid if you don't play that one. I'm stupid. Then. Red Jacks for Chong. You know, I drew, I drew a gold chest. Polly is out of there. In this. Oh, you said that now. Yeah. Oh, eights Ooh. for Smith, and these two have already <laughs> collided <laughs> recently. You almost won one million. Could like the collision be there. even more violent? It's a tricky eight spot eight for, for so Dan here. Last time he jumped, jammed the tens, but that was versus an under the gun. This is a cutoff, and yes, Joe had to get through the chip leader on the button, but that's only one player. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go all in, and yeah. Joseph is happy to see that with Jax. He is. Doesn't make him sweat it out. Snap call, and... Now, Dan's on life support here. Suddenly, the floodgates Man, may have opened in terms of departures. Smith on his feet, demiking perhaps superstitiously. Come on, Joe. Obviously, five cards still to come. 12.1 in the middle. And an eight on the board. Bottom set. And perhaps. Queen, we queen. need to unwind queen. that cord as Smith Seven. back in his seat here, Seven, ten, getting tremendously lucky Four against deck. Chong. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and now the counter punch, a jack on the turn. What a tease. Stone one out of for Smith. And that fourth snowman not available as... Well, whether you're just waking up or just getting through the middle of your day or even finishing things off breakfast, lunch, or dinner, what's better than a $1.5 million first place prize and some of the best to ever do it all in a room playing here on the Triton Super High Roller Series? Four of our original nine remaining. Ali Jinjad, Brian Rass, back with you here at the Landing Casino on Jeju Island, South Korea. $560,000 payout on tap. $132,000 jump if you can slide up into the podium finish, and obviously that even more massive jump between third, second, leapfrogs. As we left you, 
There was a deal in discussion, being told, by the way, by producer James, that the boys were unable to strike a deal. Something on the order of an extra 10% was on request from Paulie V. These are the whispers that we're hearing, Ras, but you never really thought that a deal was something that was going to be in the works when we stepped away. No, the way I would put it is, you know, I thought maybe they would come to a deal, but yeah, that Pauly V might ask for more. And whenever a player asks for more, that, eh, you know, if they just go to the ICM chop, maybe they'd agree to it. But someone asks for more, then all of a sudden that becomes a point of negotiation. And then all of them need to agree, and maybe they didn't want to give Pauly V whatever he asked for. Well, it, it, let's say it was 10%. It certainly wasn't out of line. When you consider what you had alluded to before we stepped aside for the break, this setup of three stacks tightly kind of wound jockeying and then all alone way up top better than two to one lead Pauly v i mean yeah we rate to perform rather well so onwards we march 62 bigs it's actually a three to one chip lead stand corrected and there's the tight cluster rast so wasn't out of line to ask for more it's just the boys no. decided it's perhaps too much more yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I, listen, I think in these spots in negotiation, most stuff isn't out of line, and especially not the chip leader with these particular stacks asking for more, most certainly not. But yeah, you know, people don't always agree, and uh, the simplest thing in, in that instance is just to play for it. Well, that's exactly what we're going to end up doing. And of course, the playability, far cozier. Four. All in. All in. Oh. And the first hand, we see that little Jamaruski and got a hand that dominates him to fold. I'll tell you what. Jamaruski is also... Oh, you guys don't want to make a deal? <laughs> Feel my wrath. <laughs> you know Not really. Jack Nine suited, obviously. We, you know, we're making a meal of it, but... You, you don't want to give me some extra? No yeah. problem. I'll just take it all. Yeah, exactly. Can I move my feet a little bit? No, I like you in the Lithuanian flag. I'm stay too far. Just now noticing, by the way, the unfurling of a very oversized Lithuanian flag behind Arm. Obviously not for him, but for Pauly V. Do you just go out and buy the flag when you get here? You are you like a Amazon Prime overnight situation or you? You're like, you know what? We I should like bring the flag. Though. Someone's going to make a deep run. Let's bring the, bring the massive flag. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> you know, I always thought I that's a little bit weird. I mean, we're not going to a, a football match. But I love to see it nevertheless. What you don't love to see, though, is an ace six yeah, if you're Alex T. When across the way, the big stack has oh, ace jack. Right there, right? Well, there's no four. What do you mean four? There's, no There's the jam. Five? Alex. Okay. Immediate concession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Just about six and a half minutes left here in level 28. 30 minute long levels. This silver main began with 40 minute levels. First 10, 35 minutes from that point up until six remained, and then down to 30. Just being advised, by the way, Rast, that now that we are down to four-handed, when the next level does begin, level 29, we will go down to 25-minute levels, but no further reductions past that. And Paulie's certainly going to jam this. I mean, it's a hand that 
likes doing that for Chip EV, and he can, gets to jam a bunch anyway. Ooh. Finds Jax in the big, does Aram Oganyan, and this would not be an insignificant blow to Paul EV's stack as nine million plus was brought to the party to start things. And we're playing for 18.6, Rast. This was an unexpected development. Queen Jack five. Ten of gloves. Ten of gloves. Everybody pointing out what the sweatiest turn would be instead. It's the seven of hearts, not the ten of clubs, and the ace five draws dead. Oganyan earning tokens that have been very elusive to the entirety of this final table. Talking, of course, about Paul e. V's chips. What a wake up. What a wake up indeed. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, that 18 million infusion there, that'll take you further than uh, a five hour energy. There it is, 37 picks. A clear second place stack now with really a, a big shift in terms of the dynamic, one that very briefly Paulius endured when Joe Chong nipped on his heels. But since then, big gap between him and second, no longer the case now. And in that case, Joe was to his right. Now he is to Aram's right, so now he has the person. Like what, Second place, Aram has nearly 19 million. Paulius has 24.6. Third place, Alexander has 8.7. Yeah, like so Aram is closer to Paulius than he is to Alexander, and he's directly oh. in position. So it is, it is quite the shift. When Joseph feels like this is a hand you w want to play. I was curious how he's going to play it, whether it be a raise or maybe something a bit more, not all in, but like half, half of your the, chips. Yeah. Which comes with standard. Suited one capper on the button now for Pauly V. Bruised. Folding. Does he want to gamble with the other player that he's competing with here in the rear? He decides no, he doesn't want to go up against that somewhat strong range. Alex T, that is? Yeah. And it would have would have been tough for him because it turns out that Polly V <laughs> folded 9-7 a heart, so his cards were not live. I mean, obviously you can't that you can't know but it would, would have been tough just briefly between hands rast and, and and truly this is just for me would you take a pass at alexander's last name cat chew just once more cat chew so we're, we're going silent t on the front of that yeah okay maybe the s isn't silent maybe it's cat's chew <laughs> but I preferred that sounds like a feline snack <laughs> if I'm being honest that's tobacco products for your kitty meanwhile ace king suited again really uh, you know the deck has been kind to Paul V. of course the jacks against the ace five unkind but I don't think he can have any complaints about what's gone down Jacks on the evening table, right? no he's still the chip Ultimate. leader is that what you had? No. Oh. Well, your good friend Antonio Esfandiari, right. I believe, right. perhaps it was Phil like I, I don't know, coining the term upstuck. I know it's usually yeah. a cash game referral, but here in the tournament streets as well, psychologically, we're not immune to that well, sense, you know, when we come off of the mm -hmm. high water mark that somehow things aren't going great, and yet take a minute <laughs> to observe that the setup is still lovely for Paul E. V. 
Yeah, not not as as dominant and good as prior, but still very George, very nice. Oh, love that, by the way. Not sure everybody at home knows what Rasty's referring to when he uses the term George. Sort of a Vegas lore affair. More on that in a moment as Queen Jack 5 rolls off on the flop. This one was limped pre BVB. Players checking, unimproved on flop and turn advantage, Joe. Joseph's in kind of a tough spot. I mean, he wants to get to showdown, but we could see that the next worst class of hands, 10 high, bluffs the turn. So are you able to just check king high down all the way and get to showdown? The answer is no. And sometimes that's the problem when you take passive lines that perhaps even ignore the fact that he had a slight range advantage on the queen jack flop. So that second check so lures Pauly D <coughs> into the 750k barrel and yeah. that pot towards him. As the blinds have gone up, 300, 600, 600, 1.5 in orbit, if we can even call it that when we're four-handed. Only one okay. slot. Yeah, I can tell you real chill. Listen, you never end up the chip leader of a 300 person a tournament with four people left before. without having I'm run good and gotten some good cards. But Pauly, Pauly V, his play has impressed me so far as somebody who I didn't know who he was prior to this tournament, prior to this Triton stop, but uh, he's played quite nicely. I mean, that was a nice hand. I mean, just a very quiet, subtle, blind versus blind yeah, pot. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting, there, it, a lot of times in what seem to be uneventful exchanges on the surface, you kind of unpack a little bit and they can become a little bit more artistic. Yeah. That's why I could deal and go to bed. Rip and take it there for... Once per month. Oh, that's not much. Alex T. Once every hour or so when I'm at home. I'm not even drunk. Like two hours, one every two hours. I think I'm gonna quit soon. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna kill me one day. I don't give up often, wave the white flag on the surnames. You know, I've gotten a little bit used to having to deal with the the minefields here on the Triton Super High Roller Series. But, but Alex's last name in particular, I just, I concede, I think I'm drawing dead. Wow. Oh, and on the topic of drawing dead, obviously live, but the pulse is faint for sevens against tens, and this is the spot where Chong chooses to put in that declaration-sized raise. 4.5 million, leaves himself three back. In comes the jam from Pauly V on the button. And, of course, Joey can go nowhere. And he's certainly hoping that he's not going anywhere. Want to make sure but as we can see, only 18% of the time will that be the case. Joseph's on life support. He's, he's had a nice final table so far. I remember the timely King-10 of clubs three bet early on, got the ace-queen off to fold. He's navigated some difficult streets, but this could be the last street he navigates in this one. Queen-5, deuce board. Seven more diamonds. Spades are covered. No seven on the turn. And one can't fault us here at the desk for not building too much excitement. It's a cold two outer for Joe Chong. Can he find it? No, the board pairs. And the four player log jam is broken to the delight of the Lithuanian supporters. Five hundred sixty thousand 
for Joseph Chung in yeah. the fourth. Not a bad payday for a 25K buy. No question about it. Earlier during this final table, he did say it's not every day you play for 1.5. Well, guess what, Joe? It's not every day you get to haul in 560 for fourth. But that's exactly what he's done here at his first ever Triton Super High Roller Series, earning his first ever cash as he was 0 for 2 coming into this one, but batting 333 as the curtain draws on his run. Well, that's you good, man. You want to like get GG oh. 10K? Yeah, yeah, GG 10K in August. Mm. Did you have all yourself? And I had the spin angle jackpot like a few years ago. <laughs> really? Did you have all yourself in the no, spin angle? No. All right, spin angle? No, it's. Um, no, no. How are you playing spin angle? Were you playing spin angles on yeah, stake or something? I had two stables of spin angles. So, uh, welcome to my world, guys. What does that mean, two stables? No, I had like horses on spin angles. <coughs> oh. Yeah, it's, I mean. In I don't know. I don't know what to think of that one. <laughs> huh? I don't know what to think of that one. Spinango stable? And I'm not pissed, by the way. I'm just cranky. I'm yeah, you look like pissed that I'm. I mean, rejected. No. But do you have? I want to. I want to sleep and I, I want to smoke well. and I can't do either or right now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't smoked in two days. What is boy, boy, what 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 You know what's weird, Rast? <laughs> I don't think the man's <laughs> reaching for a Mar Marlboro in, in that spot. No. I think he's referring to uh, something else. Who will be fair? Huh? Oh, the thing. Mary Jane. I kind of wonder sometimes, by the way, you know, you're traveling internationally. BYOM can be a little bit dicey. You know, I've seen Rin Tin Tin yeah. at the airport. Those guys got snouts on them. You know, you want to talk about the sniff. <laughs> Out here on the felt, you know, bluff catching, but those shepherds, uh, yeah, careful. Well yeah, not everywhere is like Las Vegas oh, nowadays where you just oh. drive to the store and buy whatever you want. Yeah, Jane's legal out there. Meanwhile, pocket fours, Alex. You know what I have, obviously. Rips the button. Oganyan covering and just a hand removed from the departure of Joseph Chong. I don't know, I don't know what want to see like three right? I don't know what I want. It's a sweaty flop. Alex. You don't want to pay Finds himself at risk. Eight, seven, five. Oh, I and guess because you get to run over. After this pot, oh, yeah. we're going to get heads up. Or these two guys are going to basically switch spots. Uh, yeah. King Tendu's not the one I'm, that I'm Oganyan had in mind. Has the 16 million edges uh, toward Alex. Queen or 10. Or Jack. Oh, 10 is nice. How about 9? Oh. You ask, oh, you got hang it. Hang on. Good luck. Queen? Now. I'm Ace, only 22.7%. Not much. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. 23, we rounded it. Yeah. How much? And the river. A three of hearts. So pocket fours hold here. And indeed, fates. Reversed, or at least rolls, no. fates yet to be determined. That was some mathematical right. precision right I mean, there. He came with it call. instantly, by yeah. the way. That was some rain you. man, you know, how many toothpicks did I just drop on the ground stuff? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we might need to grind video poker or something with this dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just find a juicy slot bank, <laughs> grab Oganyan, and let's go. 75 back? Does that sound about good math? You know what I love about that, by the way? It's kind of, you know, the way he's carrying himself here at this final table, very chill, I you know, kind of really relaxed. Uh, story checks out, by the way, yeah. you know, uh, in terms of herbal inclinations. But Ooh. then in the moment, Ooh. he just <laughs> lasers <laughs> off 22.7. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Actually, don't I sleep like on our man. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you do. <laughs> that too. Though sleep something apparently he's really? been shy on. Obviously the jet lag can be a bit wicked. Uh, remember we talked we had eight percent for over five hundred K score in WSP for bounty? Pardon, one more time? 8%. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now I think you have more. I mean Sure. Oh, I got fifteen bit. A jam now from Oganyan. Sub nine mil. Unclear the holding. Guess we'll never know. Small oh. rebate. <laughs> Ace eight. Uh -huh. No. 
no, no reveal. So as the push comes through, it gives us an opportunity to talk about the folks over at GTO Wizard. Check them out. Their new ebook, Daily Dose of GTO, a free interactive one full of quizzes and short lessons to help you master GTO concepts in just five minutes a day. Check it out now at dailydoseofgto.com. It really, when you compare the pre kind of solver, pre coaching era of poker to the post, Ras, the game is different. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit different. Is the exercise becoming more of a regurgitation of knowledge base, execution of, you know, all that we absorb as opposed to that kind of flow state? let me just assess sort of deal, you know what I mean? Has it lost any measure of elegance for you? Um, yeah, that's that's a complicated question. Yeah, it, you know, it is moving that way, whereas there was very little of that before. You know, now being in the flow state, this obviously still important, but we are moving in the direction where a replication, a, a regurgitation yeah. of things that you're learning, so to speak, from, from the solver, the silicone overlord, uh, are just a lot more important. And, um, you know, in fact, the young modern player who maybe has just only come up and only started playing in the last five years, probably very locked into that way of thinking and, and replicating as opposed, you know, to the methodology that we were more accustomed to say, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah, actually, so. you know, coming into their own, uh, it reminds me of like, you know, the pre-cell phone, pre-internet type of, you know, generation that I'm from and versus the post, you know, you really, yeah. it's a completely different animal as we see Jack four of diamonds picking up the flush draw on the turn, failing to connect, full check down there, blind versus blind, limp pot pre, Alex yeah. hauling that one in. And we're not necessarily skewing and saying it's better or it's worse, but you know what I mean? It's, uh, it is certainly different. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think everybody will have different answers to that question of better or worse because that's a subjective personal measure, right, about how you feel about that. Right. Because, you know, there are going to be some people that like that increased structure and yeah. ability to get an answer and study and other people that don't. I'll tell you this, though. It does feel like a lot of those characters, which, you know, by the way, Ace King here, small blind for Pauly V. A lot of the characters that I kind of fell in love with, you know, the Sam Farhas of the world, let's say, you know, that the old schoolers really represented to me Poker's Elite once upon a time. That is not the template from which we forge our current champions. And again, for better or for worse, but there was so much entertainment back then, it felt like. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of nuance in this discussion because it's also not to imply that some of the crushers today are, are simply just replicating. Correct. You know, a lot of them are doing a lot of very exploitative yes. uh, adjustments that are maybe based off of what the baseline is for GTO, but then they are shifting it drastically in order to take advantage of the population, which is a methodology perhaps more detailed and precise, but not completely dissimilar to what crushers were doing. Let's say, you know, I mean, there was a stretch of time when I was playing the biggest No Limit Hold'em tournaments, like right before the solvers came out. And uh, I'm not saying it's completely different from that methodology, but definitely the this modern one is more precise because you have a baseline to base it off of. Sure. Whereas before, you you know, you didn't uh, in nearly as precise of a manner. I, if that makes sense. Does that make sense, what I just said? Yeah, okay. I'm with you. Ace-King with Pauly V, as Oganyan did defend. And chewing on the 7-8 offsuit here in the face of the 1.2 million chip seabed, ultimately, but does lay it down. Another nuance would be that some of the characters, and, and I'm just going to 
kind of do a little stand up here. They were characters, <laughs> but even before solvers, I mean, these characters were never the best No Limit Hold'em players. And I'm just going to say that right now. Like some of these guys in old, watching the characters on high stakes poker, listen, even pre solver days, some, some, there were some people that could, you know, slice and dice. Do you have favorite characters, by the way? <clears throat> hmm. From back in those days? I'm trying to think. Who entertained you most? You know, I never watched like a ton of poker TV. But you played with a lot of these guys eventually oh, yes. too. Oh yes. I mean, some who? of the people that I played with. Gustav. You know, I love. He can be that's pretty funny. The person I was thinking. Were of. you really Gus yeah. Hansen? Of course, that's who I'm Gus referring is, to. Gus is Gus is very great to play with. He's um, he can be very entertaining. Colin. Not in a like, I'm gonna entertain you kind of way. He's just. No, he's just yeah. a goofy to like, <laughs> you know, sharp. But I mean. My favorite, and we see Ogunyan jam and take it here, would be Gus playing props with Doyle. Dude, one, I, I, had, Bobby's. I had a, man, there was a, after the World Series one year, like, I don't know, like seven years ago or some six years ago or something, um, Gus stayed in town. And like the end of July, August, there was like two or three weeks. And Gus was never like a big prop player, but he definitely, we all played the props on this time. And the props were big. The game was big. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Gus, Doyle, me. I'm trying to think who the, f the per fourth person jumping in and out. But the three of us were playing the props. Oh, and the every activators day. and the, ca you guys yes. were. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where you have the three cards, so if the flaps any of it's if it's all those three in any combination, right? And you have ten of those, and then it's like the stiff jack, the stiff right? jack, yeah. and he has a friend. Yeah, he has a friend. He doesn't have a friend. He doesn't have a friend. <laughs> the other people have to call it, but if he has a friend, you have. Oh. I mean, they they were crazy. There, it's a lot to keep track. I of. really do miss those days, oh, as we see Ogunyan ace why. on the button, hang tight. Yeah, I putting in tell you putting the in the raise story. to four point four. This is a half stack. Move. Commitment here. Alex out of the way. What did Paul and me have? Sure Doesn't seem to be anything worthy of interest. Okay. To, but we return to Gus. Sure so one of the things I that like that. make yeah, Gus crushed. funny with this is so like we're playing the props and there would be times right. when we're playing triple draw. Okay. Right? Let's Deuce say. to seven. And Gus will just open from middle position. And it, you know, whatever he gets three bet, something. So I give you a time, I give you a time make, right? He's just okay. Yeah, of course. Draws three, and then he puts it down. But then, as as he's putting it down, he just shows the two. It's yeah, he's got the pair, the pair of kings. Right. So we all owe him money, and he's only playing this hand because he's winning the prop because he knows he's not supposed to draw three or four or whatever right. from like middle position. But like, he just is goofing around and like happy he wins the prop, and so he's gonna play this one. <laughs> <laughs> just like he's, he's like, just you guys are paying for the first three <laughs> yeah, or paying, two you're of paying this for this. Yeah, Everybody ship me 5K. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 10K, whatever Those were it was. crazy days, man. Yeah. As Jack-6 offsuit could vibe a little crazy here. Pauly V, 1.8. Of course, Oganyan, shortest of stacks. Has the ace in the big. Oh. It looked for a second like perhaps this was going to be defense, but instead, shipment. <laughs> Just in case you can call. And, and the then soldiers maybe next come time. home. I think I win. By the way, chat, we see you. Some submissions, yeah. by the way, in terms of favorite characters. Well, Mike Matasau, Tony G, like Devilfish stuff, right? yeah, in the conversation. Yeah, totally Keep them coming. And then I can put it in. Get the part. I can call and check it out. Um, but I'm... I I caught a glimpse of Tony G, by the like way. He makes, is here I mean, in Jeju. It makes sense for me. It makes sense for me. If you shove, it also makes sense for me because I get a good price on the next hand. It's really bad for him. I mean, I just, yeah. Shouldn't be teaching you guys these things. These ICM tricks. I'm sure you guys know a lot of them, though. <laughs>
just the Six of Hearts revealed. In association with this min raise open and a king and queen in the small blind for Aram. He's really been the peskiest foe for Pauly V. <clears throat> and uh, feels like this one's going to sail on in. Well, I guess the question is, like, if he re-raises and big blind goes all in and the other guy goes all in, so maybe he, he makes it, like, six million or something, puts in half of his chips so that if they both go on in, he just folds. Eight million? Yeah. Three bets. What, if, what would you like now? Every five seconds, they won't Take it, sir. <clears throat> Ocanian paying the time bank marker, apparently. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this dude's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, I know Shulman's quite familiar with him. I can't remember if I asked whether Thank or not you, you had had time with Ogonian out there in the streets. Not, not like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've played with him some, but, you know, we've never, like, hung out or anything, so I, I don't really know him personally, but he is, he is pretty funny. He's got a good attitude, kind of jovial. I really like the fact that he just rain manned off the 22. The 22 7 was though. careful with that, by the way. You know what I mean? This is yeah. like all of a sudden. The whole shtick starts to erode <laughs> when you come with the 22-7 <laughs> laser beam. <laughs> By the way, other yeah, characters... Just, just a stoner, relax. Right, right. <laughs> with a pinpoint mathematical yeah. mind. Yeah. King 10 pinpointing the big of Pauly V, who's got something to fight with here. Ace Jack. How violent does he want to make things? Oganya now in second, by the way, in front of Alexander is relevant insofar as the ICM pressure that is available to Pauly V in altercations with Adam. Oh, certainly. I mean, Pauly V's got a pretty big hand here. It just feels like he's probably going to end up putting pressure on the dealer button. Just Four million. I'm gonna get 20 seconds. <coughs> Two point eight more required to proceed here. Old. Not insignificant. And so the King Ten does find the muck as Polly chooses the aggressive course of action, somewhat predictably there. And I was beginning to acknowledge some of the late arriving submissions Called in terms maturity, of characters. <laughs> the conversation that we mature. embarked upon. Scotty Wynn, an oversight perhaps on our part. I don't know about you guys, but I would Quite never a be people. a fan of some guy playing a final table. <laughs> I would just go to my room and chill, smoke some weed. No, I like the real. I mean, I like to be a fan. Really? Yeah. I have so much better things to do with my life no, I than to watch someone good. play poker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shots fired, by the way, at all of you streaming right now, but uh, certainly hope that you're as entertained as we are by that which we are wait witnessing here on Jeju oh. Island. Listen, in the pre-solver era, you're rattling oh, off famous two. names, but there's some really yeah, world-class well, players that maybe yeah. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Thuritz, Andy <laughs> Mosley. Sure, but we're these are the guys character. that I would take over. Yeah, they're... I agree. They're oh, not please. characters in the same way, but I'd take them in a no limit hold 'em game over them any any day. And this is before solvers and all that. Turrets, by the way, modern day James Bond of sorts. Yeah. The Swede, debonair, dapper, plays the highest of stakes. Kind of under the radar. No, he he's still going. Andy doesn't play cards as much anymore, but oh, they were both amazing no limit hold 'em players. An amazing and there's, hand there's on more. the button. Raise and take it for Alex. 
But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm talking about the characters. Umberto Brenes was brought up over here. The Chadic yeah. is coming. These sorts of dudes. And by the way, for those who maybe are a bit younger, have no clue, perhaps, some of the names that we're bringing up, worthy of a, a dive into the YouTube streets just to see some of the legendary pots that were played and a lot of the kind of chatter that would go down, you know, it was a little bit more back alley back in the days. Bit yeah. more sportsmanship, bit more professionalism on display typically here today. But it was yeah. a bit more streety. Back then. Andrew Robel. Oh, well, Robel is just a stone-cold killer. This we know. Well, nowadays, he's the, a jovial character on, on the TV show Listen, playing some cash games. But Robles, jovial or not, Robel's not out there. sharpening knives in the streets back in the Come day, on, you know? You know? <laughs> scalpels have been Plus. deposited in many a throat by Robel in terms oh. of the poker. <laughs> Jam and take here. I don't know how many big blinds I have because <laughs> I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty scammy. <laughs> yeah, I probably, that's probably, that again. probably not good what I did with this cards for. You fought 15 big blinds? Huh? You fought 15? No, I knew, but I mean, I had ace nine suited. But I Bad think news I for Oganyan and Alexander. Dilution. 488. Courtesy of the bump. Four. Nowhere to hide. Three-handed poker. Here Sam, in the silver trick game. it. Okay. Tricky, trick it. Yeah, sure. By the way, modern day characters, I, I, I'm a Sam Grafton, Fisk Witty. You know what I mean? He's a guy who kind of, you know, not shy on personality. Take a walk. Paulius. Like if Paulius just stood up in between hands, found a piece of cardboard, did a head spin, came back to his seat, I don't know that I would be surprised by it. Oh, I would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying. Kind of the b-boy chic, right? Little break dancer chic. But you see the, it? The swag lord could do some serious break dancing. I would be surprised. It's like Run DMC-ish kind of thing. Like We need to get one of those big, old-school gold ropes around him to complete the effect, I feel. The kind of thing that one and a half million will certainly buy you. Isn't it missing? You see it, right? Like just the big gold chain, the thick neck breaker. Oh, he's b he's back. Rip City. Thirty-five million after this pot. Oh, I don't know how many big blinds I have. I just feel like he he's just gonna win this, right? I mean, that's just you know, it's the hat. It's him folding the set of sixes earlier, just bluffing the ten four. Talking again. Let us be honest, it is predominantly the 35 million that is yes. guiding us in that no, way. And by course, the way, a, a bit of a sunrunny kind of FT for him. And again, no shame in it, but I think he'd be the first to let you know that he definitely racked a little bit in terms of No, of course, of hands. but I just I like the way he's played and Agreed. he's run well and it's just going to keep going. Being well, obviously not if Adam, Adam and Alexander have anything to do with it, but for the time being, they I'll are dead what, level I'll, I'll and whittling away a war of attrition. It looks like right now the other two have 31 blinds and he has 44 blinds. I'll, I'll lay two to one on Paulius. So you can have the other two. You can have the field getting getting two to one. So I don't like it. Yeah, I know, because... Yeah, but uh, you you have uh, the best of it uh, based on chips. Um, I mean, but the strength hang out with my billionaire friend. of Paulie V and a little bit of the run good, mind you, bring is bring also coming into play in terms of my aversion. He's too rich to care. <laughs> I've watched him lose 500,000 playing mm -hmm. blackjack and just laugh. In like 10 minutes, he's lost 500. He's like, ha, ah, I'm so unlucky. Who are we talking about? He's a really nice I'm guy, too. I'm not sure. <laughs> really nice guy, too. I, Okay, somebody with the half a bean blast off in 10 minutes in blackjack and laughter on the back end. Th those characters are here. Oh. Tens. 
Finger will be wagged. Well, he's going to raise up to a non all in sizing. Try to induce. He's got a monster. Yep. And I think Jack Four Suited's too weak here. Yeah. <coughs> just going to let him have it. I had this time. It's a oh, no. I busted one guy with this hand today. You busted and him? And. No offense. Honesty. Congratulations. <laughs> Guys, you know what I mean? How'd we sleep on Phil Locke? I brought his name up earlier, too, but that was one of the OG what? characters. <laughs> yeah, like and, and, and one, one of my know. good friends. You like, you're just chatting What's our boy Phil up to these days? Cool. He's still, he's uh, still grinding? I like he you, doesn't man. play too much I poker. Think. He's yeah, just yeah, in yeah. L.A. with Jen I Tilly. I really like you when yeah. I have Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Living the dream. Fucking love the dream. <laughs> okay. Owen. Oh, I love you, you right now, baby. You're in trouble. Supposedly he's gonna start playing on a stream. <laughs> I heard something about what this. Was that? Yeah. King of Spades. That's good. I queen of Spades. And a deuce. Oh, I had you. In oh, the shape. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he's a person I always enjoyed playing with, but the, I also just didn't like being with him. He's just funny. He is funny. Maybe I'll yeah. play <laughs> Just a bit of a space alien at times, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, problem. trying to get a, really a story like too boring. out of Phil is, is really one of the great challenges in life, like I mean, in any sort of game. contiguous manner. I mean, there's so many tangents, so many distractions. Holding. But in his own Phil Lockean kind of way, it... It all Still kind gentlemen? of makes sense. Popular, guys. Anyway, here we have a run in. He he jammed and ran into oh, a hand. Yeah, that he did. Lucky to have some live cards and be just over a two to one dog. And by the way, oh, uh, procedurally so speaking, man. from the button, these jams tend to be profitable as you kind of put the ICM jail effects to work on those two very level shorter yeah. stacks. But of course, yeah, when the ace there. queen is presented to Alexander, he's in. King of Spades. And in great shape. In I a 24.5 million chip pot Davis top Knights? pair. <laughs> oh, hang on. Some life. This whole never easy shit is like so true, huh? <laughs> I think you're six would be a disaster for the German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was low, but not quite there. Four of diamonds. So he will right. double. Good call. 15. This is not, no, I wish I folded ace nine. gonna be a chunky. I'm so fucked. <laughs> double 30, to 22 30, million and I then 27 for Pauly V Ruff when it's all said 11. and done. Does that look right? Do you like guys care to look at numbers now? No. <laughs> no? Okay. We uh, want to fight for some more again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was so greedy. Or? Or not? Hmm? Oh, by the way, earlier uh, I said, desk, you guys I said care to look at numbers. You said maybe 5%, you want 5% more? So really well, maybe 7 more. Well. Like, you know, if I double through one of you guys, it's just like... No, I mean, if we you double, then we can check, but now... <laughs> right, Alex? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could just fold and you guys could just clear each other. How much... Le so we... <laughs> I mean... I mean. double no. I don't care. I'm due to win one flip now. Like my, my turn to flip and win. Good luck, good luck, good luck. It's good luck. Interesting to hear this because to me it gives you some insight into what some. I'll tell you one thing. If you think it was two against one last time, I was rooting for you. <laughs> what some pros think about ICM chopping and whatnot, right? Apparently, um, it's just hard to agree oh on God. the ICM chop <laughs> when you have a big disparity in checks. In, sorry, in stacks, but, uh, you know, there was the comment that if Aram doubled and therefore chips. all three of the stacks would be close, right. maybe they would look at it. But they didn't want to look at it oh, with someone being, being much shorter. Understandably, by the way. Yeah, maybe the idea being that ICM is too friendly to a stack that's short in these kind of situations. I mean, that would be perhaps 
not saying it's true or not, but at least what these gentlemen think about about that. We'll so see I'm playing all in or fold. For like Are 300k in all in or fold. You play we'll all in or fold spin and gold? Create a power shift Is here. That a thing? No. You don't play that game? That's the game to play. Murmurs, by the way, in the chat that our boy Phil Locke played on a streamed cash game just last night. Oh, so it's already yeah, started. I've talked to him recently, and he said he I was like doing that. There's a like new one that's getting started. Win. It's going to yeah. be like every week. <laughs> King Jack suited. When we first had, like, over there Jam and take. I just uh, looked at you. Well, we uh, played a lot this tournament, uh, right? Like, I feel like we've been at the same table quite a bit. Uh, a little bit. The first time when I was like, are you touching some grass or whatever? <laughs> I just looked at you, and I was like, this guy's going to win the tournament. <laughs> that was my read. He has the good, face of the... Good read. Yeah, not bad read. I still want to tell you. I don't want to get your hopes up yet. But now... I take a second. Nah, I tell you. Really? Yeah. You feel? <laughs> it's really 2 on 1, isn't it? <laughs> Ace Queen. 1.6 million. Up we go. Not a jam. Just a min raise. Obviously, oh. with Alex in the big blind, sitting far deeper. But with a shorter stack here, there's some interesting dynamics going on. Yeah, just call. Turns out, I think, in this particular situation, you, you'll find that Alexander <coughs> doesn't like three betting very much. He's slightly less chips, and they both have a lot more than third place. So, defense... 976 board, not in either area code. It goes check, check. Another check now from Alex. And again, this is the presence of Oganyan that's kind of keeping these guys in line. Check back again from Pauly V. Showdown value on this board pairing four. It's very low, but... Uh, I just don't think. Nah, I just don't think you bluff king queen here, in order to get a side of fold. Yeah, you just know you're Jack? almost no, never no, winning. Oh yeah. Slower. Oh, but I d no no slower. But I was like, if you jam, I should fold. I guess. What a cooler. And I double through you this hand. King six. <laughs> Sick. That's actually you probably got a better result here. Much better <laughs> that he had a queen on the button. So the full shutdown pot goes over to ace queen. You see the distribution of chips. That one was somewhat meaningful, Rasty, in terms of sticking Alex midfield more so than he was going into it. Yeah, pretty clear 3-2-1 delineation here. Now Paulius is separated a little bit from Alexander in the last couple of hands. Now you can go. Be careful when you deal them, yeah? Because, um, yeah. Here. Not a bad hand. Suited one gapper. And another one of these half stack declarations from Oganyan. A6 suited though. Poly V. How much you have? I don't want to. I mean, okay. Asks for the count, Rasty. Is it weird this one? I think you. I think Ooh, you go with it. Challenge. Yeah. Did he call? The jam. I don't, I don't think he called. I mean, I don't think he, he put the chips in first and then said all in. Okay. I mean, that's no, no. It's uh, my bad. It's my mistake. 
Okay, yeah. so. So Oganian, very interesting here, Rast, noting that Pauly V did drop the chips into the pot prior to saying all in, holding him to that. About the same, 4.5 left. And yeah. as such, we will see a flop this is gonna be for 10.8. <laughs> and that flop is 10 9 deuce. All in. Top pair. Oganyan. All too happy to get it in there. So, in the end, I love we don't find there to be Such a good any discrepancy in terms of the ultimate outcome of all like chips it. finding their way into the middle in this no now almost 20 million chip pot. Two pair on the turn, Ooh, but I mean. seven yeah, would be seven. a real Ten disaster. Is so strong, and nope. instead, it's three a three. Three times two plus one. I mean, we can check now. Now we're all equal. I don't mind. So, as Oganyan alluded to earlier, Rast, a double by him would definitely change the landscape. Do even top? How much left, sir? Uh, I love this play, man. This hand's so good in poker. People underestimate these cards. Yeah. This is a really good hand. And they flush us straight. I mean, it's just a good, pair. A good fucking hand. So I believe some solicitation of deal discussion <laughs> by Oganyan. Paul Levy walking over to his camp maybe to get a little I mean, bit of like, guidance. Like three to one. I might have to put it in three to one. I mean, I can't just fold, right? It's Sunny right, over to monitor right. the proceedings. No, I, I put it in. Okay, so the chips are being pushed uh, forward for the purposes of just verifying like how much is in front of everyone here, Rast. Or something, right? Yeah, easy fold. But Deuce is seven, I think we have to fold. <clears throat> oh, no, By our seven. count, it is huh? a very sure. level playing field. 20.5 million yeah, for Alex T, I mean, the chip look. leader now, by inheritance. Call it 20.9. 1985 for Aram Oganyan, 18875 for Pauly V. For all intents and purposes, we have ourselves a three person sit and go with one and a half million up top, 922 for second, 692 for third. As we bring you back to the desk, even chop discussions with maybe a save to be played for? Uh, yeah, I. it sounds like they're going to talk even this time. I yeah. mean, you know, I don't know why anyone would get extra unless they didn't want to chop and just were throwing that as a way to kind of block it unless they got something beneficial to them. But, uh, yeah, you know, I uh, just the way it works here, they have to save something and play for it. I, I don't know. I don't know. D uh, Producer yeah. James is saying, yes, indeed, that is compulsory. So obviously it maintains intact the spirit of competition as something will be at stake. Uh, sure. But why don't we step aside? We're going to give these guys a little bit of time to hash things out. When we come back, we'll let you know what they've come up with here in Jeju as event number three, the Silver Main, has talks of a deal on its hands.
Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up to $250. Become a part of BetACR.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just sees the wonder. Jeju Shinwa World. With his other Triton first timer, Joe Chong, seated side by side. I'm just realizing, if I'm not mistaken, of the Sorry, remaining Nick six players. Apologies to Nick Shulman, apparently, but Shulman not in the booth right now. Uh, Rom just open folded the fives in the low jack. That's been an idea. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little too deep, a little too much ICM pressure. And here we just get that open jam. King X. Oh, wow. Little suited Seven, connector. Six, suited. Those aren't chips, those are time banks, as Maxim's gonna chew on this. Began this one with seven bigs, let's call it. He's got 800 invested already. 400 in the big, 400 in the big blind Annie. 2.1 back. Next hand will cost him 200 from the small. Decides, let's go. And not performing terribly at all against King 3. As you can see, 48% equity with his tournament life on the line. Gamble, gamble. Burn down. Three off the top, and it's a king high flop deflation for 6 7. Resisting the temptation to be on his feet. Backdoor straights and flush is still available in this 5.3 million chip pot for Maxim. He now hits the seven. Five outs, one time. There he is. And he misses. Yep. Five of hearts will bring his run here in the silver main to a close. As a familiar sight with chips heading toward the chip leader. Not bad for the Triton first timer here. 337,000. Yeah. 
delightful payout, but that 337,000 goes home with Maxim, which means a minimum of 441,000 is gonna go. That group. Well, that's a good start. Ace queen, patience Hold rewarded on. for Hrabic. There was a, a lot more testosterone in that all in than I think the chips really warranted. Yeah. <laughs> Nine hundred and fifty k. And Chong flicks in a call here. And the thought behind flicking that call in with the seven four off suit, Rast, as we see punishment from Pauly V wagging the finger. Providing additional overlay to, to Hrabic, by the way, he yeah, already enjoyed time, something man. of this nature, but the, just the flick and call there from Joseph, anticipating maybe Pauly V apt to check back and then allow four cards to go yeah. up against two. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I think one of the things that maybe he wasn't anticipating is that, you know, Pauly is going to play very aggressive first time in a spot where he has to play super tight. So because of that, probably not worth it to put in that 700,000. It'd be hard for me to win. He, obviously, he really wants to bust Roman, right? It's well, really good for him from an ICM perspective. That said, Paulius is going to punish him. But hang on. That, so. It looked as though Kabic was smooth red, sailing red with ace-queen on the ace-jack six board. Red Suddenly, a very threatening club on the turn <laughs> here. <laughs> and you can see the Lithuanian delegation rooting for the flush, and in it comes in the back door. Okay, man. Unjust the nature of the departure for Hrabic, who gave it all he had. And as he leaves Rast, he will collect 441,000 and a little side hug from the rail. But we're going to have ourselves a first timer to Triton as our champ here with four remaining. It's the mighty Roman Fabic. Vanquished. A little bit more artistic. Yeah. Today. <laughs> Just want to make a deal and go to bed. Rip and take it there for. Once per month. Oh, that's not much. Alex T. Once every hour or so. I'm not even joking. Like two hours, once every two hours. I think I'm gonna quit soon. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna kill me one day. I don't give up often, wave the white flag on the surnames. You know, I've gotten a little bit used to having to deal with the the minefields here on the Triton Super High Roller Series. But, but Alex's last name in particular, I just, I concede, I think I'm drawing dead. Wow. Oh, and on the topic of drawing dead, obviously. And welcome back to the Landing Casino here on Jeju Island, South Korea. Early hours of the morning, 1.30 a.m. local time. And Rast and I are going to see you straight through to an eventual champion. Now, whispers of a deal did take place, and producer James has sent that deal my way. Let's get right to it and see what they came up with. Rast, it would seem that they went based on, you know, there was a little bit of discrepancy in the chips. So Alex is going to get a little over a million dollars. 989000 is going to go to Aram. Paulius will take 977000 and change what they are going to play for is a hundred thousand and only the winner will take down that hundred k so clearly something to play for nothing for second and that should change a little bit the approach here three-handed well certainly all the icm talk about busting it's kind of all just goes out the window uh when you have a winner take all situation then it's just about winning the chips because you only win by getting all the chips, there's no value in staying alive. So it kind of just takes all that away, all yeah. that like extra calculation and, you know, kind of tournament uh, esque ness of the situation. It's out the window and it's a uh, winner take all. So 
Yeah, it doesn't matter if you come in third or second. No, very much does not. So let's just recap, if you will, the nine players that began. Jason Kuhn, first to bust out, 149,000 went his way, denied the 11th title. Then Chen Guangcheng of China, 182,000. That's a flag that's rolling deep here in Jeju. Dan Smith, 248K to pile on to the 18 plus he's already won on the Triton Super High Roller Series. Maxim Vaskrasensky, 337,000 for six. Roman Hrabic out in fifth, 441. And then Joseph Chong, a fourth place finish, 560K. So then just moments away from, from sending you back to the resumption of play where they're going to be playing 400, 800 with the 800K Big Blind Annie. Brought to you by Poker Stake. A look at the chip counts a very tight cluster here but not particularly deep 26 25 24 big blinds gonna play for a hundred thousand dollars up top and everybody getting just about a milli for their efforts certainly nothing to scoff at no pretty nice result for all of them right i mean everybody gets more than second place money and the winner will get that plus a hundred Nine, seven, four. As goes limp, check back, blind VB. You would have thought I would say blind versus blind or BVB, but instead I went with the hybrid odd. Nine, seven, four. Now the eight on the turn, open ender and gut shot. The developments in the five binky for improvements to what was already the better hand for Pauly V. Why the limp with the ace-five suited, by the way, just on balance here, Rast, pre-flop? Yeah, yeah, it, it seems like he's just trying to mix it up. I'm also curious, was Aram's check back on the turn with queen-10 there? But he still found a way to win, waiting, waiting for the river yeah. and bluffing. Yeah, like Kingsley or something. No. I had best hand? Yeah, obviously not. Maybe a bit. How can I have to look at some of that? I tried to tell you I had a 10. I said same flop as last time. <laughs> I had 13 other hands as well. Yeah. <laughs> Onwards. King nine and seven eight squaring off here. Paul V. Min raise open. Gutter on the monotone ten high board for Alexander. Dusty King high. But position in the betting lead. A Millie sprinkled out there to see what's what. I think with the gutter here, it's 3.5. Too, too much to just fold. Yeah, so he turns it into a bluffing combo, and that's going to work versus King Nine, no diamond. <coughs> nice little flop check raise there, sure. for Alexander. Interesting candidate with which to do that. <laughs> with dog trash. It's so much trash. Jack four off. Played as a limp. 
I mean, I know they're playing for 100000 a million on lockup, though. It is a bit peculiar to me. Things feel like they've gotten cagey, dare I say. Yeah. Fours against kings, though. This one could see an exchange. 2.4 in the middle already. Wow. Goes check, check. Trip kings now. And this, of course, makes the jack four that much more attractive to Alexander. Yes, yeah, certainly. Jack four has to feel like it's the best hand here a lot. Now the question is, does Polyus call a raise? I mean, when his opponent bets this small on the turn, it's going to be hard to win a very large pot, but... There are a lot of other advantages to calling. Our hand is completely disguised. So 800k ahead to the river, which is an eight. Molly V trying to induce another barrel here. And Alexander has every reason to think his hand is still good. He's also beating most fours with a jack kicker that is, you know, that plays even on the eight. So you, you can see he, he even chose large sizing. He went for pot. So, you know, he his hand he feels is good enough to bet and bet large. And uh, I mean, wow, Pauly. Four million, the I mean, barrel. Kicker, and the player. flat from Paulie and like Rast, I feel as though <laughs> you were about to embark on. <laughs> what the hell? We're only playing for something. Hurricane, bro. <laughs> I hope you know this. <laughs> that was on I mean, the order of being surprised might. by the flat? You might keep him. You might look him up. I mean, I definitely, I think it's a, sp I'm, I'm surprised that he snap called. I'll put it that way. I, I think he I'll, should I'll have considered he raising, play. certainly. Uh, he, I mean, I he probably he would have raised play. if I was him. Okay. Right? Especially with no ICM considerations. Right? I mean, we called. No draws got there. None of the straight draws got there on the river. Our hand is completely underrepped. And we can have hands that we're bluffing with on the end that we're bluff raising. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I... Yeah. The movie Step Brothers? Yeah. The movie um, I think I would have raised, and I definitely think it was a mistake to snap like call. At the very least, I would have liked to see him like, think about it. At least think, mm. should I raise and here? And then maybe he decides he, dad, he doesn't want to. Together. That's fine. But to, to have not really thought about it to me was a mistake. Reflexive, perhaps a touch hasty, but in the end, still profitable for Pauly V. No. Now... A raise to 2.4 and a dominant king queen as Oganyan defends. Polly V smashing the queen 10 4. You're gonna win the pot, but you're gonna get needled. Remember this hand? <laughs> you can win the pot. You gotta get needled though. <laughs> bye bye, King Seven off. <laughs> I played it so bad. This one? No, this <laughs> one I won. I mean, <laughs> I won the last one as well. But take it. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? You played it. You played them both great. Option, so. You played them both great. Huh? Hmm? Second best option. I just don't think, I mean. Did you bluff me on this last one? No, I don't bluff. You did, you bluffed me earlier with ace, ten, and spade. I should have called you. But I guess I'm really happy I did it. The whole universe would have changed. Queen, ten, off. Up we go again. Ended. All in. All in. Ace nine. Jams over the top. Maybe you can That'll uh, be that. We don't 
Maybe you can. Uh, Did you say your last name? Kachov. Kachov. Kachov? Yeah. Kachov? The T is silent? I don't know. We don't. Yeah. Uh, we don't need anything. Kachov. Okay. I can say that. I'll tell you what, that's a moment I've been waiting for, and I had to get down to three handed before we got there, but Kachev is the way to pronounce Alexander's last name. Blinds up, by the way. Half a milli and a milli. I have to count my chips. Just divide it by 100, so it's pretty easy. Or a million. He's starting to grab a lot of those orange chips here with a very modest hand. I think he's just counting his stack. Flicks a biscuit in, trying to see three. Four three off for Polly. Y'all talking shit over there? You guys talking shit over there? I know he is. Good shit? <laughs> Good shit. Good shit's okay. Look at this. Oh Not really in the Play mood. Fucking peanuts now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to see a small <laughs> blind like limp. I don't have enough of this. Uh, True. Okay, I'll focus yeah, more. Well, he's very much been fair, fair enough. inclined to raise from the big in such situations. Looks like we're going to race off some of the chips. And as we do, we take a moment to remind you that the official staking partner of the Triton Super High Roller Series is Poker Stake, where you can get rake and transaction fee-free action down. Buying a piece of your favorite players. They really are the go-to platform for anyone Looking to celebrate the rewards of big victories? PokerStake.com, where you need to head to get involved. Two point seven. Turning up the gear, but it's not going to fly in the face of eights. You ever see this guy named Professor? I'm serious. The Asian guy? Yeah. You ever hear his famous words? 